That's what crafting's all about for me, making things and sharing with others, and also learning all the time. At Clarity Stamp, we bring you a wide range of products from stamps, stencils, groovy, and pergamano. And the great thing about that is that it covers crafters from all different aspects. So whether you're into stamping, stenciling, parchment craft, we've got it covered at Clarity Stamp. So I hope you can tune in and join the Clarity team on Hochanda. My name's Catherine Sturrock and I bring to Achanda my company Character Crafts. Character Crafts brings to you our laser cut designs. Each design is designed by myself. We cut them on the laser machines here in Doncaster and bring the products to you at home. Character Crafts is suitable for all ages and all abilities. So I hope that I can inspire you and help you along with your crafting. I'd like to show you how to use different paint techniques and different techniques to bring the characters alive and use various mediums to decorate um, and I also use air dry clay for decorating with the flowers. So make sure you look out for the character craft shows on Achanda. I hope to see you soon. If you love cake, and you love to bake, we've got something you're going to enjoy. Here at Achanda's Crafty Kitchen, we'll be introducing you to brand new guest demonstrators from the world of baking and cake decorating, who will be on hand to inspire you with sugar flour making techniques, food flavoring ideas, baking kits in a bottle, and as well as showcasing some very fashionable kitchen aprons. Watch out for brand new products, some very bespoke to the baking world, but others you can utilize within the world of craft, which will allow you more flexibility between the different mediums. Intrigued? Well, set your temperatures, set your timers, and tune in every fortnight to see what's in the oven on The Crafty Kitchen. Hi, I'm Bev. Hi, I'm Sam. And we're from Be Crafty. Be Crafty is a family-run company. Sam is my sister. And we love bringing brand new products to Hachanda. We manufacture and design all our own ranges of stamps, inkables, MDF, lots and lots of inspiration that we love to bring and share with you. If you tune in to Hachanda to join us, you'll see that mine and Bev's style are totally different. But what that does is it brings you lots of styles and techniques that you can include in your crafting too. Our ranges are increasing all the time with the lovely hand-drawn images that Sam and myself are trying to bring to you, plus the fantastic new designs that we like to bring in the inkables, in the dinkables and the MDF as well. So you can use them across all different sorts of crafts and bring the best we can to Hachanda too. So make sure you don't miss the Bee Crafty shows on, on Hachanda. Hachanda. Good morning. Give yourself a little time check there, little little prep in the morning. Uh, I hope you're well. It's me. Yes, I know. I can only apologise. Me again. You've only got one more day of me, then I'm off for four weeks. Uh, I hope you're well this morning. We are talking uh, eye crafts is what we're talking this morning at 7am. Uh, we've got some newness and we've also got some stuff on the counter that in theory shouldn't really be on the counter at the price it's on at. I'm good. I'm going to tell you, our Karen's been like that. Oh, no, that's not that price. I said, what well, it is. That's all, and that's what I'm going with. And she weren't, she weren't happy. Oh, <laughs> she weren't happy. She were because she was like, well, well, I'll get to it in a minute. We'll have that conversation in a minute because it's a cracking little deal um, that really should be twice the price in my eyes, but we'll get to it. Uh, right, our Karen's here. Morning, Karen. Good Lord. morning. Are you all right in the Zoom? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Through our little perfect screen. 
Like Would you like you to, in the shower. There's no love lost to feed me, is there? Well, that's another nightclub we won't talk about. <laughs> now, uh, I hope you are well. Right, first of all, happy hour. We're talking balls. We're talking arty ball jars is what we're talking now. Now, you're going to get two of these jars inside of the little bead balls that we've got in there. Uh, and Karen's got the other one. I thought I'll give it as a, she it as a gift. Uh, this is what you're getting. Two sets of your arty balls. Uh, Karen, what do we do with arty balls? It's the point you, you, you mix it with your texture paste, pop it into your oh. um, mixed media pieces. Uh, you can also make shaker cards with it. Oh, oh, you can put them in for shakers. You can put them in for shakers. Oh, look Have at that. Have you got to clean that up, Molly? Look at me. <laughs> I'll pick it up in a minute, don't worry. I just, I just For TV, I thought that'd be quite smooth and open the pot. Oh, it's going to be one of these days, isn't it? I can see it now. Two pots, nine ninety nine. Well done, Charlotte. Keep it on track. At uh, nine pounds and ninety nine pence, five zero six eight three one is your item number. Right, and stencils are up next. Right then, I've got stencils that you may have seen before, but in a new configuration. So you might be getting different things that you may think, "Oh, I like them. I'll go for them." And for twelve ninety nine, this is not a pick and mix. Pick your favourite three out of four. This is a full collection of four. Is what you're going to get here. At uh, £12.99, pence. so let me show you what you're actually getting. So you've got the beautiful brickwork, uh, you've got your cogs and chains in there as well. Uh, then you've also got, this would be your blocks, and then you've also got your clocks that's in there. So the first one would have been your gears. Uh, this is what you can do, once, literally this is taking the stencil and just put it onto smooth cardstock. It is absolutely beautiful. It really is. And there's so many things you can do with a decent set of stencils, isn't there, Karen? Oh, definitely. Definitely you can. Um, if you see the second one along, uh, not and it's not the one that you've kept up. <laughs> Oh, it's going to be one of them. Am I making them. you nervous this you morning, are. Adam? It's going to be one of these Is days. that because I jumped out on you at half past five? <laughs> oh, <laughs> jumped out of the bush at half five this morning. I've never seen a move out of that bed so quick. <laughs> so you can dry emboss. You can uh, put uh, you can you can put um, embossing ink over it and emboss with embossing powders. You can colour through it. You can stencil through it. You can all oh, have you. What have you brought? Nothing. We're fine. <laughs> Carry on. <laughs> uh, look at samples. Uh, they, they all came apart. These are beautiful. Look at that. That's gorgeous, isn't it? That is stunning. You, you use some of that with our uh, one day special that we've got today as well. Using some of your flower foam that you've got in there. It's upside uh, down. I'm just showing you their versatile. It's all part of my editorial, do not fear. Uh, you can do so much with these sets of stencils. £12.99. I've got loads of things to show you as well. 434521 is your item number. Right then, moving on down. Another bundle, what we have this time. So, this time, I like this one because you sort of got like little sets of cobbles that you've got in there. Then you've got your bricks in there again. Uh, then you've got your trees. Are they your shapes? So the first one would have been your stones, I'm guessing. Um, so you've either got shapes or stones. £12.99 is what you're looking at. Once again, you've got a complete scene for the sheer fact, just using some of them. So using those trees with the tree stamps that you've already got at home and doing things like your moonlight. I love this. Look at that. That's a, that reminds me of the old bubble technique. You know when you used to put fairy liquid and paint into a pint glass and blow it with a straw? Yes, yeah, yeah. Well, uh, what Cheryl's done there is she's, she's just... Uh, oh, it's a simple technique. Doodle down the side, she's put some ink through it and then doodles over the top of it and put some uh, glossy accents. That is stunning. And that's a quick and easy card as well. It is. Gonna... And it's fun to do. They're ones that you can sit and... You, you were, your mindfulness with your doodling. You can sort of sit and do them with so an evening. You do them card. in the varied colours of ink pads that you've already got. You don't need many ink pads to do these sorts of cards, do no. you? No. Uh, and then things like this with the gecko. How beautiful is that, once again, these stencils lend themselves to not many cards at all. That's nice. Look at that. A little bit of uh, you With your butterfly and your little heels that you've got. Uh, £12.99. Let me show you the board so you can look like what the, uh, when they're all together. Uh, so that's what they look like. Just one set of ink through uh, what's well, cards up. You cannot go wrong. It's a beautiful little bundle. £12.99. 392079 is your item number. Um, I was meant to say at the start, and I totally forgot. Uh, shop ahead of me. I've got brand new papers on the show as well. Brand new decoupage papers we were coming to. Do not fear. Right then, up next, a new configuration of this bundle. Uh, sort of circles and honeycombs you've got in this as well. 
at £12.99. 702643 is your item number. Uh, you get bubbles, honeycombs, you get circles, and you also get a little bit of, ooh, crackles in here. Uh, I'm, I'm guessing this one's your crackles that you get down the bottom. That one's sort of like two stencils in one uh, that you get there as well. Uh, love circles. You, I, 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 this is what I love about stencils. I've learned so much about stencils in the last few days. You can use stencils as stamps if you yeah. wanted to. Uh, you've taught me that you can run them through your, your machine and emboss or deboss with a set of stencils yep. as well. Uh, you can obviously use them as a stencil if you wanted to use them as a stencil. Uh, you can draw through them if you're not very good at drawing. You want to add. Um, you can also do spotlights with them as well. So if you want one small spotlight or lots of different spotlights, you can do that with your watercolour pencils and brushes as well. It's well worth having a little go. All these different techniques, all from the one same stencil. So you can reuse them so many times. £12.99, 702643 is your item number for these ones. Let me just show you what they look like on the board themselves. Is this the only iCraft show today? I've got one at 10am as well. Oh, there's one at 10. But get in quick because who knows what will be left, especially... For something that's on its way, it's amazing. It's a cracking little deal. Right then, up next, we are now talking uh, more stencils. Uh, this time, we are talking uh, dot scribbles, mixed media. I like this one because this one, especially the writer. Well, I like all of these ones. For the, these are cracking little backgrounds that sort of. It takes off that white card sock. If you're using white card sock, that sort of look to it, doesn't yes. it? Yes. Yeah. They're, they're not op big open spaces. They're, 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 uh, they will just take away that whiteness, that, but it'll not overcolor what you're going, going to be doing. But they also emboss beautifully as well, and the paste goes through them fantastically. No, I love them. I absolutely love them. Uh, the reason I stopped reading the names, I didn't know if it was grunge or grinch. I just sort of left it. I, I think it's grunge. I think it's grunge as I well. I just think somebody can't spell. Well, I think someone's just looked at this show. It was Friday night when they put this together, to be honest. Oh, do I think I, I, the, the proposal I got said grunge, and I thought, you know, somebody's thinking of Christmas. <laughs> that could have been. <laughs> oh, no, that's the cinch. The grinch. I watched that film last night. Loved it. Me and Mo watched it. Uh, not you, Mo. Uh, so there's the stencils that you're getting there as well. We're absolutely adoring these. £12.99. Oh. There you go. You've got your grunge in there. 12 99 is your item number for these. Right then, here we go. I don't think these are going to last the hour. You are getting a cracking little deal on these. Let's do your top row first. You get a set of three <laughs> decoupage papers for twelve ninety nine. And when we talk sizes of your decoupage paper, our Karen will show us what you're actually getting. You're getting two sheets of each design in here, and the designs are massive. Um, this is the. They're huge. They are absolutely huge. We'll show you one. That's the size of them. That's the second bundle I'm about to show you uh, yeah. later. It's just bigger. It's slightly it's, bigger than your glass mat. It's bigger than the glass mat, yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Just, you could even make your... Oh, just think, put it on the glass mat. Imagine putting that under your glass mat and then... But think, you know, these th that you have in the kitchen. Yeah, it's like your chopping and boards. And just chopping boards, clear one, and do it from underneath oh, and then would, paint it. That would be nice. Yeah. Uh, with your brickwork as well, you get two tones of your brickwork. Let me just show you. I'll spin the designs around so you can see, see the little design. So you sort of get the blue and you get the standard brick that's in there as well. Absolutely stunning decoupage papers. Brick, wood and tile. Uh, it's just a set of three that you're getting. That's just the top three that you're getting there for twelve ninety nine. So that's the top three, the brick, the wood and the tile. Tile 685813 is your item number. Then we move to your bottom. Your bottom row, you've got your flowers, you've got that beautiful lavender and kettle that you've just saw on Karen's table. You've got the dragonfly in there as well. And you've got these stunning little flowers that run all the way through. That is beautiful. It really, really is. Uh, if I show you on the back, you sort of get like a bigger sheet and then you get sort of two little sheets that's in there. Well, that one's all split up, but you could use that as a whole or you could use it as individuals if you wanted to as well. It's entirely up to you. Uh, it's a sort of the same for all of these bottom ones. You sort of get, remember you're getting two sheets of these as well. If we're going with decoupage though, Cameron, do we need anything special to use it with? Any say, special glues or? You can use a, uh, a special decoupage glue. I know that I craft do one. We haven't done it, but what I've done is I've uh, mixed my PVA with water. Okay, it works the same. Yes, yeah. Uh, there's also a stamp area 
everybody does a decoupage glue, but myself personally, this time, I've done it with um, Okanash glue and water. Fabulous. There is so much you can do when you get these home. Let me show you some of these finished samples. Uh, these are using an amalgamation of the kits that we've got here. So this is the kit that you've currently got on screen at the moment. Uh, your butterflies, dragonflies and words that you've got in there because there's your words element. Uh, for 11 .99, if you've never used decoupage papers before, it's well worth having a little go. Uh, using the words again, you've got this one just here. They're absolutely beautiful on your decoupage. And those, those uh, there's that dragonfly that we had the other day. Uh, on the show from Oakwood Archer that you've also got there. Let me also show you this one. This is our Karen's, who normally says she doesn't do mixed media. No. This is beautiful. But that's clean mixed media. So look at that. So you've got your texture paste in the back with your brickwork on that you've already got in there as well. Then you've got some of your decoupage papers. We've got the MDF on the show as well. So if you want some of the MDF, we've got the MDF on the show. Uh, the wooden embellishments. Then you've also got your, your paper flowers. You can make these in your own home as well. And then you've got some of just your, your crafty stash that you've got there. But how beautiful does that look? I would get in quick for these. These are very, very busy across the board. Uh, so get in really quick. You can cover your jars as well. Well, uh, you can cover so many things with uh, decoupage papers. It's, it, the list is endless, really, what you can't do with them. So all those old cans that you've got that you can now use f uh, fresh paint jars and things like that. It's worth having a little look. Eleven pounds and ninety-nine pence. Nine hundred nine six zero is your item number. Now these next two items, I'm not going to lie, we're not meant to have them at these sorts of prices, but we have. This was, we ummed and ahed this morning, whether we keep them on the show, there's nobody awake, there's nobody in the building, they're all working from home, they don't get up till midday when Loose Women starts. So, we thought we'll just go with it. We'll just go with it, so get them while you can, because by the time they wake up and the next show's on, we don't know if they'll still be at these prices, and that is the truth. These are your frames, £9.99 for a pack of... A, Three packs, so you get all of these frames for three in three packs. These are good size frames. They are massive. I'm going to be using one of them in the first demo. These are beautiful. Do they take all our, do they take all our mediums? Yes, I've used um, oxides on them and it, it stains them. Paint on them. Um, I'm going to show you a technique with the next thing after that with them but we're going to do that early because obviously we've got these prices and these I don't know amazing. where they're at. They've got some weight to them and all, haven't they? They are weighted. They're very, very weighted. They're lovely for the front of uh, your journals. They are beautiful and yes. they're good size frames as well. If it was me, I would go for two sets of these. I'd look on the website for a bit of um, grey board, some strong grey board and I'd start making picture frames out of these for Christmas. Yeah. And yeah. do, do, sort of do the decor of your house and your home that, that you want to go for. Because they're going to take all your mediums. £9.99. pence, Brand new today. I don't think they should be at this price for the weight of what you're getting. And the amount that you're getting, I don't think they should be 9 dollars 99 I reckon there should be two packs there, easily. Uh, £9.99. pence. 460547. Right then. Enamel we're looking up next. Now, this is the one <laughs> that we were sure this morning... You were meant to get normally it's two for nine ninety nine. That's what it's always been. Always. Always, always. been two for ninety nine nine pounds and ninety nine <laughs> pence. Oh, I'm excited, you see, I'm excited. I love a deal. How about if I said you can get four for the same price? Now once again, this is one later. Someone will probably pull into a meeting because this ain't right. Because every time Karen's been here, it's been nine ninety nine for two. Doesn't matter which two you want to go for. It's normally nine ninety nine for a set, and it's normally on a pick and mix. This time, I'm going to give you all four of them for nine ninety nine. Seven five zero four one nine. It's because I'm off on my holidays soon. Yourself. Okay. Your go your on. Colours are behind you. Uh, the colourways. That's it. Look how gorgeous they are. These are stunning. stunning. Let me put them there for you and then I'll try and work out which is which. So then you've got, first of all, uh, this is this. So that's that one at the bottom. Ace Aqua. That's, that's a nice little colour though with that gold fleck that you've got coming mm, through it's there. It's got running through, through all of it. And that's only one coat on the board. It's only one coat on the MDF that oh, we're doing. That's only one coat? That's only one coat, yeah. I've just put one layer on there. 
Then you've got your aged rose at the top as well. Then up next, you've got your ivory. That's the bottom one. There's your ivory at the bottom. It's a beautiful glad that you're absolutely stunning. And then last but no means least, you sort of got your rust. I love this, like an old copper can. But it's called spice, yeah. You think about popping that on a can. Oh, on a tin would, can. You'd be able you to use it, and at that price, you wouldn't think twice about being, using a phone. Phone's it's going, the phone is going in my ear. Get them while you can. That was loud as well. Uh, get them while you can. £9.99, 750-419 is your item number. There is an update on this. You are loving these. As I said, 40% of the stock already gone. I don't have many either. I'm not going to lie. You know what I'm like. I say it as it is. If I get in trouble, I get in trouble. Yeah. Um, it's one of them things. Uh, but get them while you can. £9.99. £9 Normally on a pick and mix, choose any two for £9.99 .99 today. I'll give you all four of them. All four of them for £9.99. £9 I am a generous. I'm a generous soul. 50% of the stock now has already gone. Get them while you can. Oh, someone's in trouble and it won't be me. Woodish embellishments. Or oh, you, Charlotte. It won't be any of us. Uh, get them while you can. Wooden embellishments. Look at these on a, uh, on a still, as we called it in the trade. This is a mega pack that you're looking at now. So you're getting the shutter in there. Uh, which you get the background as well, which I absolutely adore. Then you're getting your circles, uh, which match your stencils, may I say, really well, those circles. Those, um, let's say, over the set four. Uh, then you've got all your cogs and gears that are in there, which I absolutely adore. Once again, £9.99. £9 if it was me, I'd go for one of these, I'd go for the... The oh, I've got hiccups. The enamels, and I'd also go for the frames as well. What would that be? That would be just shy of £30 is what you're looking at. 337901. Uh, chalk paints we've got on the show as well. Up next, uh, you're getting four chalk paints. Black, uh, grey, aqua and white is what you're getting them as well. Oh, antique, sorry. And, and your antique for £9.99. I've seen if I've got a swatch of them, but I haven't. Uh, £9.99, 881977 is your item number. Up next... Oh, these are, oh, these are nice. Uh, gold, silver, red and green is what you're getting now. These are vibrant as well. Really, really vibrant colours. Um, sort of... Now, I don't want to put people off when I say this, because I normally say take it away. If you're doing anything Christmassy, these are your Christmas colours, but then they'll also work all year round as well, especially that beautiful gold and silver uh, that you've got in there. These are absolutely stunning. Oh, it's like traffic lights uh, that you've got in there. It is a bit like Twister, isn't it? <laughs> Spin the dice, left hand green. Right foot blue, and they're opposite ends of the mat. Uh, beautiful. Right, we've got news on the enamel. Here he comes. Oh, oh. Oh, limited stock, Karen. I'll do a quick demo you can, on We'll that. still use it. We'll use it in demo for I'll the people that have got it. I'll do a quick demo and then uh, I'll move on. They've technical sellout. It means they're now all in baskets. We now have a technical sellout. We will see if we can get some more, but we're pushing our luck, to be honest. Uh, they are technical sellout. Right, let's get to Karen. Uh, we, we can still use these, Charlotte. Can we in the first demonstration? Just these first one, we can still use them, Karen. Yep, all I'm going to do is I'll just do it... Uh, this is part of the other demonstration, but I'll do this part first, if that's OK. OK. So, one of the big frames, and I've just painted it with one coat of the chalk paint in the grey, and then this is my mix of glue and water, and it's, it's very much like a weak single cream. Do you reckon? Say that again, sorry. It's sorry, like a I was week, doing other things. A weak single cream. Yeah, I'd say yeah, the same. Yeah. It's like my face pack I put on at night. <laughs> and all I'm doing is, is it's, so it's glue. It's it's like a decoupage, decoupage, decoupage glue. Um, I'm not using my decoupage glue because I'm only going to be putting the um, embossing powders on. What colour are we going? I think we'll go the. Uh, shall we go the ivory? What colour would you like to go? Uh, what what's what we're we using it on? We're using it on resin. Okay, let's go. Yeah, let's go. Let's go aqua. Go aqua. Antique. You want to go aqua? Aqua. Aqua. I love these frames. These frames are immense, and they're worth their weight in gold. They are absolutely beautiful, and the detail that you're getting in them is phenomenal. So this is the aqua on top of it, and oh, you can see 
it's it's Ooh. it's stuck. So you would normally put uh, embossing powder on with a um, a sticky ink. However, this is too thick; it doesn't stick to the sticky ink. So I'm using a, a glue. Okay. I'm using the watered down glue. You still get the same effect. You're going to get a beautiful effect once I start eating once this you heat up. It. But this is a quick demo, just to uh, oh, that's fine, just to show it. You can also, when once you can uh, put a few drops on somewhere and eat it from underneath. However, you can add to it when you when it gets hot. But just wanted to show. Can you see the colours? Look at this. Does it start turning now? I know that the glue underneath will start bubbling a little bit, but that adds to part of the texture. And I just love this, the way it's coming through. So you've got the aqua, you've got the gold. It's rather a big piece, actually. But it's part of my demo, so... There we go. Look at that. I've got gold coming through. So I've just got that to do. Is there anything you want to go through while I finish off no, this bit? Well, well, no? Well, what, I'll show the frames that you're using at the yeah. moment so you see the and different styles of frames. My, my demo. Uh, that we've got in there. It's absolutely beautiful that we've got in there as well. Uh, you've got so many frames for £9.99. pence. Uh, is what you're going to be looking at uh, for all of these that you are getting. Uh, some of the sizes that you're getting here as well are absolutely uh, phenomenal. Uh, from all the shapes, for all the intricate detail uh, that you're getting in there, all of those for $9.99, it's well worth having a look. Something else that's working having a look as well is our happy hour uh, that we've got the hour as well. They are arty balls is what we're looking at. Put them in your text space. Uh, put them in your paste. Give you some, these are nice things like under the sea and bubbles and things like that to give you sort of that, that feeling that you've got things under the water and a bit of texture to your texture paste. You're getting two pots of these for £9.99. Absolutely beautiful. Uh, let's jump to the website and just have a quick look on there. Because uh, we've got Oakwood Archer stuff on the website as well. It's always worth having a little look. If all your essentials, if you need, uh, if you need any essentials, paper trimmer, a pair of scissors, anything like that, a glue, a glass mat, everyone uses them that we've got there. Uh, you cannot go wrong. Uh, right then, let's go back. How are you getting on with your embossing? So that's the embossing in there. Absolutely stunning. That's nice. Look at that. Look at that. It looks absolutely gorgeous, doesn't it? It's like antique. It's like antique. It's, it's really made has. it oldie worldy. And with me painting it underneath as well, you can't see that it was grey paint, but it's it's just stopped the starkness of the white coming through. But this one, and that's part of uh, part of uh, the resin ones. This is on the outside. It's five before, and yet you've got a two by. Let's have a look. Two. Two by three and a half picture inside it, but it's as big as my hand. It's not. I think they're it's, beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful, isn't it? They really and, are. Uh, you just got to let it cool down. So what I'm going to do is I'll go to the decoupage paper. Okay. And you know I've, I can see that they're not open, and I've I've got one sheet of each. So this is the second one on the the lower level. Yeah. I don't know the item numbers, unfortunately. I can do it for you. 900, 960, 11 pounds and 99 pence. So that's the butterfly, the dragonfly and the words. This one is, it's, it's, uh, there are, I think, 30 by 40. It'll tell you on the back of it, Adam. And you can see here, this is your picture, which is, looks more like 12 by 12. And then you've got two little pictures at the side. So they're all the, they're all separate. 38 by 50 centimetres, so 38 which is 15 by 50. inches by 20 inches each sheet. That Which is, is, is fair size. It's, it's a big, big old size. Amount. So that's one of them. The second one is this one with all the hydrangeas on, small pictures. You've got this here. I've used that as a, a main... Oh, I love the dragonfly. In theory, can two like, little birds. With that sheet alone, you're getting two sheets of that. That could be six different designs, couldn't it? You could cut that down quite Certainly. easily, that one, to be six different ones. Certainly. And it glows and sticks beautifully. And then this is the third one of there. So that's your full sheet. You put that on a canvas 
and then put some ribbons around the outside. You've done mixed media and you've got a 12 by 12 canvas. That'd be nice with a bit of dried lavender in like a little, a little yeah, tiny yeah, bit around the bottom. Tiny bit around the bottom. The you've got these beautiful birds with the writing and then those there. So that's that one. And then I'll show you the other one okay. as well. This one is, to me, is more generic because you've got all your wood grain there and that's absolutely stunning. Don't forget, you only need a little bit. You could cut that down, put it onto some some mount board and you've got backings. That would be nice. Yeah. I'd say if you put that on mount board um, and then if you're if you're into taking photography of your um, of your cards that you make, oh, or if wow. you make to sell, you just use that to give you a nice background what when you set your cards. What a wonderful idea. I think I'm going to save this one and do that. No, because it'd be nice. Yeah. Like, you know, like yeah. your kitchen table where you get the dark and you get the windows and you get the glare. You've got that beautiful background and everything then sort of fits in. I love this next one. This You've brick got wall. a two-tone brickwork. Absolutely glorious. And then you've got three lots of flowers. Now, I've used that and fussy cut that out and put that uh, straight onto, uh, onto a, a card. card. Yes, uh, there it is somewhere. A card further down here using the um, oh stencils. The stencils, first lot of stencils, and that I think that only took me a few a couple of minutes to do it. Do the stencil and then fussy cut it out and put it round. But there that's, you go, look. And it's flat. And think about the postage. Yeah, true. But it does look three dimensional. Oh, and while it was still damp, I dropped a little bit of. Uh, Sparkly glitter onto it. No, it's nice, beautiful. Yeah, love it, love it. And then we've got the Moro what I call the Moroccan tile. Don't forget, these could all be individual tiles. Put them onto some little coasters, in coasters. Uh, these I put one of these on a tin can, and then you've got these. And I know uh, one of the girls has fussy cut that, but that's gorgeous, just on a picture in its own. A seven by five picture, seven eight by six picture. But it's just be beautiful and it's glorious quality. So that we're just going through it. So that I've opened them up for no, you. I like them. They're look. nice. They're beautiful. So this is one of Michael Katz's uh, books that I've uh, journals that I've that I've purchased from him, and I'm going to put together something like that. You can see on the inside. This is where my glue is. But I'm going to show you how to go around the corners and how to develop this. Okay. I'm okay. So I've done the back. Have I done the back or the front? That's the front. I'm <laughs> going to choose the same paper again, and then cut it out. And what I like about decoupage papers, you never waste any, do you? Every little bit oh, can be used. Oh, every little bit helps. I'm going to use. I want that bird for something else. So I'm just measuring it out what I want. I think I'm just going to have pictures on there, and uh, you can. Uh, you can cut this. It's not like the um, rice paper yeah. that that needs to be wet. It can it can be cut. You can wet it and tear it. it it's just a decoupage paper. If you then don't, don't throw any of your scraps away because don't forget you can tear them up and uh, make something else with with them. And then I'm just going to get some glue. And where's the that's that's the way that it's going to go. That should be a little bit more straight, but hey ho! It's seven o'clock in the morning, isn't it? <laughs> I'm going to get my glue and then show you how I do it. So oh. This is the glue that you've made. I've just made this glue. Yeah, I, I have got some. I've not been cleaning my brushes out properly. I've got decoupage, decoupage glue, but it's it's a different brand. It's all branded, so I didn't want to bring that on. But I want to show that you can still just do it on on your own. And I'm just. So is it equal it parts on. of PVA glue and water if you're going to do it this way? Uh, I just did it by eye. Um, to me, it's just it's not runny, but it's not. You just diluted the glue. I down. diluted it, yeah. Okay. Just diluted it. If you are happier buying a glue, buy a glue, by all means. But um, with the amount of glues that I go through with with Stewart's, I've gone through. I've only been with him since July, and I've gone through about six pots. Oof. You know, six of the big ones, uh, the big bottles. So to me, it was just it was just a way of making my glue go further. Right. 
That's what we're all about. That's what crafting's about. It's it is, crafting, yeah, right? yeah. If, if you can't if go out and get it, go and make your own. If you've got something in your stash that will do it. It's, it's getting very difficult to get out and get it in, into uh, with, with what's been going on. So that's forward, that's forward. I've done both of them. And I can take it over the top of the archetype if I want. And then just pop it on. And you've seen this all before, but there we go. And I just want to show how I've got round my corners. I don't worry about my decoupage paper having little lumps in it. That adds to the texture of it for me. It's uh, just the way that it dries. And you can see here, all I'm going to do is cut into there. And I'm just cutting round the circle part, you know, round the curve. Very yeah. much like what you do when you're sewing. And then oh, when you snip into it. When you snip into it, yeah. There's a name for that, I'm sure. Um, I can't think of it. it it's... I know what... Oh, crikey, I should know it. I know what you mean, though. I should know it. I'm sure there's a technical name for that. It's not mitering. No, it's not mitering. It's... Miter corners is when they're going to... Uh, oh. If you know what we're talking about, because it'll bug me all day. When you trim the corners, when you snip away into the corners, you snip into it, yeah. Com, you snip you into know. it. I'll oh, probably not on the socials. We're probably on the Facebooks, to be honest. Right, if you are on the Facebook, good morning. Good morning, good all you. Good morning. Your, the, the normal gang will be there. They'll all be there. Diamond, Heather's. Heather's probably been there since half six, to be honest. She gets in early. <laughs> Dave and Brig. And then I'm just going to go over it with the glow just to bring it over so that's just showing you quickly how to do obviously I'm not doing my best I say you take your time well, you're doing over your best. It at you're doing lovely you take your time at home and I'm not worried about how messy this looks at the moment because I am going to put a nice piece of pattern paper in there but it just shows you how how nice it goes oh, on beautiful, beautiful. Then the front, I'm going to do some texture paste onto it with a stencil. Oh. Um, I did do the the uh, brick one on there and then painted it. However, shall we do... Oh, let's do a bit of texture. This nice one. And my stencils have ended up all over the floor, as they normally do. Uh, this is from the Grunge Collection. It is from the Grunge Collection. What have I done with my... Set four on the counter. There we go. I don't think this is the right one, but... I just want to put a little bit of textures in. I'm just showing how it goes through. So, if you've never used... And I, I, I don't mean for you to do this, because I, I don't want to ruin your work, because it looks absolutely beautiful, but is this where you'd put your arty balls in now, as it were? Yep, I'll put some on in. I'll put some in. I'll well, no, I don't want to change the design. No, you're beautiful. not changing the design. This is not really designed into anything. I'm just going to redesign it when I get when I get home. It's just showing you how I've got to this stage. I better put that on the floor. On top of a piece of card. So sorry about that, but I don't want to get stuff all over. So arty balls. Let's put some arty balls in. So we've got this here. We're going to go round the insides here. There, and let's get the arty balls in. Now, there's two ways that you can do it. You can, you can, uh, I know that Leone gets a brush, gets the paint, texture paste, and puts it in, and then starts popping it on. But that's when you're painting it on. But look at those, they're gorgeous, aren't they? They are. And then we're gonna. We'll pour it on, yep. We'll pour it on. All oh, these, look at them. Well, that's a lot of arty balls. A lot of arty balls. And then that side as well. However, don't forget we've textured here. We've done all this texture, haven't we? So let's pop the arty balls on there. There we go. And you can put these on and shape them on. Now that'll need to dry 
That looks, oh, that looks beautiful. It's uh, a little bit thick on the bottom, but I'm trying to show you how to do it. Let's see through that stencil when you do it through the stencil. That done it with really... the stencil. Because the arty balls are so, so tiny, do it with a stencil and it goes through absolutely gorgeous. Does look nice that art though there. That one I'm not so quite so happy about. However, I can even though I've done that and I'm not happy about that, I like this bit here. I certainly like this bit here. And I'll add to that when it's dry. So on on that note then, yeah. and this is, it's always a good it's always a good thing to ask because maybe you have gone a little heavy handed with your texture paste and you've put your arty balls and you think, oh no, what am I going to do now? I'm going to have to let it dry on them. How would you get around that problem if you have that at home? So as you said, you're, you're going to go home and tweak this, but this will be dry by the time you get home. And then so how gonna, do you tweak texture I'm gonna, paste? And then I'm going to stipple on top of it with more texture paste. Oh, okay. So I'll start, if I, if I start stippling that now, It'll just become a bit. It, it comes a bit, uh, it'll go a bit, it'll just mush in. But if I start stippling here, like on my brickwork, put a little bit on and stipple, and then do this again with the balls. I've got it much nicer. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. So always wait for it to dry. You can scrape it off. However, if we start scraping it off in this occasion, what's going to happen is I might damage the paper underneath. Oh, OK, so leave it as it is. I'm going to leave that as it is and go back to it and do it. It's good to know these little hints and tips though, isn't it? It's good mm -hmm. to know how to get around these things. If you want a pack of the Arty Balls, you're getting two pots of your Arty Balls for £9.99. 506831 is your item number. It is your happy hour and you don't have that long left to get it either. You have 22 minutes uh, before the end of the hour. Right then, decoupage papers are what we're looking at at the moment. We're very busy on the decoupage papers. Uh, let's go through your top row first, uh, which is your brick, wood and tiles. Uh, let me show you your tile one in actual tile form so you can see. Uh, look at the size that you are getting here. So it's slightly bigger uh, than your glass mat, but imagine using all those uh, as individuals if you wanted to. Uh, then you've also got your brickwork, so you've got that beautiful, stunning brickwork. And obviously, they're all this size, but save me opening them all out. Uh, they are all this size, but then you've got that two-tone effect on that beautiful brickwork in there. Then you've got a whole section, uh, which is this beautiful brick. And then you've got your wood. You've got your beautiful wood grain uh, that runs all the way through. I think these would be stunning uh, for photographs. Maybe have the wood on the floor and then your brickwork up. And then you take your photos in the middle. Obviously, you'd fold them all out and mount them onto boards as well. Uh, a bit of lighting, your cards would look beautiful. Look like they already do. Uh, £12.99 so, uh, for all this. 685813 is your item number. And then, say again. What the, it's, you see, Heather, this is what I'm here for. How, how to get round problems, because that's the way I think. Uh, but which one I like. Uh, right then, here we go. Uh, the next set, £11.99 is what we're looking at at the moment. Uh, 900, 960 is your item number for these. Once again, you're getting the dragonfly that's already in there. Uh, you also get the, the beautiful lavender, and then you also get the, um, well, sort of the flowers and the posies that you get in there, which I absolutely adore, that I have here, and I've put them down, and for the life of me, can't, well, they're there, right in front of my eyes. Uh, for the life of me, couldn't find them. Uh, this is beautiful. I love this one with that beautiful bird cage that you've absolutely got, and then the reading books that are on there, and the pocket watch that's in the corner. Uh, lovely. These would be beautiful on bottles. Absolutely stunning on a bottle, they would. Especially if you bought the gin from earlier in the week. Remember when we had the gin show on? That'd be nice, round the gin bottle, fill it up with gin, a bit of slow gin. I'm very excited for mine to arrive. Uh, right then, £11.99, 900960 is your item number. Right then, stencils are what we're looking at now. These are your grunge sort of stencils, your mixed media stencils uh, that we're looking at with these ones. Uh, you sort of get a bit of everything in here. So you sort of get you sort of lines and your balls in there as well. Uh, then you sort of get your, this is, reminds me of like a little quilted rug, you know, when it's sort of like a patchwork effect that you've got on there. A uh, bit of doodling. Then you've got your script on there as well, so your abstract uh, 
bump that you've got on there, and then you have actually got your grunge as well. It's absolutely beautiful with your circles. Uh, more, more, one, more than one stencil uh, that you're getting in there. I know you're getting four, but you are getting sort of more than one in the collection uh, for twelve pounds and ninety nine pence. Eight nine one seven nine five is your item number uh, for that. Then. We're moving on to circles and honeycombs now. Oh, I know. Circles, honeycombs, and crackle is what we've got here. Uh, you get your circles in there. Uh, oh, we've got your bubbles. Do we think this one's bubbles? I would go bubbles, honeycomb, crackle, circle. Well, that's what we're going with. That's what, that's what we think it is, because they're all numbered, you see. They've all just got numbers. They haven't really got names. I think I think we've come up with the names. But if I stood here and went seven zero two six four three, then that will get you eight five six four eight five six three eight five zero eight and eight five zero seven. It wouldn't have the same ring to it, and everyone would get very confused. Can you imagine reading all that and then reading twelve pounds and ninety nine pence? It's a little bit too much. So we've named them for you as well. Uh, then from that set. Uh, we move on to your tree set, we move on to your outdoor scene uh, that you have here as well. Because it's more of your outdoorsy with your trees and your brickwork that's in there. Uh, I reckon, I, it says shapes and stones, but this read to me reminds me of like a little cobbled path uh, that you've got running down as well. Or if you turn it on its side, it could be like a little brick wall. Not this sort of brick though, sort of like a natural brick wall that you've got in there. Uh, they're all saying as well, um, you could go giraffe print if you wanted, or giraffe depending on where you're from. I'm giraffe, but our Molly Afflor went giraffe, Adam. It could be a giraffe print. It could be. It, it's giraffe, in it? It's Maldo, she's posh. She's from down south. She's very posh. Uh, so that is your giraffe print that you've got there. Lovely. I bet she says zebra rather than zebra. Anyway, you've got there as well. What? Glass. Oh, yeah, I thought it would be glass with you, not bar. Is it a bath or a bath? Uh, bath. Right then, let's move on. Uh, your cogs and that you've got in here, cogs and clocks that you've got, your brickwork and gears. Uh, once again, uh, there's so much you can do with these once you get them home. Uh, you can do like time flies when you're having fun. Hmm. Uh, so you can do your pocket watch designs that are already in there. Uh, mixed media, so you can sort of put your frames on the fronts of your cards as well, which are really, really beautiful. And then you can also go in with your gears as well, which is absolutely stunning. All of these stencils, it's not a pick and mix. You're getting all of them for 12 12 pounds and 99 pence. Absolutely stunning. Uh, right then, uh, let's quickly before we go to Karen, can I just quickly talk about the frames? Very busy for these at the moment. Your resin frame for 9.99, 460, 547 is your item number. I think I've, I think I've, give me, I think I twisted quick. <laughs> uh, they are. I'm your not doing CPR. Social distancing. <laughs> so. I've already got a cute angina. I could go at any time. Adam, it's not broken. No, it's not broken. And it's res resin, and it's not broken. I think I am, but <laughs> I've pulled something. So, at nine pounds and ninety-nine pence, forty percent of the stock has already gone. Who's stuck them up with blue tack? Not me. <laughs> Everyone, after this boardroom, socially distanced, we need a meeting. Karen, what are you up to? So, I've uh, put the, resi uh, the resin frame on. This is still a bit damp. And these are made with the flower making paper that's on the, the show, including these. <laughs> Stop laughing. Just I'm not crying. <laughs> Just, this crying. is a disaster. It's never a disaster with you. <laughs> well, it's, it's start to finish. Can you see here where I've got the glue from the glue gun? Just a quick tip, if you just put your heat gun on it, makes it all disappear. Ah, oh, that's a good little... Does it not know that one? Good little tip. And then the flower making paper, what we're going to do is we've got a bit of spritzer. Just get that shook up to get it out at bottom. You're all shook up. Oh. I knew a man like that once. Uh, have you ever been there? No, it's one place I would love to go, oh, Graceland. Oh, yeah, it's beautiful. It's on my bucket list to go. Beautiful. Took Jacob when he were about ten. And then put a little bit of blue in there. Oh, look at that. Homemade with uh, brushes. <laughs> Homemade with brushes. We've got pearly winks coming up this afternoon. Yes. Or this morning, 11 o'clock. Yes, I've never been fortunate enough to have any, but... Uh, and there we go, and we put a picture in there. That is, well, and that that is beautiful. And that's the start of my journal. I will cover the inside of it. 
but it just shows how easy you can put something together and that's going to be really hard wearing that and is. then put a nice picture that in there. Nice. Right then, let's, let's crack on with another demo. Yeah. Let's oh. get me money's worth. Oh, yeah, definitely. Quick, how long we got, Adam? Uh, we have ten minutes left. Ten minutes left. Let's do a bit of a uh, bit of card bit, yeah? Got some... Da -da 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 -da. Do you need a minute? No, I just need... I've got my list. Look, I've got everything done now. I just need my list. Some ink. I Let's... can't... They're laughing at me in my account because I can't see actually what you do. Now we've got these screens in place, you see. I can't really see through unless I get really close, but it looks a bit creepy. So I'm literally just lurking and then they all fog up and I can't see. <laughs> but we're still keeping it's our like when you've got your glasses on, on isn't it? With your mask, it's like when you've got your glasses on. So we're going down into doing... We'll, we'll pop it in. We've got one in pink. Again, all I'm going to do is just... Uh, let's get another. another. So we've got our gold chalk yes, paint. On the show. Don't forget that you can mix these. And then we've got some inks. Uh, we need a brush. Let's get a yellow brush. And then we need a stencil. And I've done it with... Um, I did it with the... Your brickwork. That's the one. <laughs> so if you're doing into these, obviously we had a big ink lesson yesterday. Would it be like, if you're using inks, would it be like your stays on and you need to go onto your frames and things like that? Um, I've done that. Uh, I've done the frames with oxides oh, okay. and then heat set it. Oh, right, so so what we're going to do is, uh, you would normally put it on with with um, stays on with the stays on, but I'm not. A, I'm not as good at stays on as. Uh, just going to pop this into the centre. Um, I'm not as good with stays, and I, as everybody knows, I get glue, I get everything all over. And as you can see, I've popped that's it nice. there, and I'm going to build that up and move it along. And that's the thing with this stencil, it's quite repetitive, so you can go really big if you yes. want to do with it, if you want yes. to do a yeah. full sheet. Yeah. So I've just got some in there. Let's get some on here, and we will see if it will heat up. We'll see if it'll um, heat dry, yeah? It's the is inks. Is that, is that your shopping list next year? No, that's telling me what I need to oh, do. Okay. <laughs> because I'm so dizzy, I forget. I like, What's that little list next to that? It's telling me what I need. Gold paint, sticker cutout, fine line, a grunge stencil. I need grunge stencil as well. It's because, you know, you've, you've been with me when I'm going, uh, what Hello, do I need true. now, what do I need now? The demos are amazing. They really are. I will forget a demo. If I don't, even if I practice it in break, I'll forget it. No, I'm not that. I have to write everything now. I, I have, have to write. What about I, you have to see my arm when I'm going, to, going upstairs. What do I need? This, this, this. <laughs> I have to write it on my arm to get upstairs, because if not, I go up and downstairs about 15 times. <laughs> And it's not like uh, going up to the top and down to the bottom. I'll go up three, four, I've got... Oh, I forgot. Go back down three. Oh, it's that, oh and then I'll go up four, and, and it's like it's like a yo-yo. It is true. Though. They're all sending me, you need a bungalow, it'd be easier. <laughs> I'll probably end up at the back door and yeah. forget where I'm going. At the back, in the back, in the back, So, the back. you can see on the resin here, the is inks, just from the uh, little ones. I've just heat set it and it's actually set on onto there. So we've got that there. What we're going to do is we're going to put some, well, well, let's flower shaping paper, get some ink on that, tulicone it, tulicone it, the colour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, we've got an email. I was reading the email, but I don't think we've covered it. What's that? It's from Tracy from New England in the US. Hello, Tracy. Hi, Trace, in the New England in the US. Like, look, it's 10 to 4 in the morning over in New England. Well, good morning. I all got up. It's what? Yeah, it's 24. Yeah. We usually we used to always be over there at Thanksgiving. Well, happy Thanksgiving, first of all, from me to you. Uh, yes. New England. Oh, I knew I was big in America. I always knew it. Uh, she says uh, she called our customer service team because if you haven't got the email and you don't know how to get through to the studio, give customer service call. They'll bring that aspect. She says um, Adam from the 7 a.m. show has asked what is the process for cutting out stamps, and she has said that it's called mitering. 
Oh, you might eat your corners. Yeah, that was for the, the sleeping yeah, bit. We might the corners, but when you go around the uh, the circle, we didn't know what it meant when you went around the curb. The fabric, but thank the you, Tracy. Well, we, fabric, we're with yes. you. I know what you mean, yes. Tracy. And hello in America. That was very, very nice. Somebody loves you somewhere, don't they? Oh, it is. It's, 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 ten, it's ten to three, apparently. It's ten to three. It's not ten, ten to three. Four. I remember a ten to three this morning. Oh, we're very oh we've used grunge, haven't we, this New morning? England. We've used the, the grunge. The Manilow song there. I'm so excited to go and see him next year. Oh, you'll see him next year. Me and Jan year. Janice are going. I oh, yeah. watch Barry Manilow at the O2. Bless you. Oh, wait. So, what I'm going to do now is the outer edge. And I, I would have used the grunge one, but we used it on that one, so we'll use uh, we'll, we'll use a different one, yeah? Okay. I'm just going to show you quickly how to do it with a little bit of the chalk paint. Don't forget these mix as well. I've been mixing colours, so some of the pinks and uh, pale, green, uh, pale greens and that, they've all been mixed. And all I'm doing is just doing a background with a little bit of paint. And I don't want anything in particular. I'm not worried how it goes. Because it's just for decoration. It's just to take your eye to the centre. You know, when you're doing yeah. your composition, you. just to take your eye to the centre. The grunge one looks much better, but I've already got that dirty. That's going to have to be scrubbed in, uh, in interval. I'm very good at making things very dirty. Interval? Where were you? The theatre? <laughs> well, yeah, because I'm with you. I've been with you. I might as well be well, in the theatre. What are you trying to say? I, love... I was complimenting you. I love it when you and John are in, because we all just stand around and gossip. <laughs> I was complimenting We technically don't really do much work when the three of us are in together. I was complimenting you. No, it's all right. I'll take that compliment. It was I'm, a compliment. theatrical. I was say, I'm over the top. How dare you? <laughs> I'm not over the top. I just don't know what. Well, my brain doesn't work the same as my mouth, you know. My mouth just goes away on its own. Well, I can't say. Do you have the same problem? <laughs> Cuts deep. Uh, a flower making paper again that's uh, on the website. I'm not helping you down the stairs from the loft that we're in at the moment. You can carry your own stuff down. <laughs> Are we in an attic? Yeah, I usually do. <laughs> oh, yeah, we're in the attic. I put some little that. flowers onto it with some leaves that if you put them right way around. I'll open the window get some air in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're locked shut. Health and safety, that is right. Well, there. that's in case I climb up and fall out at windows. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> yeah, I'd have to climb up though, wouldn't I? Well, you would, you would. I don't think you'd get to the ledge, to be honest. <laughs> I told you we started putting things in our cupboards when kitchen cupboards when Jacob got to fifteen and could reach back at top shelves. Never That's been used till he got to fifteen. There's still condensed milk on that top shelf that you can't reach. There's been there for years. <laughs> and if he's playing games with me, he sticks it all to the back of it. <laughs> uh, we've got uh, two minutes. Two minutes, and all I've got to do is just. Pop that one on there. Look at that. And this is what crafting's about. Having fun, having a laugh, having a chat, having the, a gothic. The gold there, I've painted the gold on. Stick that onto there, cut round it. One day at a time. Pop Very that there. The and there we go. But Look that's the that. one that I've done there. But you can see the grunge, but the paint is absolutely glorious. It is glorious. A bit like you. Oh, thank you, You're sweetheart. glorious. What, what Love a, you too. What a, what a seven o'clock this show has been. It's been a beautiful show with beautiful products and be beautiful products. <laughs> and Karen. Uh, and Karen. <laughs> Karen. <laughs> I'm only teasing. Uh, yes, we've only got a minute left. Jeez, I love a dearly, dearly. I can say these sort of things with my uh, We've got paints on the show, the chalk paints that we've already got here as well. £9.99, 881977. There are eight, uh, there's eight of them all together. There's sets of four. You've got your gold, your greys in there, which are beautiful, your silvers in there as well. Uh, the next set of colours, you've got your gold, your silver, your red, and your greens in here. Beautiful for Christmas, uh, beautiful for all year round as well. Uh, £9.99. And last but no means, at least at uh, Miati Bulls. 
which is me happy at leave it love leave it uh, which is me it's too early happy hour for nine pounds and 99 pence you get two jugs two jars is what you're getting uh, for all these but you've only got five minutes to get it is what you got five zero six eight three one is your item number don't you go anywhere there's so much more to shop for thank you karen love it's been a thank pleasure. you you're making me grunt you be careful i'll get a mop don't you go anywhere Yes, indeed. Don't go anywhere. I'm with him at 12 o'clock. I cannot wait. Crafts 2 One Day Special uh, with our John. Then it's me and Pearly Wings. I think I might be demoing. Hi, I'm Ali from Ali Stitch Fingers. Um, I've been sewing most of my life. I absolutely love sewing. I've been with the Chanda now from the very beginning, really. That's when I started to go there. The Chanda family are lovely people to work with, and I'm really enjoying my time with them. Designing is a big part of the journey uh, for me as well. I, I love going out and finding the fabrics to use in the projects and bringing them to you. I love the designing process from start to finish and then the finished project is just the icing on the cake. So make sure you don't miss out, come and sew with me on a chanda. Have you heard of Hachanda Freedom? Did you know that as a Hachanda Freedom member, you could be making savings on every order you place? For just £5.97 a month, you will benefit from selected Freedom member discounts and complimentary standard delivery on every order you place. You will also receive our exclusive Hachanda Freedom members badge, regular newsletters, giveaways and crafty updates. If you shop with a Chanda more than twice a month, then Freedom is for you. Don't forget, your Freedom membership is flexible, so you can pause it if you're going away, or you can cancel it at any time. So what are you waiting for? Give us a call or head to the website, quoting item number 888888, and join her Chanda Freedom today. Hello, my name's Kay from Indigo Blue and we've been established for seven years and together with my husband Alfie, we design and manufacture our own in-house red rubber stamps. We also have our own range of paints, lushes and stencils. We're so proud that we've now got a reputation for such high quality products and the detail that we can manage to get in our stamps. What I really love about Hachanda is I get to demonstrate lots of different techniques for you to understand how to use our products and hopefully inspire you. I've got loads of fantastic ideas buzzing around in my head so I can't wait to get those filtered into our products and out to you at home. So grab a cup of tea, join me and the team from Indigo Blue on Hachanda. Hi there, my name's Leona. I'm a presenter, a guest and a crafter here at Achanda. I got into crafting years ago. Ever since I've been crafting since I was a child and I absolutely love it. I love my job, I love the presenting side because I get to meet loads of really inspirational people. And that's just the beauty of this. There's always something new to learn. There's always something that you want to get into. It's fabulous. My Let Leone Lou show on Achanda is also fantastic. It's my weekly highlight. I get to work with loads of really cool brands, loads of fantastic products, and again, I'm always learning. And I do get loads of wonderful viewers getting in touch as well, which is obviously a highlight of our job. I hope you can join me on my Let Leone Lou shows every Wednesday, 11 a.m. and 2 p.m. Hi, I'm Hayley. Join me for some amazing Fabric Freedom shows. Fabric Freedom design all their fabrics here in the UK and they design them with quilters in mind. So they're really good at picking out those unidirectional prints. Really nice and small prints so you can work on smaller patchwork projects. And paste prints as well, which is one of their signature fabrics. 
They do lots more fabrics besides quilting cottons. So tune in to the Fabric Freedom Shows here on Hachanda. Good morning. Uh, it is time for not the one day special. <laughs> oh. Hi, John. Oh, look at this screen. I, know. I, I keep saying this, but I, I do feel like I've got to keep putting 10 pences in it. I know, right? Otherwise, the shutter comes down. <laughs> That's hilarious. Yeah, now, right, so it's super busy last night. The one day special sold out, but we've got a contingency plan. We have, yes. yes. I, I hate people missing out because I sit at home myself, mm -hmm. watch shows, and then we don't get on order quickly enough and I miss out. So we've tried to put something on, and this is literally this is two pieces of foam yes. in one colour different from the one day special. So okay. that is all that's different in this. But if this one goes, then it will be very, it will be different again. Okay, lovely stuff. So, um, do you want to tell us about this foam? Because it's so mouldable, I and mean, we've got some amazing samples here. It is. The, the, the thing I love about this foam, we were talking about it earlier. Yeah. The way the foam is made, it's, it's all the same foam. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't matter sort of what name it's given, it's all the same foam. It's all about how thick it is. Right, okay. Now, it's all cut off a loaf, and we have ours done. I think it's 0 0.2, which is the thinnest you can get. Yeah. And that means that you can do this. So you can mould this in your hands. So it feels like a solid sheet. Yeah. But when you stretch it, like stretching a jumper, okay. or like I do every morning trying to put a T-shirt on, you know, put my <laughs> arms in and pull to <laughs> make it big enough. Yeah. You, can you see there how it's all fluted? Yeah, that's cool. And that's fixed and permanent. Right. So that means that you don't have to put heat to it. You don't have to have any special tools. You don't have to have any ball tools. So if you get the sort of the, the Wildstock's last bundle, yes. you have everything in there you need. So you're going to get mm -hmm. two sheets each of 30 different colours of foam. Amazing. But you're going to get the dies. You're going to get the stamens. Oh, yes. So all you actually need to mm -hmm. do this is the foam, a die, some stamens, and your fingers and a bit of glue. Excellent. Because you just so fine that you can literally, I mean, you can see, I can keep stretching that. I don't have to put any heat gun on it or anything, but look how far yep. that's curled. And that's what makes making your flowers so, so easy. And, and so effective. They look so real. So you can see the lovely colours that you're getting here of the foam. As John mentioned, you're also getting the dyes. So the beautiful flower dyes. There you go. Uh, and also, look at all those stamens. Oh, 96 stamens? 96, wow. and that's almost, that's 96 wired stamens. Each stamen has at least six to eight heads on it. Right, okay. So, I mean, you've got a board there. Oh, I have, yes. With but... just, and that's all eight bunches, and each bunch has 12 in it. But if you just separate one out, it's got all those different heads in it. So we're not talking about 96 sort of individual heads. We're got talking you. about 96 groups of them. It's crazy. Amazing. Look at that. And then, as I said, uh, we've also got those fabulous dyes. And we've got oodles of fabulous samples again. Shall we have a little look? Look, I mean, just how, how much it finishes off the cards is just... Oh, well, it's not just for cards. Obviously, canvases, all sorts of different things. Or just make bouquets, but it's beautiful. And it's very tactile as well. It really is. It, it feels so much more realistic, I think, sometimes. The, the great thing is I love making paper flowers, but a paper flowers, there's only so far you can mould them before you crack. Yeah. So on this next one you've yeah. got, oh, yeah. this is the um, poppy done in the red with the black on it. But you see the swirl of the leaf like you would in a poppy. Absolutely. Whereas when I do it with paper, they have to be crumpled. So it gives you so much more tactile, such a more beautiful way of doing it. Yeah, they are absolutely stunning. Again, look at these. Absolutely beautiful. So please do check out your baskets on the Wild Stocks last here. Um, there we go. We are 60% of the stock gone on the Wild Stocks last. I'm, I'm, who is it? These? These yours? They're not mine, no. I wonder whose these are. I think they might be Janice. Oh. <laughs> so let's hope Janice can drive in safely this morning. 
<laughs> just, I was really put off by that. I was like, whose glasses are they? <laughs> right then, so uh, as we said, lots of stock already gone of the um, Wild Stocks last. Uh, two payments of £24.93. So that's such good value, isn't it? There you go. Um, item number is 590871. £31 saving. I don't know how you're doing it, but we're very grateful that you are. Yeah. Well, normally the foam, when I've bought this before we did it, yeah. it was over a pound a sheet. Right. So I worked it out that this pack of just the foam would be at least £60. Wow. Before okay. you start adding the stamens in. And yeah. the stamens, the bunches like that, I was saying to Janice last night, I've paid for similar stamens, £5 for a pack of those. Uh -huh. And that's what I would expect. That was the standard price. Yeah. So we're talking the actual value in there is absolutely crazy. Amazing. I love it. Uh, 590871, as we said, is the item number. Please get this before this one sells out. Um, next, then, we've got some more. Now, I love the way you do your dies and stamps that match. I just love it because it makes life so much easier. And like you said, then you, you get the process out of the way and then you can be more creative. You can. I, I think the actual mechanics of doing the cutting and things like that to me is the boring bit of crafting yeah the fun bit is actually doing the creating so the idea was with these that it's really simple one stamp one die will give you at least on each one eight or nine individual parts of the flower or individual uh -huh. flowers and it fits on a six card so again each of these stamp and dies will go four times on a piece of a4 wonderful so if you can sort of see I've, I've got the board here yeah but you can actually see on this the way that it works if I put it down so I've actually got out here my, my holly plate, but you've got the corners, you stamp that, you lay the die over matching corner to corner and cut, and you'll get all those pieces cut out. If I got it down the right way, then it would help. There we go. Perfect. You get all those pieces cut out in one pass, and you'll get that four times on A4 card. It's very, very good indeed. Look at that. So we've got some samples again here just to show you the difference, and I love that you've popped them on the tags, which we have on the show, by the way. Uh, there you go. So you can see the different designs. They're so pretty, aren't they? Look at what they make. Absolutely beautiful. I've got another board here, again, just so that you can um, have a little look. And then... More samples you've done for us. Look at that. That's stunning. Yeah, and it's just literally done out of paper and coloured. It, it, they make such an impact, and I think they're far more realistic. Mm. And it's great you can make your fantasy flowers, but you can get some really nice, realistic, detailed-looking flowers on there. Yeah, they're beautiful. Uh, two payments, then, if you want to spread the cost of £23.47. Item number is 460134. Now, I haven't seen this before. No, heart box. we've never done the full collection together, but the heart box actually sold out. Okay. Um, we, um, it was on a show last year, and oh. we'd actually got the advent calendar, of which you've got them all piled up there. So there you've got okay. made a sort of heart purse out of them. But these were all on a Christmas tree, but I thought I'm not going to ask them to drag a Christmas tree out to do it. <laughs> They'll be um, out soon, though. <laughs> yeah, but it actually sold out. But whilst I think people know at home we've been doing the warehouse clearance shows this year. Yeah. While we've been doing that, we've been clearing through the, the warehouse yeah. and basically finding boxes of stock that we thought we'd sold out. Amazing. So this is actually, we've brought this back simply because we managed to find a few more and it has sold out previously. Oh, so pleased then. So, oh, I've got the boards here. Let's have a little look at the dies. Um, we are half the stock gone of this bundle. So you've also popped in some lovely decorative dies yeah, too. So this gives you the full collection. So you've got all the decorative dies that can be used either lids for the box or bases or can be used with the sides but they just make the most beautiful cards as well so it's a total collection of hearts and across all three die sets yeah not one size heart is repeated oh great stuff so they will all mat and layer together and work together so you've got the butterfly heart the oh, leaf heart look. you've got the little mini butterfly strip you're getting everything you need in there it's a total collection this is fabulous i really like this there you go let me pop this down carefully she says I'm going to knock the set over. But like you said, not just for the boxes, for beautiful cards as well. I mean, look at this one. Oh, that's just beautiful. Oh, can you imagine that? Full of gorgeous truffles. Yeah, exactly. I mean, this is a great... I mean, if you do, I mean, I used to make... I say this every year and I haven't made any for years. I used to make Bailey's chocolate fudge oh, oh. Um, for friends at Christmas when I lived in Spain because yeah. you couldn't buy a lot there. Right. But that would have been the perfect box for them. I always struggled on packaging. Yeah. And that you can make the box up literally and there's a full two-hour craft-along video of making the box and cards to go with oh, it cool. on the Hachanda website. Oh, is there? Yep, so there's a full on the craft-along section. Yep. If you click on there, it's still on there, it's still live, and it's a full two-hour show of me and Catherine 
working through all of these dies. So it's Amazing. really worth a watch if you get oh, it. Oh, lovely stuff. All right then, £34.97. pence. Again, you've got a whopping saving of £17 there. 586741 is your item number. Um, then, um, we've popped out some tags this time for you to see. They are so, these, useful. Very useful. I, I have got nearly all of my card stock at home cut in these just so I can flick through colours and look at them. That's a good idea. Absolutely love the tags. And again, this is a product we'd sold out before, but we managed to find some more. Um, but on here, you're going to get the three different sizes of tag. Yeah. But you also get the little photo or vellum corners. Uh-huh. So you can see there, you've got the little white insert. Yeah. So you've got lit four little dies in there. Yeah. Which will cut you out the corners for mm. you to slip your parchment or your vellum or your groovy things oh, that's into. good. So I think there's a couple of samples with it on, but just mm -hmm. most useful set I've ever used, but I'm going to try and use that in the demo. Amazing. I'm just trying to look for some of the samples that you mean. There'll be a square one. And this is, oh, this is one this of my one? favourites. This was yep. made by Leslie Lakin. And she actually made this using my Christmas collection this year. Clever. And she just mixed everything together and she said it was the greatest way to sort of try out what she was going to put on her Christmas cards. Wow, how good is this? So she could try different ideas in a smaller space and then go, yeah, I like that, I'll go with that. Oops, sorry, I will pick but that up. But a brilliant <laughs> reference library, I thought. Yeah, that was wonderful, isn't it? Um, now, you said there's a sample somewhere. There is a square one lower down with a piece of sort of parchment on it. Not that one. There we go. Um, mm. Oh! Yeah, this one. It. That's it. Okay. Um, I've got to say thank you to a lady who comes to my workshops last year who did me the parchment. But if you can see, that's not actually glued in. That's just held in with the four corners Cheers, that come in the it? die set. Very, very, very useful. I think I've got this upside down. Apologies. Um, right, fourteen ninety nine. Again, great die set for you, um, and a great price. Uh, Two seven one eight seven eight is the item number. And last but not least, are ah, the Mica Magic. These are so pretty. They are. They, I mean, I could just sit and look at them, to be perfectly honest. Yeah. They're absolutely beautiful colours. But, of course, Mica Magic is a pig, highly pigmented mica. Right. It is in a sort of cream powder almost. OK. It's not wet. It's not solid. Right. So what you can actually do is, um, I think you've actually, there are actually some boards of all the colours, but I don't know where I put them. Um, I've got them somewhere. Um, but basically, actually... Here's a view here. So just to make it really difficult for Mr. Webster. <laughs> That's good. I ah, know I'm only but joking. This is what you get with Mica Magic. So this is straight on to embossed card. So straight on. But you can see here how it reacts differently between whether it's on white yep. or whether it's on black. Right. Yeah, so it's it does, like having it? all of these colours of gilding wax. But, of course, it works perfectly because it's dry on your flower foam. Got you. So normally a lot of products to colour foam... Oh, they're um, wet, you have to be solvent based because right. of course your foam is non-porous okay but the mica magic will stick to it ah i so like it's this science coloring it, so it's a brilliant way to do it really That's, is love that so you kind of get in two for one if you think about it like that um right then so it's 24 pounds and 98 pence item number is 430414 uh now we also have a stamp cleaning mat here it is details just coming onto the screen uh, that is 9 99 42161 is your item number. Next then, we've got some daubers. Um, they go on the ends of your fingers, very, very useful. Oh, you're also getting a blending petal. That is 18 99 Item number is 422944. Then we've got pigment ink pads. Here they go. Oh, these ones. Yeah, the shape like the petals. I like that. Yeah. Uh, £22.98, 904392. And last but not least, we've got the watercolour media mat. Is that the one you use? That's the one I use. Ah, yeah. This is my product of the year. I keep saying really? that, but this is just absolutely amazing. It's, um, it's heat resistant. Right. So it's heat resistant, mm -hmm. um, it wipes clean. I mean, this I've had so long and I've literally muckied it. Things like <laughs> Mica Magic, which stick to everything, yep. don't stick to this, this it just really, wipes yeah. off. But I guess it means I can use my glue, hot glue gun on it. Look, there's some glue dripped, watch. Just peels, peels off. Right off. Excellent. No effect. So I don't have to have lots of different tools to do different jobs. That's good. Do all my ink shading on it, and when it's really mucky, put it in the dishwasher. Oh, dishwasher? Do you know yeah. that's one of my favourite words ever? Yes, it is. <laughs> it is one of mine. It was. We had this discussion of should we have the extra cabinet put on the house for the dishwasher? Yeah. And I went, yes, <laughs> we will. Excellent. But there's no discussion on that one. <laughs> Love it. 
But, right, yeah. over to you then, cool. John. So what I've done is I've actually given you... You have? ...some um, of these cut as well. I prepped them last night and left them out for you. Um, so what I've done is I've cut the peony that's inside the set. Now, I put the peony and the rose in there because these are the easiest ones to start with with the foam. OK. Yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to shade mine just to show a little bit of difference. And I don't have a second set of this. No, that's so, all right. You know, I know with, it's just going to be pink. Yeah, with COVID, we're a little bit difficult on it. But what yeah. I'm going to do is just take my daub. It doesn't matter what colour. This is what I love about Mica Magic because that's black going into the red, but no, red, no black in the red at all. Right. And I'm just Good going stuff. to darken the edge. Now, I'm using this cyclamen pink. So can you see there, it's hardly showing? Yeah. Yeah? But it's gone on. That's on. What I'm actually going to do now is get some black. And you would never think to use black with flowers. But this is one of the hardest ones to get hold of. So taking the black, any of the dark intense colours, not carefully, mm -hmm. and I'm just going round. I'm only going to do... I'm going to do one of the smaller ones. Again, straight in with the black. Okay, there yep. we go. All good. Really simple, yeah? Yeah. I'm then going to lighten the centre. So I'm going to go straight into the white with my black one. And it doesn't contaminate it? doesn't contaminate. Watch. How does that work? Because it is self-sealing and it's mica. Mica what? is a... We call this mica magic because yeah. it's magic. Yeah, yeah. It mica is. is effectively a stone or it's a natural product. Uh -huh. And what it actually does is it lays flat and it reflects light. Yeah? Yeah. So what happens is you can see that white works over black. And the reason is because, of course, it's got mica coating in that, which is reflecting back the light. This is fascinating. So when we I put the it. pigment with it, so yeah. I can go there, so I can white that centre. Right. Even add a little bit of white onto the end of the black. But again, I could go into the black. You need to work some off, but straight into the white. No black in the white. Fascinating. At all. Love it. I love so, things like this. But all you're doing is, this is what I love, you don't have to be skilled. If you look at those, they, are, they don't look as if I've spent, you know, they, I'm not, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I've put blobs on. <laughs> but if you want to grab yours. Yeah, will okay. do. Am I what, grabbing the largest yeah, one? Yeah, so grab the largest one. And what we're going to do, we're going to start with one petal. Yep. Yeah. And all I'm going to do is grab it between finger and thumb and pull, like I'm stretching a jumper. Okay. And pull. And I'm going to work my way around the petal and just pull each one out okay can you see there already how that's changed yeah how that suddenly starts to look like a petal cool yeah so I'm gonna go around and I'm gonna do the next one and this is what I wanted to show what happened was Sam did some samples for me oh did he and he, he as I said I said this a lot he'll probably kill me when I get home he doesn't take instruction well Okay. <laughs> he likes to do it his way, Ooh. which is the, I'm the same. <laughs> so I showed him this, and that was it. Yeah. He then cut loads, and he made the wreath, the yellow wreath that's on your this side. This one? Yes. And so, that is the first so time he'd ever done flower foam. Amazing. Sam, this is fab. He made the wreath, he wrapped the ribbon round, he did everything. Yeah. But that is his first attempt. Uh-huh. And they all look he did, brilliant. For the orangey ones, he sprayed it with some of the pastel quick dry sprays from Isink. Right. To give the some of the, half of them an orangey shade. That looks beautiful and so effective as well. So I've done Good one. On you, Sam. I'm going to take the next one and I'm going to do exactly the same. So all you're doing is a rinse and repeat. Yep. Going round each one. But if you can see now the mica starts to make sense because all it's done when it's pulled out is darken. That suddenly looks blended. Yeah, it does, doesn't but it? But this is what it looked like before. Right, look at the difference. So as you sort of heat activate it almost with your fingers, yep. it doesn't wipe off. You see, adds a little bit of shine to my fingers, that's it. But it stays on permanently. So I'm going to do one more, the little one, and again, same thing again. Yep. Just going round, and then what we're going to do, and this is why I wanted to add the stamens in. Got you. Is you need to have the st the we've never been able to put the flower foam, the mica magic, and the stamens together on the same show. Okay. But all three of them were designed to, to work together. Brilliant stuff. But it's always a case of you know what it's like, and certainly this year, deliveries have been so yeah ra random. But again, that's all I've done. Yeah. So what I'm going to do. I'm just going to go to each petal and I'm just going to pull it like I'm stretching a jumper in the middle. In yeah? the middle. Okay. Just to bring each petal out a little bit and flatten it off. And you see? So there, 
So we've gone from that to that. Right. So the same again with the others. One, two, You're three. Just stretching the petals. And I always think it's important to show you sort of me doing it in real time. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, you can catch this show on Rewind. Of course. So when you get it home, just watch this and do it along as you're doing. But again, see how that colour's now gone. That's amazing. And it looks so, again, it's, it's starting so to look realistic. really real. Yeah. So all I'm going to do now is take my stamen and I'm going to slide off the calyx and there's a calyx on every single one. And that is the little base of the flower there. Pick it back up. What's it called? It's called a calyx. Oh. C-Y-L-A-X or L-A-L-I-X. I'm learning today. You know I'm terrible. Today. Um, but that basically is what you see at the bottom of a flower. Right, To okay. hold it on. So we put that to one side. Okay. We take our stamen, and this is what I love. I mean, the colours in there, and they're, they're all been wired on for you. Yep. And even been hand-wrapped in florist foam. Amazing. So this has all been wrapped in florist foam to cover it. So take the smallest. And I'm just going to push through the middle, and that's why you want the wired stamens, because they you. push straight through, yep. and pull it up. There we go. All but you the see way up. Already. Now, I'm not going to add any glue to this, because you haven't got any glue. Yeah. Yeah? But then I take the next one, mm -hmm. just put it through, and again, pull it up, and just rotate it. But again, see how suddenly you're starting to get a real exotic bloom? It's lovely. And then take the third one going to put that on and there we go but you can see there that looks so beautiful but all I do then is take the calyx yep thread that back through and I would add a little bit of glue either hot glue or um, a little bit of the craft artist glue glaze because that's a quick grab sort of solventy based glue and we just put that on the end see how that finishes the end yeah it like does. you would get very but pretty. there we've got our flower. Oh, nice. I'm just, I'm, I'm just catching you up, John. But it's, that's really simple. So we've gone from that to that, but with no skill and no wonderful skating skills or anything. Fabulous. Thank you, John. That's I very right. much enjoyed making that. There you go. Really pretty. Stick some ink but there you it. go. But look, the only difference between yours and mine is that you didn't have any colouring. Yeah. It's so pretty. But it still Thank works, you. and that's what I wanted to show. But that's the, and I know that that's genuinely the first time you've ever made one. It is. It is indeed. <gasps> oh, right. I've got to do some numbers then, John. Sorry, okay. I'm having too much fun. Right, 70% then of our Wild Stocks last bundle has gone. Um, if you are just joining us, um, the official one-day special sold out yesterday. Um, but we've got... So basically, the only difference, though, with this one is there's a couple of different colours. And it, in fact, is it that one that you've got? No, what's actually changed is... Oh, have I made that up? You Sorry. would have had two sheets of black. OK. So, which, again, is useful for some, but not the most. OK. They've been replaced with two sheets of the cyclamen pink. Oh, it's that one. OK. So, Good basically, stuff. the we had a pack, an original Christmas pack, yes. that had all of the reds and the, bre reds and the greens in. Yeah. So, but we put two of those in, one with the original with black in and Got one you. with the other colour in, yeah. with the pink in. The black one's gone, so right. we've replaced it now okay. with a pack that has the pink in. But it means that, that we designed it specially, so you actually get in here, you get more of the green, so you actually get four of the dark green right. and four of the light green, which you need for your leaves. That's good, though. That's all good. So I like that. Um, and then you're also, as you can see, you're getting the fabulous dyes, beautiful dyes and you're also getting 96 96 of those fabulous stamens they are beautiful again i can show you the board and then i'll show you lots more samples i didn't show you that many um earlier on but the flowers that you can achieve are absolutely incredible okie dokie so let's have a look at some more do you want to see the dyes actually very quickly because uh, you've done fabulous boards for us there you go so oh they've moved slightly but anyway you get the idea so we've got the fabulous dyes as well. Look at that. Oh, I mean, just look at that. That is absolutely and, and stunning. And that one is literally just made up using the pink foam that's underneath. Yeah. And then again, it's been sprayed yeah. with the, um, the Isink Quick Dry Shiny Sprays. Yeah, love those. Just to give that little bit of coloration. I just used a little bit of the black licorice mm -hmm. one in that. Did and you? And a little bit of the white pearl. Yeah, really light spray over with black. Yeah. Because yeah. black doesn't exist. Okay. This is what I was taught at college. Black and white don't exist. Are they shades or something? They are basically, black is an absence of light and white is light. 
Right. So <laughs> we were taught that they don't. So what you're doing when you add black to it, which we've sort of made, yes. all you're doing is darkening. Okay. And um, one of the great things I learned when I was doing colouring class years ago is black is my friend. Right. Because we all avoid black, and black is one of the most useful shades or tones to use because mm. it just adds darkness to it. It's really. I am learning loads this morning. This is a good morning. Oh, right. And also, while you're looking at samples, look at that. That's fabulous again. We are three quarters of the stock of our wild stocks last gone. And with that one, Alex. Oh, yeah, go for it. The leaves yeah. have actually been made with the green foam. So the actual, oh, yeah, yeah. The, the leaves there have been made with the green foam, just coloured with brown and then tipped with a little bit of gold. It looks... Martine made that one. And stunning. then just the rolled roses in the brown. Yeah. But this is my argument on the foam. Yeah. It's great to have white foam. Uh-huh. It is. Yeah. But can you imagine trying to take white foam to that level of pink to right. then start to darken the edges? Yeah. Now, to me, it's better to have coloured foam and start with a colour and work it up yeah. than start with white and try and... I could never replicate that colour pink. OK. I could never replicate that colour green from white. So that is why it's really That's good why it's really important to have the colours. Lovely stuff. Um, and you can see there's a plethora of colour here. Again, another fabulous sample. That is just beautiful. Um, let's do one more. The brilliant sample, these. Hang on, have I got the right one? Oh, look at this one. Now that's made by the same lady yeah. who made your canvas that you had. Oh really? So this was made for me by Janet, but you can't have this one. No, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> you were very kind. I've yeah, I popped on Facebook that I've um, gifted but, yeah, me. This is making just using the rolled rose. Yeah, that's amazing. Look at that. Well, I love your work. <laughs> yes, thank you. Thank you, Janet Darrell, for that. She makes me some beautiful pieces. Yeah. She really does. And she does it herself. She's not mm -hmm. one of the angels. Oh. She just makes them. And when I see her at workshop, because look what I've made you now. Oh, and they're all, up in the, they're all up in the craft cave. Oh. But the problem with the one that you had, uh -huh. which has the flower foam flowers on it. It does as well. Because yeah. it's cold in there. The mm -hmm. acrylic was starting to crack. Oh. So it needed to go somewhere warmer, so oh, I know oh, you'll look you after know, it. You know yeah, I live I know. in the tropics. <laughs> it's a running joke here, seriously, because uh, I'm always cold. Right, anyway, so £49.85 is the price. Or, again, you can spread the cost to payments of twenty four ninety. Is that three? Hmm. OK. Uh, 598871 is the item number. No, it's 590871. Yeah, 871. No, I haven't got my eyes tested, Emily. Right, Don't over to you. Janice's glasses. Yes, maybe. It's probably a great prescription So what I thought me. I would do is I'm going to show you some leaves. OK. Because I think that's one of the difficulties. So I've taken... This is the dark green that comes in the two Christmas packs you get in the, in the sets. Yeah. Yeah. So, and I think it's so useful. So again, I'm going to fold it over and double it. Yeah? Yeah. Because okay. it's always better to cut two layers at once. And here I'm using... This is my um, holly dye. We have got this, I think, on the website or on the show um, with the stamp. Um, but it makes a really nice spray. So all mm, you do lovely. is normal, standard sandwich that you would use in your machine. OK. Yep. Nothing special. And I've bubbled, bubbled it over. So I'm just going to run this one now, through. Now, because when I looked at the flowers you'd left for me... Yeah. I think uh, there's three layers here. Like, how many layers do you reckon you can well, do? Well, I cut two as a standard. OK, yeah. When Sam did his, he cut four. Right. All right. Good um, stuff. But he was using a manual A5 machine. OK. Um, so, and I must be honest, I've been using a manual machine at home yeah. far more. It's interesting. Yeah, yeah, I think I like the actual feel of it. And I you do you seem mean. to get more tension. Um, Ooh, but yes, you can cut easily up to four layers, but I personally wouldn't cut one layer as it can just stretch it a little bit. Right. So I go for two. So here we go. Get my holly out. Now these never really work because the stamp comes with it. In paper you need the stamp, but in foam they work beautifully. Mm -hmm. So again, I've got two layers, but all I'm going to do this time is... Now, it's going to seem weird, Okay. but what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and start with some red of the mica magic okay so i'm going to put some red round and the thing is you usually find with leaves they've got a little bit of red in them mm -hmm. so i'm just going on and again not carefully i'm just going round and because i've got the great thing about the media mat is look the foam doesn't, doesn't move, move on it That's excellent. on a glass mat it moves all over the place yeah you're having to hold it this holds it in place so all i'm doing blobbing on red then I'm straight into the black, and again, I'm going to add a little bit of black on. Yep. Okay, same idea, just blobbing it round. Yeah. Oh, 
right, Mica Magic, 40% of the stock gone there. So, there you go, beautiful colours. So, you can see there, to me that's already starting to look. Mm -hmm. But all I'm going to do is take the, each leaf, fold it in half, and stretch it. Right. Yeah? Yeah, all Can good. you see there? That looks so real. Again, it's sort of blended now, hasn't yeah. it? Yeah, take each, because you colour before yeah. you shape. Right. Take each leaf, blend, bend it. So I'm pulling it, like I say, like a jumper. Yeah. But again, <laughs> see there? So real. Take this one, and again, just pull round. And then I'm going to take each one and twist into the centre. Yeah. Yeah, twist it round, like, um, like a bread tie. Oh, yeah, <laughs> like those, yeah. But you can see there already. Fabulous. So when I start to put that, oh, look at that. with my flower. So beautiful. You can see. I would just do a bouquet of these. It then just have to replace really, them. really works. So I'm going to, I'll do one more, uh -huh. and then I'll start to do a base. So again, coloured, pull. Pull each one out. What you're effectively doing is, if you think about it in nature, the actual stamen or stem that runs all the way through the middle is fixed. Yeah. And the leaves sort of blossom out from that. So all I'm doing is stretching that to give that folded look. Lovely shape. And again, yeah. fold that. Really simple. Then give them a twist. Right. Just to almost separate each leaf. But of course, because the foam, because you're stretching it and twisting it, mm -hmm. that will stay fixed. Excellent. So, one more. So, I'll do this one, and then if there's something you want to run through, and I'll get prepped, and we'll do a little tag for it to go on, okay. shall we? Okay, that sounds so like So, I'm a just going to do that. It shows how quick, once you've got the rhythm, it shows you, literally, how quickly you can do this one. So, I'm just going to twist it, but that, it takes no time at all, but remember, all leaves aren't identical, no, they're all individual. Nature, isn't it? So if you go, oh, I don't like that one, it doesn't matter, because in nature there'll always be a mangled one. Yeah, so if you tear one, there yeah. always will be. Well, I tore a little bit of my flower, but it didn't matter. No, it doesn't matter. If you look at the packaging for the peony stamp, mm -hmm. uh, for the peony die, yeah. the flower that's on there is the one I make a, f a product of each to go on the packaging. Yeah. It's actually torn. Oh, okay. So the flower on there, you can actually see is actually torn. There's two or three petals that are torn in there. You may need to pull it. Oh, there we go. You can see just below the stamen. See a tear? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But because it looks I put that on, natural. not because I, want, I was like, oh, I can't be bothered to make another one. Uh -huh. I did that because I wanted people to see that yeah. if you tear it, it still looks real because that's what real flowers look like. It's true. It is true indeed. All right, John, I'll leave you for a sec. Um, now, the mica magic. Look at this. Um, very busy this hour. You've got your basic brights and you've got what you're looking at there is the fabulous metallics. Really, really pretty. And I can't believe that they just don't contaminate. I just think that's amazing. That is magic. And a little goes a very, very long way. So these are going to last you a long time. Uh, £24.98 for these. Um, now, you can get them individually if you prefer. They're fourteen ninety nine each, but it's nice to have that £5 saving. And as we always say, as crafters, we just want it all anyway. Um, we're approaching half the stock gone. 430414 is your item number. Um, quick mention, one second, of the wild stocks last. Let me just go pop these back. Uh, we are, are we? Right. We're approaching limited stock. So you're getting all of the fantastic foam sheets you're getting 60 of those 96 stamens and you're also getting the die set seven dies in total um what other samples have i got here on the wild oh yes bundle, yeah the um elderflower that's in there that is the last of it oh right okay. so I, there may be another bundle coming if this goes but if you want the elderflower it's in this bundle once it's gone it's gone have I got a sample? Yeah. With I mean, the one elder. of the best ones is this sample here. Oh, okay. Now, I actually made that during one episode of QI. Oh, did you? <laughs> so this took from start to finish, less than, like, just about 35 minutes, to be honest. I love it, QI. Um, but um, it's literally just what it's half a sheet of the red. Yeah. And then I've done, and I did this last night, how to make it look like gypsophilia. But that's the elderflower in there. It's Beautiful. And all I've done is add little blobs of glue on with the fine glue applicator yep. and then dip it in the Crafts 2 snow. 
Lovely stuff. It and that makes fabulous. it look like you've got sort of baby's breath, as Janice called it, or Aww. gypsophilia, as I would call it. Yeah. But that literally took me about 35 minutes to make start to finish. Brilliant stuff. So there you go. You heard it from John. Once this is gone, it's gone. That lovely die set. Um, two payments if you want to spread the cost of, for the whole bundle of £24.93. Item number is 590871. Oh, we're now limited stock. Right, it's now or never. It's probably not going to be here for um, 12 p.m. So we'll see what we can do there. But do check out your baskets. Now, we've got more fabulous dyes and flowers um, here for you. So here you've got your camellia, your orchid and the hydrangeas. And it's um, stamps and dyes to match, which are marvellous. Now, are these the right samples for this one, John? Uh, yes. Good stuff. Right, let's have a little look. <laughs> There you go. Making sure we've got... I brought so many... I mean, uh, there are, for, under the counter, there are literally boxes and boxes still of samples it's I haven't wonderful. got out. It's wonderful. Yeah, but well, that's done. just... It cut in, in, like, crystal paper, the hydrangea. Yeah. But to me, it looks so different, but it's such a beautiful flower and Isn't classy it? flower. It's very beautiful. But this is using the stamp and the die together. OK. So all I've done is stamped it, die-cut it out on flower-making paper, the Crafts 2 flower-making paper. Yeah. And then just spritzed it with the eyes ink blue spray uh -huh. over the top, because you get that grey going into blue as you would get it. It is beautiful. Is this the right one as well? Yes, oh, and that's the see, same die again. I love. That's made by Mrs. Duck. Is it? Uh, where is Mrs. Duck? Mrs. Duck? In the world. She is in Coventry. Oh, is she? She's not in Spain? No, she's okay. not in Spain. Wendy's in Spain. Mrs. Wendy's Duck in Spain. is in Coventry. Okay. Sorry, I know that's a random question. That's I just fine. wondered. <laughs> sure she won't mind. <laughs> She's not been sent to Coventry. No. She just lives there. Um, yeah, here's, here's, here's one more. Beautiful, beautiful flowers, these. Absolutely stunning. Um, right, £46. Oh, there's a cheeky freedom discount, which I had not realised. Uh, it's a why not deal. £42.25 if you're a freedom member. And it's on Flexi Buy. 460134 is your item number. £21.13 on two uh, instalments if you're a freedom member. Something else that we've got for you, we've got this heart box, which is beautiful because I hadn't seen this before. Um, and you're getting all of the dies there to make those beautiful boxes or cards, of course. Uh, £34.97, 12 dies in total, 586741. Something else we've got for you are the Honesty Flowers. They're coming up onto the screen. £26.97, and here you've got 12 dies in total. Item number is 998408. And then we've got the Holly die and stamp set. Again, another beautiful collection. Um, these are so gorgeous. I mean, just seeing John make those are fabulous. 1999. Item number is 558720. There you go. Um, if you do want to show any pictures of any samples that you've been making, any cards, any canvases, we'd love to see. Uh, send your pictures to studio at hachanda.com or pop them onto Facebook. Over to you then, John. Right, OK, so what I thought I would do is, it's one of my favourite things. We've made a flower and we've made some leaves, but we want something to display them. We want to show yeah. them off. But we don't, you know, we don't, sometimes I think we want to show off the work. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to make a little tag card because I think it's the okay. easiest way sometimes to show off the work that you've done, yep. test things out. So I've got a piece, this is the Crafts 2 linen card, yep. just a piece of white card. I'm going to take the largest tag in the set, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it so it's overhanging, and then I'm going to push that up. Push, you see I'm pushing that metal down yep. until that touches like butts up butts up yeah yeah and i'm going to tape it there and the reason is i found that's the easiest way to make a card blank from a die i love that yeah because you can send it over to the back and make sure you push this it never goes straight mm. but if you do it that way so that that die has been buttered up against it it will actually make sure it's straight every single time Cool. So I'm just going to run it through, and when you're running through something like this, remember all die cutting machines are different. Yes. The pressure is different, but the most area I want it to cut is here. Yeah. Yeah. Where it's going to go through two layers. Right. So I want to put this ideally there. Okay. So one of the best suggestions that I can make so when you're making something like this, don't waste card like I'm doing. I wouldn't dream of doing this at home. But trim down your card. Yep and put that there on that edge because that's going to be where you're going to get the most pressure. That's good, yeah. Regardless. And again, I always say this, no matter what your machine is, no matter what you were told when you bought it, 
over time you know they ease up don't they yeah they the open center. and the, the areas because it's fixed there will always be tighter I've still got can you believe it I've still got the emerald you got the emerald still use that but yeah it is true sometimes I have to move them round or yeah. shim it up or yeah. something like that yet yeah, we all have to do it mm -hmm. Um, you know, it's like the old-fashioned mangles, which is all they are. Yeah. Over time, they get that gap in the middle, don't they? Yeah. Same idea, it's sort of a law of physics. So I've just tried to be clever, and the best thing is turn it over and make sure it's cut through before you take it off. Otherwise, just run it through again. There's nothing more disappointing than peeling off the card to find it hasn't. I know. <laughs> so, there we go. But as soon as I pop that out, they were designed so that you get the right... Where's my tool gone? Honestly, terrible. So they were designed so that you still get an even tag, yeah, even really when good. you've used that edge. So yep. what we've got now is a nice little fold card that will stand up and display your flower. Good stuff. So let's put some decoration on here. So I've used pink and dark green. So I'm going to use my inks. Oh, petals. And I'm going to use my summer inks. Yeah. And I love these. Look. Is it what? Is it magnets? Magnets. Oh. Yeah. Held in my magnets. So look, if I take that one out, watch. I would just spend hours doing yeah, that. Yeah, I, I have done. I really have done. And it just slides in. It's very satisfying. So I'm just going to lay down a little bit of pink. And these are pigment inks. Okay. And these are water-based pigment inks. So these will work with your flower foam. Good stuff. So I'll be showing using these in the next hour. You don't have to just use Mica Magic. So what inks should you not use with your flowers? Dye-based inks won't work. Okay. Dye-based inks are water-based. Your distress inks won't work right. with your foam. Okay. Because they're water, there's no binder, there's nothing to stick to the foam because they're designed for a porous surface. Okay. So you need something that's going to that's got a stick in it. Now pigment inks have all got they're all a little bit greasy. Yeah. Because they've got a glycerin mix in there. Oh. So a pigment ink will actually work. So if I just take one of these. <laughs> yeah. And I, I, I think the voices in my head are telling yeah. me Mrs. Duck isn't happy. Sorry, sorry. I shouldn't have asked Mrs. Duck. Sorry. Yeah, she doesn't actually put any pictures of herself out on social media or anything. Oh, I'm really so sorry. She claims she used to work for, for sort of like, she used to work for the government. Yeah. Um, but I think um, she sort of said, you know, she says like, oh, we used to work for like social services or something. I think she did something serious in oh, the government. Like MI5. She just won't admit it. Yeah. Oh. But can you see how that's worked on there straight on? Yep, perfect. So that's using the blue on there. But if I used a dye-based ink, mm -hmm. it will wipe. It won't stick on. Yeah. So all I'm going to do is just literally oldest oldest trick in the book. But it's the, like I say, it's the reason I love my water medium app because I'm doing everything on it. Mm -hmm. I haven't changed tools once. You haven't at all. No. And it's great not to have to. So I'm just going to pick up some of that colour. Just to pick out those colours, and then this just wipes clean. Honestly, <laughs> I was so tidy. Not. No, I was going to say, don't tidy up. That's that's when we can't find anything. It is literally. Yeah. So I'm just going to take some of the excess water off that, but I've just changed the colour. I mean, yeah. the problem is on screen these never look as bright as they do, but it's the they same shades working. Yeah. So all I do is, great thing with the stamens is to here, they are cotton. The right. wire is attached here. Okay. So I can just cut that off. Excellent. Without having to worry. But see, it's all sealed. Mm hmm And they've all been stuck in. So they're not... If I do that, those bits are not going to start flying out That's as long good. as I've glued it. That's good. So I'm just going to take my hot glue gun, add my foliage first. But you see now how those leaves suddenly look oh, real. Look so real. Yeah. So we're just going to push those down just like that and then we'll take my flower and pop it into the centre and I've got a gap there which is the way I always do this. Okay. Put some foliage down first as a base like a florist would yep. and then look where the gap is and fill the gap in. Oh yeah. But you see how I can bend those, those petals back? Yeah and it's so effective that. But then if I hold that one up there we go, done simple marvelous look at that apart from the threads obviously oh, okay. glue, hot glue that i get that i pick yeah. off later yeah. but that's got all the shine and sparkle but you wouldn't believe that was made from yes those flat pieces those pieces no. make that amazing thank you john um
We will have about ten minutes. You want cool. me to pootle off and then... Yeah, if you can, then I'll set up and we'll do something else. OK, sounds good. While stocks last, we are now down to single figures. Oh, really? <laughs> Emily said by that she means two. Right, first is fingers first then. Please check out your baskets before this goes. Remember, our lovely... What was the flower called that won't be here again, John? The elderflower. Right, so... The elderflower, which is like the baby's breath, will okay, be gone. OK, so that will be... Oh, it's... It, right, it's gone. It's technically sold out. OK, so Emily's going to work some magic or whatever. Uh, but the, for this bundle, that has now gone. OK. Uh, do want, um, hang on, we're, we're working out how we can do all of this. Hang on. <laughs> Shall I do something with the phone while we're, while we're sorting that one that out? That would be jolly marvellous okay. if you're ready. <laughs> so I've taken a piece now of the peach colour and I wanted to show you what I'm going to do this time. I'm going to make myself almost um, yeah. something like a carnation. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to take it and I'm going to actually fold this into three. Now at home you would be a lot more careful with your phone. So you would get a lot more into it. Okay, yeah. Um, uh, but I'm, I'm doing it for speed. So I'm going to try cutting three layers, and this is with the rose section that you still that was in the wild stocks last. That I'm not sure that's in the next one, but possibly is, as I remember. So this is with the peach coloured foam. I like that colour. So I'm just going to run that one through, and again, three layers go straight through. No special things yeah. needed. Yeah. You don't need any special plates. You don't need no. any special things. You just need to cut that. So, right. do you want to cover through that while I just take this yeah, one out? Yeah, because so what what now we we're doing is um, because the baby's breath, if you will, that's gone. Can't get any more of that. So this is now the new while stocks last. So basically, the only thing the only thing that um, has changed is that that die has gone. But that means you get a slightly bigger discount again from the from the first one. So you're still getting all of that lovely, sh those lovely sheets of foam, 60 in total, 96 of the stamens, and you've now got your two die sets. There you go, three dies in total. And prices on screen, £44.86. pence. So you can still get your foam and everything. Okie dokie, over to you. Right, so this time what I'm going to do, I'm going to use the inks. And I'm actually going to use, this is from the Summer Palette, and this sometimes gives me a lighter blend, so we'll take a new dauber. I'm terrible for buying new daubers. Are you? I Is that am. your guilty pleasure? Well, there's a refill set you can get now. So oh. when they all get a bit, or I start to lose a couple, and they do break, yeah, because yeah. everything does, I kind of refill in, so I make <laughs> sure my pot's got at least like 10 new ones in it every time. <laughs> so this time, I'm going to use the red. Yep. So if you think about a lot of carnation-type flowers, right. so I never say I'm making a specific flower, I always say I'm making a style of. Yeah. They, a lot of them go from this sort of colour, and then they have almost like a red Mm, edge to them like um almost like a vein but it yeah. isn't so this time i'm going to use the red ink and this is the pigment ink but you see how that goes on it's slightly more glossy and slightly more blendable perhaps than the uh -huh. mica magic yeah so it's different tools for different things so again i'm just going to put this on like that and again because i'm using the pigment ink mm -hmm. That's pretty much fixed. Yep, got yep. You. Now, what I will say is, you need to do both sides of this. Mm -hmm. I'm really intrigued about how you get a flower out of this shape. Yeah, no, yeah it just I'm seems really strange, intrigued. isn't yeah. it? But, um, I mean, it was, like I say, it was based on, I've seen loads of different cutters and things doing this. This won't work like that. This isn't a replacement for that. Yeah. You know, these are designed for the foam and for paper. They will not work for any of your clays or anything. Right. So, you know, you need the right, you have to have, to have the right tool for the right job. Okay. So I've got one. I need to do one more just to give it a little bit of fullness. But again, I think it's worth sort of doing it almost in real time. Yeah. And nothing to do with the fact that I'm making this one up on the hoof or oh, anything. sorry. <laughs> but no, it's fine. No, what you do is, so I'm just doing, can you see how much it blends better? Yeah, it's nice. Yeah, so it's blending the Lovely. colour already. Yeah. But again, as I was saying, if you imagine taking white and trying to get this peach colour all over it, mm, and then it adding the red... Well, well, it's too I much wouldn't work. Get that, well, you wouldn't get, you wouldn't really get the same effect anyway. I don't. You think. couldn't. No, you wouldn't get that even colour that you do. Okay, so there we go. So it's simple, coloured. Now, because I'm using the pigment ink, mm -hmm. you can colour 
it it will come off on your hands as you work this. Okay. That so one. now I did bring, in case you were going to do, and perhaps I was going to pass you one. I did bring some finger cots. Ooh. As they're called, and that called. I know that. Um, oh dear, uh, Leone had them on the other day. Do you need but a I minute? There we go. Oh. So you can use something like this. You know, oh, I've not cots. seen these. Yeah, these are like little fingers of gloves. Cute yeah. I've never seen these. You've not seen them? No. No, really. <laughs> there we go. Um, are they on the website? Yeah, so you see the colour comes onto those. Yeah. So, you know, it's a case of, I mean, to be honest, I don't see the point. Right. But I wanted to say to people, it is going to come off. Okay. So you can do something like that. But what I'm doing is going round and I'm stretching yeah. every single petal if I if I put one in the middle can you do one are we allowed to is that not no we're probably not probably safe not to isn't it oh yeah because the other Get one I set to up do earlier. one later yes I'll put that on one side and, and Adam can do one Madam Humphreys she'll Madam enjoy that Humphreys. Madam Humphreys That's such a good name <laughs> so I'm going all the way around <laughs> He's heard that. I'll get some finger cots for him out <laughs> as well yeah. but all you can see all I'm doing is going around each one. Yeah. See, I'm tearing it. Doesn't matter. Really doesn't. Because, like you said, it's like nature. Yeah. So, all I'm doing, pulling round each one. Adam really is extremely simple. excited about these finger cots. So we go round. It is a really good way. If you don't like getting ink mm, and things messy, on you, yeah. it's a really good way to do it. And I think sometimes we're put off by going, oh, no, I don't want to. Well, yeah, yeah that's what you can do these things for. No, so, I don't like getting inky, though, I have can to Can you see there that's already? Cool. Yeah. That looks so different. So oh. now what I'm going to do, I'm going to fold again, and I'm just going to pull along the fold, very similar to what we did mm. when we were doing the, um, the holly. Yes. Yeah. And again, that just curls it. So we're making it really frilly, but you see, so we've gone from that. It's amazing, the difference. To that. Yeah. To that. Nice. Okay. Now, all I'm going to do, I would do two or three together. I've got here a little bit of, like, jewellery wire. Okay, yeah. Yeah. So you could do it with the wire that comes from the stamens, but it's just a little bit easier with the jewellery wire. You've got a really good stash with you today. Oh, I've got... A, this is not what I normally did. When we did the birthday event, yeah. um, Jane said to me, I'm not worried if I forget anything. Right. I said, why? She said, because you bring everything but the kitchen sink. <laughs> There's even more in the car, to is be there? honest. Yeah, there <laughs> always is. So what I'm going to do is just go through the middle and sort of fold it up. Just like this. Yeah? Yep, yeah, all good concertina it take my jewelry wire pull that round and then pull them over ah. and which flower dye is this so this is the rose one right can right. you see there that looks again so beautiful and real so what I would do is then I would add a second one or a third one onto that yeah to really start to build it but it's got that it starts to get that sort of fluted carnation look that's very clever to it yeah that's and beautiful. again as we work more in it but again you wouldn't believe you've gone just with a little bit of ink no nope. from a flat piece like that yeah it looks totally different brilliant thank you john okay shall we have a little look at some of these beautiful samples because i just think they're so pretty uh we've got this is basically our third wild stocks last by the way uh, so this flower has now sold out, or this dye to make this flower has now sold out. It's not for the flower. Oh, apologies. apologies. No, it's for the elder flower that oh. makes the baby's breath. The flower that actually oh, makes so that sorry. flower is still in the bundle. Sorry, John. No, okay. okay. Yeah. I just don't want anyone to get it wrong and think, oh, no, I can't make that flower. You can. Got it's you. The, can make it's the, the gypsophilia with the little bits that have gone. Oh, I see. Yes, of course. Apologies. Um, but look at these samples. Aren't they absolutely stunning? So best clarify then. Let's have a look at the, the two dyes that you are now going to get in this while stock's last. There you go. Um, so you've got your peony and your rose. That is what you're getting. Lovely. Yes, hopefully I've not caused confusion. And then you've got, uh, you're still getting your 60 sheets of the foam. And then again, look at all of these beautiful stamens that you're getting. And 
like you said, you, I mean, you could take them individually as well, you know. You yeah. could take them down individually yeah. and just use them. And what you can actually do is they're actually, because they're hand wound, it's yeah. really difficult to show you. But if you, because they're hand bound, if you look here, if I unwind this, there you go. You see that is all the individual stamens wow, there's so that you're many getting in, there. in one of those 96 bundles. So again, if you want it to go further or for smaller flowers, I often break these off. Yep. I actually cut the wire off because I'm too lazy to actually find the way to do it normally, to be <laughs> honest. But then I've got all of those individual stamens that I can then stretch out or put in smaller flowers. Yeah. So everything can match. I just think it's so clever. Yeah. And someone's sat and wrapped all of these. I know. I know. Wow. That's amazing. Uh, details are on screen then. Two payments of £23.43. 990947 is your item number. Thank you very much, John. Thank you. There you go. So we, we've still got John for the rest of the day because we've got this other while stocks last. Lovely stuff. Don't go anywhere. More coming up after this short break. Coming up next, we have got Pearly Winks, uh, followed by iCraft, and then, oh, we're talking irons. Oh, a bit of ironing. Oh, okay. Hi, I'm Sarah. And I'm Vicky. We are the Stamping Sisters from Stam Haddocks. We started our family-run business in 1992 when we were importing rubber stamps from the USA. But now we design and manufacture them all here in-house in our shop in Bedfordshire. We make grey rubber stamps and we make them as deeply etched as we possibly can so that you can use them in many different ways. On our shows on Hachanda we like to give you lots of different techniques to use with the stamps, different ways that they can be used and ideas. We hope that we can inspire you to get out your stamps and have a play. Look at all the different designs we've got. We've got Christmas, we've got scenic, we've got cute and furry, there's something for everyone. Make sure you don't miss the Stamp Addict Shows on Hojanda. Hi everyone, I'm Phil Martin. I've been a paper crafter for well over 20 years now and a designer for just over 10 years. Sentimentally Yours is my multi-award winning brand of clear stamps, rubber stamps. I've now also introduced lots of craft dyes in there, designer papers. I have my mediums where we've introduced the Flawless Media brand into the Sentimentally Yours family. So on our Hope Chanda shows, we aim to inspire you to be educational and to teach you how to get the most from the products that we're bringing to you. The Sentimentally Yours family has grown uh, to include my good friend Julia Watts and our new designer Trudy Howard. Hopefully we're all going to bring something different to the show so you're going to be enriched with lots of different ideas and inspiration. Be sure to join us for our Sentimentally Yours shows on Hope Chanda. Did you know you can watch Hochanda 24 hours a day, seven days a week for free using our app on Roku? Just like your smartphone accesses an app store to add new applications, your Roku streaming player or Roku TV accesses the Roku channel store to add new channels. By downloading the Hochanda channel, you'll be able to access your favorite craft channel on your TV anytime you want to watch. Here's how to do it. Turn on your TV and connect your Roku device. Next, turn the power on and press the home button on your Roku remote. Scroll up or down to select settings. Select your network and select setup connection. Roku uses a wireless connection, so select your router name and add your password. This should be on the side or the bottom of your router. If this is the first time using Roku, then you'll need to set up an account on the device or by going to the Roku website. That's it. Now it's time to add the Hochanda app. Simply press the home button on the Roku remote. Scroll up or down using the arrows on your remote to select streaming channels. Then open the channel store. At the top of the channel store, you'll find a list of featured, new and popular categories to explore. Enter Hochanda into the search bar and this will take you to the Hochanda app. Now simply select Add Channel. When you see the Added Channel screen, press OK and return to the home page. Now scroll down to the Hochanda app and press the star button on your remote. You can then use the arrow buttons to move Hochanda to the top of the screen for quick and easy access. And that's it. 
You can now watch, purchase and catch up with your favourite shows 24 hours a day, 7 days a week on your TV whenever you feel crafty. Hello, I'm Sue Trangmar and I started Daisy Chain Designs 20 years ago. Back in the day there were very few quilt patterns in the marketplace and so uh, I started to bring patterns into the UK from America and Australia and along the way I've been lucky enough to work with some fantastic British designers and that is what really the essence of Daisy Chain Designs are. At Daisy Chain Designs, we're passionate about sewing and quilting. We design projects that hopefully will inspire you to pick up your needle and thread and have a go. Uh, we have great fun in designing things from the very start and then the end product is always very exciting when you actually see it made. So don't miss the Daisy Chain Design shows on Hochanda. Morning, I hope you are well. I am excited. They don't let me do these shows that often, but when I do, by Jove, are they busy? And have we got newness for you to? I don't even know that's a word. Newness. It is now. Uh, have we got newness for you today? It, we have got some cracking little nice. brand new inks on the show, brand new stencils on the show as well, new colours on the show that you wouldn't have seen before. And what am I talking about? Well, there's only one person that brings them to us. All these colours and all the newness, all the stamps, all the fun. And she normally gets me rather messy by the end of the show. Take that as you will. <laughs> uh, it's the one and only Sad Donna. How are you, love? I'm very good, thank you. And how are you? I'm good, thank you. I've not seen you in ages. Uh, no. uh, once again, now, I've been seeing sneaky peeks on this, on the old socials. Yeah. For the new stencils that we've got on the show. <laughs> this is amazing. It's lovely, isn't it? But it also follows on from your previous stencil that you bought us last time you are here. It follows on from yeah. your feather stencil that you bought us. Yeah, it does. It works really well with it. We've brought that back. We've got a few left of them, so... Uh, that's on the show as well. I do love it. So this is your brand new dream catcher that we're going to hear. This is your brand new Pearly Wings Dream Big A4 stencil uh, that we're looking at now. There are so many elements that you can use these for. Now I said this this morning with the stencil. It's, only, it's took me a couple of months to work out what you can actually do with the stencil because normally when you say stencil to someone you go, well, you either spray through it, you draw through it, or you put ink through it with a brush. That's it. There's not. There's so much more you can do. Uh, with a stencil, you can emboss a stencil, run it through your dye machine, and you can emboss with them as well. Uh, use your stencil as an actual stamp if you wanted. So ink up the top, swirl it over, and ink it up. And then, obviously, because we've got pearly wings on the show as well, you can then spritz through your stencil so you are going to get these beautiful tones that you are looking at at the moment from the lightest to the darkest from the greenest to the brownest whatever you want to do with it you really can go to town uh, so let me show you some more things that you can look at this just by simply stenciling it out you can really go to town uh, using sort of some of the smaller circles uh, that you've also got on the top as well. So you can use the circle on its own, use the feather on its own as well. Use the large feathers with the smaller feather, the other stencil we've got on the show, the details for that are at the bottom of the screen. You've also got your smaller dream catcher in there, you've also got your borders if you want to use your borders. You've got that main sentiment, don't be scared to dream big little ones, but you can really work that as just dream big if you want to as well. There's 30 elements on the stencil itself alone for £12.99. Not only, I've only just noticed it by looking at the picture there, not only do you have the stencil in the middle, have you seen the edges? You've now got that torn edge look all the way, so down that one side, you've now got the torn edge look, which is another stencil in itself. So if you're no good at getting that fine line of pen, and drawing round the edges, you can do it with this. £12.99, 880-329 is your item number. Right then, let's press on. These are also brand new as well. I'm going to get Donna to talk about these because these are phenomenal. So you've seen Pearly Wings in the past. This time, you've gone 
I would say bigger and better with these, haven't you, Donna? For the sheer fact, these are your brand new QDs that we're talking about here. Yes, and we're so excited about it. Really, really are. They're a cross between alcohol and water-based. So um, Simon's come up with these. We wanted something that dries extra quick, which is why the quick QDs are quick dry. Um, and we're getting some brilliant little uh, techniques and stuff out of it. So they are quick drying than normal. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, they're, cute, they're, they're quick drying, that's why they call the QDs as well. So they're, they're are they, so talk me through the process. Where would we use these differently to our normal pearly inks, uh, pearly inks that we've already got on the shows? Well, you can use them um, in resin, which you can see the beautiful leaves there that our newest Winky Donna has made. And they are absolutely gorgeous. I don't do, I've not dabbled in resin myself as yet, um, but... Everybody that's using the resin is saying it mixes so quickly and the colour, as you can see, just a little bit of spray, probably about two or three pumps of the spray. It's giving it that gorgeous, deep colour. And also, um, I think she's put some of the glitter pearl in there as well, which is also on... We've got that on the show as well. Yeah. That'll be on the website, the glitter pearl. Uh, yeah. Just look at them. You imagine these. Sorry, I'm going to have to cough again. <clears throat> I've just had nuts and a cup of tea for my breakfast. <laughs> that was my breakfast this morning, and now they're lost in my throat. Uh, but, <laughs> uh, but look at what you can achieve. True story. Uh, look at what you can achieve with them. They're absolutely beautiful. Uh, but what you can get, so spritz them in your resin, three pumps into your resin. So now imagine using these with your Zuri moulds that we've got. Uh, with Tracy Hay stamps that we've got on... I am right with Tracy Hay, aren't I? Mm. Yeah. Tracy Hay stamps that you've already got there as well, which is absolutely beautiful. But now, to do the backgrounds that you have got here, to create all the backgrounds with your stamps that we've already got, that you may already have, you may already have Tracy stamps as well. You go in with your dream catcher, your dream big stencil. It works really, really well. Uh, they're absolutely phenomenal. Pearly Wings QDs, you're getting all eight colours. This is not a pick and mix that you're looking at here. You're getting all eight of the colours. Uh, the 10% of the stock has already gone with this as well. So, you also get that 30ml blender as well. What do we do with the 30ml blender? So the blender um, can help turn your already purchased pearly inks into like a quicker dry and give some oh. very good techniques as well. So it's so not... It turns our normal winks that we've got in the past that we've already got. So, so do we mix them in a spray bottle? Do we spray one then spray the other? Yeah, just spray one, spray the other. But also with the different techniques, which I'll show you some of them, um, it can reactivate the, the spray. So, and this is the thing, um, I'm going to show you literally the pen that we've got here as well. This was in resin, was it not? Yes. So the base was in resin, and but the using, and the top as well, the, the top was in there as well, but that's got your logo in, but the bottom bit's got the colour in that you've got there, yeah. which I absolutely adore, was using what we've got on the show today. So you see, you can do, and you can still get the vibrance of colour that's in there, which I absolutely a door. Uh, 943-187 is your item number. £29.99 today. It's worth getting these. If you've never tried Pearly Winks before, it's well worth having a little go of these. Because not only do you spray them, it's the same for when we move down the counter as well, which I'm going to now. But all the Pearly Winks that we've got on the show, if you decant a little bit into a little vessel or something, you can also sort of paint with these as well, can't you? You can use them for your paints. So now you're using, imagine using them as sprays, but also using them as paints as well, because you're still going to get the same techniques that you've got running through there. Right then, Rose Gold up next. Another brand new one to the collection. If you like all things sparkly, this is where to go. This is our Pearl Mist Rose Gold that you're looking in now. Now... It doesn't look, it doesn't look like nothing when you've got it there because everything has settled in the bottom. Now I've learnt this and I learnt it the hard way, the very first show I did, you, I've never forgot it. You twist it, you give it a shake, you don't never turn them upside down, you swirl in your hand, so you swirl it around and then it's when the magic happens. There's still loads more to go in there but I don't want to knock anything down. It is absolutely beautiful. Uh, look at some of the stuff you can achieve, and I'll give this a swell. Look at what you can achieve when you get all of this home. And this is just a case of going in with your texture pastes 
and then just spraying it on top, isn't it? Yeah, you can do it with texture paste. In that, that particular box, um, all I've done is I've taken the card that we've got on the show. It's a really good weight card. And I've literally just sprayed up the box with the pearl mist and also added some gesso and some PVA and just literally stippled it all on. That is beautiful. Do we need to seal it at all or can we just spray and leave? If you're just leaving it in the house, just keep it. It's fine. It's absolutely fine. And on some of the things, um, because of the pearl, you will need to seal some of it if you don't want it coming off, if you're not overly okay. bothered. But just a quick squirt of hairspray or something like that. So, uh, uh, sort of, uh, I don't like using the word cheap, but a cheapest hairspray yeah. is the one you can use. It's the, best, it's the best way to go. Uh, and it's going to keep that. So if you're using things like jewellery and stuff like that and you want it to keep that pearl and keep the shine, just give it a quick spray on both sides. Yeah, exactly. As, as Cheryl's done there, she's mixed that into the clay and coloured the oh, clay up with the pearl. She's it into clay as well. Yeah, yeah, it's really, re you can use it on, you know, even if it's not porous, you can still use it just by adding some gesso or some PVA or something like that. So... They really, really do go a long way, and if you're not that, you know, if you don't like getting messy and like all the sprays and things like that, just use your paintbrush or. They do you know. last an awful long time. I can testament that. I was lucky enough. It's the, one of the little perks that we have here. Uh, I was gifted a bottle of these for for Mole to use, and we're still using the same sets that we were, we've never topped it up. Um, she sprays, you know, what little kids are like with with stuff like this. It goes everywhere, uh, but they're still using the same bowls that we've already got, and um, which the, which is. The testament to they last an awful long time. Uh, from the rose gold in the bigger bottles now, once again, I, 9 99 for that as well. 9 99 Now we've got a little spray set on the show. I rec I think these are a must for the sheer fact you can do so much with them. Let me show you the colours first. You've got cool copper in there. Uh, you've got golden shimmer in there. You've got sparkle silver in there. And you've also got the pure pearl in there as well. Uh, once again, when I turn them round, they literally look like dirty water, but the magic, technical term, they do, but when, that's the magic, it's when you shake them to wake them, yeah. where everything is at the bottom, look at that now, that is beautiful. I must admit, this cool copy that you're, that you're swirling there now is one of my new favourites, it's I love absolutely it. gorgeous, I'm going to do a, a technique with it shortly, um, and just show, it's so beautiful and it looks so elegant as well when you mix it with the teals and the purples and things like that, it's gorgeous. I reckon if you put that in your home with like greys and ne neutral colours oh, and you make yeah. that pop, that's yeah. really going to sing. That's the thing you see, when, once you get hold of these sort of things and the glitters and stuff like that, you just go around the house spraying everything. Just literally coating <laughs> yeah. yourself. Yeah. It, it's when you swirl them though, this is when all the magic, the, look at the gold that you've got in there, then those two together. That, for me, is a beautiful Christmas. It really is. It looks lovely, that. Copper and gold you've got in there. Uh, beautiful colours for Christmas as well. But then, uh, we can also get to your silvers in there as well. Once again, it don't look much. You've got that sparkle, but then it's when you give it the swirl is when everything was happening. Now, obviously, you would do it, obviously, more than that. But just for the purpose of TV, um, we would be here all day. <laughs> but, I mean, just swirling all the bottles. But you're getting all four of them for £12.99. pence. I absolutely adore. I am loving this. That's worth its weight in gold, that copper. £12.99. 342352 is your item number. Uh, stencils is what we've got next as well. Now, this is the first stencil uh, that we bought here. Um, in the last, the last time Pearly Wicks were on the show. Uh, with the feather. The feather flew out of the door, no pun intended. It was very, very busy uh, for the feather that you've already got there. It is a stunning, stunning design. Um, it is beautiful. It really, really is. And if I try and find some paper just to put behind it, because I think there's a canvas behind there. But look at the design that you are getting. That is absolutely beautiful. There we go, people. Uh, absolutely stunning of what you can achieve when you get this home. You've got things like love, uh, hope and peace in the actual stem of the feather. Use one half of the feather along the bottom of a card if you wanted to. Use it down the side. You haven't got to use it as a feather if you didn't really want to either. You could use it on its side. You've got your doom on there. Um, one of them does look like a sunset. This one just here. You've got that beautiful sunset. You imagine doing that in the uh, golden shimmer. 
spraying the gold and shimmer through there, doing your slightly smaller cards that you might want to do with them, your hope underneath as well. At £12.99, 631476 is your item number uh, for your feather as well. Right then. Here we go with your Wink Vibes we're talking about now. Now, I've not seen Wink Vibes before. What do we do with Wink Vibes? So, they are, as the name suggests, very, very vibrant. So, this is the second lot that we've brought out. It's the second generation. Um, they are just um, a standalone colour with no shine to them, but you can obviously add all your pearls and your glitters and things like that to them. How and as beautiful. well, although they're really, really vibrant, just by putting a little bit on, they can be so subtle as well. So you can have both ends of the spectrum depending on what you, what you like. So even this feather here, this really small feather, that's done in the Wink Vibes as well? That's done with this, yes, with those colours. Oh my word, so you can see the vibrancy that you've got in there to the subtleness yeah. of it as well. Oh my if word, you, these if you are just, stunning. Sorry to interrupt, if you wanted to just uh, oh, grab one of the samples, you can, you can just show the difference. Maybe not that one because that's so vibrant as well. <laughs> one of the ones with the Tracy Hay stamp on. Um, yeah, that... That's vibrant as well. I meant the one with the hearts. <laughs> Why didn't you say that then? <laughs> no, but there is. You can just see that you can use like a little bit of... Um, I ain't got one with a heart. Maybe it's been moved up to a different area. Nope, nope, nope. Is it, is it that one? Yeah. The one at the front? Of course I can't see. <laughs> well, of course I can't. <laughs> I just look at the back of everything. So you can see the difference from using the same colours of how subtle you can get it. I mean, hey, the difference is amazing. The, the, the colour inside these bottles are just absolutely fantastic, even if I do say so myself, which I can say because I don't make them, Simon does. Of course you can. <laughs> but you go to prove you can yeah. go from that to that yeah, very exactly. quickly, which I absolutely adore. Uh, we're very busy on these. 10% of the stock now has already gone. We are very, very busy. I forgot when Donna's in. I have to be on my toes. <laughs> I have to be on my toes. She tells me stuff that's not even here. Uh, we're busy on the mount board as well. You're really shopping ahead of me. Well done on this. Uh, you can use it for construction. It's 900 GSM is what we're talking about here. This is stunning mount board. This has got rigidity written all over it. It's absolutely fantastic. Um, I'm using it in quite a lot of my demos today, and I do use it a lot. Simon's made me a lovely little pot, um, which I've got the inks in. It wasn't actually for me. It was supposed to be a demo, but... A little sample. That's nice. Yeah. So, am I on? Is my go? Yeah, it's your, it's your, go, your bit. <laughs> go on. Woo! Right, so first of all, what I'm going to do is I am using the 900 GSM mount board. It is really, really good construction. Um, but I'm just doing it just to show you. I want to show you the colours of these, um, how they spray out, literally. So I've pop popped a piece of um, cling film down, and I'm just literally scrunching it all up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to spray the colours. Okay. So I've got yellow, the electric yellow. That's nice. In fact, I'll give it a couple of squirts because obviously we're on telly, aren't we? So tangerine orange, rosewood pink. So I've put a piece of white card down as well so you can see them underneath. Um, the green teal, but obviously you'll see it more once I pop the board on to set the colour. Now they do dry really, really quick and you might be thinking, well why is it not drying now? It's because it's on this cling film. Also, does it dry quick because it absorbs into whatever you normally yes. spray it onto? If it's yeah. mountain board, it's going to absorb into the mountain board. Yeah, and obviously because of the alcohol content in it, you know, obviously alcohol makes it dry quicker anyway. Um, but it doesn't act like a regular alcohol because the normal alcohol spray, um, you'd be, if I was to put it on, say, this, it would colour it straight away. Whereas, because of the blend that Simon's done with it, with it, with it being a hybrid, um, you know, you can... And then I'm going to place this on. Anybody can do this, you know, it's not it's not rocket science to just do that, literally what I've done. And it gives, it's coloured up really well already. Oh, look at that. That's so then I'll just pop it on the other that. end, just to colour the back of it, because I just want to show you how quick and easy, you know, it can be just to colour up a piece of card, a white piece of card, um, or whatever colour. But yeah, so it's great because you can still use it with, with things that you wouldn't necessarily be able to use if it was just an alcohol base. So already... That white card's gone from being um, a plain white to now you've got that beautiful background. And if you're not very good at, and I mean this in the nicest possible way, and you know what I mean out there, I'm not very good at creating backgrounds because I think you always have to have texture and you always have to have the design. Yeah. If you're doing scenery, you have to be hills and stuff like that. 
With the, the perks with pearly wing seeds, you literally just spray the colour you want. So you do blue for a sky green. That gives you a subtle background and it gives you somewhere to start, doesn't it? Yeah, um, and a point there that you were just making, um, because of the way that they are made, so if you were to spray it onto a blue, say you were spraying um, a yellow onto a green, wait a minute, let me get it right, the, a yellow onto a blue piece of card, um, it wouldn't go yellow, it would take the colour from underneath as well, so it would so go you green, green so you can get all the different um, colours mixed in. So, say for instance here, where I've already got the blue down, if I add that to it, you can see the greens coming out, so you've oh, yeah. got even more colours there. Um, if I add the blue over the, over the pink, not much colour left there, but um, if I add this colour on, you're going to get these lovely violets and things coming through. Nice. And again, with these. the like the the yellow here, if I was to put the pink on that, you're going to get like oranges. I'll just Beautiful. put a bit. See how quickly it's just dry. It's, it's it's completely dry. Oh my word! It dries that quick. Look at how much I'm putting on there, and you can. I don't know if the camera's going to pick it up enough uh, to see that it's again. actually. I'm probably better off with a different. Oh well, you can see that it's just a there. tiny bit of that, and that I put loads on there, didn't I? Yeah. Yeah. That's how quickly it dries. So um, that's that very quickly first bit. So I'm going to keep a sheet down because you know you always end up with. Um, Just before you nip to your patterns. next demo, oh, I need on. to tell you of the QDs. Uh, Twenty percent of the stock. That's your quick drying, your pearly wing quick drying. There's a shop by me called QDs. I always think I'm saying brand names. Um, <laughs> uh, next to your quick drying inks. Uh, they are. 20% of the stock now is already gone. Remember, they can go into your resins, they can go onto your clays as well. It's going to give you that beautiful, beautiful colour. And you also get your blender in there as well. Uh, there's no sparkles in these ones, but you can add your own sparkle if you wanted to as well. 943187 is your item number. The shimmer spray set that we've got on the show. 30% uh, of the stock of the shimmers have already gone now as well. Oh, hang on now. Here we go. Do you want me to bring them in? Oh, give him a wiggle, give him a wiggle, give him a wiggle, give him a wiggle, Adam, just wiggle, just wiggle, Adam, that's all I'm being told, Adam, just wiggle, Adam, wiggle. <laughs> I don't know if I'm dancing. 30% of the stock now has already gone. Oh, it's like a previous job. Uh, right then, <laughs> takes me back. Right, what are we up to? So, I'm just carrying on because I've got loads of things that I want to show you and I want to get as much done. No, so, basically, I'm just spraying up this card and literally I've been spraying since you've been talking away and on both sides. It's dry already. Yeah. The other thing with these, um, which our normal inks don't do, um, is they will go through. Now, some people might think that's a, not a very good thing, but I found that I absolutely love it because I've been filling in all different pages of this book. I'll bring it you over. Bring it, bring it over I'm deviating, so I've got to be really quick. But building up... Um, that's nice. Some of them are good, some of them are not, but watch. So if I was to spray that there, You'll see it come through on the other side. Yeah. And that's the alcohol in the minute. That's yeah. like an alcohol pen. But that's absolutely fine because you've already started doing Entry. both sides, which is great. And then you can just keep adding your colour. And then before you know it, you've, you've, you've covered it already. It's fantastic in that respect. That's what I like about that I one. Absolutely adore it. What are you showing me next? So now I've just absolutely saturated these two pieces of card with the quick dries. So I'm going to take some of the glue, I'm using our tacky glue, but you can use whichever glue you like, um, and I'm going to show you what I did with this. So literally, all I've done is I put some glue on. Yeah? Yeah, I'm with you so far. And then I've literally taken the black from the QDs. This is such a good black. Oh. Our, other, our other black is not as strong and as deep as this. Oops. Let me just spray it out first. Um, oh, what's there you go. Now? And then, literally, I don't know what I've done with it. Um, this will do. <gasps> Look at that. Now that is oh, absolutely like gorgeous. that. Same again with this one, just scrape it off and look how, how black it is and look at what a lovely effect that is. Oh, could you do it? No, you can't necessarily do that without other inks. I was going to say, that was going to be my question, could you do, yeah, can you do it you with the coppers and things like no that? Need or to, no, no need to even speak. No need to speak, <laughs> that's me told. So, I'm going to pop them to one side. I've got loads to show you, you, Adam. You couldn't do it with the coppers or anything like that though, you, you can only do it with the QDs because they're... Well, just wait a minute. All right, Hold all your right, office. all right. <laughs> it's a good job you know I'm only messing, isn't it? Right, so for this next bit, I think she is. 
Uh, you know I am. <laughs> I know you so are, for really. the next bit, I want to show you how simply you can go from this white tag to this beautiful, and I hope the camera can get a lovely close-up of this Give one as well. Give it a wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Oh, oh, hello. How gorgeous is that? That looks proper nice and expensive, doesn't it? It does. You put that on a bit on a brown papered wrapped present at Christmas. Yeah, exactly. So. Take your little string out. You can actually colour these up as well, but for the purpose of this demo, I won't be doing. Okay. So, what I've done now, I'm going to introduce these pearls and show you why I love these pearls with this. Bring up the details of the pearls while you're done gets ready. Going to need my heat gun. So, what you do is you leather your card with the pearl. Because these pearls won't just soak straight into your card, they'll sit on top of your card. Okay. And this is why you're going to get this, this technique. So that on its own is just absolutely gorgeous. And this is the cool copy that I'm using here. And then what I'm going to use is the Old Mauve Purple. So these are from the QDs now, aren't they? Yeah, so these would normally dry straight in, but the pearls putting that layer there and stopping it from drying. Now look at that already. Look at that, what it's doing. How nice is that? Sounds like marble. Yeah. You've started with the the pearls, and yep. now we're back onto the QDs again. Those the details are at the bottom of the screen. Now, if the camera can stay close up, you can see all the segments and the way that it's reacting. I'm just oh, going to yeah, leave that, that to set in there, and how gorgeous is that? Yeah. Now, spraying this, this same colour, you can go from a really, really light coverage to a really deep, what paper are you using at the moment now for these tags? So this one tag? is just a regular card and this is just one of those inexpensive tags. Oh. You can make your own, um, then just li simply add some um, stamping on or you can turn it into a little booklet or whatever, you know, put some more card on it and make it into a little box or something like that. You know, you can really, really Look at that add some of these. Yep, so oh you can leave word. it like that. You can obviously pick it up and let it do its own thing. You can add some of the blender again. And look, it's separating it all again and getting those gorgeous, gorgeous segments. So when you look at it, when, when you look close up, you can see, I don't know if I'm going to hinder by, can you see all those different segments and stuff yeah, like that? It's really, really must, giving it depth. And the sparkle that yeah. runs throughout. So you can carry on messing about and layering it up and doing as much as you want to it, but obviously, I'm not going to do that, but look at the print underneath that you're getting already. So I'm going to take some of that colour off and pop it on here. And then I'm just going to see that on its own, it's really, really nice. I'm just going to dry it off. Again, the reason I'm going to need to dry it off is because of the pearl, it's stopping. It will obviously dry into it in time, but not instantly like the, like the QDs. I'll do the QDs on the back just to show you how quickly, you know, it would normally dry, uh, drink it all up sort of thing. Did but, you just leave that or did you spray that over the top with the black or did you just leave it like that and that dried like your, the one you showed us at the start? What? The tag. This you tag? Did, yeah, you just let it dry naturally Yeah, then. look, see that's dry. Oh yeah. Yeah. So, if you layer it up obviously in the type of card, but you can see the difference between this card. Obviously each card is going to give you a different look, a different result. So if I spray it on this, opposed to spraying it straight on that, that's straight away dry, that's a little bit wet, you can still see. Yeah? Yeah. So, but it's so quick drying. Now, if I was to use just one of the, for comparison, one of the regular, I don't want to mix you up, but if I, if I spray a regular one, opposed to spraying, now, this is, this board does dry quite quick anyway, but if I give this one, this is the Wink Vibes, yeah. which is also gorgeous. So you can see it's sitting on the surface. Yeah, and look at that. Oh my word, look at that now, no drips, no runs, but in the wing, the vibes, you, it's going to take that little longer to dry because it is the vibrance that you've got in there, it's not got that QD element to it, it's not got that quick drying element to it as well. Right then, while we set up for another demonstration, we've got loads more to come this hour as well. If you've got any questions, please email me in studio to chandler.com, obviously make them pearly wings related, that would help. Uh, from then. You'd be surprised how many emails we get. Uh, right then, stencils is what we're looking at now. This is the dream big stencil that we're looking at. A4 stencil at that. 880-329 is your item number. There is loads of things that you can do with this when you get it home. Uh, it's, do we say over about 30 elements? 
Uh, 30 elements in the stencil itself. There is so much. Uh, There's 30 usable elements, perfect for creating backgrounds and foreground designs as well. Uh, it is bendy, so you can bend it round your stencils if you wanted to. You've got this beautiful edge. This is a stunning edge uh, that you've got here already. Uh, maybe it's like going to be a little mountain range that you're going to do. You're going to use it as torn paper. That's what I like about pearly winks for there. Uh, for the sheer fact that they could have quite easily left it as a square border and left it as a straight edge, but they've not. They have give you that little bit extra that you've got running through there as well. £12.99. Uh, using the stencil, just certain words of the stencil, you can do that as well. Uh, just using the word love from the stencil. You haven't got to use it as the dream catcher if you don't want to. Uh, then using that's using the edge. It took me a while, but I got there eventually. Uh, that's using the edge. So you look at the little border that's all the way around there. Absolutely. That's by our Simon. And that's using these quick dry inks. Stunning, isn't it? Stunning. Uh, Twelve pounds and ninety-nine pence. Eight eight zero three two nine is your item number. Uh, the quick drawings we're talking about next. Now, I think I've literally found my new uh, my new favourites for these. We are thirty percent of the stock has already gone here. Twenty-nine pounds and ninety-nine pence. The amount of colours that you are getting in here are phenomenal. You get all your colours, you get seven colours and your blender in there as well. Uh, put a little bit out, use them as ink, and use them as normal ink if you wanted to, sort of paint with them if you wanted. You can do backgrounds like you've got here that you can see behind all the inks at the moment. Just with a bit of cling wrap. Just with a little bit of cling wrapping, you can get this design. What a stunning background, sort of like a tie-dye effect that you're going to get there. And these are quick drying. So if you've never used Pearly Winks before, for me, this would be the place to go. For the sheer fact, you get all the greats and you get all the beauty out of them. And they're quick drying as well. Uh, so if you are just starting off, oh my word, 40% of the stock now has already gone here. Get them while you can. Something else, if your budget will stretch to it. Oh, I was just going to say put the pearls in, but there's a technical sellout. Everything is allocated in baskets. If you've got the pearls in your baskets, check them out now because they're going to go. If they're in your baskets for longer than 10 minutes, they will bounce back in their mind. It's a bit like walking around the supermarket. If you put it in your trolley, it's technically not yours until you get to check out. And calls take preference so they can take it out of you. So um, get it while you can, okay? So, uh, right then, now we're looking at the Pearl Mist Rose Gold is what we're looking. Now, Aggie takes it to someone's trolley by accident. Uh, so, um, what we're looking at now is your Pearl Mist Rose Gold. Now, $9.99, let me give this a swirl. Always swirl and never shake because you'll block your, you'll block your tubes and you never want block tubes because then it comes out cloggy. You don't want that. <laughs> and what I like about the misters on these as well, it, uh, it's probably common sense, but it took me a while because I was covering the table and everything. It, does, it depends how close you go to how far away. It depends on the mist and the vibrancy that you're going to get in there. So obviously if you go really close, you're going to get that intense look straight away. If you move a little further out, you're going to get a wider splattering of the colour that's there. But what a beautiful colour that rose gold is. That shimmer and shine and all will be fine. And then look at what you can get on there. Look at the shine that you've got on there. I absolutely beautiful. Uh, is this the mount board this is made out of? It is indeed. Oh, I'm glad you said that. Uh, this is the mount <laughs> board as well. Keep no, Adam, it's not. Okay, that's my editorial gob. Uh, proves what you can do with the mount board as well. It's absolutely. Did our Simon make this? No, it was me actually. Was it you? Open it. A little... Oh, oh, look at this. I was actually well impressed with it. I am, to be honest. <laughs> uh, <it> is... <laughs> well, that could make something. <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> It is beautiful. So using the mount board, the details for the mount board uh, is on now on the side of the screen. Uh, this is the 610 GSM that you're getting there as well. You get 25 sheets uh, for £9.99. and pence. I love that. It's actually the 900 GSM, but... Oh, is it the 900 GSM? <laughs> oh, it's the 9... We've got 610 as well, mount board. We've also got the 900 GSM as well on the show. Uh, we're just giving you both. You could do best with both as yeah, well. Yeah, you we're can. We're talking construction. It's what we've got. Uh, pearl shimmers. <gasps> we've managed to get some more. Our Simon must be watching. 
Uh, oh. Seven day delay is what we're talking about now <laughs> on these. Uh, for your pearl shimmers, I've managed to get some back. Right then, let's give them a swirl. Is our Simon all right? He is indeed. He's just working very, very hard. Bless him. Well, he is now, yeah. He's going to make more of these. <laughs> That's why I'm uh, laughing. For, for Christmas. <laughs> £12.99. pence. We've managed to get some back. The 1st of December. That's not that far away, to be honest. Seven days away. Oh, we get to open advent calendars in seven days' time. Exciting times. Um, seven day, day, 1st of December. Get them while we can for 12 99 And I think once these might be gone, they might be gone. I don't know if Simon will do any more because I think he wants a Christmas. Uh, <laughs> three, two, four, three, five, two. All the pearly wing stuff's handmade, isn't it? It is, yes. Yes, Simon does it all by hand, and Adam does as well, but um, Adam's Pretty got a new venture. Much, <laughs> <laughs> Simon does it all. Adam, he, he walks no, in the office him. every now and no, then. No, he does. He's, um, we've just um, branched out onto another one. He's doing all the personalisation of stuff, so he's stepping away a little bit, bless him. So, uh, but Simon, yeah, he's going to be literally sleeping in there now, having to make all these. <laughs> all by himself. All by yourself. <laughs> It's all right, Si. I still watch your Facebook lives. I, I love them. I find them quite amusing. Uh, and they are beautiful as well. If you've never seen their Facebook lives, there's loads of hints and tips on there as well. Check them out, Pearly Wicks. Uh, then we've got your feather stencil as well, um, full of inspirations that you've got in here. Uh, I love the quotes and the words that you've got in here. Peace, hope, love that you've got running through. Uh, you've got all different elements as well, so you could just use single elements of these if you wanted to. Uh, it's entirely up to you what you want to do with them when you get them home. But I also like this natural feather that you've got at the bottom. £12.99, 631476 is your item number for this one as well. And last but no means least, we also have the vibrance. I love the colours of these at the moment. You're getting all the colourways um, at the bottom. It's a lot of vibrant colour is what you're going to get, but you can mute it down if you so wish. So all these cards that you see here are using the vibrant colours that we've got as well, uh, but you can uh, sort of mute the tones. So you haven't got to think, oh, I'm not a vibrant person, Adam. I don't, you don't need to be. And if you don't want to spray them, you haven't got to spray them. Decant some into a small little dish and use it to paint with. They are beautiful to paint with. They really, really are. Uh, £14.99, 4541697 is your item number. Right then, let's go back for more hints and tips and demonstrations with our Donna. Let's do it. What are we up to? OK, well, I was just doing some more on that while I was waiting for you. But next, what I'm going to do is move on to the stencil. So we've got the, the stencil itself, which I've got two copies here, so I can show you the different things. Okay. So um, Adam, it was actually Adam's idea to do the dream catcher, and then Simon said, well, let's do the dream catcher, but let's make it everybody else in charge and do be their own designer, which is, like you said, you've, you've mentioned all the... Uh, the side bit here for the hills and things like yeah. that. We've really, really thought about it. Um, put loads of different, um, you know, side elements or dangly bits. I haven't got a word for that. Um, and you, you don't have to use it as a dream catcher. No, because so, I, I, I see in the middle of that dream, I see a flower. Yeah, exactly. It's beautiful, isn't it? It's really nice. I was doing these last night um, and I've just used gesso through it. Um, and all I did was I taped the top bit down and literally um, kept on lifting it up, pop, popping another piece of paper underneath, popping it back down and just doing it so you could actually do batch making. Okay. You know, don't just think, oh, you've got to do one at a time, then go away and wash it. You know, you do, do things like that. And obviously you've got your different charms, your feathers. Um, you don't have to do anything to do with the dream catcher. Um, you could do um, like a little saying, which is what I'm going to do. I'm just going to take one element from it, which is this don't be scared to dream big little one. Obviously, you can play on words. Um, you could just have um, don't be scared, dream big, um, dream big little one. Um, you've got your faith, hope and charity. You've got love as well. And obviously, you can just take one letter from, you know, if you want, say, say for instance, here on the hope. When I was looking at it, I thought, oh, that looks a little bit like an A. And then I thought you could change that into a V. So you could have have faith or, you know, things like that. You can mess around with it quite a bit. And I think every single letter, well, not every single, about five letters are missing when you can manipulate them a bit. Oh, I like it. I absolutely love it. I really, really, it is a good stencil. So, um, I think the more you look into it, the more yeah, you'll, the more see, you'll in see it as well. I did exactly the same with the feather stencil, which I've hopefully got enough time to do. Um, but when I came away last time, I did exactly the same, and you've got nearly all the letters on that one as well, and that one's brilliant. Hopefully, I'm going to do something with that shortly. So, the other way, um, obviously, you might be thinking, oh, well, I don't, I'm not sure about it all being all spaced up and 
you know, not in the right, the right order, but it is so simple and easy. So um, she says, and she's stuck all this down. It so a lot, um, of, a lot of tape. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, that's just in case I needed it for my demos. Oh. So what I've done is I'm making this look a lot harder than it is. So what I've done is I've masked off some little areas. What you could do is obviously just cut round them and pop them underneath if you wanted to keep you know, a certain part from getting the colour on. So yeah. I just want to show you some different ways of how you can just use it. This is a really quick, simple way. And the reason that I've done it like this is because, um, again, last night I was doing, um, I wanted diff to use different elements. Thank you. So um, what I've done is I've just cut out of the board again um, some um, ovals. ovals. And, um, which, mountain board, which mountain board is this? Is this so this six? one, um, it's cream on one side and it's uh, white on the other side. So this one is a 610 GSM. And again, this is a really, really good weight card. Does it go through your dye machines? Yes. Oh, it does? Yeah. You wouldn't think it would have been that way. No, but it does, yeah. Nice. I was just looking around from hearts. I've got some hearts that I've cut on that. So what I did was I literally just did the the blue so I've put some of the blue on here and gone through the stencil so I'm going to do the same on here so I've masked off everything else and I've just got the dream big little one showing here so decide where you want it I'll just make sure so I've got quite a, a bit of colour on there so I'm going to take some off so just leave it you can stick it down or whatever you want but just pop it where you want it and just literally go through now we've we've done the stencil, so it's a really good quality stencil, and it's thick enough to take your colours without it pooling and things like that. You can go through it with your gesso or your texture paste. You know, you can really, really change it up and do different things with it. It doesn't have to just be sprayed through. Obviously, you can spray through it, um, but with it being this type of stencil where we've left you to design your own thing and it's not necessarily in the right order it's a little bit more difficult not to say that you can't do it I mean I can do it for you it's not a problem no, no, but I just no, thought no. it's good to show ah. how simple and easy uh, something like this is going to be, that be um, I'm just looking for a piece of paper just sorry just one second um, so then on the edge literally all I've done is just taken the colour up the at the pearls the by the way the pearls that we've got back in stock they're busy again. 30% of the stock, the extended stock now has already gone. 30% of that extended stock of your pearls have now have gone. We're also busy for the Winx Vibes as well. Bring up those details. 50% of the stock there now has already gone as well. Uh, vibrant, vibrant colours. You're getting 530 mil colours. They will last an awful long time. A little goes an awful long way uh, with Pearly Winx and your Winx Vibe. Well, with all of them. Anything to do with Pearly Winx, a little goes a very, very long way. Uh, your QDs are busy as well. Get your quick drying inks. Well, then what are we up to? So I'm carrying on with it. Um, literally, um, I didn't know which way to finish it off, but yesterday I just sprayed literally around um, a piece of the smaller card and then I loved the background. I thought it was really nice. Um, and all I did was I put the, the card onto something and just literally went over it this is the glitter pearl now this is really really one of my favorites and it's a really go-to it just gives the most beautiful shimmer as you can see once it dries am I oh, yeah. it? can you see it on the camera am i tilting it the right way no you give it a wiggle i'm totally not back doing and forward, it right back way. and forwards back and forwards there we go there we go even on there, you can see it's not, it on the dream. You can see, yeah, edge. it's not even coming round as it's not coming across as as good. There we go. There, there, you there, go. there. <laughs> Look at that. It's absolutely gorgeous. So yeah, you can spray it as much as you want. It makes um, anything look like glitter card, doesn't it? Yeah, exactly. It, it, that's exactly what it does. Um, so then, all I'm going to do is I've not put my heat gun on, um, but I'll just very quickly show you what I was going to do with it, because then I can move on to something else. Um, is pop it with just a little piece of string simply like that it looks it looks wooden it's that it does, you know it's, it's that good and then pop that on and then you just made a beautiful little card or top or a mobile for a kids room or whatever that's nice it's I lovely like isn't it really that pretty is beautiful. that is stunning and then uh, simon's done one another mobile there with the pink one and he's put all the diamonds on it 
Um, some of the design team have done other mobiles there that are absolutely beautiful. You know, but you can really use it in so many different ways. That's how Simon all over that is. Look at it. Yeah, all pink, pink and, and glitter. Pink and That's how Simon is. <laughs> One way it to sort of Simon is. in a stencil. There it is right there. <laughs> <laughs> right. I'm going to move on. Oh, I forgot the butterfly. I thought there was something missing. It looks a little bit. I just uh, glittered up and sprayed up a little butterfly. I think that finishes it off nicely. Sorry. Nice. <laughs> I love it. It's pretty, isn't it? And it's, it's, it can and be it's a gift. quick and easy to do. Yeah, it, they, they all are so quick and easy, little techniques. I've got to show you. In fact, in the new year, I'm thinking to start uh, doing, like, from basics, um, because there's so many different ways, and then I won't miss anything out then. You know, on Facebook. 45% of your... Fit. 50 feet over half. These are flying out the door. They're really going quick. Get them while you can. Your pearl mists are there. Uh, your pearl sprays. Uh, £12.99. pence. I can't talk and swirl at the same time. £12.99. Sorry about the quiet. Uh, 342352 is your item number. We are very busy. We're also busy for our next demonstration as well, which is the feather stencil. 50% of the feather now has already gone. Get it while you can. £12.99. 631476 is your item number uh, for your beautiful feather that we've already got on the show. You've seen it before, but you're loving it again. Something else you're absolutely adoring are the wink vibes. We've had a question from Christine. Go on. Can you decant the wink vibes into a spray gun? Um, I think maybe just you mean like an air, an air I'm spray I'm guessing one. to a like I a, think you can. Uh, a spray paint gun, it says. Yes, because Toria, um, one of our design team members, um, who's very poorly at the moment, bless you, mm, lots of love, um, she's done that. She's done it through, um, so like what do they call it, uh, um, air mist or like something? Like an air mister, like, yes. like what you'd have for like a little cake. Yes, she's done it on that. Makes that noise as well. Shh. Uh, yes, you can. The best thing to do, give it a go. Contact us. Give, contact us a, give us a message, I can put you in touch with um, the page that she's done it on. There you go. Contact them. Pearly Winks. We'll get all the details at the end of the show. Do not worry about that. Uh, right then, let's get back to the demonstration. OK, another one with the QDs. Um, now, this first bit is not the demonstration, but I'm going to do it just because I want to get the... I want to literally get the um, colours onto this stencil. So this is the beautiful feather stencil that we brought to you last time. Um, so I'm just going to literally spray the colours on. Yeah? Now... Um, Again, like I said before, with it being alcohol, you would think that this would stain your stencil, but it doesn't. You can just wipe it off, which is another okay. great bonus. So just ignore the way that it's going to be sprayed through and things like that, because it's what I'm going to do with it in a minute that's going to be really lovely on the other side. It we've got really... about, how long have we got left? We've got about nine minutes left. <gasps> right, OK. It's all right, don't worry. No, we need a bit of time, for, you know, for that thing. This is your last so, one, isn't it? For, yes, this is, yeah, this will be my last one. Right, so that's beautiful as it is, So, but ignore that. You know, that is really, really beautiful, even if I do say so myself. Yeah? But ignore that. I want you to turn it over and pop your stencil on, just like that. And then what I want you to do is take a blending brush. So this is for people, I'm going to put one of these little finger cots on just so I can pop my finger onto the stencil. So um, for people that don't like doing all the spraying and stuff like that, you could blend this onto a mat. I just want to show you the beautiful colours that you're going to get and the effect because it gives like a 3D effect around your piece of work. So I'm blending all these colours in. Ideally, I'd be using a different colour blended brush, but it's still blending the lovely, lovely colours in together. And as well, if you want to tape it down, if you feel better doing that, then do that. Or if you want to um, use the spray or whatever, some people use a spray to keep it down in place. But all you want to do is to get all that colour off and you need to be fairly quick because obviously it does start drying a little bit. Oh, I've just smudged a little bit there, but I think it'll be fine. Right, I'm just going to take it round off the edge. And if I could spend more time in it, I'd be doing it all nice and round and things like that. But get that colour off. 75% of this stencil stock now has already gone. If you like it and you are toying with it and you... 
you know, we we haven't, we definitely can't bring you any more. We're not going to say in a minute, oh, we've got some more because this is the last of the stock from the last oh, show and we won't kept, be reprinting you kept, it. You kept that first Sorry. 48 minutes in. Sorry, I didn't think, I just thought then, I, I reminded myself how much I do love it and how beautiful it is. So once this is gone, this is gone? This is gone because we, you know, we're only a small company. We can only get so many made. So True. how beautiful is that? That's beautiful. It gives the depth. It's not done as much on there because I'm rushing, but if you just look at this one that I did, you can really, really see the depth. Yeah? Yeah. So let's go for it, Adam. Oh, I haven't shown you the other thing, have well, I? Show me the other thing. Oh, really, really quick. Are you ready? Are you set up? Yeah, it's all there. All right. Um, the last thing um, would be the, the... I can just show you rather than do this. The second generation vibes and how quick it is just to very quickly just spray these up and make yourself a little booklet or something like that so i've just this is just normal um uh, watercolor these are nice where's my colors gone there they are and then just spray them up whatever color so are these got, are the wink vibes the, yeah or are these got, your quick dry these are the these are the sorry these are the wink vibes wink so vibes. i've got the sweet orange and the chartreuse on there i've got the so magenta what colour is Chartreuse? Chartreuse, you can get a green and you can get a yellow. Oh. It's a French. I thought it was a drag queen. <laughs> I've got a blue sure. grotto <laughs> and I've got an, I, I can't say this one, an... What colour is it? It's a blue. There we go. There we go. Because um, I say, if I say it one way, it's like something... It's like, like, it's like you don't say that. Yeah. Uh, it's, like a, it's like sort of like a uh, violet. Yeah. There you go. So it's just really quickly and um, just for the time, I'm just going to oh, blot them this. off. And then you can go back into it. You can add your glitters, you can add some water. They're going to be water reactive. So you can throw your water at it. You know, when you get that water look. Yeah. It's all, there's nothing, you, do you know what I mean? It's not, it's really, really easy. Yeah? And those oh, colours are We beautiful. are very, very busy. Start checking out your baskets. We've got cues on the phones as well. Uh, your feather stencil has technically sold out. If you've got it in your basket, start checking it out for me, please, now. I don't want to poke or prod you. I'm not here to do that. But you will miss it. It's not coming back. Uh, we've just been told that. So if you've got that feather stencil in your baskets, please start checking it out for me. And then it will be yours. We're also very busy on the quick drying pearly wings as well. The brand new ones for today. You're getting all the colourways that you see in front of me as well. They work in your resins beautifully to change the colour. That's what those leaves are uh, down the front. Also, you've got the beautiful backgrounds in there. 50% of the stock now has already gone. You can use them in so, so much for them. Uh, from there, we've also then got your pearl mist in the brand new colour of the rose gold that we've got there as well. Uh, absolutely stunning in the rose gold. You can't go wrong with this. Nine pounds and ninety-nine pence. Eight nine three one zero three is your item number. These have been phenomenally busy uh, this hour. Phenomenally busy. Uh, we are two thirds of the extended stock already gone. Now extended to the second, uh, first of December is what you're looking at. Twelve pounds and ninety-nine pence. Three four two three five two is your item number. Then we have the wink vibes as well. Very busy for you, wink vibes. Uh, we are, oh my word, we are so busy. 60% of the stock has already gone here as well. Right then. You do this to me every single Come time. Come on, Adam. Just so you know, so it's all above board. This was all sent to me uh, previously before the show. It's been sitting in my car and I'm with a little note saying, don't open, don't touch, just bring it in with you. <laughs> but I do like the fact I've got a brand new apron. I like this that says your name all yeah, over it. Yeah, I've not used it yet. Well, you have to be very you might careful. Not be. Right, what are we doing? Because we've literally got. How long we got, <laughs> So we're going to do some shaving we've foam. We've got two minutes. Come on then, let's do it. All right, thank God. Shaving foam. <sighs> so what are we doing? What are we doing? Tell me what we're doing. So you've got loads of colour there. Just get your shaving foam onto the onto there. Not a lot in it, so. Oh, really? You've left me. You've left me a lot. I know. Yeah, not a lot left. Sorry. I'm going to use the QDs. You've not got any. Um, and then you're going to use. Uh, any mixes of all those colours, what you've got there. Okay. So. What are you doing? Just, <gasps> just cleaning the end of my shaving foam. Don't worry. How rude. So what am I doing? Spraying it all out. Signing oh. my apron by the looks of it. Let me take my watch off. It's an heirloom. Oh, I can't get it off. An uh, heirloom? Well, just spraying on. Just yep. spraying colours on. Spray it on. 
Are these the what? Am I using the QDs? No, I've got the QDs. Okay. You've got the old, all the old stuff. Oh, I've got all the old stuff. Oh, <laughs> the old stuff. oh no. fabulous. No, 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 because you've got some gorgeous colours. You really have got some gorgeous colours there. I'm going to take off the counter. I want... Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. I've literally only tried this once with these, and it does actually work. I'm using Wink Vibes. I'm just taking off the counter now. Oh, Are you I don't really? care. I'm not using old stuff. Who do you think I am? Are you really? Yeah, of course I am. Do you know? You can't get this away with me. I'm not Yanis. I don't <laughs> use old stuff. It's quite light, this, because I've got the um, thin card. Uh, not the thin card, the shiny card. I've got a card. Yep. Then I just dip it in. Yep. I always get nervous about this, but quick, how long have we got? Oh, we've got a minute. Is that go, it? Just one minute? Yeah, just one minute. Not got long, have we? No, because you've been so busy doing demos, which we, we've had a very busy show. We are very busy. Start checking out your baskets now, if you can. I love this demo. This demo is amazing. It's great, isn't it? If you can take stuff away from my amazing demonstrations. It's such good fun. <sighs> oh, it's not very bright. It's not. It's, I'm just thinking that. I've not given you the best card. I, I did think that, but it's all right. Oh. We've got 30 seconds, Don. Show me yours. Show me yours. Wait a minute. Show me yours, and then I'll show you mine. I've shown mine already on the telly. Oh, have you? Yeah, I've done mine. We've oh. got 20 seconds. 20 seconds, Don. There you go, look. Ooh. Background, we've got 15 QDs. seconds. Let's see if I can get, do another one in. Uh, finish with no, the QDs. No, no. Your details are on the screen. Start checking out your baskets if you wanted to as well. There's so much you can do. Thank you, Donna. It's been a pleasure. Thank you. Oh, keep your little apron. <laughs> yes, I'm covered in shaving. I was going to say something else then. Shaving bone now. Uh, iCraft's up next with our Karen. She's ready. She's poised. She's doing star jumps as I look at her at the moment. You be careful, love. You'll you pull your injury. Hi, my name's Barbara Gray from Clarity Stamp. And uh, how did I get here? Well, when my children, Grace and Mark, were born, I left the corporate world and I took up crafting full-time. Then I had a moment of clarity, if you'll pardon the pun, and I came up with the transparent art stamp. And the rest is history, really. For the last 27 plus years, I've been pioneering the art of transparent stamping. I love teaching. For me, it's all about that. And so working with Hochanda is fantastic because it gives me the perfect platform to reach out and work with uh, like-minded people and to be able to show um, some of the tricks that I've learned along the way. If you like my style and you like what I do, then please join me, Barbara Gray, on Hochanda. Hi, I'm Lou from Studio Light. Studio Light has been around for about 40 years now. They're based in the Netherlands. It's a family run business with a great heritage. Over the 40 years, Studio Light have evolved. They listen to me, the demonstrator, and you, the customers, and really take our ideas on board. So make sure you don't miss the Studio Light shows on Achanda. Hi, I'm Nikki Hassan. I've been working with Heartfelt Creations for about nine years now. Heartfelt Creations as a company launched the company back in 1994. They have been in the industry for a very, very long time. They are crafters, so they know what you crafters want and they listen to us crafters too. Their products range from stamps that coordinate with dyes that then coordinate with a paper pad. But then we also have storage folders, we have decorative dies, we have colouring daubers, we have Insta albums. One of the products that really make Heartfelt unique are their flower shaping moulds, where you can make easy, quick, three-dimensional flowers, which are absolutely stunning. So I hope you can join Heartfelt Creations here on the Chanda.
Hello, my name's Stuart and I'm the Managing Director of Oakwood Archer. Oakwood Archer is a family run business and my son and my daughter work very hard with me to bring the best craft items to you in the UK. We specialise in high quality items brought into the UK from all over the world, including brands like Kaiser Craft, Stampendous and Impression Obsession. Working with the Chandler is fantastic for us. It gives us the opportunity to bring all of these brands and all of these products from all over the world direct to you, the crafter in the UK. Our products include stamps, dyes, papers, buttons, trimmings, ribbons and album making kits. Just about everything you need to be a good crafter. So please don't miss Oakwood Archer Shows on a Chandler. Flexi order has arrived at Hachanda. What is Flexi order? When you place an item on Flexibuy in your basket, you qualify for Flexi order, which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your Flexibuy payments, so you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments. After your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. When you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping baskets, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for our Flexi Order offer. This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly Flexibuy payments, offering you the extra flexibility when you shop with us. Flexi Order, making your shopping experience with Achanda easier. Hello, good morning. Yes, we are still good morning. I have no idea with the times nowadays. 10 o'clock it is in the morning. Um, Karen is here. Hello, Karen. Hello, how are you? I'm good. I feel like we haven't worked together for a while. We haven't. I don't know what. I missing your shift, unfortunately. Oh, but you're in now, which is good. Yes, but... Uh, yeah. a screen between us. I know. Um, uh, now, if you missed the show, Karen was on at 7am uh, this morning, so you can catch up on Rewind, and he, she was with Adam. Um, now, we've got some really pretty decoupage papers here. We have, yes, yeah, we've yeah. got some lovely decoupage papers. Um, I went through it earlier, and I'll go through it again uh, yeah. when we've got them, but there are, it, it's, it's, I've never had decoupage papers before. Right. I'm not saying I've never used them, but I've never had them on the, on a, on a show, and it's been like really exciting to uh, do something excellent. different. Yeah, also, yeah. we've got a happy hour for you. Here it is. Uh, these beautiful stamps, uh, these are only going to be the price on screen, £13.98 for the next hour. There you go, 572833. Oh, apparently it's a back in stock. There you go. £13.98, pence. there you go, so just to see. Very nice. Uh, but now, coming on to our decoupage papers, they are really pretty. They're nice and colourful, actually, aren't they? They're very, very colourful, and uh, they're very, very big. They're as, they're as bigger than my uh, my sheet. Yeah. And there are, there's six different ones in two sets of three. There's two in each one. Right. Um, and for £12.99, so you're getting six sheets for £12.99. But they're very, very versatile, and we'll be doing something a little bit different with them than what I did this morning. Oh, marvellous. Oh, they're here. You got them there, yeah. Oh, I, went, I was like looking here going, where are they? There you go. Okay. Uh, here we go. Let's have a little look at these papers then. So we've got the, um, the brickwork. Okay, now they are really, really big. So let's take a little look here. Oh, are they pretty? Oh, there's extras on there as well. So it's not just the brickwork. Very pretty. Yes, yeah. Uh, fussy cut round those, so you can cut, fussy cut round them and want you know, and obviously when you do decoupage paper, yep. you blend blend the, the sides and uh, the edges in, and you can't see it. But yeah, it's uh, there is a mix on every on on every one. It's not just what you see on the front sheet. Oh, let's have a little look then. Let's have a little look. Sorry Adam about the lovely rest of idea it. this morning. We're gonna I'm gonna go home and put one on a on a big board, the the brick one, yeah. and have it for taking my photographs when I send my photographs in. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah. Like that. Oh, hang on. Look at this one. This is like what I call your Moroccan tiles. You can cut all those down or just cover a book with it. But then you've got the two bits on the side. And if you went through the, the samples, there is a sample there that's been done by uh, one of the, the girls. The blue this one? one? Yeah. It's been fussy cut. 
and she's made a beautiful job of fussing cutting it and it's still gone onto a card stock so you can still lose them on cards yeah absolutely of course she can beautiful and then you've also got the woodwork here so let's see what little surprise we find when we open this up let's have a little look there we go a disappointment that's just the woodwork <laughs> <laughs> but you put that onto a big canvas and you've got a backdrop yeah, it You've looks got really good. Full backdrop. So decoupage papers. When you use the decoupage glue, you can buy glue or you can make uh, mix your own. It's all about personal choice. Yeah. Um, but they'll go on to canvases. They'll go on to wood. They'll go on to hardboard. They'll go on to uh, grey board. Right. They they go on to different. You can put them around different shapes. You've got a little box there that's where it's been all put around. Unfortunately, that. she accidentally glued it shut so it doesn't open. Oh, <laughs> never mind. That's all right. That looks but really it goes pretty. Round, it goes around all different shapes and everything else. So that one's from, that one's from Cheryl. Cheryl. That's fabulous. But it's be beautiful. Some, they've made some beautiful samples yeah. of, the, of the ladies. Yeah. Uh -huh. Nice. Um, that is £12.99 for that collection. Item number is 685813. Uh, and then we've also got this collection. Again, I can open them out, but have a little look at these. These are your more floral ones. Yeah. The, the other ones I would say you could use to mask them in items. These are floral and bright and pretty and beautiful pictures in, inside them. There's, there's more than one focal image there. Yeah. Um, cut, cut it out and, you know, this to me there's six or seven different images there that you can, can pop together. Yeah, nice. So that's one of them, one of the designs. Then we've got the second design here. Let's open this one up again. Oh, this is pretty because it's got the dragonflies on. It's got dragonflies, but it's also got your birds on it and your branch and then your tree. Then it's got your hydrager and then you've got uh, a focal point in your... Your right hand. Yeah. Yeah, your right. <laughs> no, your left hand. <laughs> <laughs> It's everything's back to front. I know, it? isn't it? Yeah. And, and that would make a lovely book cover. Wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah, what a great idea. And then you've got one more here. Let's open this one up. Which one haven't I done? Uh, this one. Yeah, let's open this one up. And this one's nice and lavender coloured and um, it's got bits of brickwork in, but you've got a, a lilac-y colour, purpley colour mm. to it. But look at the birds on there. They're absolutely beautiful. But well, you've got them in yeah. two different sizes. So... Don't forget to do them in your journals yeah. as well, and, and uh, it, it's a decoupage paper. It's so useful to. It is, anything. isn't it? Yeah. Oh, look here are the birds. Aren't they nice? Look at that on a little canvas. We've got this one. Um, let's bring this in. So yeah, they've done a great job. Yeah, so they've team. taken elements out of it and then added it in with, with the frames, the resin frames that we've got, and uh, just built up on it. But it, it's, it's collaged as well. It's all collaged as well. Yeah, it is, yeah. isn't it? There you go. Yeah. Uh, 11 99 for this one. 900960 is the item number. OK, next then, we've got the resin frames. Um, these were busy in the last hour, and these, they take a lot of different mediums, didn't they? They do they? take a lot of mediums. We can throw some mediums at them. I found a few little small ones, so we'll throw a few mediums that so we good. can show that. But um, Adam decided to throw one on the floor, and it didn't break. Oh, there we go. Yeah, <laughs> I we, won't we got, touch we got them a result. Then. <laughs> uh, but they're, they're quite substantial, they're quite heavy, but just just that one's that Cheryl's done. Yeah. Uh, you can just see how, they've, how they can embellish a frame. Mm. Mm. Uh, a picture, but it, it, it makes a focal point. It's giving you a, yeah. a, a focal point to concentrate on. Absolutely glorious. It is. Look at it. And I like beautiful this. Beautiful size. Dress. The really, really, really good size. Yeah, they are. Oh, we've even got like a heart-shaped one in here. That's beautiful. Really nice. Um, we are half the stock of these resin frames gone. Nine ninety-nine. Item number is four six zero five four seven. Then, moving along, we've got um, a whole range of stencils. I really like these because this, this, this goes a little bit steampunky, doesn't it? This one's a bit steampunky, masculine, yeah. The one um, 
the one in between the two cogs if you look at the sides of it it's not uh, it's not flat so it's been made so that you can continue and make bigger pieces oh I see yeah um, don't just use them for inking through you can stencil through them mm -hmm. I've got some drawings I've got some I've been drawing uh, putting them into my journal oh, cool. and drawing through and making pictures out of can them can we emboss so. with them as well Pardon? can we emboss with them as I've well I've got a brought my machine we can ah. emboss with them so I'll, I'll emboss with them cool. the, the demos this have uh, T late today, this 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 uh, hour is more about what tech, what we can do with them yeah. rather than making a card or okay. making a finished sample. There you go, fantastic. There, look, have a look at these. Aren't they really pretty? Really like these. There's a there's a board I've got as well. It looks so so nice on a journal cover. Here's the board just so you can see how they um, look when you've inked through them. Um, we've got the wall here. I like these samples. The, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was the B flip that we brought here uh, last week. Yeah. But it just shows how yeah, everything goes together. But don't think that you've got to. Uh, ink or stencil or do with everything in one go. Look uh -huh. how they've done it in, oh, they in little parts Sections, of it, yeah. and that just brings it to the focal where the where the bee is. But yeah, yeah beautiful samples. Like to say thank you to the uh, the ladies yeah. for all their help that they've given me on this, these two shows. That's good. Uh, Twelve ninety nine. Item number is four three four five two one. Uh, then the next set. Here we go, of stencils. Again, it's another set of four. Details just coming onto the screen. So we've got your shapes, trees, bricks and stones here. Marvellous. And again, I've got another board. Go, go for it, Karen. Yeah, so the 8515, I would presume that that would be the, st the, the one that we're going to the shapes at the end. But mm -hmm. the, what, the one on your right... Right, yeah. Yep, on the all right. Yep. That would be the stones. That looks like crazy paving to oh, me. Oh, it does, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah I can uh, see that. Again, the brick wall. So if you wanted the brick wall, you've you've got a choice of either one or the other stamp up, uh, the stencil set to go with. The trees, you can never go far wrong with a, with no. a load of trees. Uh, and then the other one is, uh, it, it, look, it reminds me of pebbles, but you can also use it for giraffes. I was and just things thinking like that. that. Yes. Yeah. Sort of like giraffe prints like this. I've got the board here, and also, <laughs> there's a really nice sample I'll show you in a second. It's quite quirky. Uh, but here you go, you can see how they um, ink up. And they, look at that, that's fun, isn't it, yeah, Karen? Yeah, so what Sam's done there is she's um, continuously. Um, stenciled through it and then die cut with it afterwards yeah so you don't know oh, when is it when is a stencil not a stencil yeah when it becomes a pattern piece of paper amazing there you go and then we've got a lovely gecko here and then oh look at the trees now that's a lovely scene that one that's beautiful that's uh, apparently done with John's uh, my uh, magic mica powders oh really yeah it's through the stencil ah it looks yeah, beautiful I thought it was done with uh, emboss it you know yeah. with the uh, um, an embossing ink and um, oh, sorry, Mica. Karen. Okay, <laughs> yeah, my, my, my words are coming, Alex. My words. But it's been done with John's uh, Mike Magic, I think it's called. Yep. Fabulous, and, it looks uh, beautiful. But, but he's done as a um, the, the tree because the tree is on, on black card and the trees have come through. Looks like a night sky coming through the trees, it absolutely does. gorgeous. Wonderful, 12 pounds and 99 pence. Item number is a 392079. That's your item number. Then we've got even more stencils, we've got lots to keep you busy here. Uh, this one is your bubbles, honeycomb, circles, and crackles. Again, very useful, very um, useful. So many yes, backgrounds, yes. I like a bubble. Don't just use a bubble to do a background. I've been, I've drawn into my uh, journal and I've coloured them in. Oh, yeah. So I've made two corners. Nice. I will show them through. Show them. That would be good. So uh, don't just think of them as to 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 put colour through. You can put paste through them. You can put paint through them. You can emboss them. Yeah. Put them through your die cutting machines. There's lots of things that you can do with them. Excellent. There we go. So I really like this one because it's very quirky. I like that one. That reminds me of, um, that one reminds me of, you know, when you see the pores, as in like the dirty pores, and then you get all of the cells. That's what it reminds me of. A, a paint pore, dirty yeah. paint pore. Yes, yeah. yes. Right. Yeah, all the I'm cells exploding. That. Yeah, love that. And then we've got one sample here. There you go. So you can see that fabulous background. 1299 We've got one more set of four for you. And let's take a look here. 
Uh, this one then is your lines with dots, grunge, scribble and mixed media. These are a little bit different. They're a little bit different. They're, uh, I would say that they're great for putting as backgrounds in your journals. Yeah. Definitely. They're not big spaces, so they're gonna, they, you, you're not going to overpower your background. If you're making backgrounds, mm -hmm. you're not going to overpower your backgrounds with colour. Yeah. It's going to give you a lot of white space to uh, just, just slightly colour colour background. I'm going to start using those in my journals oh, because great. I always tend to over ink okay. when I'm doing a, a, a stencil. I always seem to be really thick but you can lighten it up without yeah. those because you can, this, uh, it's just the patterns that do that for you. Yeah, beautiful. There you go. 12 891 795 and then last but not least, we've got some wooden embellishments. Now, these will be light enough so that they can still go on a card, can't they? Yes, if you look at behind you, they've been put onto cards and uh, um, embellished through. You can, uh, you can stain them, you could use the pearly winks on them, you can eat emboss on them. I thought you said eat them then. <laughs> heat emboss. Heat emboss. It speaks my Yorkshire accent without my H's. I love your accent. <laughs> there you go. So we can, um, yeah. And you can also use them as a stencil yeah. if you want to spray through them, use a pearly wing spray through them and, and then you still be able to use them afterwards. Yeah, brilliant stuff. Got I like this little sample. Look at this, got lollipop sticks with it as well. But you can see and there's a nice glaze on the um, wooden embellishment as well. That'll be the heat embossing, yeah. that'll be with the yeah. uh, embossing powders. Great stuff. Uh, now it is a mega pack, you're getting them all. There is um, 40 pieces in total and they're quite large pieces. 999 337 901. Now we've got some chalk paints for you. Let's take a little look here. Got some good pots here. Nice, nice, nice. Okie dokie, this is the black, grey, antique and white for 999. Item number is 881 uh, 977. Then we've got another set of four, nice and bright these ones actually, almost Christmassy colours. And these again are 9 99 and you've got gold, silver, red and green, 799033. And then a quick reminder of our happy hour deal, just coming onto the screen again, here we are. Beautiful stamps, actually. I love the flourish one. I think that's absolutely gorgeous. Thirteen pounds and ninety-eight pence. Six pounds saving only up until the end of the hour. Five seven two eight three three is the item number. Give us a call. Oh one seven double three six zero two thousand, or go to our website at herchanda.com. Right then, Karen, what so are you the, working the on? Nice sizes, those stamps, they are, aren't, aren't they? they? Yeah. If I just point out behind you there, there's some swatches of the paints. If you want to. Oh, okay. Can you see them? These ones? Yeah, and the ones at the side if you want to, to bring those out. So what I'm going to do now is just show you a few few tricks. Uh, well, not tricks, just a few things that we do with uh, the deco decoupage paper. Yep. Just want to show you how it, how it tears nicely. So if you've got all any little bits that you've got left or anything like that, tear them up and we can start putting them onto the back of... Uh, I'm going to make a little board here and put them on the back. And just popping some glue down, popping it on top, making sure that the uh, brush is nice and nice and what you call wet. Yeah. And they'll just start sticking in. But you can see here where they've just started drying. And it'll dry and clear, will it? It dries. It dries clear. I'm using uh, on this instance. I'm using watered down PVA. Okay. Uh, the only reason is I didn't have a, I didn't have a brand from a chanda and a decoupage glue. Oh, I see. It was uh, my decoupage glues from a brand that was here before. All right. So I didn't bring it to bring bring it to air. Um, so I made my own from the Awkward Archer. All I've done is used Awkward Archer glue. Yep. With water into it oh, and okay. made it into a, just a little bit of a. It's like a little thin cream isn't it yeah but uh, it will still and it'll still varnish it and keep going there yeah and details are on screen 15 pounds and 98 pence you're getting your twin pack 125 mils each there you go i was saying this morning i've gone through about i think i've gone through about six of them since i've started Have in you? july yeah yeah i do i use it for almost everything mm -hmm. the glow so this is just carried on there uh, and you can see how it's starting to dry this is only done just at the, when the show yeah. started yeah, it was, but that's yeah. starting to dry and if you want to varnish it up again you just put it over and you can re-varnish it up 
and it'll make it nice and bright however a picture you can get you can cut out so I've fussy cut a little picture here and you can see I've, I've not been really neat where I've been fussy cutting it and I'm just popping it popping some bit of glue onto what I'm sticking it to yeah the beauty about this now when I've put the put this on I can carry on building this up mm. um, in my own time yeah and then put the big one here and I would just pop some on the back so you've got two layers. With it being a bigger picture, yeah. I don't want any any dry bits in it yeah. or anything else. So I'm just going to do that. And then that'll be a nice focal point. And that's going to be a nice focal point. And as you're always shown, just start from the centre and take it all out. Take it all out there. Mm -hmm. And some more from the centre before it goes down if it's bubbling lift it up and take it all out but it's it's really really nice decoupage paper it is, isn't it? and i have been playing with it it's gone on canvases and everything everything that i've, I've popped it on so that's a little start there yeah i've done a jar and i've used the uh, chalk paint on it. Oh, okay. And glued some. It's very, very cheap jar. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the coffee in it was very, very cheap because I like cheap coffee. Fair enough. <laughs> uh, and then I've put some string around it with a hot glue. And then I've got another piece and I'm just going to make it, cut it down to size. Let's get the scissors. So we're looking about there. And the way that I would cut it is I've cut a little bit. I'm going to fold that over and just keep using that as a measure. Yep. And and if not, if I don't, I would normally do that, but I'm just going to cut it in. I'm going to put this onto a glass painted jar just to show you that it will go onto something different. Yep. And it's going to go to about there. So if I tear that. Do you see how nice it tears? It does, doesn't it? It tears really, really nice. I like nice. the torn look. Yes, yeah, mm. that's going to look really pretty when it's all dried. Yep. Okay. Same glue then? Same glue. Yep. Yep, onto glass. It's painted glass, the paint's not coming off or anything else like that. I've nothing to play with apart from paper today. I know. <laughs> Have you been well though? All good? Oh, very good. Yes, yep. thank you. Very, very good. Mm -hmm. I were only supposed to do a, a few samples and I've just got carried away and just carried on and carried on and played, carried on. Played with it. And it's not been like work this one, it's been like playing. That's nice. It's also been... got the stencils as well, of course. Oh yes, I've had all the stencils. A lot of my demos have been based around the stencils, but we thought we'd just show the what how, what you can do with the paper. Yep. So that part under there needs a bit more glue on and then you just start popping it over and doing it from the outside and what I'm going to do also is I'm just going to make sure oh if you get some creases in it yeah don't worry just go over them and they'll just come out they'll or, not come out they'll just blend in actually to be honest I quite like that look as well almost look makes it look crackled it does yeah they'll mm. blend in that's not the paper, that's uh, that's the bad demo. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> so that's going to dry and then I'm going to pop it into this that I made. Oh, that's pretty. And it's just a box. Yeah. And all I've done from the box, that was going to go into there now. It's just a box and these are the wooden embellishments. embellishments. Yeah. I've stuck them together using the uh, texture paste my texture paste through it with the um, uh, cogs. Right, these are the cogs. I've done it on all four. And all I've made here now is I'm going to put some water in it. I have to excuse me. I'm going to put some water in it. Oh, is this going to be for your paintbrushes? It's going to be for my paintbrushes. Excellent. So when they're drying, they dry it, they can go like that. Yeah. But I'm, I am I have this tendency yeah. in my craft room to have a jar and go <laughs> and knock it over. Yeah, this so it'll be sturdy, I am then. not going to knock over. So this is now going to be my... And I can put, put all my little things down it. Yeah. And it's just all from a box. Decoupage paper. 
And all done there. Yeah, it looks good. Yeah? Yeah, really Shall pretty. I get ready for doing something else? Yeah, that would be good. Um, have a little look at the website at herchanda.com. Um, there's lots of Oakwood goodies. We've got some um, fabulous accessories, you know. Um, the scissors, um, Karen was using those. If you're in the market for some scissors, we've also got some glues, that twin pack. Uh, storage is there. The trimmer is a really good trimmer. If you need that, the glass mat, obviously, I think, think we all need one of those. Um, then we've also got a little tool set. Um, you get And look at the reviews. Got some great reviews there. Oh, I love that little pouch where you get the ball tools with. That is, again, another fabulous handy one. Uh, we've got some adhesives for you. So all of the things, all of your consumables that you might need to stock up on. Glue dots, tape runners. Um, we've got some red liner tape as well. Ah, we've even got some cardstock. That's nice and bright, actually. Again, look at those reviews. Fabulous stuff. Now, if you do want to be um, a Freedom member, very, very easy to set yourself up. It's only $5.97 per month instead of $6.97 now. Um, so you can set yourself up. You can opt out at any time, but it is well worth it because you um, get your, all your postage covered, basically. There you are. Uh, unlimited standard delivery, no contracts, exclusive discounts, monthly newsletter, and you'll get a member's badge. I've been a member since the very, very beginning. Lovely. How are you doing, uh, Karen? I'm ready to show you some more things. Sounds good. Yeah, so if I just go through this on the, in, on the overhead, I was sure. just saying about using stencils. I've used the brickwork there. And all I've done is doodle in it, but look, it's made Lovely a really doodles. nice, a really nice frame round yeah. it. Uh, that's the the B stamp. I've not quite finished that part, but then that's just the circles one. Yep. And that means if if I'm making a card or anything else, I can just put a greeting across there. Did you use the stencils? Did you say? I use the stencils. Yeah. Just using it's stencils. Good. Yeah. Yeah. And then that's the stencils. I've used the stencils there, and that's the the cock the. The big steampunky cog, cogs one. Yeah. And all I've done is, can't find it, so let's use another stencil, shall we? And all I've done is, is added to it, and all you need is a fine liner pen. If we've got one somewhere, should have. You got one? I've got a gold one. I'm going to change it, change over pages. But what I would start doing is, don't forget, you can use your stencils just to go around mm -hmm. and draw in into them. And once I've got, I probably go around and do a corner. And that's that. Oh, I like it in the gold. So it's yeah, yeah. And then you start doodling and doing stuff in there. So that's just little bits that I've been playing with. That's that there. Sorry, I just said I'd show you, didn't I? That what I've been doing. In no, it's there. nice. That's what I do when I sit at, when I'm sat watching TV. Yeah, a bit of doodling. A bit of doodling. So this one is the script one, and I've, I've put texture paste through it. And I was going to do something with the embossing powder that was on this morning, but that's the wooden one with the embossing powder. What I can do is do normal embossing powder on that one sure, for you. Sure, that'd yeah. be great. Yeah, it's a pity those embossing powders it's sold out because they were lovely. They were amazing prices, weren't more. they? This is the flower making paper that we've got on the show, and I've just made some flowers. Yep. Um, I'm, I'm going to stick a decoupage paper over it and show you how it goes into Lovely. it. Uh, what shall we do? Shall we do this one? Why not? Yeah. Yeah. Well, what we're not going to do, we're not going to cut it. We'll just, well, we'll see if we can get it wet. Right. And see if it splits wet. So that's one thing that I've not tried yet. Oh, you get a lovely torn edge then. Yeah. Oh, yes, it does. Absolute. Oh, look at that. So that's what we're going to do for this one and then stick it on. Sounds good. And then we might be able to uh, put some flowers onto it. Can you see my bad brushes? <laughs> are they, are they, have they turned into sticks, have they? <laughs> They've turned into sticks. Did you get glue on them? Oh, I get glue on everything, me. <laughs> So how have you been keeping, okay? I'm good, yeah. Uh, obviously, but, but last week I was down at the seafront because it was cold, but it was really sunny. It has been sunny, hasn't it? It's yeah. been really bright. It's been lovely. So stick that in there. Okay. And now this is all coming away absolutely beautiful. 
Look at that. And look this is that. from our lovely second set, Butterfly, Dragonfly and Words, on screen, 1199-900-960. Very feminine, isn't it, that yeah, one? Very, it very pretty colours. Everything's sold out this morning, so it's mm -hmm. like uh, it's like all my demos have changed. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get the glue. We'll dry that. You would normally have a cloth. I seem to have forgotten mine. So organised and yet disorganised. <laughs> uh, this is just um, a stamps away. Um, Oh, what do you call it? Like a canvas? It's no. not a canvas, it's a uh, palette thing, isn't it? Ah. One of the palette things that they do. Um, and what have you gone over the, it with um, some texture paint? It's, it's, I've painted, but what I have done is I've made my own colour with the paint. Right, oh, okay. So I've used the, uh, the, the, the chalk paint and uh, I thought, oh, the red's, the red's a little bit bright for what I want. I mm -hmm. wanted something a little bit pinky. So I got some of the white and I got some of the red yep. and just mixed it all in and it mixes together absolutely glorious. Perfect. So there we go. And then you just work it in and you can see that using the stip a brush to stipple it in, yep. it's stippling into might not be any glue under there don't feel don't be afraid to pick it up and do what i've just done no, it's there. very nice and strong it's really strong yeah yeah there's there's nothing worse than a a, a paper that's not strong mm -hmm. is there and, and now you can see all the texture through it's it lovely i was just looking at the colors they're very soft colors aren't they they are very very, very peaceful colors very peaceful very decorative colors mm. And there we go, that's that. So then what we need to do is we can start decorating that up as as, as you wish. Yep. We can uh, do some flowered flowers. I'm going to put some texture paste on that. Okay. Shall I do that? Yeah, sure. Put some texture paste on that. Oh. Uh, what, what, uh, what stencil would you like? Oh, which stencil? Oh, do you want me to choose? Uh, uh, blah, blah, blah. Well, I... I I did like this, the cog one, but I don't think you've got that one there. So, I've what about the one somewhere. that's like crazy paving? That one's a cool one. The crazy paving. Yeah. So let's. Do, that's the crazy paving. That one. Yeah, that's yeah. quite cool. So it's uh, the word came to me. Now it's left me again. What it was? <laughs> palettes, aren't they? They like palettes. Palettes? Palettes. These well, are pebbles. like palettes. Oh, that, from, those. Uh, I thought you were talking about the stencil then. No, for a no, no, no. Brains. Do you know my. I'm just, I don't know what's wrong with me today, Brains. <laughs> don't you worry. What, going from one to the other. I've got a cool cap bendy tool. Yep. And I'm just going to pop. Oh, it's, this one's not bendy. I picked wrong one up. Sorry, girls. Just pop it through. I do have a bendy tool. It just looks like I picked wrong one up. Oh, because they look quite similar. They do look similar. There you go, look at that reveal. There. And let's put a little bit more on here. But don't think that you've got to put it on all over. No, just it's elements. Just in, in, in elements. So on this one, I'm deciding I'm going to put a picture in the middle. And I'm going to put the paste around the outside. And that just goes shows how you can get them through the stencils. Put that to one side to dry. And then that's gone through there. And as you can see, I don't know whether you can see. Just come into it. Just coming into it. Can you get the texture? Do you want me to wiggle? Yes, they're saying. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, you can, you can see, see that. You can see it all the way through now. Yeah, that's perfect. And that's that's going to go through. Then you start popping your flowers and stuff around it. Yeah. Uh, we'll just do a bit on the wooden one, yeah? Yeah, cool. And then we can, we'll can we go to do some cards. Sounds good. With Why stencils, not? if that's all right. Of course it is. So I've got some wow powder. And this is... Do you want me to do a, uh, a frame as well at the same time with Why it? Why not? Let's do it. Yeah, let's do it. So I'm just impressing wow powders into it. Yep. This morning um, I did do this with uh, eyes inks. Yeah. So you can, I can run that back through again or 
gone rewind and see that. So you've got to make sure you're getting all the nooks and crannies of that one. I'm not so worried about where it's going to go. Oh, OK. We'll give it a um, distressed look. I'm giving it a distressed look, but I'm using the Stampendous uh, Ordinary Ink Pads. Uh, not ink pads. Embossing powders? Embossing powders. The big ones, the thick ones all went this morning. Yes. I got loads of demos with them oh, as well. Oh, sorry, Carol. Well, at least it's popular. Yeah. Very what should popular. we go for? A bit of gold? Yes. Let's go for gold. I'm just throwing it over. Uh-huh. Even you can see I'm using me... That's full top. Yeah, so, so that's going to be a right nice distressed it one. It is, isn't it? That's the thing about those resin frames is that they will take the heat. Oh, they take the heat beautifully, yes. Yeah. They take Adam dropping them on the floor. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not touching that board because I'll do the same. <laughs> he nearly died this morning. You know, you could see his face. It was like, oh, oh. my word, what have I done? <laughs> it's all good. Let's get the heat and boss on this one. Oh, I love watching this. So cool. Here we go, and the gold will show up really, really well. Say again? I said the gold will show up really well. It will, but because he's gone through the embossing part, uh, the embossing ink, he's just caught it on the top. Yeah. It's absolutely... And the Stampendous uh, embossing powder just goes, just turns beautifully. Yeah. So that's... Look at that. Stunning. Yeah, mind your fingers. Mind fingers. <laughs> and then I'll do this one. So you can see how they both turn. Absolutely gorgeous, aren't they? Yeah, look at that. They look like metal now instead yeah, so of wood. So you've gone from that to that, and then you've gone from that to that. Yep. And then this one, let's... We need to start putting a composition together now, don't we? So, I think we'll have that up there. Let's get the glue gun on, shall we? Sure. You all right? Yep. Just lost my end out of it. <laughs> <laughs> if it can go wrong, it definitely goes wrong. And we, so what would you like to highlight there? Shall we start off? I'm not sure now. This is where, oh, like that. This is where you yep, start there's messing. there's the composition. And then some flowers. That looks pretty. What about that? Yeah, that looks really nice. Yeah. yeah. What colour do we, shall we do up flowers? Shall what we do them gold we as well? Why not keep the gold theme? Keep the gold theme going. So what's that that you've got, like mica in a little spritzer? It's, uh, it's just uh, some um, yeah. mica in, a, in the spritzer. Yeah, yeah. Oh, right, um, the shaping paper. This is interesting stuff. So are the flowers made out of them? The, the flowers are made out of the flower shaping paper, yes. Yes. And just need to dry them now. Lovely stuff. It's on the screen. You get 25 sheets in total. 9.99, Okay, okay. I'll come back to you while you're popping that together. I'll just do a quick recap. All right, lovely. Okay, we have got some decoupage papers. Let's open these up again. Uh, and I will show you some samples because we've got some great samples. So this is your first collection where you've got the brick, wood and the tiles. Um, this next one is the um, tiles. This one's really pretty. It's almost a bit mandala-esque. Well, I got this upside down. Indeed. There you go. So I love that, the sort of the frame down here with the words in. Looks fab. And then we've also got the brickwork. But the brickwork does have um, some real focal points there at the side with those flowers, plant pots. Um, and I've got some samples from this collection. Let me just move that out of the way. Here we go. Very pretty, like that. So I've done that. She's done the whole journal with the papers there. Uh, we've got a beautiful, pretty plaque. Let's bring this one in. Very nice. Oh, that one might actually be from the other collection. Apologies, I think it is. Um, oh, no, maybe it isn't, because it's the plant pots that were on there. And then 
We've got a lovely box. Of course, you can use your decoupage papers for boxes. Fabulous. Um, if you'd like to go for these, twelve ninety nine. Item number is six eight five eight one three. And then the other one, we've got the florals. Let's open these up again. Sorry about the ruffling, rustling against my mic. There you go. So that's one of the um, papers or the, the designs. We've got another one here. This one's got the birds on. Oh, it's got the dragonfly on as well. Let's open this one up. There you go. And then the last one is here. And this has got the bird cage on. It's a lovely old fashioned bird cage. There you go. Mm, it's really nice. And then we've got some samples. Let's have a look. Oh, this is nice. Lovely. That's really pretty. They're all pretty, these samples. Yeah. Yeah. yeah the, team... the, the, the ladies have done a, an excellent job. Yeah. They certainly have. Let's look at this. Isn't that pretty with the plaque? Um, I don't think you saw this one. Let's have a look here. There you go. There's that dragonfly. Lovely, jubbly. Oh, and these are the wooden embellishments. They're separate. Eleven ninety nine for the decoupage papers. Item number is nine zero zero nine six zero. Then we've got our fabulous frames. So we've just seen one. Um, you know, be heat embossed. That you, they will take your inks, your sprays, all sorts. Of these and they're they're a really nice set. All different designs, different shapes and sizes. And again, I've got some really pretty samples here. That's lovely. I love the pink and the gold. Something a little bit different, those colours. I wouldn't normally think of putting those colours together, but I like that. That was made using the red and the white paint. Ah. I, so oh. I made the, I made the colour the, oh, from the that. colour from, from oh, the lovely. paints myself, yes. Yeah, good yeah. stuff. There we go. 999 460 is your item number for those. Uh, then we come on to the stencils. Lots of fabulous stencils for you to have a little play with. We've got some brickwork cogs. Um, it's quite, quite nice and steampunky. We've got the blocks and the gears. And I've got a board for this one. So you can see how they come out. In fact, let's do it that way. And then you get the chains at the top. Lovely, love those. Fabulous stuff. At $12.99, item number is 434521. Next set then, we've got the trees. And then this, this also has some brickwork in. Um, and you've got the stones and the shapes. Lovely, I've got a board. Let's show this one. The trees are also useful for creating scenes, aren't they? Really good. These ones are $12.99. Item number is 392079. Then we go on to some more. Now, this is where it's got the really kooky one. I like this one particularly. Yeah. Like I said, it looks like cells when you've done a, a pour with your paints. Love that. I have another board. There we are. We've got the honeycomb in this. Fabulous. $12.99. 70. I've just got one sample here. There you go. Uh, 702643 is your item number. That one's just, that one's got the lovely little um, bubbles on there. And uh, then moving on to the next one. Again, fabulous layering stencils. Uh, and here you've got the um, lines with dots, grunge, scribble, and your mixed media patches. And I think I've just got one sample here to show you, and I've got a board. There you are. Fabulous. It's nice. It's quite, it's quite um, light, that one. I quite like that. And then let's bring this one in. Perfect. That's $12.99. Um, $891,795. And then we move on to our fabulous wooden shapes. Liking these. But like I said, they're, they're strong and they'll take heat and all sorts. Uh, but they're light enough to pop on a card and you can still pop it through the post. 40 pieces in this, uh, 999 337 901 is your item number. Uh, just a reminder then of the happy hour. You've only got mm, about 18 minutes left to get it at this price. They're really fabulous stamps, £13.98. They're a decent size, actually. Item number is 572833. We've also got the chalk paints, and I've got uh, the palettes as well, or the, the samples. Uh, we've got the red, green, gold and silver. That's 9 .99. Item number is 799033. 
and then your uh, your basics or your essentials however you want to look at it these are also 9.99 where you get the black gray antique and the white 881 99 no sorry 977 um so yeah karen's done us some boards then you get a true representation of the colors here we are Sparkle, they do, they, they catch yeah. the light fantastically. But if, if they are too bright, don't forget, just add some white to them. Well, tone them down. Yeah, like yeah. you said, you did the um, the pink. Yeah. I've done the pink and the pale green and a pale pink. Fab. And yeah. a deep, deeper pink. And then this one is the other set. Let's just show you these. There you go. So you've got your black, grey, antique, and the white. These ones don't have as much shine, do they? They're they're you what they're you more matte, aren't they? I would say they're your work paints. Yeah, yeah. For for all your the basics of your woods and uh, oh, that's good. what what you're going to do to with, with all your woods. I have mixed those together. Yeah. I've got a uh, one that I've mixed with black and brown together. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We're just coming to you. So I've put that looks fabulous colour. Yeah, that. it's a beautiful colour, isn't it's it? It's mahogany. So it's just um, I put black onto it, basic, yeah. Yeah. and then I put a dark brown on, and that was too too dark. So I used a white and a brown, mm -hmm. and lightened it up. But it's very mixed, mixed sort of different colours. Yeah. And then what I'm going to do on there is um, I'm going to use a roller. Um, Brea? Brea, that's yeah. the one. <laughs> I haven't got the words. I need to I need to have something to eat, I'm sure. And I'm gonna braya on gold with it. Oh that would look really and good. And then there's our stamp where we've got the um the, the, the zebra and everything coming out and let yeah. that, that go through. But yeah, that'd be good. that's a different texture on top as well. But it looks really, really nice, doesn't it? Yep, looks really yeah, expensive. It's actually. just one that I didn't get didn't quite get finished. Uh -huh. So, but it shows how you can mix all the colours together. It does. This is what we've put here so far. Yep. This one will need finishing with something round the outside. And I think what I would do is I would gold emboss that round the outside. But all this has been made from the flower making paper, just normal embossing powders, um, the stencil paste through the stencil, and you can see all the textures. Mm going through that but I think I'll just edge that in gold and that'll yep. finish it off that'll just just ground it looks fab. as such yeah uh, but I thought what we'd do is we'd run some at some uh, show you how to run through a piece of card yeah why not so I've got a, a DL card and a black which we'll normally put black onto it and I've got an embossing folder just a sorry not an embossing folder I've got one of the the stencils I'm just going to pop that through my machine. Yep. And I did this wrong the other day. Oh, three times. <laughs> oh, are we going to be all right today? <laughs> oh yeah, it's just yeah. I got me. I got. I got every. I got Adam in me laughing and laughing. You oh. know what I mean? And and I, I just couldn't get it right. Uh -huh. And apparently Cheryl was telling me she was laughing. She was screaming at the at the uh, at the TV. No, the other way round. The other yeah. way round. So I want to push the card through the embossing. Uh, through the stencil. Yeah. I'm going to put the um, rubber mat. Rubber mat. I'm glad you're here, Alex. <laughs> <today. laughs> I don't know where that. I've never usually <laughs> stuck for words. I just can't get them out today, can I? <laughs> and here's one I've done earlier in case this one does fail. Yeah. And the new sh the new plates, so that's why oh, you got look, that sound. Perfect. You got that sound because they were new, the brand new the brand new plates. So yeah. don't worry, I've not broken it. I've only ever done that once to poor Alex. <laughs> oh, you know, after this one, could you do one with the tree stencil as well? I will do one with the tree stencil. Lovely. I'll get some paper out and do one with the tree stencil. But you can see how it's all embossed. Yep. But then, if we want to highlight it a little bit, we just need to get a brush out get brushes out and start to highlight and it shall go orange and yellow why not like bees oh you've got colored ones there i got colored ones oh. yes i was very lucky i picked them up somewhere yeah what inks are you using there there are is inks ah is inks yeah they're just as uh they're just as nice for blending yeah as you can um see. As the oxides, and I don't tend to overblend with these because yep. they've not got the 
they've, you know, it's not got the glycerine in it that right. makes it over bright. And I, I'd put these away and forgotten about them, and it was uh, it was Cheryl who reminded me that I'd got these. Uh -huh. But there you go, you've got two different colours, but That's you nice. can even see it's all embossed as well. Yeah, it's good. Really oh, sorry, brings it I out. put that down far too quickly. If I just... Is that better? Yeah, that looks good. Looking good. Yeah. Getting the... So that's a, a simple background mm -hmm. with them. Let's put these away. And on the ear, I've done the same on there. Um, that's done with the ultra thick. Oh, that the, looks good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That looks good. And then this one is texture based. Uh -huh. And then if you start going through with texture paste, You've got your texture paste and then do your colours on top of it. And you can then wipe it and you get more of a brick pattern oh, that's through good. it. So yeah. you can buff it off, me. Buff it off, yes, buff it off. I'm glad you've got your dictionary <laughs> with you today. <laughs> Don't you worry. And uh, we've got We'll this. get a coffee afterwards. I need a coffee. I need that's that'll teach me to sit <laughs> chatting to John next door rather than go and have a coffee, won't it? <laughs> I'm going to pop that one there. We would cut that down. I've cut one down, so that's your bubbles. And then you've got a bit there. And then we can either use a flower, mm -hmm. or you can have cut the stem off. And you've still got your flower. You stick that one there and put your flower there with a bit of colour on it. Yeah. And you've got a nice, simple... That's a lovely card, actually. That's a wedding invitation, it isn't is, it? It is, isn't it? So, so simple, but really elegant. Yeah, but you can really batch batch make those, yeah. can't you? Yeah. So you want the trees to go through? Yes, please. Let's <laughs> find some cardstock to put the trees through, shall we? Um, we're just changing the... You can see the details on the screen if you want those. You're getting not only the trees, but you've got the bricks, the shapes, uh, and the stones. That is $12.99. Item number is 392079. Um, we've also got some uh, seven day savers. Let's have a little look actually. These were launched on Sunday. We've got some red liner tape. We've got some magazines, all about the knitting there. Um, we've also got um, a lovely sewing box. I like the, um, I, li I really like the fabric that's used to cover that. We've got that silver and gold cardstock, some threads tape runners, all sorts of different things. Lovely jubbly. Uh, they are there until Sunday at 8 a.m. Over to you, Karen. Over to me. So I've got some coloured cardstock. I don't know why I've been colouring colouring through for different things. Yep. Popped. So I want the stencil to go there. I need to remember. I want the card to go. If you remember to put the card to the, through the stencil. Right. So... If you, you'll not end up with mistakes <laughs> like I did. All good. Yeah. And then this one goes through and it's going to make a noise again. But don't worry, it's because it's new. It's crushing the fibres as well, isn't it's, it, of the it, paper? Yes, it's crushing the fibres, but it's a new, it's a new plate. Mm -hmm. You treated yourself. I've treated myself, yeah. yes. And then you can see, so you've got a deboss there. Right. And then you've got that one there. I don't know if you can see it. I'll wiggle it forward. There you go. That's it. So that's the deboss, and that's the the normal. But isn't that gorgeous? Yeah. In fact, even in the deboss, you could get texture paste, you couldn't you? You can get textures, yeah. textures both way, both ways round. Yes, yeah. certainly can. Yeah. Um, I've got one that I'd already done previously. There. So that's the one that I'd already previously done, but I wanted to put it through live for you so you could see. And then if you get a brush lightly over the top of it, yeah. you know how um, uh, Paul and Barbara do? Oh, yes. When they go over it like that, that's when you're going to pick up nice bits. Really nice colours. Yeah, actually. let's have a look, see if we can get it done. Do that with the orange. Here we go. I'm a little bit heavy-handed for this. Oh, I don't know. Am Looking I doing like it? a light touch, yeah. Oh! That's another one. Yep. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, all good. Oh, God. They're fabulous, those brushes. You can see there. 
it's just a nice that's yeah. it is that better yeah looking there. good just slightly but it's picking up all the embossing just here yeah beautiful they were really Thank you, quick Karen. ones weren't they i oh, know no it's all good really See techniques quick. then um so we've got our decoupage papers let's have another look once more i'll open them out this is your first bundle You've got the brickwork with the florals down the side. Then you've got your, I love the tiles. The tiles one is fab. Let's have a little look here. Like so. Love the colours. And then the last one, hang on a second, is the wood effect. Um, these would be good for both ladies and gents cards, I reckon. Or canvases or whatever you're making for people. There we are. And then samples wise, let's take a little look. Hang on, let's pop that to the side. Ah, look, this one. Such a pretty box. It goes on the boxes, it goes on canvas, goes on cards. You can upcycle so many things in your home if you wanted to. Um, let's see this one. It's got the brickwork. Oh, whoops, knock that over. <laughs> uh, have a little look at this one. Very pretty. Um, so don't forget, you can watch on Rewind for 7 a.m. Um, and then we've got this pretty little plaque. It's good, isn't it? Lovely. 12 99 for this collection, 685 813. And then, I've buried them. In this set, the second set, um, more florals here. You've got the bird cage. You've got, isn't that, I really like you got elements there that you can take. Oh, there's the book on there, which is really pretty. Uh, got another one here. Let's open this one up. This is really nice with the birds. Beautiful colours as well. Very gentle. And then the last one that we've got. Sorry, I'm making a mess, Karen. Oh, <laughs> there's that much to look at, isn't there? I know. There you go. And very quickly, I've got a really nice sample with that book on. Have a little look at this. That's really pretty with the book. Um, right then, this one, this set is 11.99. Item number is 900960. Right, Karen, when are you next back? Uh, Saturday. Are you? What are you bringing? I'm doing a black tag event. Oh, so all right. a lot, a lot of really nice prices. I gather. Oh, there you go. Yes, yeah, okay. lots of nice items, lots of nice prices. But some papers yep. and different stuff. But, Wonderful. Yeah. I shall see you then. I'm still here. Oh, lovely. <laughs> Thanks ever so much. Oh, bless you. OK, <clears throat> don't go anywhere. I'm over with Hayley next. So stay tuned. Because we've got a fabulously smart iron um, that's going to be good for all of your ironing needs. And then we've got uh, Crafts 2 One Day Special. And after that, Artisan Design. Exotic fantasy. Hi, I'm Paul Church from Clarity Stamp. I've been fortunate enough to turn my hobby into a career and join Clarity Stamp in January 2016. My background has always been in crafting and I enjoy making things and sharing things. That's what crafting is all about for me, making things and sharing with others and also learning all the time. At Clarity Stamp we bring you a wide range of products from stamps, stencils, groovy and pergamano. And the great thing about that is that it covers crafters from all different aspects. So whether you're into stamping, stenciling, parchment craft, we've got it covered at Clarity Stamp. So I hope you can tune in and join the Clarity team on Hochanda. My name is Catherine Sturrock and I work in collaboration with FMM. FMM creates some wonderful cake decorating cutters 
We've brought them to a chanda and used them with air dry clay to create some beautiful flowers, leaves and other florals. We use them then to decorate various products such as laser cut designs, mixed media, card making and many other items. So join me on a chanda and let me guide you through the process of putting together various flowers such as roses, peonies and lots more besides. Hi, I'm Hayley from Craft Yourself Silly and we're really excited to still be working with you guys here on Hachanda. We were there from the very, very beginning and we're still bringing you lots of really exciting soft crafts. We design and manufacture all of our kits and all of our fabrics here in the UK and we love bringing them to you. So if you're an experienced sewer or you're just starting out in soft crafts and sewing, join us. There's tips and fabrics for everybody. Make sure you don't miss our shows and come and craft yourself silly on Hajanda. Hi, I'm Pat. I'm Mark. From Totally Patched. We're a family based business here in Shropshire. We've been established for about 20 years. The, all of our kits uh, come pre cut meaning all the fabric is cut for the actual people who want to make the items, whether they be um, cushions, bags, quilts, or anything else you want to cast your creative memory or mind into. Most of the kits we produce we design ourselves. The design process is usually inspired by the fabric itself. We use only use great quality fabrics, 100% cottons. So, whether you're a beginner or an experienced sewer or quilter, we hope we've got something for all of you. Make sure you come and watch us on Pachanda. morning it's still morning <laughs> hi Hayley it was nearly even earlier for me because oh. I didn't realize it was 11 o'clock I thought it was 10 o'clock oh wow it's been here for a while yeah oh <laughs> bless you at least it wasn't the other way no I've done that before though <laughs> <laughs> well we've got Hayley here now can you tell us what is so fantastic about this Aliso iron it does this oh, oh is this the one I really like <laughs> Never get told. Never get told. It doesn't uh, actually. So it's a, an iron that's been designed specifically with quilters in mind. So obviously it's got the kind of touch activation, which while you've got your hand on the handle, it will drop the iron and it, the, the heat plate is active. Yeah. When you take your hand off, it raises up. And um, the reason for that is how we've all done this as quilters. Mm -hmm. um, either nipped off to do something else, just thought, oh, that's a bit of a stubborn crease. I'll leave it for a, a second and I'll pop back to it. You leave the iron down your fabric is scorched. Fab. So no, it's, well, not it's, fabulous. it's safety <laughs> yeah. more than anything else. Uh -huh. And I've done this myself. I've left irons on and yeah. wandered off. Oh, gosh. Yes, I'm terrible for it. And the more so because I've been using this, mm -hmm. I'm now more likely to leave my iron on and wander <laughs> off. <'cause laughs> like this one has, um, uh, obviously, the safety feature of, of dropping it onto the... Um, the fabric and then that auto lift technology so there's no button there that you have to press it just does it with the kind of the pressure the sensitivity of your hand and mm. it doesn't take much it just takes literally the lightest touch that. and it will will drop down so you've also got an auto off feature on this so if you leave the iron just like that for more than eight minutes it will automatically turn itself off and the little uh, light that's on the top there which is currently green to say i'm hot i'm active i'm ready to go got you that'll turn red and tell you it's in kind of standby mode there'll be no heat on the plate uh -huh. and then as soon as you put your finger underneath again it will activate it that green light in the top will flash to yeah. say I'm I'm on 
but I'm not at the temperature you want me to be at yet. Right. And away you go again. It's so, so it doesn't get old, does it? No, it, it never gets old. <laughs> no. So, I mean, it has a ton of features, this. It's really been um, thought out really well. And it's kind of the biggest innovation in ironing yeah. since steam went into irons, right. really. Because what you've got is you've got your 360-degree rotation on where your cable is there. Uh -huh. And on any iron... That is usually where it's yeah. it's going to go, where yeah. the cable meets, because everybody wraps it round, and then that's exactly where it goes. So it's got that extra protection there, and it's got your 360-degree rotation. It has a huge amount of cable. Why nobody ever put this much cable on an iron before I don't know, is an I... absolute miss. I'm still going. Yeah. There you go. And I'm plugged in. So um, there's 3.7 metres on there. Wow. Now, if you think about a normal iron, you get about one and a half metres. By it's the time, never enough. It, well, no. By the time you've got from a socket, which, if you're lucky, is close to your ironing board, uh -huh. and then the length of the ironing board, that's more than a metre and a half usually. Absolutely. I'm straight off. Forever having to get the extension so lead. So this one has about two and a half times the amount that Brilliant. a normal iron has. It's ten, I think it's ten feet. Ten and a bit feet. Maybe ten and a half feet. I'm not good in old money. I'll stick with my meters. Uh, it's <laughs> 3.7 meters. So things, basics, putting the water in, because this is a steam iron as well as a, um, a dry iron. So to put the water in, instead of having to, you know, lift it under the tap, maybe fill it through the top uh -huh. and it's all dribbling down everywhere, there's a little side spout on here. So rather than having to try and... You kind of usually got them in the centre or right. you've got them on the front to fill them. Yeah, you have. This way, you? it's got a little chute. If I just turn that to the side a little bit. It's oh, got a little that. chute it's on little the side. Slide. So all you're having to do is get your um, water onto that chute. Uh -huh. You're not having to try and kind of fiddle and balance it right into the centre. So really, really easy for its filling. It's got around twice the capacity for water that most irons have. Okay. That obviously means it's going to be heavier. But remember, you don't need to, to do this with it all the time That's right. because you can just leave it and it will lift auto lift itself from right. the base so I have more stuff it is one of those things that you do have to get in the habit of not putting it on its end because um, you just don't need to yeah now on this tip here usually when you've got a normal iron you'll maybe get say so much maybe a centimeter centimeter and a half mm -hmm. of fabric into the gap before it kind of stops on the body of the iron this one you can actually get five centimetres worth of fabric into that gap. So things like pressing uh, pockets yeah. and um, any kind of dressmaking bits and pieces where you've maybe got a couple of layers of fabric together, this is absolutely perfect for because you can get much, much further than you would normally get in terms of access for, <laughs> for ironing those trickier areas. You've got um, a water jet on the front, which is standard on most irons. You've got three steam settings, um, so you can have no steam at all. Yeah. And then there's three different levels of st constant steam you can have. You can also uh, drive extra steam through it. I've got no water in mine <laughs> because I, well, I was using it for quilting, so I needed it as a, oh, yeah, as a dry yeah. iron. But you can um, have vertical steam and horizontal steam on this. So I'll tell you what, if you want to do a quick update, yes. I will get some water for my iron. Amazing. <laughs> OK. Uh, now, then, it's a really impressive um, iron then, isn't it? So for all of your sewing, quilting, ironing needs, uh, appreciate it's a considered purchase, but it's going to last you. And it's, you know, it's... It is. It's for my my opinion. Certainly, it's way better than my iron this, that I've got at home. <laughs> this one gets used all of the time. Yeah. In the studio, and it's been here for at least, I'd say, yeah, easily. Uh, yes, because yeah. I remember um, when we could sit next to each still other. Still going I strong. It. <laughs> if you would, if you're going to use an iron for as many things as this gets used for, right, in a year, and then you know the 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 base is still to be as as kind of. I know there's little marks on it, but you know, still to be as tidy and still to be as non-stick as that. Yeah. Then it does get some punishment here as well. <laughs> it does, doesn't it? Um, so really, oh. really good. Then 139.99. It is also, I believe, it's on Flexi Buy. There you go. Ah, uh, they. This is good. Then three Flexi Buy payments instead of two, um, which makes it more affordable for you. It's uh, three payments of 46 pounds and 66 pence. One six one two three two. Uh, we're approaching 10% already gone. There you go. Popular one. Uh, Am I coming to you? Yes, I have filled up my iron. Yay. How much was in there? Oh, so there's nearly a pint in there. Wow. 
Um, and, and that's now, I mean, obviously, with that much extra water in there, it is a little bit heavier. But remember, you're not having to have that strain on the wrist and the elbows to keep yeah. standing it on its end because you just literally do your ironing and then leave it be. So, um, as I said, it's uh, just kind of start. I've maybe put a bit too much water in there. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> oh, sorry, I put too much water in you. It's fine. Um, so... What you would do from there is, at the minute, I've got no steam on. Right. Now, it's, it's going to take one second or two seconds to heat up because, obviously, I've just put that water in there. But you can see already very quickly. Yeah. Look at that. That's steam. almost instant steam from when I put that cold water in. Right. So you can vertical steam with this. So if you've got things like curtains or you've got dresses that um, maybe are a little bit awkward to iron, yeah. you can, you know, put them on something else and, and steam them that way. And you can... Um, have your horizontal steam as well so you can have it on three different settings i've got it on the maximum in terms of steam at the minute and you can see clouds and clouds of it coming <laughs> out of here now if i wanted to knock that down and leave it on no steam i can still have no steam so this is more useful for your quilting situations right no steam so when i'm pressing all my seams so i've got one here that we're doing so i'm pressing my steams out with no seam but then if I needed some steam just to kind of, maybe I've got something that's a little bit wobbly and I just want to relax those fibres. Yeah. Because that's what steam does. It's a bit of hot water. Um, well, it's obviously hot water, it's steam. <laughs> um, but it will relax the fibres in the fabrics yeah. and then kind of uh, help you to realign them if you've got something that is a little bit more tricky or a little bit more creased that you need to get out. So um, the steam is perfect for that. But you've yeah. got the options to have it as a permanently mm -hmm. uh, non-steaming and then just add those bursts of steam when you need it. Lovely. So the steam, also very useful for going around corners. Now, I did a little bit of prep for this. So things like uh, maybe when you're doing kind of clamshell designs. Mm -hmm. So if I just chop a piece of this fabric out and we'll chop this out and then we'll get the fabric which would not normally enjoy going around that corner uh -huh. to go around the corner so we'll use this as a template and i would probably trim this so it's a little bit less we've got a little bit of a uh, more of a fixed seam allowance maybe like a half an inch generous half an inch that one but there we go so to get this around the curves what we're going to do is pull it across and then just really gently Put that on there and add the steam. You can see how, mm. even though that's got a thick quilting cotton, yeah, it will take it round the corners for me. I'll just show you that little top bit. Yeah, fab. You see how it's starting to to move around the corners, and that's what that's the type to you know type of times you'd need your steam. The rest of the time for your quilting and your your dressmaking, then your I've moved it. Mm. There we go. Uh, your dry iron is perfect but this can be an everyday iron as mm -hmm. well as oh, yeah. you know for your, your specialist crafts and things yeah it is very impressive little corner that. I have shuffled this along just a little bit so let me get it back there you go now this I mean an, an iron's not a sexy Christmas present however um, it's a very sexy iron. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, as far as irons go, as I said, it's the biggest innovation we've had in mm. ironing yeah. since the steam was added. It's fabulous. And I think safety-wise, it's an absolute must because any quilter will have done this and, you know, just thought, oh, I'll just nip and do or I'll just go and check or yeah. I'll just go and answer the door or I'll just leave that on there for a second because it's a bit of a stubborn crease and we've all done it and burnt we stuff. have all done it and yeah. burnt something and um it's a great it's a very very kind of you know nice safety feature to have as Absolutely. well as protecting your fabrics yeah because as soon as i you know oh, i've gone to answer my phone or something uh, it lifts straight up and that's one of the biggest features that this has now Alyssa is an american company okay um and it's a it i think they've got a either a blue one or a pink one now as well oh yes this is their original kind of color and um it's really easy to change all the settings it's a nice big very clear dial on the top there yeah i don't want to tip this 
too far forward because I've put loads of water in it now. Um, but it's a nice big clear dial and it's right on the top. So you're not having to kind of sneak in mm -hmm. under the middle and just, is it that temperature? Is it this? There's a nice big arrow there as well. So that's your indication of where it is, because that's one of my big bugbears with irons. Right. Is when they've got that roundy kind of dial in the centre. Yeah. You can, you, there's no way of telling which is the bit you're supposed to be turning it to. <laughs> I tend so to have true. to turn it all the way down to yeah. work out what is cold, and then turn it all the way back up to work out <laughs> what is hot. But this is super, super clear. You've got all of those steam settings. You've got your water jet. You've got your steam jet. And, and you just don't have to lift it. Yeah, it's brilliant Which I think, feature. especially because you can get more water in there, you mm -hmm. can use it for much longer as well. So yeah. especially if you're doing a larger quilt project, it's brilliant because once you fill it up, you're away. Excellent. Thank you, Hayley. <laughs> no problem. Really good. £139.99. Again, I know it's an investment piece, but it's a really, really fabulous iron, isn't it? And we've spread the cost three ways. £46.66. 161232. Now, we've also got the um, mini steam iron. What do you like about oh, this, this one? Oh, this one's so cute. It is um, cute. <laughs> this one's really handy for getting into those kind of smaller areas. And there's a lot more power in there than you would think it has. And if you hold it really tight onto the ironing board, it makes a lovely squeaky noise. Too. Does it? With the steam. <laughs> steam. <laughs> That's the best bit. <laughs> um, yeah, really compact. And um, the little kind of blue bit that you can see on the handle there, that's actually your little water tank. There. So you um, you can use yep. it as a dry iron as well if you wish, but really, really handy little size that one for uh, your smaller projects. Maybe you just want one just at the side of you to yep. just press seams out and things. Um, that's the perfect one for that. And and basically, it's not like the. It, it's better than like you know the standard travel lines that you take to. Yeah, it's got hotels. a lot more power. It's yeah. got a lot more power than you you would think it is. Yeah. And the other thing is, it's a it's designed as a quilting guide. It's, it's designed for the UK, so it comes with a proper 240 volt plug. Oh, lovely. And um, because a lot of the travel irons you'll find are designed to work on 110. They're designed to work on the voltages that you'll find abroad. Okay. This one's actually designed purely to work on 240, so it's got. A lot more power than your normal little travel iron would have. Excellent, there you go. £21.99, pence. item number is 526026. Then we've got our multi mat. So what features does this have apart from really cute sloths? Okay. Oh, I've got the little version. Oh. Why? What do you need? What? I was going to do demos on it, but you've got the big one and I've got the little one. Well, wait till the next one. Okay. okay, so this is really handy. It's A3. It folds out so you can actually have an A, um, A2 size ironing area. That way, <laughs> yeah, yeah. DM me. Um, and what you've got there is on the inside, you've got your cutting mat. Yep. And you've also got another side, which is like a non-slip layout side, so you can kind of plan your blocks and things onto there as well. Yeah. It's really good, and of course you've got your measurements on your mat also, but it is very, very cute in terms of the sloths on there. Uh, and very portable as well. So. Uh, yeah, it's got carry handles on it as well, so yeah. if you are kind of moving from room to room, then, uh, yeah, it's dead easy to... Maybe you haven't got the space to have it out all the time, and you yeah. do want to kind of put it away to one side. It um, has a little kind of latch on it, a little Velcro latch, that will kind of keep it nice and secure for you. Yeah. And um, a carry handle, so you can move it about super easily. Fabulous! You can spread the cost here, so it's either 39 99 outright, or it's two payments of £20. Item number is is 635736. Then we've got a smaller one. Um, it's in the grey dots, just to say. There you are. And so we've got a small cutting mat. And is this also another non slip? Yes. So, um, I, though I've got the owl version here, it, the principle is the same. Yeah. So you've got a double sided padded ironing area. So you've got two sides that you can use. So you, if you don't want a huge space, you can just use it as a single sided one. Mm -hmm. If you want to open it right the way out, then you can do that as well. And on the other side, you have your cutting mat. Yep. So you've got both inches and centimetres on there and some of your angles. So it's a self healing mat and you can cut your bits and pieces up on there if you wish. And then on the other side, you've got this kind of, um, it's like a faux suede it is, isn't it? effect one. Yeah. And that one's really good for laying out, uh, maybe a smaller block than I have here, but really good for laying out because what it does is it provides a little bit of grip. Yeah. So you can kind That's of move good. things around and get them exactly as you want them. Um, and then the piece underneath here, 
that has a completely different texture. That's more like a, a wet and dry paper. Okay, yeah. Ooh, all right. Stitching your nails on it. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't do that. Um, and this is good for storing all your little bits and pieces. Got you. All your kind of, maybe you've cut one bit too many or you've got little bits and pieces that you want to hang on to. Oh, where's the fish gone? I could have put him in here. My, yes, Marcus. Marcus the fish. Oh, here he is. I'm going to go and get him out of my bag. There he is. Let's put Marcus in there. There we go. Why did he get named after our director? Uh, because he was directing last night when we oh. coloured him in. Oh, fair I didn't colour Marcus the director in. I coloured Marcus the fish in. So you can keep all of your <laughs> spare bits and pieces in there and they'll stay there while you're doing your other bits and bobs. And cool. Just a little keep safe for them. Lovely stuff. Uh, £17.49. pence. Item number is 279186. Next then, we've got the lamp. Um, this is nice for when, if you pop it on the side of the yes. table. Yes, so uh, this is a rechargeable one. It uh, comes with the lamp itself and then it also comes with the recharging cable. Um, the socket doesn't actually come with it, but it's a USB. So oh, that see. means it will go into, I mean, most mobile phone chargers now have the USB sockets, but you can also get the USB sockets on, um, lots of products are coming with them at the minute, I think, I think so, yeah. where um, they're kind of transferring them over to this as a, an alternative. Can you charge it from your computer? Yes, you can charge it from your computer, Ooh, absolutely. Okay. Or one of those power banks. Oh, yeah. You can do it from there if you want it to be completely mobile with yep. it. Um, but it has three different settings. So it has oh, a, it always works, yeah. a, a warm light, a cool light. Oh, that's off. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> warm light, cool light, and then a daylight option. Oh, so, nice. So um, what I will do is in a second, I will borrow the one that you've got there once you've done your numbers and okay. everything, and I'll show you what difference that makes that warm light cool light and natural daylight option That'd be good. because I think that um, it becomes much clearer when you see it with some colors lovely okie dokie um, right then that is 16.99 item number is triple one four seven one uh, and then we've got some pens. Are these for fabrics then? Uh, they are. Now, we had these on last night and they sold out okay. at um, Oh, it was about 9 o'clock, or 10 minutes into the show at 9 o'clock, oh, they right. sold out. And uh, this is the last that's in the country. There are, oh, wow. uh, we have a, a small amount, uh, and it's the last that's in the country. So previously we've done the um, glitter set and the neon and fashion set together, but actually managed to find oh. some um, five all black glitter ones because so black's again, usually sorry, the lovely. one that goes first yeah so we managed to get an extra pack of the, the five black oh, glitter ones to add into the mix <gasps> lovely stuff thank you and you're going to let me have a play yes you can have a play i'll iron some stuff and you can <laughs> color some stuff and, and you know <laughs> that works we'll, we'll make it through till 12 o'clock okie dokie <laughs> um 18 pounds and 98 pence for these you've got 25 in total uh, 408229 is your item number. Do give us a call, 01733602000, or let's have a look at hachanda.com. There you go, so you can see. Don't forget about the iron. Great reviews. Great reviews. Uh, I love the owl option. What's, what's the other option there? Is that sloths as well? Yeah, that one's sloths. Lovely. There's the lamp we've just talked about. Mm -hmm. Now we've got loads of templates, by the way. Have a look there. Okie dokie. Um, Hayley, are you ready? Yes, I'm all good now. Okay. There's a bit of, bit of moving about. <laughs> <laughs> so what I've done is I've put the two um, lamps on there and yeah. I've put one with its warm light on right. and one with its cool light on. And I think you'll be able to see the difference. That's the same piece of paper. If I move it, uh, let me just slide it forward if I move that forward you can see it's exactly the same piece of paper yeah it's just the light that is changing and what I'll do is if I can, can we put the lights down a little bit so you can you can see a bit more clearly oh look that's ah, better there that's you better. go so this side is the what's called the warm light yeah that's the cooler even just putting my hand underneath you can see it looks completely different yes color. indeed and then the bit where it's crossing over so if I just slide this out the bit that's that little V that's crossing over in the centre, mm -hmm. that's your natural light where it combines the two. Oh. So if I switch that out to the green one, the green one is usually the, the kind of clearest one to see this on because okay. the warm light is quite yellowy orange, yep. the cool light is quite blue, and then when you mix them together, 
then that's where you get the natural light and that's why green is quite a, an easy one to see this on because you can see a big difference in those colors mm. so the one on this side is looking more like a, a limey green yep and then the one on the other side is looking slightly mintier green do you have and a that favorite is purely um i would generally well i think it depends because if it's in the summer yeah and um the light is quite yellow mm -hmm. then you maybe want to go for the cooler oh, light see, side yeah. and balance it out uh, also if it's winter it's more of a blue light you want to balance it out with the warmer light okay um and you can always if i just swap if i cycle that one around so we've got off warm light yeah cool light obviously looks the same and then your natural light mm. so you can see the difference real difference there yeah on that one yeah you oh, can really see good. the difference between them and that's why having the right lighting is so important because you're you're, you're going to reduce things like eye strain mm. and it's just going to be much easier to work and you're getting the true colors yeah of your either fabrics or if you're coloring it pens or if you're um you may be doing paper craft your paper or inks or I lost now, help me. <laughs> <laughs> do you know what? That lamp is way better than my head torch. <laughs> do, what do you have with a head torch? Are you uh, doing cross stitch with a head torch? Yeah. I'm going to get need one of these lamps. I know. So yeah. I literally, my other half is just like, what do you look like? And I'm just... My other half's got a head torch as well. I don't like it. Don't like it? I mean, it. yes, you can see in the dark, but yeah. it looks a bit silly. I know it does, <laughs> but I'll do it to wind him up as well. Anyway, if you would like to go for the lamp, £16.99, pence. Triple one four seven one is the item number. Uh, what right. else would you I, like I'll, to I'll do? I'll do a bit tidying up first, because now I've destroyed the place. Uh, <laughs> so you're going to have to give me a second. No worries. <laughs> Pens. You're liking these, actually. But so, last in the country, Hayley's given me a nice... Yes, I've fabric. given you a little... Um, well, it's not little, actually. No, yeah, it's, it is. <laughs> it's one of the 99 panels from last Aww. night. It's a big, whopping, great big it's one. It's lovely. So you, can, you can pick any butterfly. Okay. And then colour it in. Thank you. You're going to pick one right in the middle, aren't you? No, no, I'll pick one at the... I'll pick, I will pick one at the top. <laughs> Um, what, what did we say? Oh, okay. Nearly 20% of the stock gone for these lovely pens. £18.98. pence. Item number is 408229. Now, if you do want the black ones there at the end, of course, so just the black. Yes. So just the black set on their own, we do have as uh, what we class as a, an end of call offer. So when you finish your order uh, or you're finished on the call with the operator, they mm -hmm. will offer you a set of just black pens. Oh. Now, the black ones we found super handy because that's always the first one to run out but also if you just maybe want to add eyes to something maybe you want to just add whiskers to mm -hmm. something then the black ones are perfect for that and these Lovely. will all heat fix and by heat fix let's put, find a whiter piece of fabric than i currently have this one will do so by heat fix what i mean is i've got a, a, a pen on here which is um heat erasable so this blue line mm -hmm. will disappear when i iron on it yeah but if i um Let's just put some little marks on here. So put some little stripes around the edge. So this is heat fix. So by heat fix, it means I've got to use a dry iron. So right. again, you don't want any steam. And you just want to heat fix them. And you need to hold it there for about 20 to 30 seconds. Now, if you don't think whatever surface you've put it onto uh, will stand up to 20 or 30 seconds. Oh, I should have shown you that it wasn't ready, actually. I'm sorry, I'm tipping it over and I'm spilling all my water that I put in. I shouldn't really, let me tip it up so I'm not spilling my water. There. Now, that's gone back to solid green. When right. I picked that up just a second ago, because uh -huh. we'd been doing other things, that was red. Okay, which because means it, it it's turned not really. itself off. So, uh, what I'll do is I'll leave it alone again. I'm just checking that I've got an eight minutes to let it turn itself off. So, okay. you can see the kind of it knocking itself off feature. So, right. um, if you want to fix these and you're not convinced that the piece of fabric that you're using will take 20 to 30 seconds of direct heat, and it is a press, not a wiggle, that's my fault. I tipped the iron over. That's all right. Knocked all my water out. Um, but if you're not convinced that your I, your fabric will take that length of time, then a piece of baking parchment over the Good top point. or another piece of fabric yep. over the top that you can kind of afford to lose if you if you do and leave it on a little bit too long yep. is the best thing to do with that. And then once they are done, then that will stay on when you pop it in the wash. The only thing you do need to check is a you've um kind of kept the heat on there for long enough mm -hmm. and B when you wash it it needs to be 30 degrees and it needs to be a non-biological okay. powder 
or liquid or yeah. tablet or Why whatever they have these days. Why is that? No. And uh, for some reason, the biological ones do seem to make the ink move. I guess it's the chemicals. It must in be it. chemicals in it. Yeah. Yes. See, I can't. I can't use bio. No, neither can I. No, no, yeah. no. From a washing. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <I'm> just sharing. <laughs> <laughs> Caring, sharing. And now, uh, so the pens there, eighteen pounds and ninety-eight pence. Item number is four zero eight two two nine. Now we've got some fabrics here. Are these like um, cotton poplins? Uh, yes, they are cotton poplins. So you've got, and um, uh, we've brought these on because this is the very uh, last time that we are buying in other people's fabric because as from January, yeah. we are moving entirely across to um, having our own fabrics because uh, we're getting a second printer right and we've gone all in so this is the last of these and loads of these sold out last night there is a little stack under there oh wow there is isn't there yeah <laughs> hidden yeah there's a little stack under there of uh, what's gone and i know some of them haven't got many on at all right so they are all each pick and mix so there's pick and mix any spotty fours and um, any plain four or any batik four Oh, right. Okay, Sandra's asking what the widths are. Oh, they're all 44 inch, Should so 110, 112 centimetres. Okay, hang on, this has got pins in it. Yes, well, it was to keep them nice and folded. Stop presenters fiddling with them. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's gone out the window. Well, it's too deep. Some people are visual, but I'll put it back. <laughs> that's all right. I'll let you off. <laughs> they're nicely done. Oh, hang on, this way, this way. So it's a good piece. How, so what size did you say again? Sorry, uh, it's obviously half metre width yep. and a 44 inch um, a kind of wide on there. So okay. you are getting uh, 112 centimetres. Great stuff. Thank you for the question. Lovely jubbly. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's pick any four of those. Okay, so those are the spotty. Then we've got the plain, uh, which you can see in the middle. Got quite a few colours left of the plain. That's good. Yeah. Have a little look. Uh, and then the next one we've got are the batiks. This is correct? Is this correct? <laughs> yeah, so you've got the batiks. Okay, right. Um, you're picking any four. 13.99. Item number is 036354. Oh, sorry, that was, <laughs> sorry, that was for the plane. Here's the poplin of the batik there you go they're 19.99 don't want to give you the wrong price and again you're picking any four of those uh 261994 is the item number okay let's go to Haley. what are you doing okay. well what we're doing <laughs> what i'm doing what i think most people will will use this for so um that is quilting so i've used one of the templates that we have on the show and uh, not threaded my needle and not actually sewn any of that last piece together. <laughs> <laughs> I just pinged the, the um, thread out before I sewed and I didn't check, so it's my own fault. So the template that I'm using is the wonky window and this is one we've had on a couple of times but works really well with those bold colours, those yeah. bold plain colours that we've got on. So I've re-threaded that and it's a really simple straightforward one to do. Uh, there's five pieces to it. It's a really good one if you've got large print fabrics as well because um, there are a couple of nice big blocks within there. So if you've got large fabrics, because that can sometimes be a problem when you're quilting and you're doing patchwork, is that your large printed pieces, you don't actually get to see much of the pattern of right. because you cut them into such small um, elements. So has this gone to sleep yet? Oh, it hasn't. Not yet. <sighs> Any minute, apparently. Okay. Do you want me to show something else? Yeah, quick. I'm waiting for it to go to sleep. We could. We can all just Should sit and just watch, watch that. Do you just. <laughs> the thing is, though. The thing is, it's like the kettle boiling. I know. Yeah, it won't. It do won't it. go to sleep if I'm watching it, yeah. will it? No. Well, if you do want the iron, details are on screen. I, I'll talk about features on the iron, but not touch the iron. Sure. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, oh, I've got to not touch the bit, the handle bit. There we go. Let's put it this way, because then I, I can move it on the map. So, <laughs> you have your easy fill spout, which is just there. Yep. You can see you can put a huge amount of water in here. There's nearly a pint in there of water. Mm -hmm. If you want that um, up and down uh, auto lift feature to be turned off, then actually at the back, oh, right. there's a button where you can actually turn that off and just use it as a regular iron. But then 
just buy an old iron, uh, yeah. don't get the special one. Yeah. Um, you've got your 360 degree swivel on your cable there. Uh -huh. You have a huge amount of cable with uh, 3.7 metres on there. Why has nobody done that before? I don't know. It just makes sense, yeah, doesn't I'm it? Yeah, I'm with you. Need a long yeah. cable. Huge amounts of cable there. Mm -hmm. so you've got 3.7 metres of your cable. You've got your auto lift function, which I'm going to play with in a second once I've got it to go to sleep. I need it to go to sleep. Go to um, sleep. <laughs> you could sing to it. And then you've got your spray function on the front. You've also got your steam settings. So your dial on the front there, that's how you select how hot you want your iron to be. And it's really nice and super clear. So that little arrow you can see just there, yeah. that gives you an indication of what temperature you've got it set at. And it's just a twisty dial on the front there to turn it up or turn it down. Yep. You've got your uh, steam settings across the top there. So it's currently set on no steam at all. Even when it's set on no steam at all, you can use the override steam button there, which will give you the jet of steam. The other button is for your water jet. And when you do add the steam, you've got three different settings there. So you can have a little bit, a bit more, yep. loads. Loads. <laughs> I'm sure it doesn't say, oh, sit well, still, go to sleep. OK, right, Emily reckons ten, we're 10 seconds away. I'm just looking at it. <laughs> I can't, I can't just watch the iron. It, no, it's fabulous TV. <laughs> <laughs> we, we can't just watch the iron. Uh, any second. Emily's desperate for this to happen. OK, I'm sorry. Turn it. Still green. Come on, iron. Come on, iron. Go to sleep. I think you're going to have to do something else. Shall I, I'll tell you what, I'll yeah. tell you, I will tell you about the uh, super squares. I'll tell you about the super squares because uh, these we had on last night and I know these are on extended delivery as well because I thought, because um, I'm not a fan of rotary cutters, I am not safe enough to use them. Um, so <laughs> I'm just not. <laughs> I've been the same though, they do make me a bit nervous. So I thought, well, why am I having a ruler that I have to move every time? to get my square. Yeah. So what I did was I, I made squares. Uh -huh. So this is a 10 inch one. You get four in the set. You get your 10 inch, your eight inch, your six inch and your four inch. And when you're finishing off blocks and squaring things off, yeah. these are absolutely perfect for that because you can either use them. We've got nice kind of one inch width bits. So you've got somewhere to push your fingers down and use those rotary cutters to trim off all of those edges. And if you've got a little board like the one on the mat or you've got a rotating board, then that's it. You're, you're all set. You can do all of your uh, sides in one go. Yeah. Now with that bundle comes this little bad boy, which is just a quarter inch width. So if you're wanting to add um, seam allowances onto anything, mm -hmm. then this is your quarter inch, so you can just add any seam allowances you like. So maybe I wants to mark the quarter inch seam allowance off the edge of there. Pop that on there. <gasps> we've got, oh, I love the cam. fact we've got kettle oh, cam. I love it. <laughs> Our director it is now obsessed with this. It says eight minutes on the box. Yeah. Maybe I touched it. Oh gosh, how long have the show we got left? <laughs> Look, we've got. <laughs> I, just can't, I just can't use it until it goes red now. Oh, don't worry, I'll go do some numbers. I'll tell you what, go and do some numbers oh, well. and then we'll, well, I'll give you a shout. <laughs> Oh, it's red. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just love that we've still got this on. Yeah. I love this. Any minute, come on, iron. <laughs> come on. This is getting silly now, this. There we are. Okie dokie. Right, if you would like your fabulous iron, which is um, camera shy. Yeah, very rough. It's red. <laughs> okay, we can go to it. <laughs> Where, where is it? Where Sorry. is it? Yes! There you go. So it's flashing red, which then tells me it's it's kind of now gone into sleep mode. So right. there's no longer, it's no longer keeping the iron hot. Um, it, the actual plate will be cooling down from this point. But if I want to reactivate it and, and get it going, all I've got to literally do is, is put my hand on the handle yeah. and it will go off again. There you go. Can you see? Yeah, there it is. I've never been so excited about an I know, iron. we uh, we waited a long time for that. I, I don't know. know that it was worth it. Oh, I know it was. <laughs> definitely not an anticlimax. I don't know it was worth it. <laughs> uh, so we reckon, yeah, 10 minutes. OK, nearer 10 minutes. Or maybe I touched it be in between. But I'm not going to touch it now. I'll leave it alone. 
Are we going back to you now? <laughs> oh, okay. Details while I'm stood here. Uh, three payments of forty-six pounds and sixty-six pence. One six one two three two. Um, proving really popular. I mean, all that drama. I'm not surprised. Better than a soap. <laughs> With the High drama iron. Yeah. Isn't it? It's really oh, good. It's got there you go. <laughs> Oh, back to you, Hayley. What are you, what are you ironing? <laughs> so what I'm ironing is I'm ironing the seam on that piece that I've just sewn. So this is the wonky window template that I've got here. It comes in five parts and it is called wonky window because when you initially put... Let me get rid of the squicky square from underneath. Um, when you initially put it together, you think, well, that doesn't fit. So you think, well... That doesn't fit together. Mm, yeah. But it does because if you take out the seam allowances ah. from all of that, yeah. you see it fits together. Right. So very, very simple. You sew one onto two, you sew three onto four onto five, which is what I've got here. So there's one onto two, three onto four onto five, and then you sew those two pieces together. And that's your wonky window. Okay. So um, I will complete this wonky window and then we will have a look at maybe some of the other ones. Oh, we might do super circles because that one's great with a, an iron. Oh, yes. Um, Hayley, do you want to see a picture? I love a picture. Oh, Christine. That, that, I love wonky the window. Colours. Perfect. It looks this fabulous. It's really good for those kind of bigger prints, this one, because just putting that little bit of black in between and she's gone further and added like a little bit of sashing it's in lovely. between all of them used the um strip number four or number two as mm -hmm. a kind of width guide and made the uh, strips in between all the same size as well and you can really make some some beautiful um kind of you can either make it so all of the windows go the same way yeah or you can start turning them round as well to get a bit more of a random pattern i really like that i love the drama of the colors as well thank you christine it's That's beautiful fabulous. yeah really like that okay so let me quickly stitch this one together i've just got a quarter inch uh foot on here it's just got a little kind of uh toe at the side of it just making sure that when i uh, guide these through, then there's nothing going to catch on there. I think I've folded that seam over, but I reckon we're going to be all right. What I should have done was sewn this the other way up, because I've got no seams on this top bit, but I've actually got two seams, which I did press open. Yeah, I did fold one of them over. It's okay, though. Uh, so, because I've folded that over, I've got a couple of choices. What I can do is unpick it and start again, but we're not got time for that. So I'm just going to put a little snip in there to okay. allow that to kind of ping back open again. And then let me just grab this and bring it across. And I'm going to repress that back open first. Are you back on again today? I am not. I uh, am just in, in for the hour. Just for the hour. But you were on last night, you said? Yes. Oh. We did some last night. Oh, yeah. When are you next back? Um, I'm going to say Friday. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure <laughs> what days are anymore. Do you know what, do you know what you're bringing with you? <laughs> are you? Have you been distracted yourself with colouring? Yeah. Yeah, I'm still, I'm still watching and listening though. Okay, so let me just push this one open as well. I'm going to have to move it slightly just because I was in the middle of my me, me ironing pad there, so I wasn't actually getting any kind of any purchase with the underneath because I was I was in the little gully in the middle. There we go. Oh, and I've just moved that side. There you go. So that's the wonky window one. I really like that pattern. It's a really simple block. Yeah, but, but it looks um, really effective. Works really, really well. So obviously, I've got black bars in between on mine. I would always keep that bar color the same. Right. So piece two and piece four always doing the same color. Obviously, Christine did a beautiful job on hers, and mm. she used black as well. Um, but you, that color can be any color you like that goes in the middle. Yeah but keep it the same, keep it consistent throughout and you can make a really kind of beautiful job and it works so well with those larger print fabrics as well. Yeah, nice. You're just saying yes, aren't you? No, You're doing your I'm li totally listening. I just got the pens, I was having a colour. What, so, well, let me see. Oh, I've only done a tiny bit. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Carry on. Oh, Carry on. speaking <laughs> of the pens, they, see, there was the link. This is why I did it. Um, for the pens, uh, we are half the stock gone, and as Hayley said, 
the last ones in the country. Eighteen pounds and ninety-eight pence there. Um, four zero eight two two nine zebra pens. Uh, now, if you do just want the black, that's at the end of call. Uh, you'll be offered by the call team or, um, of course, it, it, once you're checking out um, on the website. Okie dokie. There we go. So I think we're coming back to these fabulous lamps now. Yes, I'm going to show you the lamps again. Um, and they're, they're ever so simple to use. There's just a touch button on the front. Let me just discombobulate this for one second so I can show you um, the, how, how completely simple they are. There's uh, just a little kind of touch button. There's no kind of physical button on the front, but that means it's really easy to, to wipe clean yeah. oh, as well in point. kind of current climate. It's a really nice, easy, uh, smooth design. There are no kind yeah. of sticky out bits and pieces, so it's a, it's a really nice, easy um, lamp to keep really nice and clean. Uh, you just simply touch it a second time to get your uh, cool light and a third time to get your natural light. And if I don't know if I can kind of show you the the light bulby bits without it going Ooh, absolutely yes. crazy. But that's, you can see, is your warm one. Yeah. Again, oh, yeah, you can really see that difference cool as well. One. And your third option just puts them all on together. Mm -hmm. So there are LEDs in there which provide your warm light. There are LEDs in there which provide your cool light. Yeah. And then by putting both on together, that's what gives you your natural daylight. And I'll show you how that affects your colours again with uh, my, little, my little arrangement. Mm -hmm. There. How's that? So cool. we'll put warm on this side and then we'll press this one twice to put the Look cool on. Look at that difference. Yeah, that's it crackers. is a massive difference. And that's about kind of balancing it, uh, balancing everything back out. So if I pull this back through, yep. you see that little V that's appearing in the middle, that's the mix of the two. That's uh -huh. your natural light. So that's your warm. That's your cool. Even just putting a hand in there, yeah. you can see it, it looks entirely different. It looks like two different people. It looks <laughs> like I'm a holiday and a piece of gold. Yeah, <laughs> it does. <laughs> but if you've got um, winter, um, the actual light outside is, is quite a cold light. But the light inside uh -huh. will be more like this because it'll be lights off, off light bulbs. So yeah. it'll be more of an incandescent light. So to balance that out, then you would add your cool light to give you your normal daylight and and vice versa if you've got um summer and it's quite a you know you've got no lights on and you've got quite a, a blue light all of the time mm -hmm. then you can use this to either balance out your natural daylight to get your proper colors yep. your true colors or you can um just if you do you know, say craft projects you're sewing or you're uh, cross stitching like mm -hmm. you do or you're doing anything that you know is by a desk or you just want it as a small lamp that's portable that can just be beside you while you're watching the telly and doing something else at the same time yeah then this is a great option to have because you've got those options to change your colors and it's really nice and small and portable it lasts for about three hours on a single charge yep. and you can always recharge it with your cable that comes with it or you can run it off a little battery pack yeah next to you as well I so love these very lamps. versatile. It's good for caravans and things like that as well. Where maybe point. or camping where you haven't got um, access. Plug socket. Yeah, maybe you haven't got a plug socket. Yeah, it's true. That's Just what I meant. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, there you go. Sixteen ninety nine. That's a good price. You've got eight pounds off. Uh, item number is triple one four seven one. And I've Those got a very similar one which I use as a, a bedside lamp because yeah. they are, uh, you know, they're quite a nice kind of sleek little design as yeah. well. You can just turn them off. Do they fold down? They do. They Excellent. fold down completely fat, flat. They look, they like, look like um, speakers there now. Yeah, they look like either posh speakers yeah. or um, uh, 90s telephones. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I should have one. Hello. Do not think oh. it's quite 90s telephone. It is, yeah. yeah. <sighs> Sorry. 1699. Uh, right, so we've got a um, mini iron here. What do you like about this lovely mini iron? It's Hayley? tiny. It's just, just it's the tiny smallness iron. of it. <laughs> um, yeah, so it's got a huge amount of um, steam power for the size of it. It um, actually puts out an awful lot of power and yep. it is specifically designed to be a UK socket uh -huh. as well so it's run designed to run from UK voltage so you'll find it's got far more power than you usually get from one of the mini travel irons as well yep. you've got a little um, blue tank on there that completely detaches and you fill that up with water and then you've got your little kind of um, jet on the top there to to make the steam come out yeah on the, that's on the top there doesn't it um, also fold to the side? Have I made that up? I think that's the other one. Oh, is it? Apologies. I think that mm, does it. Oh no, there's a yeah. There's a. Is there a button on the back? 
One second. Is that a button? Ah, oh, that's a button. Hang on. Does it go? It which, looks like it wants to go. I don't know which go. side it goes. I can't help you from over here. I know. I'm pretty sure it does, you know. Oh, does it show it on the box? Okay. No. Is there a picture of the box on the box? Oh, there. It, it, it folds flat. It's just it I'm fold. rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> There you go. Uh, lovely. OK, twenty one ninety nine. if you'd like to go for this. Item number is 526026. We have got um, about eight minutes. Right, and OK. If Can anybody's just... The, yeah. the big iron again, then. Oh, there we go. So, I have the big iron again. This is the Aliso, and this is the auto lift. So, uh, what it means by auto lift is as soon as you put your hand on when you want to iron it will drop the iron to engage that heat plate if you um, then need to step away and do something else you can just lift off and it will lift it off the uh, surface for you right now that is handy because you are not going to burn things you are not going to accidentally leave the iron down and yep. we've all done it um, and you're not going to accidentally leave it on either because after eight minutes which we're not going to prove again um, it does turn itself <laughs> off and it goes to sleep. So um, if you do, you know, completely forget, walk out the door, yeah. you're not going to burn the house down. Good. It's um, completely safe and it will just turn itself off until you come back to it, put your hand on, and then it will start to heat up again and away you go. So on the uh, top here, you have your... Um, heat your steam settings so i've got it set to no steam you can click it it's very very simple you can click it you can hear it kind of starting to engage there as i as i push it up further and further yep i've steamed myself out oh <laughs> good facial <laughs> and then on the front there as we were saying earlier this is your um your dial for your settings as well so obviously you've got off if you oh, could have just done that look <laughs> well, there you have it. So you can just turn it to off if you put it on to on. Now, I've put it on to synthetic there, so I've asked it to be a lower temperature right. than the iron is currently at. So it's flashing on and off with the green. And that's just telling me I'm on, but I'm not at the temperature that you want me to be at. Got you. Now, it doesn't tell you if it's hotter or colder than it wants to be. It's just telling you I'm not the right temperature. I'm not ready. I'm not ready. So you have to wait till that is solid green, especially if you're moving it between different temperatures. So that'll be kind of cooling itself down to get mm -hmm. to the synthetic temperature. Now, most of what we guy do over here will be full beans, cotton and linen. Right. So we want creases out. OK. So if you're starting out with your fabric and say it's something like this one here that's been a, a fat quarter that's been folded up, it will have creases in. And especially things like your um, yeah, poplins and your cottons, yeah. you'll definitely need this for. So let me put all my steam on. And then... Look at that instant, that. We can press all of these out. Now, I'm, I'm not getting any kind of creases coming out in the middle there, but that's because I'm in between my two little yeah. ironing boards here. But where I've got complete coverage on my ironing board, you can see it's coming straight out. So that's your full steam setting. Now, if I want to do uh, pressing seams open and things where I don't need the steam, then I can leave it on the off option, but I still have the option to apply the steam if I want to yeah. by just pressing the boost button. Now, you can vertically steam as well. So let me just you can see there's an awful lot of power in this. Yeah, and the is. other thing is, those steam holes are right round the outside as well okay which is really really handy because if you are doing um, pieces then you're getting right to the edge of the iron you're getting your steam so fr oh, not that, what was the point now it's gonna be that <laughs> way isn't it <laughs> <laughs> so what most of um, your uh, things you'll be doing if you're quilting is you'll be pressing out seams and um, and that for that you want your no steam and you just want the fantastic amount of heat that this pumps out to right. be able to press those nice and flat. If you're doing things that are more kind of dressmaking based, then you're going to want to get between and underneath kind of, you know, underneath pockets and, and things like that. So dressmaking, normal ironing, then this is a really handy feature as well. So you've got about five centimetres there, so two inches of gap that you can get right the way underneath with. Now, most irons, you're probably looking about that. Yeah, you are. So you're probably yeah. looking about a centimetre, centimetre and a half. Uh -huh. So it's really been designed with dressmakers and quilters in mind. You've got um, your side filling spout. So rather than having to stretch to get into the middle, you can literally just pour it 
onto the side then you just have a little twist there you go yeah onto the side there and it will run down that little spout little like a little slide a little water slide I, know, I like that but you also <laughs> get like the jug to fill it with as well don't yes, you? yes you do you've got the jug over there and um, and you do get a little jug to fill it with yeah. as well and um, on top of that you've got your uh, 360 degree swivel so it's been the cable's been protected with a little ball joint here mm -hmm. which is really handy because nine times out of ten if your iron breaks or goes or the cable goes it's at this point right. that it will go and then on top of that you have your 3.7 meters of cable so if you think about a normal ironing board which i'll probably say is about that so let's put it at the end of the ironing board and then that would be your cable and then you've still got to reach onto the socket so let's assume the socket's quite close and give okay. us that that's probably about what your normal ironing cord is on top of that you're getting roughly ooh, roughly the same again look at that that's so you're amazing. getting almost you know double what you would normally get i would say slightly more than double what you'd normally get on an iron you also have the facility to turn that um off you see yep. it just sat itself down there yeah, so if like you do dog. want to turn the um auto touch feature off you can there's a little switch at the back there and we'll ping that back on and then it stands straight back up so i mean this one's had a lot of punishment this one gets used ev just about every single day here yeah and for lots and lots of different projects not just when we're live on the shows it gets used for you know pressing fabrics in between shows and, and all sorts so this one gets quite a lot of punishment and it is still going strong i think there's a quite a long guarantee on this as well actually can you just check check the box because i'm sure there's quite a long guarantee on it uh two years two years warranty maybe that's it yeah yeah so that means if anything goes wrong with it within two years then they will fix it for you it's done there there you go and Ooh, it's unusual to get on an iron irons usually maybe the six months year oh, maximum they? yeah because hmm. they go in the same places every time they yeah. go there and then that wasn't covered under warranty because class does you haven't looked after it yeah because yeah. you've wrapped the cable around it and it probably <laughs> says it's got a sticker somewhere in the box saying don't wrap your cable around it um so yeah they've kind of thought about all of the problems that mm. we've had with irons and that auto lift is the biggest innovation we've had excellent for, for years in an iron thank you Hayley. thank you mrs alex details are on screen then 139.99 uh, but we've heard the features are fantastic. Uh, now, you can spread the cost three ways, £46.66. and pence. We've, Lots of you have bought these uh, this hour. 161232. And very quickly, the pens. Yes. Okay, we're getting an update. So these are the last in the country, you said. Yes. Right? Right. We are two-thirds of the stock gone on these. Um, it is eighteen pounds and ninety eight pence four zero eight two two nine I was having a bit of, of a play with these and they are really nice to use and there's some lovely colors yeah that one top got there. tip I'll give you is um don't go directly onto a hard surface put another piece of fabric underneath and they'll just move a lot more smoothly lovely stuff thank you Haley. see you at the end of the week yes I will get you again yeah. well, probably lovely. probably <laughs> Uh, coming up next, we have got our one-day special, Crafts 2 one-day special, in fact. Then we've got Artisan Design, Exotic Fantasy, and afterwards, Material Magic Happy Hour. Lots of fabric today. Hi there, my name's Leona. I'm a presenter, a guest, and a crafter here at Achanda. I got into crafting years ago, Ever since I've been crafting since I was a child and I absolutely love it. I love my job, I love the presenting side because I get to meet lots of really inspirational people and that's just the beauty of this, there's always something new to learn, there's always something that you want to get into, it's fabulous. My Let Leone Lou show on Achanda is also fantastic. It's my weekly highlight. I get to work with loads of really cool brands, loads of fantastic products, and again, I'm always learning. And I do get loads of wonderful viewers getting in touch as well, which is obviously a highlight of our job. I hope you can join me on my Let Leone Lou shows every Wednesday, 11 a.m. and 2 p.m. If you love cake and you love to bake, we've got something you're going to enjoy. 
Here at Achanda's Crafty Kitchen, we'll be introducing you to brand new guest demonstrators from the world of baking and cake decorating, who will be on hand to inspire you with sugar flour making techniques, food flavoring ideas, baking kits in a bottle, and as well as showcasing some very fashionable kitchen aprons. Watch out for brand new products, some very bespoke to the baking world, but others you can utilize within the world of craft, which will allow you more flexibility between the different mediums. Intrigued? Well, set your temperatures, set your timers, and tune in every fortnight to see what's in the oven on The Crafty Kitchen. Hi, I'm Hayley. Join me for some amazing Fabric Freedom shows. Fabric Freedom design all their fabrics here in the UK and they design them with quilters in mind. So they're really good at picking out those unidirectional prints. Really nice and small prints so you can work on smaller patchwork projects. And paste prints as well, which is one of their signature fabrics. They do lots more fabrics besides quilting cottons. So tune in to the Fabric Freedom shows here on Hachanda. Hi, my name is Blanche Siegmann. I'm the owner of the company La Blanche. The company La Blanche is a crafting company located in Germany. For over 20 years, I'm designing and selling stamps, paper crafting products, and home decoration. As a passionate crafter myself, I make sure all our products are of highest quality and easy to use. We produce a whole range of products. We produce paper products. We have also shrink sleeves for your jars, glasses. We have home decoration products, paints and wall decals. Everything, the whole range of crafting we produce for you. I hope you enjoy watching us at Hochanda and crafting with La Blanche. Hello everyone, we're the Pink Ink Ladies. I'm Kathy. And I'm Mel. We've been with Hochanda right from the start and we've been crafting for 30 years. We're passionate about fabric, so our main thing is to stamp on fabric or stencil on fabric. We can't wait to show you all our new hand illustrated stamp and stencil designs, whether you're using them on cards or soft furnishings. Kathy and I get together at Pink Ink Towers and we can't wait to share our ideas. We choose all our subject matter together and then Kathy goes away and hand illustrates all our fantastic finished designs and we pride ourselves on the quality of our range. On our shows on Hachanda, we're excited to share all our hints, tips and techniques for you to get the most out of our products. Please tune in to the Pink Ink Shows, Get Inspired on Hachanda. Have you ever thought about making your own flowers? Well, maybe you have, and maybe you thought, well, every time I make flowers, they're either they're out of paper or card, and they don't look that realistic. But how about if I told you now you can get foam, yes, that's right, that you can manipulate by hand, good word, I know, that you can manipulate by hand, that you don't need no machines for, simply die, cut them out, and not one sheet at a time, you can fold it in half, and I've heard stories that you can fold it four times and run it through your dye machines as well. With foam, stamens and dyes, everything you need to make everything you've seen in the samples that I'm about to show you. But look at the size of the kit. Afternoon. That was me being <laughs> professional. I know I can be when I want to be. Uh, good afternoon. I hope you were. It's just gone one minute past 12 on a Tuesday afternoon. Um, and we are, I'm not going to lie, which I don't do anyway. You know what I'm like. I say it as it is. If I don't like it, I say it if I get in trouble. Yeah. Uh, but 
Last night, the one-day special sold out in launch hour. We had enough stock to last for the one-day special before you start jumping on the old internet telling me we don't have enough stock. We did. We had a vast amount of stock. From then, it all went, and I think it's down to the amazing prices, but we'll get onto that later as well. Then we have what we call in the trade of while stocks last. This is, in theory, our backup item should everything go wrong and we've got nothing else to sell. That also sold out. I have never seen a young boy called Pip run up and down a set of <laughs> stairs so much. Could the lift slow in this place? Up and down, up and down he was, trying to work out for another bundle. Because we have a funny feeling this is going to go as well. And we will not know what's happened at four o'clock on final call. Remember yesterday's one day special? They pulled the four o'clock show and we had a happy hour. We have a funny feeling this may go the same way. We are talking foam. We are talking stamens of every single colour. We're also talking dyes as well. All of this, 96 stamens, two die sets and 60 foam sheets for £44.86. So I can make that better. Why pay everything when you can split the cost onto two? £22.43 today. Now, at the start of the show, I was meant to say we're approaching 10% of the stock. We're now at 10% of the stock has already gone and it's only going to go up. 990-947 is your item number. Now, I'm not alone. Bringing us all this, it's Crafts 2. And when we have Crafts 2, oh, by Jove, I get excited. One of the nicest men you'll ever meet on the telly box. Oh, he is. He's a good, he's a good egg. A very good egg. Uh, be upstanding if you can for the one and only. It's our John Lockwood. <laughs> oh, dear. Yes, indeed. Uh, after that. <laughs> I was saying, can you still breathe? I'm good. 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 This is good. This is good. Yeah, I'm I'm really I I've got to be genuinely honest. When we put this poll in and I put this together and I kept adding stamens to it and dyes to it, I was expecting the pushback of going, No, we can't do that much. No, can you take some of this out? Can you take some of that out? And I didn't get it, so I just kept adding more and more <laughs> in. And I was genuinely and I know people say this. But I was genuinely surprised. I actually turned around to Sam and I went, I got away with that one. It is because it Because was... it, it really is. I know for a fact, and I, I, it's very difficult for me to talk this because it sounds like you're saying lines, but I know for a fact before we did the Craft Artist Foam, I was buying A4 sheets of this foam for over a pound. I was paying over five pounds a pack for the similar stamens. You know, and then, you know, with the dyes in there. So I know it was good value. And what I wanted to give everyone was this out of the box crafting. How many that. times do you watch a demo and they go, and I do it, I'm as bad, yeah? But I'll take a stamp, say, right now, so now I'm going to use the ink. I'm going to ink it up and then I'm going to take a brush and you need your distress oxide yes. and you need this and you need that. And suddenly you go from, okay, well, the stamp was this, but. I need all of this to I go need with it. everything else to go with it. All you literally, to do the basic flower, all you need is this kit and some glue and a dye machine. That's it. Yeah, we, we, know, we know so many people have got these. Yeah. yeah. You need some hot glue or something like the glue glaze and that's it. Yes, we can add the Mica Magic and I'll be showing you how we can colour that, but you may have that at home or you can use some pigment ink. But the idea is if you want to make a stunning flower, from scratch, everything's in there that you need as soon as you get it home. It's well worth having a little look. Uh, we're now, well, I've meant to say 10% earlier, we're now over 10% of the stock has already gone. And what I also like about it, it is an out-of-the-box experience, because you can do everything that we're about to do this hour. You can do it at home with all the inks that you've got. But whether you've got one of the large A4 machines or one of the tiny machines that I've got, this set will still work. Yes, the dies will be slightly different, but the die you're currently looking at at the moment, this one will run through your smaller machines. So if you've only got small machines, you can still make flowers straight away the minute this gets home. We are ridiculously busy. Right then, let's break down what you're actually getting here. So you are getting 60 foam sheets. Now these are all A4. They've just been folded over to make them look pretty for the deli. Uh, but they've all been folded over, so they're all A4 size. And you get a full spectrum yeah, of colour. So you get all of these colours and you get two sheets each of each colour that you're seeing on here. So this isn't the six. Oh, so this isn't it? No, this is half of it. Oh. This is that sorry, this is actually half of what you're getting. So you're getting two sheets each Anyways. of all of those. Each card represents one pack and has five colours in there. 
Yeah. Is that so what this is down by my colours. feet? Down by there, you've got that's actually what you're getting. Look at this. So you are getting all of this. So you're getting two colours of everything that you're getting in there is absolutely beautiful uh, that you're looking so you're getting all of that so that's your first thing that you're getting so you're getting all of those sheets then you're getting 96 stamens stamens of every single color now these i love these for the sheer fact let me show you the colors first and i'll show you why i love them uh, you get eight packs and you're getting 12 per pack but what do you mean by that so let's take the purple for example only because i've got one here in each of these packs you can break these down even more to a single mortar so you can break them down to one set of stamen. From there you have the bottom on, you can take the bottom off of this and then you can break them down again. We'll, John, we'll go through all these for us. So you can now split these into two. So now look at the amount of colours that you are getting in this kit, from purple to red to fiery orange to your beautiful yellow that you've got in there. I forgot the name of the colour then for a minute. Uh, then you've got your sort of your burnt orange down at the bottom, a totally different colour from the orange that you've seen previously. Then we've got your white that's on there. You've got your beautiful blue with white speckles. Then you've also got sort of your mint green that's on there, sort of your tealy colour. 15% of the stock now has already gone, £22.43. That's just your stamens. We've not even spoke about your dyes yet already. We're approaching 20% of the stock now has already gone. Uh, you get your dyes. This is how busy it's going. Getting quick, start checking out your baskets you get two die sets in this don't you john you what do, flowers yeah. are we getting so you're in here? going to get the peony plate okay so you're going to get the peony plate which is the one that you can see there on now it's on my left so that would be on the right of the screen wouldn't it it would be this that one there so, right yes that one there yeah so you're going to get that one you are also going to get in there and i always move things around you know so you're not going to get those anymore <laughs> you're also going to get the two for the sort of rolled rows or the oh, fold rows. Is that what it is? So the idea is, but these were these are not in here by accident. These okay. were not placed in this bundle because oh we need to clear those. These are placed in it because these are the best dies that we that I've done to go with the foam. Okay. So you can make more flowers with these two than you can with some of the other ones. They're add-ons, but this will give you the most flexibility because you've got that beautiful flat pe petal shape, which is echoed here but you can pull them out so you can go and make flower like that. Look at that. So this we've met, these are what we've made on the show. Or you can crease it together and make a sort of carnation-y one. Or you put both together and get that sort of blousy rose. Oh, is that from or, the peony? Sorry? Is that from the peony, That's that rose? All, these are all from <gasps> this one. And oh my God. this one oh my was from this one. The one that's in here was... Some more that Adam's got down there. The wreath down there, that was Sam's first try. That was made with the peony. So all I've used for all the new samples are the dyes that you've got in your sets. Uh, a I'm going to have to tell you a quarter of the stock now has already gone. Uh, that's just from one set. That is just from one set of the dyes. That's just from the peony plate that you've got there. Don't sound too right when you say that. Uh, that's just from the peony plate that you've got. Uh, from there, though, we've also got your rolled rows. Now, we'll show you all these when we go through. Do not fear. Uh, we are 10 minutes into the show and we are phenomenally busy. I think that was just a time check for me to move on. Uh, so, uh, we are busy for your one time. I don't think I was meant to say that bit. Uh, £22.43 <laughs> across two flexible payments is what you're looking at. You're saving £28 across the board. Or you've got one-off payment of £44.86. From there, we now move to your flower petals that we've got here. This is now stamps and dies. So... From my lesson yesterday with our Paula, John, tell me if I'm wrong. If I went for the one day, well, the, the, the third one day special, let's call it, because it will get confusing. If I went for the, the new one day special, as it were, and I went for these as well, yes. would I be able to die cut my foam in the petal form, then using my stays on, because that stays on anything, then going with the stamps and make the detail? You are 95% oh. correct. Because the way my system works is you stamp have to it. stamp first, <gasps> then cut. But yes, you could stamp the single plate using stays on. So if I take here the orchid, you could stamp this single orchid stamp, which gives you the nine pieces, yeah, with stays on, straight onto the foam. It's the only ink that will work on the foam. 
Yeah. But of course, Paula had the beautiful shades to do with all the colours of stays on. She did, I loved it. Yeah. I was there. And then you would then put your die on top, making, matching the notches and cut it out, and that will give you everything you need to give you three full orchids made out of the foam. I love it. And of course, the way these are sized, these are sized to be um, A6. And that means that each sheet, because I hate waste, if these were any bigger, you'd get two sets from an A4 sheet. Oh. But I make them this size on purpose so it goes, basically, look at that. If you go this way, one, two is all you're going to get, yeah? You go this way, one, two, three, four. Oh. So they're sized so that you will get, so from one sheet of foam, say with the orchid, with the stamp and die, you will get three, six, nine, twelve orchids from one sheet of foam. And you get two foams of the same colour, which makes 24 orchids is what you'll get from two sheets of the same colour that's in your pack. Yeah. It's worth having a little look. If your budget will stretch, this extra flexible payment that you got on here as well, £21 and a couple of pennies. Uh, you get the dyes in there. Um, I'm not, I don't know the names of the flowers. John, you'll have to help me out with these ones. Uh, so this one. So that is your orchid. Oh, so that's your orchid. Oh, let me turn them that way, then you get everything in. Uh, then you also get the stamps as well. So you get the orchid stamp, and there, so, so it shows you what you can achieve. Uh, so there's your orchid stamps. Uh, there's stamps, as you like. Uh, from there, we then also get your dies in there as well. So this is your hydrangea. Hydrangea. Look at this. this. Is the detail I absolutely adore. Then, last but no means least, this must be your camellia. Camellia. You're breaking my heart. Uh, from there, a bit of sugs. Uh, yeah, it was. Uh, but uh, £46.94 pounds and 94 pence is what you're looking at for this across two flexible payments. You cannot go wrong. 460134 is your item number. Right then, this heart box collection is busy already. And I was channel hopping last night between this and, and the castle and trying to catch up on Strictly and police interceptors, which I enjoy. <laughs> I had to watch the end of Bake Off. And did I hear correctly? They're just the manly things I watch. Yeah. Um, is this the case of if once we've got this die in our set, we can make any sort of box? Once you've got the die in your set, you can make any shape of box. I knew I was right. So, I've got here a hexagon box. As long as you have the nesting shape, or you can cut them by hand, because the sides, we can see in here, you see the little circles? Yeah, that's that tab Because the, the way this works, these little side tabs are actually, if I bring a piece in from here that I cut last night to make it a little bit easier for Paul Marcus, because white's never good on cameras, <laughs> is it? Certainly not the overheads. But you can see each one of these folds is a quarter of an inch. So, and each one of these little tabs, you know when we make sides of boxes and we cut up them? Yeah. They, they always overlap, don't they, the bits? But I made them circles so they don't overlap. They all go together. So you can so, do now big or small. You can go any size you want to. And, of course, a circle. So here is a circle box made with it. And here is the hexagon box made with it. I suppose because you manipulate the shape, you don't bend where you don't want to bend it. Nope. You keep it straight. You basically, it's straight, and then you go, OK, so if I wanted to make a square box, I'd go one, two, three. So I'm going to make an inch and a half square box. Fold. One, two, three. Fold. fold. One, two, three. Fold. One, two, three. Oh, look, there's the tab. It's like I'd planned it. So there is an inch and a half square box, because each one of these is half an inch. You see? You Any can do shape this. you want. Uh, then you also get the dies to make the heart-shaped box that you can see dotted around set as well. But as long as you've got this set of nesting dies, which I'm guessing you've all got at home, uh, you can now make any shaped box that you want. You're thinking, well, this is all well and good. Right, but if I don't want to make a 3x3x3 three by three by three box, will you just add them together? You add them together to make the box that you want to make. £34 and £94. We're approaching 60% of the stock now has already gone. Um, I've just noticed it's a pin cushion and it's made out of paper. How amazing. Uh, absolutely beautiful. Really is stunning and it's well worth having in your backup. Something else that's worth having in your backup as well as the luggage, takes, uh, the luggage tag die that you're getting here. Two reasons. You can never have enough tags. 
for the sheet fact, they're always quite handy to have. And if you don't want to do a big piece of work, but you want to do something condensed, a tag is the way to go because you have that beautiful shape and you can still design in it. But not only do you get the tag to die with this, you get the corners. Now, they're worth their weight in gold. For the sheer fact, let me show you. That's not stuck down. Uh, they're worth their weight in gold. For the sheer fact, you get these tiny, tiny little corners that look like this, okay? Now, what John normally does, well, normally, you'd only get two. And then you'd get two and you'd have to take them out and you'd have to run them through again. With John, he gives you four. So you get four of the tag corners, which then means, you know when you want to put a photo into a journal, but you never really know how to? You think, well, how do I put this in? Normally you have to score and then you go through the page underneath. With this, you don't. The dies will do all the hard work for you. So now vellum, you can pop in your vellum, but you can still take the vellum out if you wanted to change the card. That could be a photo if you wanted it to be. And not only do you get the corners, all four of them, you also get your rivets and punch to make your holes as well in your actual dies. Uh, so you can make them look like real luggage tags. From there, you've got the faux stitching around the edge, once again, amazingly. And then you also get the little band that's also in there. So now you can start doing like little slots and pockets and tabs. I thought it'd be really useful in the memory books to be able to put a pen in. Yes. To slide a pen in or to slide something. If you're doing a scrapbook page, you know when you go, because I, I used to be terrible. Whenever anyone went anywhere in Britain, they'd say, what do you want me to bring back? Say, bring me a stick of rock. I used to have a collection of rock from rock. every seaside place. Ah. Um, I found after a while it kind of does go off, so it's it not something you soft. can keep as a collection. But you could actually put like a stick of rock in there be because you just stretch it out. But it, I just thought it'd be useful to have, and the metal's there, have it. It is really useful. It's also, well, you know when you make a little tab for books, you have the flap and then you took the flap underneath? You could also do that and it'll also be decorative and it'll also match the tags as well. Well, there you go. £14, 99 pence, 271, 878 is your item number. Uh, Mica Magic, well, um, I don't need to say much about this. It sells, it, it sells itself, as it were. 50% of the stock is gone. Now, what you are looking at at the moment, you are getting both of these colourways. Both of them for £24.98. pence. If I told you now the Mica Magic you cannot contaminate, you wouldn't believe me. I know, but it's true. You go from the blackest of black and you can go straight to the whitest of white and you will not contaminate the containers. It's mica. It does the job. It gives you that bling. It gives you that sparkle whenever you need it. And for £24.98, we all know our John by now and I'm sure he won't mind me saying it. John does it for you. You look at these sorts of prices. I thought they were down there, but they're not. They're here. You look at these prices and you think, well, it can't be, it can't be as well as they, as good as it says. It is. But what John is amazing at doing is keeping the cost down, but the quality of the product up. Because nine times out of ten, when you buy shampoo, conditioner, a pair of trainers, what actually are you paying for on your trainers? You're paying for the name. You're paying for the brand. So if John can keep that cost down, you can still get the quality. You can also get the quality from here as well. I've got to press on. I could talk about these forever. They're telling them being boring in my ear. Uh, right then, here we go then. Uh, let's crack on. Uh, <laughs> jump to the website. That's all I'm going to say. Just jump to the website. Everything's on there for you. You don't really need me here, to be honest. It's all there. Everything is there for you. Fleur de lis galore, plants and flowers. We've got loads on there. We've also got the inks as well. And you've also got your daubers, your sponge daubers. They're back in stock. Something else that's back in stock is also your cleaner, stamp cleaner. It's worth it. I would go for it if I was you. Oh, that was quick, wasn't it? Um, it's seasick scrolling back through that website then. I can only apologise about my producer's finger. Very quick. £9.99 pence is what you're looking at for this as well. Uh, that is your cleaning mat. Right then, enough of me wobbling on. Uh, let's go to some demonstrations. About right, so shall I show you, a f shall I make a flower oh, one? Yes, please. A very quick one. So I'm going to use the peony plate because I could grab, I was going to go and do one of the orchids and do one of the camellias. And I just thought, no, I think if it was me watching at home, I want to see what I can do with what I've already got or what's in the kit. So all I'm going to do is I've got two layers here. Yep. So I've cut it in half, two layers. Should we try four? Well, I thought you... Did I hear you right? Sam did Sam four. Sam did four, but he used a manual die-cutting machine. Oh, OK. And it's something that I've found. I'm using a, a, a smaller A5 manual machine a lot more. To me, I know the electronic machines and everyone says, you know, they've got the highest level of tension. I've actually found that I get a better crisper cut 
from a manual machine because I'm, I've got more power. You can. I still think my arm has more power than the motor can get. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? But you can really push yeah. it through. So we'll try it. I've not tried it. You can layers. roll it back, can't you? And you go can again roll it back and, and go again. Yeah, going. you feel like you've got more control. Mm, I, know what you mean. I actually always said if any, if I went to, you know, on holiday when they get the hypnotists in, and one of the first things they get you to do is to do what you do all day in your job, I'd be stood on stage going like that, because <laughs> that's what I do most of the time is turn <laughs> the die cutting handle. Um, but uh, yeah, so let's have a look. Yeah, there we go. All four. Look at that. Four straight Cut through. through. So, I mean, it's great for batch making, but they come out so simply like that. Look so, that. there's our four flowers, and of course, I've got four of these. So, and this, the, the way that the peony works is, it actually gives you two of the largest, one of the medium, one of the smallest. Because with a peony, so when you're making that, you would actually have um, more larger petals... Ah, then yeah, one. and then you would have smaller, and then you would go smaller because it works its way in. So it was designed that way. But I also find for the foam, it's better to have more of these larger ones. So I'll start by doing. I keep doing large flowers. So should we do a medium one? Oh, that's. So these seem to have pulled themselves already into pairs, which is really quite cool. Of the foam, so I've got four of those. That's with one cut. So obviously this is whole, all one sheet. Yeah. Yep. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some white of the Mica Magic, okay? So if you haven't got Mica Magic, you can use your pigment inks. You could use something like that. You can use your, if you've got, because um, a lot of us have done this, you go to some of the really cheap stores yep. and you buy yourself those cheapy oil pastels. Yes. Because they look pretty in the box and they're nice colours because I've got about four of those at home for the same reason. You've done the same. Yeah, I've um, They'll work as well. You want something that's going to stick. You know, your distress inks and things won't work as well. Your oxides will, but they will pull off a lot more because they've got a lot more glycerin in them. I suppose they just sit on the surface, don't they? Because it's, it's, it's foam it's, at the end of the day. It's foam. It? So, yeah, we, you see with the mica, as I rub that, yeah, it's not coming off. No. There we go. It just oh. softens. So I find the mica such an easy way to do it. Then straight into the black. Should have done this the other way around, really, to show it doesn't mean, <laughs> but I'm just going to flick a little bit on the edge of each one. So no time, no skill. And just to show that Adam wasn't um, talking smack earlier. So that's black into the white. No black in the white. Only white coming out. You see? because it's micro, it's designed to do it. So, all we're going to do is this time, I'm simply going to pull each petal apart like you're pulling a jumper. Okay. Yeah. You know, like you'd go mad if Molly came home from school and the back of a jumper oh, was pulled, pulled like jumper that. Like yeah. So just do that. Yeah, so if you've already, we've changed the shape. Oh, look at that. So it's not about gently stroking. I've seen people when I've done class of this and they're sat there going like that. Ooh, no. You're pulling a jumper. Don't caress yeah, it. Don't Pull caress it. it. Take the end, and if you notice, I've twisted my fingers round. Not going that way, going that way. Yeah? And so I pull and twist my fingers so back. So you can be quite rough with it. Oh, yeah. There you go, look. But see how by doing that, I get the ridges that you'd get on a petal on there. Look at that. Yeah? So take that, twist my fingers round, pull and twist. Okay? So I'll do the rest. A little bit quicker. One, two, three. Once you get used to it, pull and twist. Pull and twist. And if you like me, I'll invariably at this point pull one of the petals off. If I try, it won't work. <laughs> but if you do, oh, so I've torn that one. I didn't intentionally do that either. But all you do, the same again, pull and twist. Because don't petals have tears in them? Yeah, they but get it that. It actually like... looks, makes it look more natural. It does me. like it didn't eat my caterpillar and them sort of thing. Yeah, like, and that's I mean, real. One of the ways, I always, I used to say this when we did the flower foam shows, was that when you actually, you know when you go to somebody's house and they've got the most beautiful flower arrangement up, and it looks absolutely perfect, if you're anything like me, you sidle up to it and you squeeze one of the petals to see if they're real. Real, I do that. You do, straight away, because if something's perfect, nature isn't perfect. So when they look so spot on, you think that can't be real, and you sit, well I sit there squeezing, I do it all over the or place. I fold them. If yeah, they're, they're really long, spiky. Well, I fold them to see if they're real. To see if they're real or not. Yeah, because when they're perfect, they're wrong 
So again, last one. So I've done four now, but remember, what I'm doing is, this is the medium size. Yes, I've used a full sheet of foam, so I'm putting four in each one, but of course, I've still got all of these pieces down here. I've still got all of these bits left. So of course, this is just using four, so I can make another six or eight flowers from this. I'm gonna take one of the red stamens, because I think red would look nice, and that's why I've put the white in the center. Oh, that's making pop. Take your, take your calyx off. Yeah? yeah, which is your bottom bit. So take one, and I never put my torn petal in the first one. 30% of the stock, now the wild stock's last Three. is already gone. Pull, slide up. Yeah, already that's starting to look with the shading right. That's beautiful. Yeah, okay, so if I want to make it open, I'd leave it like that. We are so busy, John. If I want to close it up a little bit, I would add a little bit of hot glue. And that lets me just grasp it around, or... So what I'm creating with this, if you can see, is a V. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah? So I then, then what you do is, while nobody's looking, you carry on talking, you bend down and plug your heel Approaching 40% now of the stock. This is how quick this is flying out the door. Your two die sets and all of your flower foam. 60 foam sheets is what you're getting. 96 stamens and two dies. And that's not all the foam you see here. This is only half. You're getting two of each colour that you see in front of me at the moment. It is phenomenal. It really is. It's about to demo see this flower. So I'm just going in, get my next layer in, put a little bit of hot glue just to secure it. Make sure it's somewhere where there's not a petal in. Yeah. Put that one in and again. Squeeze it in. Keep that V going. And then we'll put our final one in. And this sometimes happens. These are all hand-wrapped with florist tape. Yeah? yeah? And I'm making an assumption there, because I can't see that there's a machine that could actually sit there and wrap all no, this round and do it. Um, but we're just going to put our last one in. But if it starts to come unraveled, don't worry, it pushes straight through. We put that in. We add a little bit of hot glue. We pull that in. And then finally, I'm going to take my calyx, or calyx, feed that on because this just finishes it. This to me was so important to be on the stamens. I love these. And so we put that on and we just, but that finishes the end because one of the major things about the flower foam to me is if we look in that flower, it's a pretty flower, it's a beautiful flower. Yeah? It is. But look at the side, look at the base, look at the back. How many times do we make paper flowers that don't look nice from the side? Well, it's that true. only work when you stick them on flat. These look like professional again, flowers. What you can do, you can take it and still manipulate it once it's done. So now I'm flicking it round just to make the petals twist that little bit more. But there we go. So I'm just twisting those round move them into the right place, all done by hand. It's digital manipulation. And there you go. Can you see? So from nothing, so basically from that, From that red, you get that, that proper Christmas-esque look that's there. It is absolutely beautiful. But you can do that. You just follow the steps and you can do it. You just can do it, but you better be quick. You just like the be one quick. you've just made, Adam. I didn't just, I literally, as I'm making this, I'm watching him threading it up and making one with the bits left on the side. I found, I found some bits down here, to be honest. I, I thought, oh, I'll make it myself. Look at that. You see? So, and in fact, the one at the back, I actually tore, but it's because at the back, you can't see it. But look at that. I, oh. And that's the first time you've ever done anything. It's, yeah, you've I've never, never played, played with the foam, have you? Never played with the foam. I absolutely adore it. Uh, it is amazing, but 50% of the stock. 50% of the stock now. I started the show on 10. We're now at 50% and we're 30 minutes in. Who knows if this was a poor old Pip. He's going to go give himself a stitch. Up and down the stairs he goes again. Um, two flexible payments of £22.43 and pence today, or a one-off payment of £44.86. 990947 is your item number. Remember, not only... You also get the rose. You're getting two dies in here is what you're getting. You're getting two die sets, and we'll come on to the second one shortly as well. Uh, and you also get your peony die plate in there. This is the one we've just seen. Uh, you also get your folding rose as well. And you get all the stamens that are in there. 
uh, 96 of them. And you get the colourways. You get colourways for sort of every card maker, don't you? Well, Which you I do. I, I think the thing is, and I, I keep saying this, there's been a feel to me, and I, I fell for this at the beginning, there's a real misnomer because we talk about thinking white foam is best. This is actually not white, this is a pale blue. But So this is basically a pale blue. Yep, really yep. simple. So this is almost a white effect. I know on TV this is going to look white. It's actually yep. a pale blue. But if I want to make a flower with, some, with a blue, let's say, I have to take this, and if we can go down I can show you, I'd have to take, like the Mica Magic, can you imagine how long oh, it's going to take me life's too short. to make this and how much product I'm using to make this that colour? It's true. Yeah? And then, if I wanted to, then I've got to go into my white and I've got to then start to work that on top and shade it. Whereas with this, I can instantly take that down. So that's your difference. I think that's perfect because it, you only do this. You, I know what you're saying at home because I would say, so, see there, but the dice, at least I only need to do this four ones. But imagine if you're batch making, imagine if you do it four times, you fold that t foam four times. You are going to have to do two sides of the foam in your blue, which yeah. means in theory you're then wasting your product that you've paid good money for to use in all your other card making and all your other projects. Why waste it when the, 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 the job's been done for you? as it were. Over half the stock I'm now hearing has already gone. £44.86. 990947 is your item number. Uh, from there, we also have your flower bundles as well. Now, uh, these are beautiful. There have been more details uh, throughout the shows, as well, throughout your one-day special shows, so don't worry about that. If, we, if we're sort of gesturing and covering everything now, uh, they're back, you can watch them back on rewinds. They're there for 60 days. But you are getting the dies, and you're also getting the flowers as well, the stamps. So stamp first, then die cut out. I know what you're saying, because I said it the first time I saw them as well. That's all well and good, Adam Brad. Do I know how to line them all up? Well, that's what the triangles are for in the corner of your stamps. See the stamps just here? See these triangles here? And see the triangles here? Then, I'll pick up a random one. You see the offcuts here on the die and the offcuts at the bottom of the die? So this one just here. And you've also got one at the top as well. So then, all you need to do is just line up your stamps to those notches on the corner and you are going to stamp perfectly every single time. If you've got a stamp press, it's going to make it even easier for you. Three sets of stamps, three sets of dies, so no more fussy cutting, and all the other flowers in between. You go from large, you can go to small. It's entirely up to you. But there are so many flowers that you can achieve by mixing and matching the flowers that you've already got. Yes, you've given me three bundles, John, but I can see more flowers in here. There's so much. This covers... I mean, if you, you, the, where we're looking now, the white tissue box, if that's rotated, that's actually got each of those flowers in. So there's the orchid, there's the hydrangea, there's the hydrangea again as a different flower, and there's the camellia. When you start nice. to mix and match those, there are so many flowers. It's almost every flower you could need. From the camellia, you can get a beautiful daffodil. Yeah. Because you've got the crown to give you the trumpet. Yeah, when you start mixing in the foam with these, you can really take them into so many different places, really move them. I mean, trying to find... Oh, where was it behind me? I mean, I, I love this. Sam, Sam hates this. He made this. This was his second piece. But this is the hydrangea cut in the foam. But as a that. sweet little... I mean, this is the sort of thing I could see Molly having, you know, to wedding. Yeah. The little thing on with the beautiful colours. But again, Eve, you wouldn't think that that was just done with the hydrangea. It is beautiful. But then you can do, if you're going for your foam as, foam as well, you're going to get two dies in your one-day special, let's say, which is the one we've just been talking about. Then you also get three in here as well. Then your card makers covers. I know what you're thinking once again, Adam, you keep going on about the foam. I'm not with it. Just quite for the stamp. Just buy it for what it is. You can do so much with it. If you're a card maker, just simply make cards out of them. If that's what you want to do, if that's what you intend to do, all the cards and everything is there for you. Look at that, white card. Beautiful.
you've got all the detail there. But then if you want to even use the foam as well, you've got that added option to add foam to your cars. 60, 40, I'll start that again. 46 pounds and 94 pence is what you're looking at. 46 pounds and 94 pence or two flexible, oh, it's on Freedom. A cheeky flexi freedom that's on there, 21 pounds and 13 pence. Uh, it's one of these why not deals. <laughs> it is a why not deal. What's the freedom price then? I've not read this out yet. Uh, 42 pounds and 25 pence. It's one of these why not deals. We bring up a really confusing page at this point, but we won't. Basically, with the money that you're saving, you can also become a freedom member as well. 460134 is your item number. Uh, the hard box collections, well worth having in your stash. If I was you, we're approaching two thirds of the stock now. Has already gone here. Get it while you can. Uh, you can make the hard box because you get everything you need, but as long as you've got a set of nesting dies and two dies that go down to each other or up to each other, it's entirely up to you. You. you can make a box to that size. Doesn't matter the shape, doesn't matter the size. The size is then down to you. Uh, you are getting the, all the dies that you see here, and they're big old dies as well. Uh, you also, are we doing the tag? Okay, then let's do the tag. Uh, you can also get the tag as well, which I absolutely adore. Let me show you what you're getting and what you can achieve this time. Uh, so you're getting things like these, which are absolutely beautiful. So you can make all these beautiful tags uh, that you go make. There's so many different sizes as well, because once you've got the standard one, you can really go to town and make all the different sizes, uh, using them for your landscapes and the fronts of your cards, if you wanted to as well, which is absolutely stunning. Well, I mean, a little look at 14 pounds and 99 pence, 217, uh, 271, 878 is your item number. And the Micro Magic we've just seen our John using. Uh, it's worth having a little go with these as well. If your money will stretch you, if you've got the budget to do it, I would definitely be getting both of the colours away. Over 50% of the stock now has already gone. Have a little look. You are shopping ahead of me as well. We're going to jump to the website. Your stamp cleaning mat by Jove. You are loving this stamp cleaning mat. Every time it's on the show, it sells out time and time again. It's five by seven. It's worth having. And the best thing about it, you only need water. You need nothing else. No chemicals, no nothing. Water will do it all. Um, and if you're going to use a lot of stays on, yes. and I just wouldn't normally say this, but if you're going to use a lot of stays on, stays on needs a special cleaner. Yes, it does. Yeah, but stays on cleaner is really quite damaging to your stamps. Okay. Because it's an acetone to strip off the solvent. So if you're using stays on, what I would say is first of all, use your stamp cleaning pad and try and get it off while it's still wet. Yeah. Yeah. If that doesn't work for you or you use it a lot, what I would do is I would actually I, I hate saying this I'd have two. And I'd have one that says water and normal stamps. And one with your And one with your cleaner on. in. But what you do is clean your stamp with your stays on on your stays on cleaner one. Yeah. yeah. Then clean it on the water one Wash to take off. the steez stays on cleaner off. That makes sense. Only because it can damage your stamps. That's the only thing I'm because we've said so much about stays on on the foam, it's not an ink I use a lot yeah. because I'm too lazy to clean my stamps. And I've damaged them in the past. The same as like gilding flake glues. I'm too da I'm too lazy to clean my stamp afterwards, so I don't do it often. Love the look, um, but that's the best way to do. So that's what I say with the stamp cleaning pad. But for the price though, for nine ninety nine. Well, that's your bit. I'm just giving my advice. For nine ninety nine, <laughs> I would go for two. If you once again, it's budgets. I know budgets are budgets, but if your budgets will stretch and it's the only thing you can go for, uh, get two of them. If you're using a lot of stays on, as John said, for nine ninety nine, I've not. Oh, I've never seen them really at this price as well. Right, let's go back to demo. Right. So I thought we ought to make a little card with some of the hearts things oh, to go with, because I'm really, really pleased with that flower. As we'd say where I come from, I'm really chuffed with that. I like it. It's nice. Um, I think it really, really works. So I want to make something to feature that. Okay. So I'm going to use the heart set, and I've got a piece of red Craft 2 linen card here that I've cut down to, effectively, I think it's five by five. And I'm going to cut this heart out, because this is the one that people look at in the packet and go, what does that do? So I'm just going to cut this through. So it's really simple, and it looks weird because it's like a heart with some flames on it. Yeah. But if you've got, you know, friends or relatives that are into their rock music, then obviously you could use it like that. But True. it's not what it's intended for. So I'm going to run that through. While that's running through, here's one I cut earlier from black card. Oh. Okay, so this is what I'm going to get out. Can you see here I've got these little bits yeah, on, the, on edge. the edge? They actually continue through the design that's on this part. 
Ah. But this is really fine. So what you do is, if I show you, if I take this one out, can you see there? That's what I get. That's my aperture. Okay, hold it up the right way. I do. I do like to make it difficult for Paul Marcus. But that's so that. But that looks a bit weird on its own. But it'll work. This is the heart we get out. And again, you see there, you've got the little bits of sort of looks like flame on it. Cuts beautifully. Yeah? But we take this one, and what you do, you tie it up to the point at the bottom and the point at the middle. Yeah? Yeah. Okay? So that's all you do, and you tape it down really carefully. What it will do is it will continue this leaf design all the way through it. Ah. So I'm going to run that through. While that's running through, I'm going to need something to place that. So, I take now the piece. I've got here a little piece of acetate, or um, as you'd say, a cheeky piece of acetate. Cheeky piece of acetate. I love a bit of acetate. Um, and again, trying to multitask, never the best. So pull those out. <laughs> Go to the back again, get some spray glue, because I'm too lazy. Can't spray it in no man's land anymore, can I? Yeah, it only goes on the because screen. Because there's the screen, so I shall spray it into the... There we go. So I'm just going to put this onto the acetate, OK? Because it really helps. You can use it separately, but there we go. OK? So when I take this off, watch. I will get this heart, and this is the most delicate die-cut heart I think I've ever seen. You can see there how that comes out. That's not, oh that's beautiful. That is delicate isn't it? All yeah. around the edge. So, and if you, if you get it completely right, sometimes that piece there connects. Oh, okay. Sometimes it doesn't. Don't worry about it because what I'm going to use it for is again, I'm going to spray glue this and I'm just going to drop that back into the aperture. Can that's we see? Oh, that's beautiful, that is. But that is like something that's been laser cut. Yeah. You wouldn't think that had die. been die cut. Not with the detail so it just works the fineness the course, that's on it. You've got all the bits in here, so what you can do then is put these bits onto that heart to continue reverse. the design that way. So you just drop those back in to continue the design on that one. Well, that one's fine. So I hate the idea of waste. So I love that one. So I've got one here that I've actually just trimmed out. It's exactly the same, but I've had a little bit of foam tape on it because we'll have a little bit of a shaker card. Oh, I love it. Oh. You can't go wrong. With you the can't, shaker especially card. at Christmas. No. Well, this I think would be more like Valentine's for me. But this is yes. Could be. Going in the crafting calendar, that is technically what we should be starting on next. Is that next? <laughs> yeah. Oh, Mo, a lot of people at home, their Christmas cards are done. Are they? Yeah. Yeah, a lot of people. Well, that's the intention, but I know a lot of people who start them in June and July. Lord and they, they will have them done. And you think, normally what they're doing is for Christmas fairs. So they're thinking of the next stock that they will need for Christmas fairs, which would be... Valentine's next. Valentine's next. So I've got another little piece of acetate here just to fit, seal that over. Let me know, you've got ten minutes to let me know if you've started your Valentine's Day cards. Studio to channel .com. I'm intrigued. So, there we go. Oh, look at that. And then I've got, I've just made a little bit of a mats and layers. But can you see there? Against that, That'd or... That would be a nice Valentine's Day card. You want to put some red back in, really. That looks expensive. But I think that, to me, as you say, has a real expensive look. I'm going to use some of the power tape. What's power um, tape? I've oh, did you, were you before. not here for the power tape? No, I've not oh, seen power tape. What's power, power tape flew out. It, we launched it and it sold out on every show. One square centimetre of power tape. It's like red line tape, but... Stronger. Yeah. On spinach. Yeah. <gasps> yeah. Oh. Um, and it's basically... But watch, when I peel it off, look. Oh, it comes off... There's none of this it. going under and no. none of that silly thing. But one square centimetre of this holds 1.2 kilos. Give over. Yep. Crazy. I used it for the um, shutter card die. I've been using it for a year. I've been testing it heavily for a year and this was the f that was the first time. <gasps> it literally one square centimetre 
holds 1.2 kilos, but watch, I'm digging at this. Not that's hurt a, that's it. That's a bag of sugar. Not fished it off, yeah. There we go, watch. Look at that. that well, look how that's we attached. think it's on the website. Our mole's currently looking for it at the moment. Yeah. So, um, I'm just going to put that onto the red. Because, and the reason I'm using it is acetate doesn't wet glue quickly. I suppose it's... Because it's not porous. So, fine line bottle, round. And that's enough glue. If you've got a good glue, that's enough. That's good. You know, I, I always despair when I see people taking the glue. Put this, put your, put your lid in properly, John. Taking the glue and they're scrubbing it all over the back. It's like, it's not necessary. So, we then... There we go. And of course, I've got my flour. So let's bring my hot glue gun back. And because of the way the stamens are done, and this time I have to find my scissors that I've lost, I wish I was tidy. Is it, are the black ones here? They are. Thank you, I'm glad I'm... All right. So because of the way the stamens are made and I've glued it in, I can cut this off right there. You, you know normally them. when it's wired, you're thinking, oh, I've got to bend that yeah. round. Nope. Take it off right there. And I'm going to put the flour just there and let that be the foliage but this is to me that what takes your card from sort of handmade to, uh, to sort of you know i don't like the word homemade i love handmade but this is, is where we start to become handcrafted so we look at that then there that is beautiful and that would cost you a few bob in a shop that would cost you a lot. And to be fair, I'm not going to lie, that would be very, quite pricey to, spec to post. Yeah, it would. Because you would need to put it in a box, so there's no point. But again, to me, I wouldn't believe I used a few scraps of foam and some black and red card and that's it. That is beautiful. That'd be one of them top shelf cards. That you yes. look, where you'd look on the back of the box and go, is she worth it? Shall I? I'll come back. Uh, <laughs> I'll wait close to the day. I'll wait till next that. year. See I'll if get it next year. See if it goes down. Yeah. Uh, over half the stock now. Over seventy percent of the stock of the heart box collection now has already gone. We are approaching three quarters of the was of the heart box as well. Oh, is that how quick it's going? Well, I never hose me down, call me Brenda. Look at it. It's flying out the door. Flying out. Uh, we've only made cards out of it. You can also make boxes out of it as well. And that's what we've already got. We are absolutely... £34.97. pence. Uh, five eight six seven four one is your item number. Your wall stocks last, may I add, is also very, very busy. Over 50% now of your wild stocks last has already gone. And this is the third bundle we have bought you. One day special sold out last night with our Janice. Uh, they bought another one back. Alex sold that out this morning. This is our third bundle. You are absolutely loving it. And get it while you can, because who knows what will be here at 4 o'clock. We've got people from all over the world tuning in this afternoon. Uh, we've got uh, Europe. We've got people in Europe. Buying. We've got we've got people in America buying as well. Uh, right then, this is what you're getting. You're getting double of these, all for twenty-two pounds and forty-three pence. Nine nine zero nine four seven is your item number. John, we're staying with you for the best five minutes. Right. So I started earlier making a sort of carnations type flower. I like. And I'd coloured one, and I we couldn't pass it to Alex obviously, no. so we need to be careful. But I left it there, so I've it's actually it. been disinfecting for about three hours now. It has, it's been so wiped. So you've got one. So I'm just going to show... Now, what I'm doing is, I want this subtler, but I want it brighter in colour. OK. So I'm using the Craft Artist, the Petal pigment inks. So I'm using the peach, and what you find is with some of these colours of foam, I would actually look at this peach colour and go, oh, that's so insipid. That won't work. That's just too... But they need to be, because they want to be... On the, I don't know, try and say it. they ought to be one on the wrong side, yeah. So that you can take it somewhere else. If it's too bright, it doesn't really work. You have to start using black. So I'm just going round here, and of course I need to do this on both sides. And that's what I love about the foam. You can't actually tell when you cut foam which side's right. That's, no, there's always a bonus. So you I don't suppose. have to worry like you do with a die cut. It doesn't chamfer the way it does with paper. So again, just taking a little bit. This is red, I think, from the summer. So there we go. Simple. So you have one of these, Uncle Adam. I'm following you through the Do you want screen. a finger cut? 
Uh, no, I'm all right, thank Are you. you. Yeah. Sure, because what you'll find is, and the reason I say that is, don't forget, when we're using the pigment ink, then it is it will wipe off your fingers, but it will mark your fingers a little bit more. Oh, mine's dry. But what we're going to do, you're going to start at one end, yeah. and you're going to pull apart, and you're going to keep working round, pulling apart all the way. If you tear it, it tears. Or just all them little petals. But all those little petals, you're pulling all the way round, and you're stretching the jumper. I mean, I literally sit there and think of stretching the jumper. Go round like this. Yeah. I mean, we used, I can say, we used to, everyone used to do it at school and you'd pull someone back of the jumper. Yeah. And pull it really strong and people would go, oh, that's ripping. And we'd always shout, no, it's just the nylon stretching. <laughs> so I don't true. know why, it was just the habit of what we said at school, but that's all you're doing is stretching the nylon. But it's how it's designed to be. So we just keep going round. Okay. And fluting that. But it shows you how quickly it can be once you've got used to it. But don't be careful. Don't take hours. Sit in front of the telly and do it. So you can see there. Well done, Adam. So I'm going to now, are you ready? Yeah. I'm going to fold it in half. And notice the petals are pose. For different places. Yeah. So each petal fits in a gap. And all I'm going to do then is just pull along this fold line. Yeah? Can you see how that curls it? Oh, yeah. I love this. Yeah. It sort of looks, you know, it's like a lobstery. Yes. <laughs> but then all I'm going to do is just gather it up. Now, I can't pass you any of this. No, go on, I'm with you, though. But you what, just, am I doing rolling? I'm just, no, I'm literally, I'm gathering it up like doing the mountains and valleys. Mountains and valleys. So yeah. I'm, you know, like when you're doing with crepe paper, isn't it? You know, you sort of crinkle it all up. Just like that. I've got here some flower wire, but I'm just going to add another one in. Wrap it round. There we go. And I'm just going to pull that tight again. And I'm building it up, but can you see there? I'm starting to get that carnation look of all of those petal petals. I love this. Obviously, I've only got one petal, but... But you're collecting, so I've got two there. But again, you could just do one. There you go, perfect. I hide the flower at the bottom because I'm using other wire as well, you see, but... If you bring those you together... You can see how, you've cut, how that looks so realistic and starts to look realistic. That, to me, is almost like an orchid. I almost want to get some of the orange stamens and put and sort of drop those in. It's worth having a little look. You're absolutely going to love them all. It is so easy to do as well. Once you got... Once you get manipulated, you think, oh, yeah, I actually quite like this. It's quite therapeutic, to be honest. Uh, take over all your anger on the bit of foam. Uh, 22 pounds and 43 pence across two flexible payments. 990-947 is your item number approaching 60% of the stock has already gone. We are very, very busy. Will be John. Will John be here for final call? Of course he will. We get our money's worth. So... <laughs> Even if it's just dies, you're doing, John. You'll be here. You're I'll not be going over there, No, you? no. Uh, this is busy. We are flying. If people are rumming an orange, on what would you say? Um, we're not going to be bringing this deal back. Okay, good to know. Yeah. Um, so this is a really good, almost like the last chance. What I mean is, after these shows, we're not going to be doing a, a, a big bundle like this or anything of it. Some of the colours are already sold out. Some of the last of the colours we've got are in this oh, bundle. Okay. Um, so maybe other bundles and things in the future. Um, but I think if you've never done the foam flowers and you want to be able to do it straight from the box, this is the one. Because for whatever the price is, you're going to get everything you need. All you need literally is some glue and a die cutting machine. And I'm guessing you've got that at home as well. So if you want to start crafting straight out of the box, it is the best way to go. And you can catch all John's demos back on Rewind as well. Uh, thank you, John. It's been thank an you. absolute pleasure. It has. You'll be here at four o'clock. I don't know who with, though. I will be here at four o'clock and I will and have a nice Christmas. I will. You having a good Christmas I as well. I will see you um, I'll see after you at Christmas. Well, you will indeed. Well, I'll see you in about an hour. Yeah. But... <laughs> to film a Christmas show. Uh, well, I'll see you uh, tomorrow, bright and breezy, tomorrow morning, 7 o'clock. Thank you again, John. It's been a Thank pleasure. You. Don't you go anywhere. Now, where's that Christmas jumper? Remember, John, Christmas Day is what we've got to pretend. Uh, coming up next, uh, Art Sun Designs. Then after that, Material Magic Happy Hour. Well, I never go on. Have a look.
Hi, I'm Emma. And I'm Pam. And we're from Quilters Trading Post. We've been open since 2007, so we're coming up to 10 years now. We started our business um, in Cambridge, really, with a long arm quilting machine. We decided we wanted to make a proper business of it, so we bought a shop in this area. We soon grew out of that because we became successful and we bought a school, and now we're in the school. We have four parts to our business. We have the quilting service, we run workshops, we sell patchwork and quilting threads, fabrics and notions, and we do patterns and books. That's our newest thing, and our favourite being our crafters carry-all. We've really enjoyed being on Hachanda. It's um, made us famous, really. We've got lots of people who now come into the shop and tell us that they've seen us, and that they've enjoyed the demonstrations, and they've watched us over and over again. Make sure you don't miss our shows here on Hachanda. Have you heard of Hachanda Freedom? Did you know that as a Hachanda Freedom member, you could be making savings on every order you place? For just £5.97 a month, you will benefit from selected Freedom member discounts and complimentary standard delivery on every order you place. You will also receive our exclusive Achanda Freedom Members badge, regular newsletters, giveaways and crafty updates. If you shop with Achanda more than twice a month, then Freedom is for you. Don't forget, your Freedom membership is flexible, so you can pause it if you're going away or you can cancel it at any time. So what are you waiting for? Give us a call or head to the website, quoting item number 888888 and join Achanda Freedom today. Hi everyone, I'm Phil Martin. I've been a paper crafter for well over 20 years now and a designer for just over 10 years. Sentimentally Yours is my multi-award winning brand of clear stamps, rubber stamps. I've now also introduced lots of craft dies in there, design of papers. I have my mediums where we've introduced the Flawless Media brand into the Sentimentally Yours family. So on our Hope Chanda shows, we aim to inspire you, to be educational and to teach you how to get the most from the products that we're bringing to you. The Sentimentally Yours family has grown uh, to include my good friend Julia Watts and our new designer Trudy Howard. Hopefully we're all going to bring something different to the show so you're going to be enriched with lots of different ideas and inspiration. Be sure to join us for our Sentimentally Yours shows on Hope Chanda. Hi, this is Els from Elizabeth Craft Designs. Elizabeth Craft Designs is a Colorado-based company. It's a family company, so husband, son, daughter all work in the company and then a fantastic team of designers because a company cannot exist without a great team around yourself. What we would like to share with you is my passion for crafts. We love all the concepts we have, so we have from cute till classic and beautiful designs. We love our journaling planner line and we are going to bring you our ideas, our passion and we hope to transfer that passion to you. So please join Elizabeth Craft Designs here at Hochenda. Hi, I'm Joe from the Mill Shop Online. Welcome to the Mill Shop Online. As you can see, we're a lot of fabric here. We're very passionate about our fabrics. We're one of the largest online sellers in the UK of fabrics for upholstery, soft furnishings, and now the lovely craft market. Whether you're starting out with fabric or you're an experienced sewer, we love to bring projects that every ability can really have a go at. So don't miss the Mill Shop Online shows on Hochanda. afternoon well we have got the lovely Pete here hello Pete hi Alex How hello are you? I am good thank you yeah, yes I'm good. yeah I'm good yeah good yeah. good um, we've got some beautiful as ever stamps for you plus I was commenting wasn't I on how fantastic your design team are. the design team have been absolutely yeah. amazing mm. 
I'm, I'm quite proud of them, to say the truth. They, yeah. they inundated. Mind you, it's a, it is a good uh, what to say. I'd like to name them. Okay. Uh, we've got Joe, Sarah, Sam, Jan, Lindsay, Pat, Michelle, Shirley, and Kelly. Got a lot there. <laughs> yeah. We went, we went all out on this on this uh, range. Well, I'll make sure I show lots of samples. Um, so for the first bundle here, so we're going a little bit exotic, aren't we, with our florals? Yeah. What, what I've done this time, I, I sort of kept the best to last. Right. Um, it's a case of like I'll, when I'm doing design work and I'm looking at um, botanicals and the rest of it. Mm -hmm. I look at what twist I can put on them. Right. Uh, and this is how this came to be. Uh huh. And I quite like where it was going, so I went with it. It's lovely. It's absolutely gorgeous. And you've popped some sentiments on there. Uh, it's it's not just the two you're getting. You're getting these two as well. Well, there's there's uh, I think there's five uh, sentiments and three uh, flower stamps on some of, on the. All of them, yeah. yeah. So there's eight stamps on each sheet. Fabulous. So if you bought the bundle, you're talking 32 stamps. That's incredible. And of course, the Flexi Buy. We've got that on Flexi, Flexi Buy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, now, I'll just show you. So these ones are going to come unmounted. Yeah, they're They unmounted. come to you like this. And then, um, I mean, you could just use a little bit of the stick and spray to pop them onto. Or, or you can your mount print them stick or, yeah. or any type of glue, repositionable glue. Excellent. So just reading this for you there you go and so you've got magical got all sorts of fabulous words on there right let me show you some sample this is a get this is just beautiful what's it what's this what's this what's she done oh she's done shrink plastic you know i'm mad on that yeah how cute is this look can you see the florals there that's just beautiful wow, beautiful so what do you like about unmounted stamps what are the uh, benefits to, to that? Personally, uh, I think it's mainly because I, that's the way I grew up. Right. Um, we used to have mum wood blocks, really, yeah. uh, with hardly any cushioning. Oh, OK. Um, and it, it just grew from there, and I just I, I became handy just to stick it onto an yeah. acrylic block or a wooden block. Yeah. Um, and I've never really changed. Uh, I've even tried using the stampy platforms, yeah. but they don't work for me. OK. So, there you go. Uh, That's it. So you've got the choice there. There you are. Um, right then. Uh, we have got individuals, should you wish. There you go. But don't forget, it, on the bundle, you have got that fabulous flexi buy option. Um, right, so for the individuals, this one is your exotic fantasy floral. Uh, this one is 9 It's the Clematis. Clematis. Right, yes. So we've got the option. So that one's the Clematis. Um, or you can go for uh, the Water Lily. Um, the daisy, the what daisy is it? Shasta. Ah. It's a, what I call the scruffy daisy. The scruffy it's a, daisy. It's a, it's a daisy wet and it just, it looks like it's scruffy. Ah, it's interesting. I love it because you are so up on your florals. Thank you. Yeah, you are. You're really good. Um, and then I think we've got one more here. The then, Columbine. Yeah, thank you. Wonderful. Thank you, because I'm not very good at pronouncing <laughs> them. There you go. Uh, each option is uh, 9 99 Item number is 538117, so this is your columbine. Very, very nice. Uh, so it just depends if you want to go for just one of the set of stamps or you want to go for the complete collection. Uh, that is an option. Okie dokie, we've got another bundle and here we've got backgrounds. So what was your inspiration for these backgrounds, Pete? Um, well, I'm forever taking photographs of stupid things uh, <laughs> and I start playing with them digitally. Uh, and they come up as textures and, and backgrounds. Right. Uh, and I've done, I think this is about the sixth or seventh range yeah. of backgrounds, and they're all different and they all give the different effects, yeah. as I'll show you, show you in a bit. That's really cool. So, again, have a look at these backgrounds. Um, they are, again, unmounted stamps. So, we've got these for you. There you go. I mean, you can make a card just with one stamp, can't you? Because it's such I'm a nice size. I'm going to show size. you, I, I, although I've been asked to do it again, yeah. can I show how to do a Christmas card? Oh, good. Using something that's not Christmas. Sounds like a plan. Something a bit different. There you go. Um, uh, now, you've got a £3 saving here. Um, and again, don't forget you've got Flexi Buy. Two payments of £18.48. So just showing you some of these fabulous backgrounds. Look at this. Beautiful artwork as ever. Oh, look, this one's a clever one. I like that with the ball balls. Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. really nice. Gorgeous. Let me make sure I'm getting the right, the right ones. Um, 
a lot of them have got the backgrounds on as well because yeah. they've used both stamps. Fabulous, because they all mix and match together. Yeah. Oh, that's a good one with the background. Have a little look here. Marvellous. Okie dokie. Uh, it's two payments then of £18.48. Uh, item number for the bundle is 700112. If you do want them individually, again, we can offer you this option. And here it is. Each option, again, is 9 .99. They're all under the same item number. And... OK, you can choose whichever one you like. 064330 is the item number for any of those individually. Lovely. Okie doke. OK, so now we go on to... OK, so what made you decide then to mount the ladies? Oh, that sounds really wrong. <laughs> Sorry, I did not mean it like that. Hilarious. <laughs> These stamps of ladies are mounted. Yes, sorry Pete, <laughs> that was a real slip of the tongue. <laughs> because I did a range of mounted stamps earlier in the year and yep. I, I bought these back on special offer. Okay, yeah, they're great aren't they? So back on special for offer. The two. You get the two for seventeen ninety nine. Again, I do apologise, that was genuinely, um, yes, yeah, stupid thing to say. Okay, right, let's have a look at these. Um, beautiful, this one's been done by Karen, she's coloured them beautifully. Yeah, absolutely stunning. All right, and then we've got this lovely lady here, gorgeous. And then let's show a couple more. Our oh, nice inky background for this one. And then last but not least, uh, let's show this one and I'll save some for, for some more. Will we also find these on, like, the samples? Do you pop them on Facebook, um, any of your design team? Oh, they're yeah. all on Facebook. Oh, great. Yeah. I, 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 we plaster Facebook. Yeah. <laughs> that's good, yeah. <laughs> Lovely. Um, $17.99 for the two. Really, really good quality stamps and beautiful imagery. Uh, 751694 is your item number. Then, moving along. Again, these are mounted, but these are the backgrounds. Okay, so we've got our primrose and our rectangles. And again, I'll just show you the stamps here. Fabulous. And you'll see these backgrounds throughout the samples, won't you? They're sort yeah, of yeah, dotted yeah. about, which is great. But that's cool. 1799 again. 221284 is the item number. You can call us 01733602000 or go to the website where you'll also find our cartridge papers that we have available. So, how many sheets are we getting here, Pete? Of. Uh, the cartridge. Um, are we looking at this one first? The black and white. Yeah, yeah. Black and white, you get 30, three, uh, 300 GSM white. Wonderful. Uh, which is, I'm going to show you that it's a bit fantastic card. Good stuff. Uh, black, black, you get 20. Yeah. Uh, so that pack for the 50s, 9.99. Yeah, very good price. They get really good price, Pete. Mm. Yeah, excellent. And it's top quality stuff, this. Uh, 740854 is your item number. Um, and then we've got the A4 and A5 colouring card. Is this good for no, water? No, we've got the, we've got the uh, A4 is a colouring, drawing and stamping card. And the A5 is actually um, cold pressed linen watercolour card. Ah, apologies. Sorry about that, yeah, Pete. No, no problem. Good stuff. Uh, there you are, 9.99. Item number is 977-788. We've got something else that you might want to add to your baskets, and this is drawing cartridge. A uh, hundred sheets at 220 GSM. Again, a, another really good price at 9.99. 419456 is the item number. Lovely. Um, right then, I'm going to hand over to you, Pete. OK, oh, actually, just before we do, I'm going to show you... Well, I'm not, because I'm not pressing the buttons. Uh, but we've got the red liner tape. £20 saving, excellent stuff. Um, only 9 99 Item number is 109179. And then, uh, just once more, we've, remember, you've got the brand-new bundle here. Uh, we are 10% of the stock gone of these beautiful flowers. Uh, remember, these ones are unmounted. There you go. So these are your exotic fantasy floral A6 stamp sheets. So here you've got your 
Clematis, Water, Lily, uh, Shasta Daisy and your Columbine. £36.96, and pence. but remember again, two payments of £18.48. and pence. So remember those flexi-buy payments, just makes it more affordable. 735125 is the item number. Okie dokie, you ready to go, Pete? I'm ready. Excellent, over to you. <laughs> as ready as I'll ever be. <laughs> um, yeah, so what I'm going to do, um, I'm going to do a, a couple of uh, demos over the, over the hour. Um, from what people have asked me to do. Uh, and this one, uh, I'm going to do white embossing on white okay. and colour it with watercolour pencils. Lovely. So we'll start and we'll ink up with some sticky ink onto the stamp. Make sure you cover it well. And then we'll press it into the centre. So give it a good firm press, mm -hmm. get the sticky ink, sticky ink is uh, um, uh, uh, based with, um, what do they call it, the name escapes me. Oh, I'm not sure myself. Glycerin. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's why it never seems to dry out. Ah, <laughs> yes, yeah, so it's got a good open So time. there we've, uh, we've got the, yes we've got it there. I haven't um, bothered to... Um, Go over with a Santa stack for the simple reason if you get little bits on there and it's white, yeah. when it comes to colouring, and if you're doing the back, it can give it a nice effect when oh, okay. you've got uh, yeah, like yeah. snow. Like snow, oh, that's yeah. cool. Or, or flicking. Yeah. Yeah. So, and what we'll do, we'll cover it with some white ultra fine this is. Yep. Best stuff on the market. Ah, oh, nice. It's Phil. Oh, is it? Yeah. 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 Don't use anything else. Uh-huh. So there we have that. What That's flower is that one, Pete? This one is the, uh, the clematis. Or clematis or... Yeah, however you say it. It's like tomato, tomato, it's, tomato yeah, isn't it's it? Yeah, one of those. Yeah. So that what we're going to do then, we're going to hit it with the, uh, the heat gun. Make sure it's hot when you go on, mm -hmm. uh, and as you see it turning, I love it. Move it away. Yes, yeah, don't want to so scorch it doesn't the burn, especially with white. Yeah, you'd really see it because white really does. Uh, there you go, it starts to go. Oh, there you go. So pretty. White can uh, burn really easy, and it turns brown. So. That's, uh, I just love watching it turn. My favourite thing. It's a bit of magic. It is. Alchemy, I kind of call it. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of people started crafting because of the uh, embossing. Right. I'll give it a, a waft just to cool it down a little bit. Uh huh. Right. Then we'll take some water. We will take some brushes. Which um, cardstock did you use to do that? This is um, this is the um, the white 300 GSM. Right. Um, because I, I want to show you what that one does. Let me show you what it does before I finish that. See, I, I go off, <laughs> off on piece. tangents. So no, no, this is what I'm going to do. If I take some distressing, for instance, uh, and a brush. Mm -hmm. um, and if I just get some distress ink, and I'm sure anybody can do this. Yep. Yep, all good. What a mess. Then I'll get what we call me Rainmaker, you <laughs> see. And Rainmaker because I like it to be all like so. And as you can see. Yeah, you move it around then. Move it around and it starts to become. I'll take a bit of paste. I just do, I want to do this quick because if I start dabbing it off, as I'm pulling it off, you can see there, if I pull that, hold that down, I can actually pull most of it off. Right. Um, because it, 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 I love how the, uh, the ink sits on the top, even though. This is dye based, mm -hmm. uh, where dye usually goes into the uh, 
the fibres. See, and from that mess, you have got that background. Cool. And we'll give that a bit of a blow because I'll uh, I'll use this, that, use one. that one. That's yeah. fabulous. Okay. And you can do um, uh, put backgrounds over it. You can do other colours, layers, and the rest of it. Um, but your basis is having the right card and the right substrate. So we'll keep that to one side. We'll take the sh um, clematis again, mm -hmm. uh, and we will choose a pink. Can they be different colours? Oh yeah, they could be all different colours. Yeah, yeah. um, uh, I'm going with the purples because you like purples. Oh, I love that. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> they, I remember that much. <laughs> Thank you. And then we'll go with uh, we'll go with that, which is like a green. Mm -hmm. Now, the way people use uh, pencils, you know, how long's a piece of string? Mm -hmm. um, so this is the way I like to do it when sure. I'm doing something fine detail like this, as. Uh, you, some of you know, um, you can either take the pencil and colour in where you want it, yeah, and then pull it out with water. Right. I'll show you one. Right. So if we just want that one, we would colour part of it like so, and then we would take a brush, give it some water. Have it on there, and then we would pull out the colour, like so. There we go. Have it off, and as you can see, yeah. we keep it pretty dark there. So that gives us that way. Yeah. The way I use it um, is that I will get another piece of paper, okay, and I will do. I suppose you could say, like, do my own... It's like a palette. Palette. Yeah, yeah, that's great. So we've got these. Oh, my favourite colours. And then we've got that for centre. And then what we do, we take a brush. Mm -hmm. Wet it slightly so it just tints it. And then... So look, because it's the resist, isn't it? You've got it's the resist, great. yeah. So you, you can be quite, uh, I suppose you could say, carefree. Um, because it doesn't hurt to go over the lines, you see. No, because some people worry about that, don't they? Yeah. But with this technique, it's absolutely fine. This is what you might call the easy technique. Yeah. <laughs> if you've got problems with, uh, you know, uh, dexterity and stuff like that, where, you know, you're trying to get de detail, just slap it on. <laughs> but also that means you can batch make really quickly. Very much so. Yeah. And the, these stamps, and especially the backgrounds, are one of the easiest ways to batch make. Yeah. Um, I'll show you um, how easy it is later. Um, but yeah, that, that's what we've got there, right? So Fabulous. now we want dark in the centre, in the in the, where the shading would be. So we go to this one, like so. I'll leave that there, and then we'll take the fine brush. Mm -hmm. Everybody's all right. <laughs> and then we will. Ah, uh, look. So you. Deepening that now. That's yeah, just beautiful. just where, where you've got the uh, the shading. Would you um, like to hear some really nice emails? Oh yes, please. Oh, this is nice. Right, so first off, we've got Claire. Hello, Claire. Um, yes, it is good afternoon. Good afternoon to you. Hi to my favourite crafter, the amazing Pete. So talented. <laughs> Thanks, Claire. Such a lovely guy and an amazing friend too. Love, love, love these amazing designs. Pete has convinced me to give uh, to give stamping a go. So looking forward to the demos. Thank uh, you, Claire. Yeah, that's lovely. We've got another one as well. Um, Kaz has said, Pete, this collection of ex exotic fantasy florals are beautiful I had to order the collections thank you perfect thank you ladies thank you yeah keep your emails coming in to studio at hachanda.com and we are now 20% of the stock gone for the set of flo four florals <laughs> I'm not having much luck with it today <laughs> see so we do just darken the centers yep 
again, willy-nilly, haphazardly. Uh-huh. Um, you haven't got to be like, you know, a brilliant artist. But it looks really real, like you're really getting the 3D-ness of yeah. it now, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's fabulous. Uh, and that. then do that there. Yeah, and then what we will do, we will then get, get the green. Yep. Well, it's more of a yellow than a green. And although we've got the pink there, mm -hmm. what I would do on this card, I would take some more pink out. Okay. And I would just dab it with some water and take that out. Can you see how it's coming out? Yeah, that's fabulous. And just dab it with water and help it come out. We've gone over a bit on there on the purple, so we'll just touch that up there. You don't, like I say, you don't have to be uh, spot on. Mm -hmm. And we just get the yellow. Like so. Put it up there, like so. Yep. And then we will get the purple again and put some more shading in where it's just around there. Do it really quickly as usual. Dab it down. And there we have. Looks stunning, this. Oh, do you want to hold it up? Oh, yeah. Do I? Yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll look at those colours as well. Fabulous. Look how oh, so real, so beautiful. There you go. That's quick. If you spend a little bit more time on it and you know, just touch it up in maybe another colour pink. Okay. Yeah. And um, then it'll do its thing. Awesome. So, right. You can. Okay, yeah, I'll do a quick recap and then yeah. I'll come back to you. Okay. Lovely. Okay, we've got the bundle. You can buy them individually, but these are our lovely new stamps here. Uh, you are getting the uh, Clematis or Clematis, um, Water Lily, Shasta Daisy and Columbine. Beautiful. Remember, the, so these stamps are going to come to you unmounted. I'm just having a little look um, to see. Look at that. Okay. There, look at these stamps, absolutely gorgeous. There you go. I will, because I can't read backwards, so I will just have a little look. Um, so just cut them up, go as close as you can to the lines, and then I was just curious to see. So on here, uh, we've got exotique, we've got bloom, um, beautiful, I like that. Every flower needs butterfly, oh, that's good, gorgeous. And then we've got celebrate your uniqueness. So those are just some of the really inspirational sentiments that are on here. Now, let's, let's bring in some samples, here we go. So this one is from Jan. This is a lovely, clean, elegant design, this one. And then we've got uh, this one by Shirley. Gorgeous, look at that, absolutely stunning. Oh, you know, I love me embossing. Look at this one. This one is by Kate. Look at that. That's fabulous. I love the drama of this one. Uh, then we've got one by Shirley. Again, love the colours you've used and lovely with the white emboss there. Uh, this one is by Michelle. Fabulous. Love the layout of this one and the colours you've used. Um, we've got another one by Michelle. Again, fabulous there with the backgrounds and, of course, using the... Um, you're also looking at some samples with the backgrounds on. They've all sort of been mixed and matched there. Um, fabulous. All right, then, for the collection, you can spread the cost to payments of £18.48. Um, item number is 735125. And remember, that Flexi Buy just makes it a little bit more um, affordable for you. Now, the individuals have been busy. 20% uh, of the clematis has gone. Marvellous. And also 20% of the Shasta Davy. Daisy. <laughs> Davy. Shasta Davy. Daisy has got. I can't get my words out now. Sorry, Pete. Um, each option, though, is 9 99 and they're all under the same item number 538117. There you go. Okay, and then we've got our, uh, these ones, uh, backgrounds, fabulous backgrounds. Um, again, this is also on FlexiBuy. It's £36.96, 700112. Or again, you can spread that cost to payments of £18.48. Again, I've got the stamps here. I can show you how they are. Lovely. 
So as you were watching, um, you were also seeing some of the backgrounds on the samples that are using the bundle that we've got there. Lovely. Two payments, as I said, of £18 and uh, 48p. However, if you do want to go for them individually, again, they're £9.99. Uh, they're all under the same item number, which is 064330. Lovely. Okie dokie. Um, if again you want to call us on the usual number 01733602000 or uh, go to our website at herchanda.com. Um, back to you Pete, what would you like to show uh, us now? Um, still keeping with the, the white embossing, yep. I'm going to show you, just using the background there we can do a Christmas stamp on okay. black and on white. Fabulous, yes, right. yes, yes. So all I'm going to do, I'm going to take, um, this is the Black Eyes Susan background and I'm just going to give it a good dab with the um again sticky ink yep have you always crafted since you were little pete uh five years old ah oh. uh, well i'd say not crafting i, I was uh, doing art y yeah um I, I entered my first um regional children's uh painting competition Did you? but i used crayola crayons yes yeah. Because um, I, I didn't like the poster paint, you know, that powder stuff. Uh -huh. I've still got to think about it now. <laughs> yeah. um, so I used Creole crayons and I, I, apparently I won. Yay! At five and I <laughs> want to be Lego kit. kit so. <gasps> Lovely. Other brands so, right, available, We've got the course, background. But... We will then place, and have you, have you noticed I've left the background yep. flat. This is one of the best ways you can do it um if you haven't if you've got dexterity problems or whatever okay. you just lay the card because it's a six press it slightly and just give it a rub it hasn't got to be uh, a heavy rub but just make sure that you cover it all so you get all that fine detail yeah from the uh, the actual stamp and then peel it off Oops, so that with it, and as you can see, yeah, I don't, you got the can you get that? There. That's fabulous. Can you get that? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I can see that. Fab, and then we do exactly the same with white, with the white card. And then go. it's uh, like you're saying, it stays open on the black card. For, yeah, it stays open, to, yeah. so you can actually uh, go back to later date as we will in a minute. Yeah. But these are really, really easy to do with any of the any of the backgrounds that artists and design have. Uh, are fantastic for doing these type of batch making cards. And there we've got the white. I don't know whether you can pick the white up. So, oh, mm, there. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. Got we've it. got the white. So we'll move that to one side. Mm -hmm. And then we will get the where's the boss, white embossing. Now you'll see the white embossing more. Oh, on definitely. The black. Yeah. So we'll just. Uh, Get a sheet of paper, pop it on. This will, yeah, this will really pop. This will pop. Yeah. There we go. It's a very detailed background. Yeah. Yeah. Really I'll, I'll, uh, the the uh, how I use the uh, the digital manipulation. Um, because it goes through, each stamp goes through, I would say, either um, between four and six or seven uh, different processes. Oh, really? Yes, yeah, yeah. I'd love to see stamps being made, actually. Yeah. I'd find it fascinating. Well, I know Leslie and David, we're, um, mm -hmm. we're going to do something like that. Um, if you could go up and see Chocolate Baroque. I know, wouldn't that that'd be a great road trip? Yeah. I like that. Uh, hi, Leslie fab. and Dave, if you're watching, can I come up? <laughs> I think they are watching. Are they? Yeah. Good stuff. I've got some great support from all the people on Facebook. They're amazing people. <laughs> so, there we go. Get. Again, make sure it's hot. And then we will go, start on the black one. Wait for it to go. And it's going. Um, Pete, yeah. we've had a lovely email from Joanne from Hi, the jo. design team. Yes, um, and she's saying that the stamps are so versatile; they're wonderful for colouring. 
Oh, they're fant yeah, they yeah. are fantastic for colouring. I did um, a, a colouring Facebook Live uh, oh, did you? two Sundays ago um, with the, the stamps. Um, and I really enjoy doing it, showing people how to, to use polychromos um, to the best of its ability. How often do you do Facebook Lives? Um, well, first lockdown, I was doing three a day. Were you? Gosh, that kept me busy then. Uh, I, did, I did three a day for about, I think it was about two months. Yeah. Um, but then I had to stop because it was affecting my health. Because uh, one of them was a giveaway. I did, I did during the first lockdown, uh -huh. I did 120 giveaways. Good grief. Um, that's where, like, crafters and people that follow me yeah. donated stash that they've got excess. Oh. And we were doing a, a giveaway for people who were less fortunate and who didn't have a lot of money. Mm -hmm. um, and it went really well, but I've started doing that again now over Saturday. Right. On this second lockdown. But it's... This second lockdown's a weird one. Well, it, it um, feels like it's not really a lockdown. It's really odd, anyway. <laughs> I'm, I'm still wondering if there's a lockdown. Mm. There we go. Brilliant. So there's our two cards. Yep. All we need to do now is... Crop down. I've missed a bit there. It's harder to see with the white on white, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. What's this? We'll take the black one because the black one, as a card, mm -hmm. you're finished. Uh, yeah, exactly. Because all you need then, let me just trim this down, you get the effect. Um, All you need is a sentiment. I'll pop it on a... There we go. There's your card. I will take... Uh, let me take a black. And I'll take a white card. Okay. I need a white. Black for that and white for that. That's right, so give me a white card. There's the black. We'll put that there. Okay. Right, so people can see. And then we will take a white piece of card, fold it in half, and you have our A5 card. Excellent. And we do that, and we take that mat and layered. We then pop that in the centre, like so. And you have a clean and simple Christmas yeah. card with a sentiment there saying Pop at the bottom, Merry yeah. Christmas. Do you know, that even looks nice. I could see that in a white frame yes. on the wall. I think that looks yeah. absolutely stunning, yeah. that. So there's well, so that much I, detail in I do in a there. lot of my designs are based on home decor. Yeah. What I can do with them home decor wise. Nice. Um, right, and that's that one. So we then take the white one and then you choose what colours you want. Um, and in this case... I'm going to go with red and green. OK. <laughs> the two Christmas cards. I don't know how this is going to turn out. Because, uh, like I say, I'm winging it. <laughs> uh, right. So, let's take some of the red. And then what we do, we'll just go over it, give mm -hmm. it some colour. Like that. Because, again, we'll, we'll crop it down. And I'll put some more on there. That's it. Yeah. Like that. Really, really bringing that out. Oh, that yeah, and then we'll proud. do the green. And the green will pull it out even more. And look at that. Quite psychedelic now, actually. They're very bright colours. Yeah. Well, they pick up well on the TV, they do, you see. They do, don't they? Yeah. Because usually, Pete, are not this bright. <laughs> That didn't say right, did it? <laughs> oh, well, I, I made the biggest error this hour, so don't, don't you worry. I'm bright as a, I'm bright as a button be. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and just pop it round to brighten it up there. There we go. This is how easy it is to make batch cards. So you imagine doing like ten of these. Uh-huh. One after another. Yeah. Again, we will get the, the crop. 
and we will prop it down. You can actually leave it as a border. The reason I am I'm not leaving it as a border is because I did it skew with. Oh, I see. So, but what we'll do with this one, we will uh, we'll actually put sentiments on this one to show people. Okay. And then your matte layers could be any any colours you want really, but I'm going to go with black uh, because it'll pick a tape there. There we go. I'll do that there, do that there, like that. And you know what? What? Shall I stick it? Why not? <laughs> Let me make a card. I'll make a finished article. So we'll do that. And we'll bring in our card blank again. Mm -hmm. Right. right. Oops. A bit of a mess now. You've got that as well. Oh, of course you have. Right. Yep. So, what we will do, if I can find my white board. Now we've got the, it's like this. Now, what I'm going to do here. Okay. I'm going to take the, uh, and I'm going to crop it uh, about half. Like so. Take, oh, I'll put it there, I should have, uh, now I'm going to go here, um, how big is that one there, uh, half a centimetre, that's about right, mm -hmm. uh, and then I'll just mark it, I'll just do it by eye. Is this for the sentiment, this one? <sighs> oh, that <okay. laughs> Got some other sentiments here. What else do we have in there? You've got nature's fragrance. It's your dream. Uh, the body says what words cannot. And be blessed on those. I don't know where half of them come from. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Right. Yeah. There we go. So. We will take... I've got a bit of red on it, but it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. How many cards do you make a year, like for to send to people? Who, me? Yeah. Are you do you want, really want to tell me? <laughs> you, you really want me to tell you? No, you don't have to. Zero. <laughs> Zero. <laughs> a lot of people like to um, make donations instead, don't they? What, what, what I like to do, um, if I'm going to make anything for anybody, I like to make home decor. Do you? Yeah. Mainly wall art mm -hmm. um, or frame picture, yeah. that type of thing. Um, but where cards are concerned, I'm not a great card person. Um, it's only mainly because, I, one, I haven't got the time to do it. Yeah. Um, and when you're doing it for a business all year, uh -huh. yeah. uh, it can get a bit tedious because all you tend to do is make cards when you do demos. Yeah. Um, etc. So, yeah. Then that can go there. Oh, how can we do this? Oh, what jaunty angles? Yeah. Oh, oh, that's quite nice. That's interesting. So let's get a. Uh, I did have them there. Mm -hmm. uh, let me get my versifying clay. And what I will do, I've got the little stamp which says bloom. And what I could do there, I could just put on. A oh, lovely there. font there, Pete. Sorry? Lovely font. Yeah, yeah. Really nice. I t I t to tell you the truth, I take ages um, choosing fonts because I buy some of them in. Yeah. Um, especially if there's uh, certain ones that have got, you know, a certain quality. Yeah. Um, so that can go there. We'll just put the two blooms there. And then we've got every flower needs a butterfly. I concur. So I'll take that there, wipe the bloom off, and that will go... 
there. And there we have... Fabulous. A finished quilt. I won't stick the... Do you want, do you want me to... Let me do it. Okay. I'll just put a little bit on to stick it there. Yeah. Just in case you want me to hold it up. And what I would do, what would, what I would do, um, I would actually get some flowers uh, oh. uh, and just put um, a like little, some little paper flowers. Yeah. 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 So there, can you see that? Yeah. Gorgeous. Thank you. There you go. Lovely. I'll be back with you again um, yep. in a moment. No yeah, because we'll at probably all. have about ten minutes left at the end. Yeah, okay. um, if you are just joining us, oh no, the background bundle. Apologies. Um, have a little look. So obviously this is the, this is the set that uh, Pete just used that background from. Um, lovely, lovely stamps. These, as we've just seen, they'll make a card so quickly. Um, and let me see if I can find some with the backgrounds again. Let's have a little look. Oh, there's one here. There's one here. Let's have a look. Oh, got one here. And a second, and there's this one. Okay. There you go. Fabulous background. Look at that. This one is by Pat. Pat's done this one. Love the monochrome. It's just a sea of flowers, that, isn't it? Wonderful. Um, this one is by Michelle. And um, she's embossed that, and I love the colours that she's used. This one is by Michelle again. Look at that. It's really dramatic, isn't it? I'm liking that a lot. And then bringing this one in, uh, again by Michelle. Oh, sorry. I'm picking all of Michelle's. There you are. And this one is by Kate. Look at that. Fabulous. £36.96. pence. Remember, it is on Flexi Buy, and you've got a little saving if you go for the bundle. Two payments of £18.48. 700112 is your item number. If you do want them as individuals, they are also available at 9.99. Gorgeous stuff. Okay, and your item number for any of those as individuals is 064330. Okay, next then we've got the ladies. <laughs> that have backs like this. <laughs> Phone backs. There. Lovely. Phone back to ladies. That's a much better way of saying. But just so you know, the other two sets that you've just seen, um, they were unmounted. I have to say, I love the detail on the packaging. So you've got inspiration there. There, so you can see there, it's got the back on. Um, and here we are, look at this. Beautifully shaded, this one. That's by Pat. They're gorgeous ladies. Uh, this is another one by Pat. Lovely, she's made her eyes closed. Very clever, very clever. Um, Where's another one with the ladies and let's see. Hang on. Um, Pete, yeah. are these ladies based on anybody in real life? No. No? No, they're just, uh, they, they started out as doodles and they uh -huh. just went from a doodle yeah. to that. Amazing artwork, amazing. Thank you. Yeah. 1799, item number is 751694. Right, we've got some backgrounds and these are also um, mounted. But you can see these lovely flowers. Um, it's the primroses and the rectangled. That's a good one, isn't it? Really good set of stamps. Again, 1799 221 284 is the item number. Um, and then next, we've got the black and white card bundle. Um, now, so we've got the, the black. I believe we're getting uh, 30 sheets of the black. 30 sheets of the black. Darn, it's my fault, sorry. 20 sheets of the black and 30 sheets of the white. Lovely, and it's a really good weight of cardstock. And it's only 9 99 for those. Um, white card is 300 GSM, yeah. and the black is use. lovely. The black. Thanks. And 999 240854 is your item number. Then We've got the colour card and the watercolour card. That's just coming onto the screen. Again, this is 9 99 uh, Lovely. So the other one, uh, cold pressed. Wonderful. 9 788 And then we've also got our cartridge papers. And here they are. 
Details just coming up onto the screen. Uh, for 9 99 100 sheets of that, and it's 220 GSM. 419456. Uh, we've got something else then to add to your baskets. Have a little look because we've got our seven day savers. They launched on Sunday and they run for obviously the course of the week. You've got red liner tape, uh, magazine bundle. If you are into your knitting, I think you'll like that. Followed by our sewing box. I really like the fabric that's been used. You've got your mirror card. Um, that one's been a really popular one, actually. And five-star reviews, uh, that's uh, silver and gold you're getting of your mirror card. And then we've got some spools of thread, some runners, tape runners. Um, yeah, so do have a little look. Right, now we have an update for you because of our exotic flowers. We are now 40% of the stock gone on that bundle. Um, they're really, really pretty designs. 735125 is your item number. Now, the clematis as an individual, that one is 60% of the stock gone. Very pretty. And each option individually is 999. 538117. Okay, back to you, Pete. What would you like to do? Right, one. Uh, could you pass me the backgrounds, the stamps? Can't you? I'm I'll so use, sorry. Right, I'll use this one again. I've put them down somewhere and I can't find them. I cannot find them. So they're somewhere stupid, probably. Oh, sorry, Pete. You're okay. I'll do the. I'll do the, the same one with the uh, that we did with the black-eyed Susan. Again, it's using the background stamps to create a stamp, but we'll use, be using inks this time. And I'm going to use peacock feather. I'm going to use dried marigold. Uh, let's see where we go with those right. two. <laughs> those are nice colours to work together, yeah. actually. And all I'm doing, I'm just popping it over. Uh -huh. and Best to just colour in the background with the, the tones of it. And what I like, can you see where the orange is touching the blue as well? Yes, you get you a good get mix. You get a lovely green. <laughs> Look, I should have done it the wrong way around. Look, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you call contamination. We have a virus here. There we go. I don't care. Right, now, what we can do now, we take a piece of card and you can place it down on top like so and this is a one way of actually using the backgrounds um, rather than just you know um, stamping it down and yeah. then colouring it in this is a uh, what we call the uh, there we go oh that looks good I like that a lot yeah, yeah. Um, and what we can do We've still got some on there, so what I will do, I will get my sp fine spray mister. Right. Oh, we can get a twofer, can't we? Yeah, we can get a twofer. And you just wet it a little, and we'll take another piece of the card. Place it over again. And which card is this again? This is the white. White. Yeah. I, do, I use this, the white for, I suppose you could say... Um, is it because it's nice and smooth? Yeah. It's mm -hmm. smoother than the, the cartridge because the cartridge has got a little bit of a tooth. Yeah. But I do like the, the tooth on the cartridge. The cartridge is my go-to usually. But because we've got this on the show, that's why I'm using it. So, and then we... That's the second. Can you see? All it's of a nice. Sudden, it looks a bit more distressed, doesn't it? Well, it, it's actually giving you a watercolour effect. Yeah. And then we'll give it a, a dry. It just flattens back down then, doesn't it? Sorry? It just flattens back down then, yeah. it's fine. And then when it starts to curl up again, turn it over. Yeah. But yeah, no, because I did, the, I tried to do this not last month, the month before. Uh-huh. And I messed it up because I forgot to actually dry it. Oh! Enough, and it didn't work. Right. So... That's the one, that's your, your, your watercolour effect. There you go. There you go. So I like the card. Also, as you can see, we've got that one there. So you've got two different types of background that mm -hmm. you can use. Yeah. But if you wanted something that was a little bit more detailed, like so, 
I get my rainmaker out. I love you call it that. Right, and just spritz it over. Don't mess with it. And then all we do, we take our paper towel or cloth, whatever you're using, and we pull it off and it starts to pull, as you can see. So it distresses it even more. Yeah. There we go. And then we'll give that a blow. And again, you've got a card ready to go there. Uh, basically, yeah. Yeah. Um, pop a sentiment on. Yeah, I'm mm -hmm. going to pop a sentiment on, and that is that one done. Yeah. So quick and easy. Um, it's nice to experiment. Mhm. Mm I noticed you've got a nice floral shirt on as well. Well, I put this on for the girls because they, everybody says um, that they liked my T-shirt. Yeah. And I suggest this is my Primarni. Ah. Oh. Are the brands available? Yeah. No, there's no such brand as Primarni. <laughs> well, Prim I know, but, but, but they know where it's from. Covering myself. <laughs> uh, yeah. So we've got those two. Yep. Right. And then what we do, we'll take the stamp again. Like so now, now it's all dry and I can do it properly. And then we get, um, I'm not going to use black, I'm going to use my, uh, my grey again, my versifying clay. Yep. Yep. And that is the way we've got the stamp. The stamp goes on like that. I see. see what I mean? Okay, yeah. But what we'll do before, so we can get it like really, really detailed, we'll do the, the crop. So. Oh, careful. Oh, that's all right. There we go. That's fun watching me cut it, isn't it? Hey, say that again, sorry. I said that's fun watching me cut. <laughs> no, all yeah. is good. So, now we've, that's the one that we're going to use. We then get the the grey versifying clay. Okay. Do you like that because it's not as harsh? Uh, yeah. Um, as well, um, because it's not as harsh, it's, it's, as you'll see when it's done, it doesn't really pop like black does. Okay. Um, if you want that style, with the, with the, use black. Yeah. Um, but I like to use grey because it's more subtle. Let's give that a good pat all over. And then get that there, and we know it's there. See, I don't even need you just go around the actual stamp itself, and then that will roughly get in you know, what you can do better on there with a stamping platform. Uh -huh. And then we do this, and then we pull that one off. Oh, and there we see. have. That is fabulous, actually, because it's it's it, it, you've really got it in the right place yeah, there. Yeah. That looks really cool. Uh, and it gives, it gives it that effect. And then all you need to do then, uh, my dear, is to get a nice sentiment. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll have exotic, and we'll have the exotic. Mm -hmm. And we'll pop the exotic there. And there's the one card. Yeah, love that font. And then we will have uh, freedom to believe. Cool. So we'll get that, wipe that, and I'll take them off so it doesn't. That's it. And then we will go across. See, of the different ways as well. Look. Yeah, nice. So that's upside down there, and then we've got freedom to believe. Press it down like so. Letting the ink sit in. There you are. And there we have Lovely. two finished cards, quick Excellent. cards. Yep. Both look different. They look fab. Thank you so much, Pete. Um, Really enjoyed that. Thank you so much uh, no for problem. joining us. That's no problem excellent. at all. Remember, you can check out um, after the hour. Um, we are 30%, sorry, 40% gone for the flowers. 
and 30% for the backgrounds. Um, right, thank you once again, Pete. Thank you. Okay, thank as you ever, wonderful. As ever, we've got more coming up after this short break. Stay tuned. Next up, we have got the fabulous Janice. She is in the studio. Oh, she's good. giving me a bow. Lovely. <laughs> and she has got a happy hour. We're talking material magic. Hi, I'm Alice from Alice Stitch Fingers. Um, I've been sewing most of my life. I absolutely love sewing. I've been with the Chanda now from the very beginning, really. That's when I started to go there. The Chanda family are lovely people to work with, and I'm really enjoying my time with them. Designing is a big part of the journey uh, for me as well. I, I love going out and finding the fabrics to use in the projects and bringing them to you. I love the designing process from start to finish and then the finished project is just the icing on the cake. So make sure you don't miss out, come and sew with me on a chanda. Hi, I'm Hayley. Join me for some amazing Fabric Freedom shows. Fabric Freedom design all their fabrics here in the UK and they design them with quilters in mind. So they're really good at picking out those unidirectional prints. Really nice and small prints so you can work on smaller patchwork projects. And paste prints as well, which is one of their signature fabrics. They do lots more fabrics besides quilting cottons. So tune in to the Fabric Freedom shows here on Hachanda. Hi, I'm Nikki Hassan. I've been working with Heartfelt Creations for about nine years now. Heartfelt Creations as a company launched the company back in 1994. They have been in the industry for a very, very long time. They are crafters, so they know what you crafters want and they listen to us crafters too. Their products range from stamps that coordinate with dyes that then coordinate with a paper pad. But then we also have storage folders. We have decorative dies. We have colouring daubers. We have Insta albums. One of the products that really make Heartfelt unique are their flower shaping moulds, where you can make easy, quick, three-dimensional flowers, which are absolutely stunning. So I hope you can join Heartfelt Creations here on the Chanda. Hi, I'm Anna and I'm a founder of Craftbox UK. Craftbox is a box full of craft supplies that we send to our customers monthly. The company has been going for a year and a half and as a crafter, I wanted to find a box which I could receive every month and would be full of craft supplies. As I couldn't find such box, I decided to create it myself and that's how Craftbox started. Every box contains at least 15 products, which are beautifully hand-packaged by a team based here in Cambridgeshire. All products are placed in a beautiful, sturdy box, which is ribbon-tied, and we hope that by receiving this box, you will feel like it's Christmas every month. Make sure you don't miss the craft box shows on Hochanda. Hello, my name's Stuart and I'm the Managing Director of Oakwood Archer. Oakwood Archer is a family-run business and my son and my daughter work very hard with me to bring the best craft items to you in the UK. We specialise in high quality items brought into the UK from all over the world, including brands like Kaiser Craft, Stampendous and Impression Obsession. Working with the Chanda is fantastic for us. It gives us the opportunity to bring all of these brands and all of these products from all over the world direct to you, the crafter in the UK. Our products include stamps, dies, papers, buttons, trimmings, ribbons and album making kits. Just about everything you need to be a good crafter. 
So please don't miss Oakwood Artist Shows on Achanda. for you and I'm happy I hope you're happy and I really hope you're still going to be happy uh, happy <laughs> it's started already I hope you're going to be happy after the 60 minutes because we have got some sensational bargains for you all on fabrics and we've got some beautiful fabrics we've got some fleece available for you we've got some linen available for you and we've got some canvas available as well so think about maybe making some cushions and curtains maybe some clothing as well uh, treating yourself or treating someone else happy hour means all the prices are at this price for the hour and this hour only right let's start as we mean to go oh i tell you something before we do go ahead if you're making anything at the moment and you would like to share your project we would love to see what you're making with your fabrics and your materials yes all to do with soft crafts and if you've got any facts about fabrics or anything to do with soft crafts email them in as well we've got a few but it's always nice to have your input into the show as well and the email address as always is studio at hochanda.com right let's start off with our beautiful canvas range now this is um, a heavyweight fabric as you know so great for your cushions great for bags as well um, could be okay for making and creating maybe some shorts or something like that now uh, cotton wise it's 75% cotton and 25% polyester so it's going to be okay to wash size wise it's a meter by 140 centimeters uh, which is 54 inches right we have got some pandas we've got some sloths we have got some cats and dogs we've got some sausage dogs we've got some corgis we've got some pugs we've got butterflies and sheep but we're going to have a look in more detail so should we start with the pandas let's take that back so you can see the pandas oh these are gorgeous now you've got your pandas and tropical leaves and you've got your pandas holding the tropical leaves now I love this I like the background as well because it's a real natural color to this if you want to again using this for a cushion because you've got the different elements in here as well you could match it up with some of the other fabrics we've got maybe create a border or even cut out the pandas so you can make a plea case for your projects they are so super cute aren't they um, I don't have any facts about pandas if you've got any email them in it would be nice to know um, really like that uh, so you've got your panda there just sitting on a leaf and a panda holding a uh, bamboo cane uh, which is fabulous so that is your panda fabric 14 pounds and 99 pence if you want to go for that next up next up we have got your sloths on a cloth sloth on a cloth hey, hey there you go sloth on a cloth um i like this one actually and i'll tell you for why i like the pattern on here and i like the colors as well and i think when you first see this fabric whether you make it into a cushion or a bag or use it as a board or anything like that i think at first glance you will think it's a pattern and the merging of colors but then when you take a further look not only will you see the sloth but you'll see baby sloth as well can you see the baby sloth can you see the baby sloth there oh look at look at the baby oh the baby oh she's so cute oh he's so cute oh they let's be pc they are so cute or oh, it is so cute it's rude it's rude um I really like that and if you've got other fabrics maybe some sage uh, maybe some gold fabrics that would go really really well even some dark darker fabrics like that okay next up oh cats love dogs do they I think they do I think some cats really do love dogs um, now can I take this and just pop that this way for you um, so you've got your different size and style cats and then you've got and then you've got the little dog there so it is a little bit like where's Wally um, but it's where's the doggy 
So I, I like this. Do you know what you could do with this as well? You could do a little bit of embroidery. And if you've got any fabric pens, I think you could colour the cats in. Yeah. That's great. Cushions, definitely. Um, maybe bags, definitely. Um, cutting into this, splitting up those characters, absolutely fantastic. Love that one. Really love that one. Okay. Next up, I think this one's going to be uh, a favourite. This is your dogs, your sausage dogs. Is it called Dogs and Dogs? It's called Dogs and Dogs, everyone. Um, it's your sausage dog. Now, who remembers That's Life? with Esther Ransom. Do you remember when they had the dog on that said, Sausages? Yes, Molly, floor manager knows, yes. And the dog actually said, Sausages. It was ever so funny. I think they manipulated the throat. I don't think it was quite as good as we all thought at the time. But yeah, it said sausages. Um, this could be said anything you like. I mean, we are in 2020. They might be saying lettuces, not sausages, because, you know, Vegan sausages at that. Um, love these though, aren't they cute? So super cute. You've got some lovely colours in there as well that you can feature in your uh, cotton and your embroidery and other fabrics. So you've got your blues, your greys, your blacks and your mustard. Of course, mustard goes with sausages. Uh, right, let's <laughs> pop that one back. Even your vegan sausages. Mustard is great. Do love a bit of mustard. Uh, right. Oh, what's sticking to me? There you go. Then we've got the corgis. Yeah. Oh, look. Can I get this one and show you this the right way? Look at the corgis. Oh, they are so super cute. And do you know something? Do you know who's got a corgi? I know the Queen has. But the Queen of Hochanda has got one too. Well, the Princess of Hochanda. Um, and that's our Molly. Let's have a look at Molly's doggy. What's your doggy called? Obi. 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 Like Obi-Wan Kenobi. Yeah. Is that a little D hanging from no. his collar? Oh, it's just a thing. Oh, <laughs> so sweet. That is so cute. And do you know what? Do you know something, everyone? If you can, turn upside down. It's even cuter. That's brilliant. Oh, how, how's he holding up all in his mouth? Has, has he got a Velcro top and it's just stuck to it like that game you can get? Oh, that's really nice. It looks like he goes for a walk in a very nice place as well. Oh, look. A little bit of a tummy rub. Absolutely gorgeous. Uh, now we've seen the cuteness of the doggy doggy. Uh, you might be able to send your pictures in. Oh, um, Right, you know this corgi fabric is so gorgeous, we actually don't have any stock of it, so um, I'm going to send this to the princess of Hochanda. There you go. Oh, well, never mind. <laughs> Just, it was a good excuse to see Obi, wasn't it? Uh, right, pugs. Let's have a look at pugs. <laughs> do, right, before we go on, do we have pugs? Okay, we've got the pugs. We have got the pugs. Uh, these are gorgeous, little kennel, little bone and little footprints. Again, if you know someone that's a dog lover, if you know someone that's got pugs, maybe you could make some face masks with these. Maybe you could make some cushions, some bags, some purses. Purses would look fabulous. Um, you choose, you decide. Or what bags, Molly? Poo bags. Yeah, poo bags would be uh, good in this as well. So a poo bag carrier. Don't pick your dog's poo pup with this fabric. Be very expensive if you do. But then again, then again, you could just dump it in the bin and then wash the fabric like you do with nappies. Hashtag just saying. Do you know what I do with poo bags? <laughs> <laughs> it's something, it's, no, it's not naughty. Um, in the summer, you know, well, in late, late autumn, you know, when all the berries are out. Uh, so we go picking berries and the only thing we've got at the time is a, is a poop bag. But you should see the looks when I'm going into that poop bag and, oh, that's nice. <laughs> Sorry if you're eating your dinner. <laughs> you won't be now. Uh, right. Uh, your next one is your butterflies now. It's one of my favourites. Love butterflies. This is interesting, actually. I'm just going to... Um, I'm just going to, not going to. That was right, Lester. I'm just, I'm just going to. Uh, I'm just going to uh, show you this. This would be good for your mixed media projects because you've got all of the butterflies, but you've also got the text on there as well, so you could cut these out and maybe use them for your journal covers and things like that. That's really nice. I like the background being that nice vintage look, and then you've got the very, very bright butterflies all around there. Very nice. 
very nice. Yes, you could make like a pin board with one of these as well. Uh, right, so that's your butterflies. And then finally, finally in your canvas range, you have got your sheep. And this one is called your black sheep. And there, I'm the black sheep of my family. There you go. That said that. Well, I am. I am. Oh, I'm, the, I'm the one. That, are you the black sheep of your family? Yeah. It's all about being different. It's about being different. Not the one that goes with the run of the mill. That's what that's all about. So we've got some pretty cute sheep in here. Uh, we have got this sheep. Now, did you know there is a, here's a fact, panda sheep. There's a fact about sheep and pandas. There is a sheep called a panda sheep, and they're absolutely gorgeous, and they've got black around the eyes, just like a panda. They are beautiful, beautiful. Um, so you've got to your black sheep, just here, 14 pounds and 99 pence. Really like that uh, fabric. We're just showing the studio, the guys here, the panda sheep. They are so super sweet. They really are. We've got, I've got some, well, I've not got any, but I drive past a field full of them. They're so cute. Right, so that's your canvas fabrics. Um, if you want to get them, 14 pounds and 99 pence, all the way through to the top of the hour. Um, I did promise you some facts on fabrics and I've got some here and I've also got another uh, fact on fabric what do you think the longest wedding dress is that's a wedding dress with a trail what do you think that is Molly how long do you think the longest wedding dress is was it Princess Diana's no it wasn't Princess Diana's no uh, Alex is guessing 10 meters no uh, Ben what do you think? The longest wedding dress. How long do you think that was? 50 metres. 50 metres. No, oh. no, no, no. It was a mile. A mile long. A, a mile down the aisle. Hey. There you go. A mile long. Yes, our lovely Charlotte did get that right. <sighs> Lovely, all the way through that delivery there, Charlotte was telling me a mile, a mile, a mile, I, I know, but I wanted to just drag it out a little bit. <laughs> but yes, Charlotte got it right. Well done, Charlotte. Fantastic. Uh, uh, right, here's another fact. Women. Oh, no, sorry. I'm just, at the, just the start of the fact. Women began foaming. <laughs> Sorry, wrong glasses. Women began forming sewing societies <laughs> in the 1860s where they would gather together and make quilts to sell at church bazaars. Women! That's great! <laughs> women began forming sewing societies. Bless them! Good old women, eh? <laughs> women began forming in the late 1800s. Uh, right, I'll just pop that there. We do have more facts for you, I know. Um, but we've got more fabric as well. So it's a really good time to stock up with your fabric. Uh, these are two and a half metres in length and 150 centimetres wide. A good, good piece of fabric. Uh, these are cotton linen, so a nice lightweight. Uh, be beautiful for a summer dress or a summer top, don't you think? Um, you could, of course, uh, make some uh, a nice quilt, but you need quite a bit. But then if you were doing patchwork, you could buy a couple of these at £24.99 if your budget will go to that far. Well, when we talk about budget, you're saving £20. You're saving... T and talking about budgets, we've got some coming up on the show, uh, which is, sim well, budgie, budgets, budgets get that uh, right so we have got your floral design I do like that let's go through um, the design this is your white flower so it's flower on white uh, the next one looks like I think it's natural flower yes you can tell the difference there between the white background and the natural well, I, do you know something I like I'll go with my skin tone. I like that. Yeah, I like the natural flower. I think a really ni a nice, nice little top or shirt for me. Be lovely. Yeah. Uh, the next one. Now you've got your blue, the navy in the background, haven't you? So this would be funky leaf navy. I like that one. Actually, a shirt in that definitely. Def I wonder how much I'd need for a shirt. Maybe you could let me know. Maybe you could let me know. If you uh, like your soft crafts and want to know, let me know. 
Um, oh, bless you, Charlotte. Charlotte just uh, had a little sneeze uh, there. Uh, we've got, oh, now this is gorgeous, isn't it? Look at the feathers. They are beautiful. So that's feather red. Um, oh, we've got them on the screen there. Which I, Next one. That's navy flower. That actually does look like the shirt I used to have before it actually just disintegrated because I wore it that much. <laughs> it did. It did. You may have noticed I do wear the same clothes a lot, but that's that's just who I am. That's just. Uh, no, Jane didn't burn it. it just disintegrated. It, it actually literally just disintegrated. Um, that's beautiful. I love the colours in there, and I like the way you've got that lime in there that makes it pop. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> there you go. Is it? Oh, it's, it's going again, everyone. <laughs> it. Right, that should do. That should do. That's it. The weight is evenly uh, distributed now. Uh, right, what's next? What's next? Oh, the red one. This is nice with pops of yellow in there. That's funky. Now, with linen, would, do you think do you could put linen like chairs, like upholstery? Yeah, I think so. I think that would look great um, on some chairs to give you that vintage uh, vibe like that. That's red flower too. Um, then you've got... Oh, that's nice. Now, I see Catherine in that. It, like a nice little dress for Catherine. Yeah, Catherine's in later. We'll ask, if, if I see her, I'll ask her. But I think that one, definitely. That's called black flower. And then we have got, I'm guessing this is red flower. Yeah, red flower. Oh, this is a great guessing game. Is this fuchsia flower? Pink? Reese? Um, red? Purple? Um, plum? Um, aubergine? Wine? Uh, what, 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 um, it's... Um, um, oh, <laughs> It, uh, magenta magenta flower and then you have got now is this your paisley is this red paisley a uh, red paisley <laughs> thank you <laughs> and is this your well it could be magenta but i don't i think it's, i think it's wine paisley burgundy paisley aubergine wine paisley thank you Aubergine, uh, or eggplant, as it's known. Uh, right, so that is... Um... <laughs> yeah, happy hour. I was going no, to say, say that's your frequency of fabrics, but that's so wrong. I need a haircut, everyone. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I cannot wait for the hairdressers to open again. I don't have any hair then I'm sorry <laughs> okay fleece now so super soft um, really easy to wash we do not recommend this or is that the brush cotton yeah fleecy pajamas for the kids yeah I think you can it's the brush cotton well the fleece I would probably say no for that as well because fleece is very warm and with younger uh, children for the self-regulating of heat but you will know that you will know that probably more than myself however dressing gowns hot water bottle covers would be lovely scarves gloves um socks would even be nice little house socks um but the gorgeous or a nice little blanket for the dog Molly's not get, not really feeling that, but I think a nice little fleecy blanket for the dog. Uh, so let's go through your options, shall we? 150 centimetres by one metre. That's 60 something wide. I'll tell you more when it blows back. Uh, 60 inches wide. I'll wait till it comes back round because I, I don't think I told you the size of that properly then. Sorry. There you go. 150 centimetres by... No, Janice, stop properly. <laughs> Sorry. One metre by 150 centimetres, which is 60 metres wide. Inches. I, I said inches, didn't I? 60 inches. Right. There you go. Why do we have to have the inches and the centimetres? It's confusing me. 
I think with fabric it's inches always the second measurement. I might be wrong, but I... Th Here we go, let's have a little debate with you guys out there. When you are measuring fabric, when you're measuring fabric, is the second set of measurements always inches? I think it might be. I think it might be. Um, email in, please help me with anything. Just help me. Uh, right, we have got your teddy bears. These are beautiful. You've got that lovely vibrant blue in the background. And the great thing about this, you've got lots of different colours in here that you can match up with other fabrics or fleeces. So this one is your jelly bears. It's your blue jelly bears. You've also got your red jelly bears. Again, you've got the lovely colours in there of the bears, but you've got that lovely red. It's like a pinky red, isn't it? Gorgeous. Uh, next up, a whole variety of colours in this one as well. Um, this would make a nice little blanket, I think. Maybe for outside in the summer, uh, which is really sweet, isn't it? $9.99 is a great price. This particular one is your ABC, which is brilliant. So, ABC, all I can see is S and H at the moment, but I'm sure there's ABC on there. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Right. H, S, H, S, H, S, H, S. Oh, is it for shh? Sh 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 it is called ABC, everybody, but we only have SH on there. <laughs> I wonder what the S and the H stand for. Shh. It might be like shh, or it could be. I don't know. Well, it's called ABC, but you've only got S and H on there. I guess it's better than S and M, isn't it? You won't want to, you know, you won't want to make a blanket out. Well, you might want to make a blanket out of that. <laughs> it's up to you. But, whew, just glad it's S&H, not S&M. <laughs> oh, uh, right, next up, this, I think, is my favourite, the next two. We've got the lovely, look at this, rainbow stripes. Now, that is fabulous, isn't it? Isn't that lovely? Nice little um, zipper fleece out of that. I think that'll be lovely, lovely and bright for the winter. Um, or a scarf. Actually, a scarf would be gorgeous because you could quite easily, yes, there you go. I just need to mind my microphone. There you go. Oh, thank you. No one said anything no came in the studio, but I've been at home. They were like, oh, that's wow, nice. Oh, thank, thank you. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. It's a bit hard around my neck, though. <laughs> You'd have to walk like this all the time. Um, yes, you would cut it to size. Of course you could. And then you could dangle it down like, um, go on, like a priest. Like Joseph. With the scarf of many colours. Oh, thank you. Uh, and then you've got... I'd like, to, I'd like to keep this on. It's ever so nice and snuggy and warm. Um, and then we've got your rainbows with the clouds. And this is simply called Rainbow. I used to love that programme, Rainbow. Over with a rainbow. Um, it was only two seconds. Two seconds of the song. It could have been any rainbow kind of programme we were talking about. Oh, stop it! <laughs> that was my impersonation of Zippy. <laughs> oh, so stop it! <laughs> right, we've had a picture sent in. No, sorry, shot where? What camera? Hello. Ah, uh, right. If you do want to get uh, multiple orders of the same fabric, it'll be cut into a continuous length. So that's a really good idea for you. Uh, it is a happy hour. £9.99 pence if you want to go for any of the fleece. And if you are multi-buying, it's going to be cut all in one length, all in one length. This fleece is so super soft. It's absolutely gorgeous. Uh, right, to the back, to the back. To the back. Uh, okay. Uh, we have got a whole array of beautiful cottons here for you uh, and lots of different colours you can see from your beautiful orange, your light blue, your purples, your blacks, yellow and golds. Now are we going to go through each and every colour or are we going to 
So the first colour. Um, well, I mean, I could go through. The, I, mean, I would say that's orange, but who knows? It might be bubblegum pie lemon, as far as I know. But I'd say that's that's orange or pumpkin. Or terracotta, there you go. Uh, next, we have got the lovely... No, it wasn't. See? It was orange. Where's the terracotta? Ah, oh, there's the terracotta. No, that doesn't even look like that in the picture. Well, that's not terracotta. Don't tell me that's terracotta. That, what, that's not terracotta. No, 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 Oh, that one, terracotta. I guess so. That could be terracotta. Uh, well, I'll, I'll tell you something. I'll t let's let's just have a look at the colours, shall we? Um, because you, you can head to the website and order them. Um, and you can have a lot of fun with the call centre because you can say, can I have the pumpkin spice? And they won't know what you're talking about. Um, but you can have a lovely conversation with them until you find out the colour. Um, so, yes, the brown one's the terracotta. But let's, should we start here and work our way through? That's your orange. Then you've got sky such a lovely sky blue those two look really nice together actually um and then you've got your purple aubergine <laughs> oh purple that's your purple uh and then i guess that's your lilac let's have a look we're, we're just we're just referencing these that's your lilac uh and then we've got your blue okra lilac Cerise, beige, mint, teal. That's your teal. No, that's your teal. <laughs> right. Okay. I think we're just let's. Shall we? Shall we just? Shall we just have a break a moment and just gather ourselves? Okay. Let's just have a look at the colours. Right. What would you use this fabric for? Well, I think it's going to be a lovely lining, uh, maybe to a jacket, a waistcoat. Um, it would make some really nice cool cushions and when I say cool cushions I don't mean trendy cushions um, I mean cool as in cool to the touch cushions face masks you could do um, ties bow ties boxer shorts and use it for embroidery as well that's a very good idea um, so we've got lots of different colors for you head to the website and go through the list of colors Beautiful. And is this going to be a continuous cut as well, my, may I ask Charlotte? We're not quite sure. I think it, I think it might be. I think it might be. Um, right, let me just go around here and... Well, I, want to get, I, want to get, I want to get my facts out. Um, let's show some pictures whilst I get my facts out. <laughs> Oh, we've got a blue dog. We won't show that particular picture of the blue dog. Uh, do we have another picture of a dog that's not blue? No, we'll come back to that one. So it, what, what, it's just a good job I did get my facts out, isn't it? Uh, right, let's see. Uh, singers, oh no, I'm not going to tell you that one. Uh, women began phobic. No, sorry, I've already told you that one. <laughs> Okay, the 1950s are regarded as sewing's golden age because of a strong focus on fashion, sewing, designer, patterns, and copying Hollywood looks. That was interesting, wasn't it? I've, actually, I, I've, got, I've got a fact for you. One of the world's most expensive fibres that make up fabric comes from a camel. And it, the, the camel, I think it's a, well, I don't want to get the, I, it begins with a V and ends in a N, but I, I, I can't remember what the word of, the, what the name of the camel is. Anyway, the facts aren't going too well either, are they? Let's face it. Is it a Wednesday today or a Tuesday? Is it? Oh, it's Tuesday. It's not Wednesday at all. Uh, oh, I, do we have the picture? I've got a picture of a dog in all my monitors. Can we show that now or is it orange? Oh, there you go. Oh, it's absolutely gorgeous. Now, that's... Um, is it a long-haired Labrador? Could be a golden retriever or a flat-haired retriever. 
it's a, it's a golden retriever. Oh, it's golden retriever called Dash. Um, oh look, oh Dash is gorgeous. Oh look, oh, just, should we just look at that for the rest <laughs> for the rest of the show? Oh my word, is that a teddy bear? Oh my goodness, that looks like a doorstop. It's so perfect. <laughs> You know, when people make them, that's gorgeous. Oh, there's a little poodle. Oh, and there's Winnie in the wind. Oh, Winnie. Winnie in the wind. Winnie in the wind. She's beautiful in a little Christmas jumper. The wind on her. Oh, she is beautiful. Oh, right, let's move on. Let's move on. OK, uh, it is great to have your company, by the way. Um, and welcome to her channel. If you have just joined us, uh, please stay with me. Don't, don't judge the whole channel on me. Please. Please. <laughs> Otherwise, Brenda will be messaging me again. Uh, right, so we have got some budgies for you. Uh, I, w when I looked um, online for this show today, when I was at home, I thought, oh, I want to see what kind of fabric we've got. I saw these two uh, fabrics and I just thought, yes, these are fabulous. Now we've got red and we have got green. It's like a very light sage uh, green, but it's beautiful. Can I open these up? Let's open these up because we're not hiding any budgies here. Otherwise we would be. No, I won't say it. <laughs> right. <laughs> Now, what I, really, what I love about the fabric here is that you have on the salvage the colours that are in the fabric. So you can match up other fabrics to that or you can match up uh, with your threads, which is lovely. Um, isn't that gorgeous? Now, that is going to make a difference. So if you've got a sofa uh, or a chair, you can make a cushion, a bolster cushion or a regular square or round cushion it doesn't really matter you could also cut these out and do a bit of patchworking do a bit of quilting over that absolutely lovely it's gorgeous isn't it oh i love budgery gars they're so lovely they should all be free but they're absolutely beautiful aren't they and, you, and you've got one have you molly oh little budgie oh what was his name pepe, pepe the budgie oh, he, might have been a he might have been a cockatiel there is a difference Molly just doesn't know one from the other. <laughs> Don't make me sad. Right, that's that's the red one. The sage one. This, yeah, this is this is a beauty. Now, that. I think looks a bit vintagey, don't you think? So very, very nice. Um, again, red. Or the, I think I prefer the sage. The red is nice though. The red is good, and it's different, and it, it's a real pop of colour. But the sage is gorgeous, and uh, it's a nice vintage vibe to that. Really like that. Okay. Uh, I believe we're getting lots of pictures of dogs coming through. How lovely! If you've made maybe a coat for your dog, we'd like to see your dog in a coat, uh, which would be really nice. Maybe give people a bit of inspiration. So those are the two uh, budgies, fabrics that we've got. Now this fabric, now just let so you know, your budgie fabric, it's, it's a heavy cotton. It's a heavy cotton. It's not quite the canvas, but it is a heavy cotton. But these... Uh, we've got a different item number now for the next set of fabrics. Uh, so 476162 is your item number, and that's for your birds, for your, for your budgies. Now, this next fabric, oh my word, this is beautiful. Now, what is the combination of threads in this one? Cotton to... Oh, it's viscose. Viscose. I think it's viscose, yes. Um, so, washable... Um, but look at the drape on that. If I just hold that up now, look at the drape on that. Isn't that gorgeous? A sarong would look absolutely fantastic. Something lightweight for the summer as well. Uh, maybe a rouge top. You know, the tops that are... If I get this and I'll just watch my mic again. But you know if that goes... Bear with me. Bear with. No, not a bib. No, if you have that coming down. See? Can you see, see what I mean? Oh, hello. Um, I thank you. Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? I'd, I'd make something like that. It's, it's nice and light. Nice and light for the summer. 
nice and light for the summer. Um, so that option is your green and red. I mean, I'm just going with what I see. Um, I think it's just called black. Uh, but you do have those beautiful, um, like a cerise, a pink flowers, the tropical, I was going to say passion flower, but I don't think it's a passion flower, not a passion flower. Um, no, it's, it's the flowers that they put on a lay when you get to Hawaii. Really? I can't remember, yeah, I can't remember, can't remember the name of the flower that make up the lays in Hawaii. Oh, I had it then. I'm sure it begins with an H. No, no. They look like lilies, but I don't think they are lilies. Um, anyway, right. This one with your pink on there has got a navy background. Now, that's nice. Now, if you can't choose, you can have both. It's a happy hour deal. £19.99. There's two metres of this. Two metres by 60 inches. Um, just to show you them both together. Uh, I think I... I I think I'm going to go for the black if it was me. Yeah, I think I'm going to go for the black. I like that because it's got that tropical vibe about it. Um, but I, just, I wouldn't be able to decide. You decide, you choose. Uh, so those are your two options with the different coloured flowers on there. Next up, same theme but a lighter background. This definitely is a Hawaii shirt or Hawaii. That's how you pronounce it. You pronounce the W with a V, Hawaii. Um, here you go. And I know because I was there for a while. Um, here you go. Light blue. Light blue. That's gorgeous. That's the South Pacific for you. That is absolutely stunning. Really like that. And then we have the nice and lightweight as well. Really nice soft drape to them. And then you've got the pink. You've got the pink in here with those blue flowers and the yellow absolutely stunning these fabrics are beautiful you can see that though in the way that they flow 19 pounds and 99 pence absolutely beautiful sorry about the mess we shall make this look nice again whilst we have a look at the website we have and now this is beautiful we've not been able to um show you this live but this is gorgeous oh i didn't realize we had two options Multicolored and blue. Now, our Paula, I bet she would like this fabric. So it's lovely, lovely tiles and lots of depth and color to them. Abs they're stunning. I'd probably get that fabric, maybe chop into those so you get individual ones, you get more out of it with the different designs that you're making, maybe uh, cushions or, or something like that. That would look really good, it really would. Uh, we've got more for you from Material Magic. Uh, let's start here with your calico. Um, good price, great price for your happy hour. Two metres at 9.99, I know our lovely Joe. Uh, Make It Joe loves his calico, loves his calico. Lots of things you can do with this. You can print on it. You can uh, do some embroidery on here as well, which would be a really nice backdrop. Uh, you can make tote bags with this if you want to. Um, just a really nice base fabric to use. It's, very, it's, it's like an organic fabric. And by that, I mean if you are stitching directly onto it, I think it's going to look lovely, like a vintage style. So if you do want to get a hold of that, 095876. Next, oh, we've got a whole combination of items here. Now, this is your PVC, so that's clear. Can you see me? Am I better like that? Um, so that's your clear PVC. So great for pockets. Uh, you know, if you see through pockets and things like that. And you get half a metre of that. Then you get your half metre of calico. So this is really nice little mix match for 9 99 And then you get your half metre of hessian. Oh, I remember going down Helter Skelters in a hessian sack like this. Down the Helter Skelter. But yeah, that would look nice at the bottom of a Christmas tree, maybe going around the stand of a Christmas tree. Let's just make that a little bit smaller like that, which would be really nice. That would look, yeah, that would look really nice. Love that. Um, that's a good little um, package for you there for 9 99 And then... Show it you that way. 
Uh, we've got your woven interface in. You've got your white, your black, and your natural for nine ninety nine. Um, ah, they're choices. You get a meter for nine ninety nine, and uh, you only get one. So it's either the white, the black, or the natural. So you choose. You decide, um, which is fabulous. That's a, a good little extra to add to your basket if you want to. So this is a fabric happy hour. You can head to the website and see all of the fabric that we've got available for you. And remember, if you're ordering any of the fabrics and they are um, mul and you're multi-buying, then it's a continued um, cut for you on most of them. So just double check on that when you are ordering. Uh, right, we've got some seven-day savers for you. We have indeed. Um, right, let's start with the sewing box. Let me get this for you. This is lovely. You've got all these different coloured poppies on your sewing box. Absolutely delightful. Let's spin it the right way for you. So you've got the padding on there to begin with. Nice and lightweight, which is always an advantage when you're buying a suitcase or a bag or a box of any description, because then you're going to put things in it. So it's going to get heavier, isn't it? Uh, let's open this up. So you've got your magnetic clasp at the front, which is really nice, which is covered with a, bit, with a, a fabric fob. Inside you've got your little pin cushion. You've got a little elasticated pocket there for popping things in. This is nice. So you've got this uh, tray inside, which is really nice, with one, two, three, four, five different compartments. And what I like, if I just turn that for you up like so, you've got the two areas to get your finger and thumb and take that out. So that makes it really easy. And then if I place that behind me, oh, watch my fingers, um, you've got quite a bit of room in there, quite a bit of room. It's almost like I'm going to do a magic trick and showing you the box beforehand and then I close it and then there's something in there, but that's not going to happen. Um, so it's a really nice plum colour on the inside or aubergine. I knew we'd get there. Stay open. Right, stay open. Place that in there and you can see you've got all of that storage. It's, it's beautiful for £14.99. I think a great gift, a great gift for Christmas. Uh, you can have a look at the website on the other seven day savers. We've got mirror card for you. We've got red liner tape as well. And it gives you a chance. It gives you a chance to uh, get extra bargains. Actually, your knitting book bundle, if you want to go for that, you get six books, £15.94. If you're into your soft crafts or you know somebody that's into your soft crafts, then I think that would be absolutely uh, perfect as a gift. I wonder where that lady was then. She was sitting behind a cushion. I thought she was in like a sleeping bag, but she's not. Uh, we've got some rayon uh, threads as well. Have a look at those, £10.99. Colours may vary, but you know you're getting quality. We've got some tape runners as well. And what's all oh, the fasteners? Yeah, you might want to get hold of those. £9.99 um, gift bag fasteners. Uh, so that's good, isn't it? Uh, for putting your items into as well. Uh, right, now your seven day savers are there all the way through until Sunday, unless they sell out. Um, this is a happy hour. That means we have plenty of fabric for you. And I want to thank you for all your emails as well, for all your pictures of dogs and cats. Uh, we, are, we are actually overwhelmed with your photos, which is great. We'll try and show some more uh, because we've got some dog fabrics coming up. So that sparked the emails, which was fabulous. We have some panda fabric. Now, this is your canvas. So it's a nice, heavy weighted fabric like this one because you could cut out the, the, the pandas. You could use them separately if you want to for appliques. Um, and the flower, oh, the Hawaii flower that was on the other fabric, Jane has emailed in, not my, not my Jane. Hibiscus, that's it, the hibiscus flower. There you go. Um, that is beautiful fabric and we do have that available for you in different colours. Absolutely gorgeous. Love that. Oh, I've not done my fabric trick, have I? Look how light that was to fly. Right, your panda canvas. Now, when we say a canvas, it is a canvas, of course, but it's it's a nice soft canvas as well. So if you did want to make um, items of clothing out of this, you can do. You can do make some nice holiday shorts, don't you think? Very nice. That's your panda. You've got your sloth as well, like this one. Do like this one. Sleuth? Sloth? Sloth. I, th I think I've always said sloth. Yeah, you said sloth. 
I think I, I've always said sloth. <laughs> sloth. 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 What do you say at home? Sloth. sloth. What do you say, Molly? Sloth. What did I say? Sloth. It's a lovely, lazy animal. Some people have described me like that sometimes. Um, but I like this fabric. You've got your greens in there. You've got a lot of interest to work with and a lot of areas that you could pick up um, colours from to add fabrics to. So a very, very interesting piece of fabric for you there. £14.99. We have got Cats Love Dogs. This is fabulous. Let me just move this around so you can see this. This is your Cats Loves Dogs. So you've got your doggy there. It's almost like Where's Wally? So you've got many, many different cats. That's fabulous, isn't it? Maybe get some stitching or some colours and colour in the hearts. That would be really nice. You've got a little, little cat with a, a moustache and you've got little glasses, a top hat. You've got a stripy <laughs> jumper in there. Oh, look at those cool cats. Oh, they're lovely. Very nice. Very, very nice. I like that one. Um, that would make a great bag, actually. It really, really would, because you've got the density of the pattern there. Um, so if you were to, let's see, if we were to fold this like so, right about that side, like a little messenger bag, that would be really nice. Or like a little shopping bag, a little tote bag. Or you could have like a little clutch bag. That would be really nice. You could make it a little bit smaller. Maybe have uh, a little bag like that with the handles going over, which would be really nice. A little zip on there, maybe a little zip bag, uh, a drawstring bag. So that will just bring it in at the top, which would be really nice. Yeah, some great ideas. A nice little uh, bolster cushion as well. So maybe if we were going to turn this into a bolster cushion, that would be like that or a doorstop. Yeah, like a, like a draft, a draft excluder, yes. That would be really nice. So that would be like so at the bottom of your door. That would be nice. I like that idea. Very good. Then you could turn this into your crafts. And maybe if it was about that big, you could have like a pencil case, a wine holder. A wine holder would be nice. How about... How about, how about, wait for it, wait for it. Because this is like origami, isn't it? But it's with fabric. How about, how about, I don't know, some blinds? Or the top of the blind? What do you call that? The, the, the pelvis at the top. That's, that's what it's called, isn't it? The top of your blind. Yes, yeah, so that goes across the top uh, as like a, a decorative piece. Anyway, that's enough of that. That she cats love dogs. Um, let's pop that there. Then you've got your dogs. Sausage dogs, your dachshunds, your sausage dogs. That is super cute. That is super cute. Uh, I'm thinking maybe the cover of a journal, which would be really nice. Um, how about, actually, actually, if you've got a bed that's lacklustering at the headboard, why don't you take this and put, put, put that on the headboard? That would be really... Yeah, I think that would look really nice. I, ju I just think that... I think if you love dogs, love sausage dogs, I think that would make a great headboard for a bed. I do. Mind you, mind you, I sleep very roughly, so... Right, we've got pugs. Uh, we've got quite a few pugs here. Let me just turn this around here. Uh, so you've got your pugs and your little dog kennels and your bones. That's nice. Again, lots of different colours in there that you could pick out other fabrics. And maybe this could be like a little feature in the middle of a cushion. And then you could have a darker um, fabric on the background, which would be really nice. Uh, again, uh, for your mixed crafts as well, for your, for your book covers and your journal covers talking of mixing your crafts this next one if i miss one out no uh, this next one with your butterflies do love this for your mixed media again for your journal covers in fact check out the one day special that's coming up later on today we've got some gorgeous journals and this would make a lovely delightful cover i also think and i don't know why i'm thinking kitchen you know like um uh, oven glove and maybe some, maybe actually a table runner, middle of the table, something like that. 
placemat? Yeah, definitely. Really like that one with your different coloured butterflies. It's a kaleidoscope of butterflies. Then you've got your black sheep. Here we go. Actually, this on a headboard. Yeah, because then if you can't get to sleep, you can count the sheep. Oh, yeah. Um, should we do that now? One. No, don't. Don't want. Oh, look, there's a leaping sheep. A jumping sheep. Oh, they are lovely. I wonder why counting sheep sends you asleep. I wonder where the... I know you get bored of it, but why isn't it counting elephants? Where does it, where does the origin come from? Where does the origin of counting sheep before you sleep come from? Uh, 14 pounds and 99 pence, 103584 is your item number. Those are your canvas fabrics. Let's move on to the fleece because this is so gorgeous and soft and warm and lovely. Right, we've got some different choices for you now. Let's start off with your bears. Um, this is the blue background with those beautiful bears. And it's 100% polyester, one meter by 60 inches wide. It is so super soft. It really, really is. Uh, so that's your blue bear, which is beautiful. And then you've got your red. Uh, you might want to go for both, actually, because that'd be really nice for making blankets and cushions and scarves. Dressing gowns maybe would be a good idea. Matching slippers would be a good idea. Uh, maybe some lounge wear would be nice. And then you've got your ABC. You've got your ABC. Uh, you've got your... A Was that Molly you just saw at home? Oh, Molly, would you like... Molly, give him a wave again. Uh, camera six, this is Molly. There she is. It's, it looks like a big silhouette there, but she's not. It's just because of the light. We couldn't actually see your face. But that's our Molly, floor manager Molly, working very hard, as you can see. Uh, we've got ABC in our fleece. Well, it's polyester. Now, here's the thing. Here's the thing. It's called ABC, but you've only got S and H on there. Now, Janet has figured it out. Shamrocks and hearts. So it's not ABC at all. It's shamrocks and hearts. And there's a butterfly there as well, but it is shamrocks and hearts. I think your shamrocks... Well, do you know what? That might be a shamrock. No, oh, it's a butterfly, OK. Uh, that could be a... That could be a sham... It, actually, Janet is not far wrong, because from a distance... That actually does look like a shamrock-ish. Ish. Just from a distance, screwed up with one eye shut. It does make complete sense. Thank you, Janet. That makes sense. Glad someone's making sense. Uh, we've got two and a half minutes left on the show. Let's have a look at the other fleece we've got. So you've got your rainbow stripes, which is beautiful. And then you've got your rainbow with your clouds, which is absolutely gorgeous. Again, they would make great hats and scarves and add brightness to the winter months. Now, we've got some more fabrics. Should we have a look at that before we go? Let's have a look at the budgies. Uh, you have your sage, which is gorgeous, and the red. I do like these. These are wonderful. And again, upholstery, maybe for an ottoman, maybe for... Um, <laughs> it's called an ottoman, isn't it? It's called an ottoman. Or you might have a chaise longue um, that you might want to cover. Um, and that would look really nice. So I do like that. Or footstools, footstools. Um, so that's your budgies in the red. That's your budgies in the sage. And then we've got that gorgeous viscose uh, fabric, which has got such a wonderful drape to it. Uh, you've got that in the black, the navy. You've got the sky or the pink. Love those fabrics. Get ahead of yourself for the summer. Um, we've got one more picture to show you, I think. Oh, look at the doggies. Oh, he's got a little rosette. It says happy birthday. Oh, look, they are so gorgeous. Thank you, Linda. Oh, look at the doggy. This is from Hannah. Oh, and that's Poppy. Oh, Poppy's gorgeous. Poppy's just popped out. Poppy's popped out for a poop. Oh, she's beautiful. <laughs> oh, look, and there's the doorstop again. I love that. Is that real? It's so perfect and beautiful. 
Thank you for, oh look, there's Obi. Thank you so much for all your pictures. It's been lovely um, to be a part of the hour with you. Um, I hope you've all managed to get yourself a bargain. Uh, we've had lots of different fabric on there for you. Remember, continuous run as well. Uh, don't forget the floral fabrics we've had on. These are fabulous fabrics as well because you're everyday fabrics for your poplin. Uh, do stock up. You've got six minutes left to get them at the prices that they currently stand. And then, of course, the prices will be going back up. Um, do stay where you are, though, because we do have more on Hochanda coming up. Coming up next, see, oh, Catherine. I don't know where she is. Where is she? I think she's coming up next. Catherine? Uh, right, yes, introducing Timber Boutique is coming up next with hopefully Catherine and uh, Lou. Then we've got Crafts 2 One Day Special concluding at four and then we've got another show. Did you know you can continue watching Hochanda 24 hours a day, seven days a week, for free, using your smart TV? It's just like watching us on your computer or tablet, only now we'll be on your large screen smart TV. Follow these easy steps to get your smart TV set up. Firstly, make sure your smart TV is connected to the internet, either through a wireless connection, if your TV supports it, or via the Ethernet port on the back of your TV. If you're not already connected, use your remote control and select network settings through your TV's menu and follow the instructions to set this up. Remember to have your router's password to hand, whether you're using a wired or wireless connection. This should be on the side or bottom of your router. You can always refer to your TV's help menu or instruction booklet for more information. Once you are set up, press the Smart Hub dedicated button on your remote. This will vary between brands, but it's usually located at the center of the remote. This is where you'll find your internet web browser app. Select this to open and then type hochanda.com into the search bar. And this will take you to our website homepage, which includes our live broadcast and access to previous shows. So now you can watch, purchase and catch up with your favorite shows 24 hours a day, seven days a week on your TV, whenever you feel crafty. Hi, I'm Paul Church from Clarity Stamp. I've been fortunate enough to turn my hobby into a career and join Clarity Stamp in January 2016. My background has always been in crafting and I enjoy making things and sharing things. That's what crafting is all about for me, making things and sharing with others and also learning all the time. At Clarity Stamp we bring you a wide range of products from stamps, stencils, groovy and pergamano. And the great thing about that is that it covers crafters from all different aspects. So whether you're into stamping, stenciling, parchment craft, we've got it covered at Clarity Stamp. So I hope you can tune in and join the Clarity team on Hochanda. Hi, my name is Maggie and I'm from Impressions Crafts. Um, I've been running my business now for 15 years. It's a small family run business in the south of Cheshire. We have a large craft shop and we sell all sorts of beading and jewellery supplies. Um, I have a passion for making jewellery. I love working with um, the loose seat style flower beads and we make thousands and thousands of angels and have been doing so for the last few years. We've been bringing uh, to Hachanda lots of lovely beading kits, jewellery uh, for necklaces and bracelets and earrings and we also bring a wide range of angels and accessories, beading accessories like bookmarks and we also have our range of laser cut uh, sun catchers and mobiles, all the lovely crafty beads. Hope you can tune into my shows and looking forward to seeing you on her channel. If you love cake and you love to bake, we've got something you're going to enjoy. 
Here at Achanda's Crafty Kitchen, we'll be introducing you to brand new guest demonstrators from the world of baking and cake decorating, who will be on hand to inspire you with sugar flour making techniques, food flavoring ideas, baking kits in a bottle, and as well as showcasing some very fashionable kitchen aprons. Watch out for brand new products, some very bespoke to the baking world, but others you can utilize within the world of craft, which will allow you more flexibility between the different mediums. Intrigued? Well, set your temperatures, set your timers, and tune in every fortnight to see what's in the oven on The Crafty Kitchen. Hello, a very good afternoon. I have the great pleasure of introducing a new company, a new supplier here at Chanda. It's the Timber Boutique. And we've got a guest that you may actually recognise. Shall we introduce her? I think I recognise her anyway. Who are you again? Oh, I, I'm not quite sure myself. <laughs> It is, of course, the wonderful Lou Sims. Hi, Hi Lou. Hi. Oh, it's lovely. Do you know, I've been looking forward to this show. I saw a post on the Chanda's Facebook page. I thought, oh, that looks very nice. Can't wait for this. I've got this show. Tell us a little bit about the company, Lou, and how you found yourself demonstrating today. Well, I was very kindly asked, would I give it a go? And I went, oh, yes, please. Especially when the images got sent through to me. Because then... I could see, you know, lots of potential. And the company is um, a UK-based company, okay. Haley and James, and they pride themselves on the fact that they want their designs, simple is not going to sound the right way, but they want their designs to be um, obvious what they are, so you can take it as far as you want to take okay. it. So if you want to be um, just straightforward stamping, you can. I mean, I've done journal pages, so you can take it as far as you want to go with it. Inky Wonderful. pages, um, everything's in-house from concept to manufacture oh, and lovely. they pride themselves on the fact that they get as much as they possibly can done made in the UK. Oh, I'm so pleased to hear that. Well, we are off to a busy start, I can tell you as well. 10% of the sheet music that we've not even looked at yet has already gone. In fact, we've got all sorts of wonderful items. We've got a full collection for you and we're busy across the board already. Let's have a look at the details here though. We have got the sheet music. It is a stamp. It's a really good size stamp as well. In fact, this is, this is an A5 then, yeah. isn't it? No, I can't. I've got no black card, unfortunately. But you can see there, that covers the whole of the stamp there. Absolutely fantastic. Do you know, if there's any stamps you need in your stash, it's sheet music and script, and we've got both of those. We certainly have. Oh, I've got some black card. I've just got some here from the other end of the counter. There we go. There you can see that a little bit better. I think it's upside down. Oh, maybe it's not. It doesn't matter though, does it? Because it's absolutely beautiful and you're buying already. It's just £10.99, 866664. Now straight away, you can see with that one stamp that if you want to use the entirety of it, you can. If you want to use parts of it, you can. It could be a background, it could be a focal point, it could be a scroll of music on your Christmas cards. It is already very, very busy. Now, I did mention script as well, and I think you can see a sneaky peek of the next one coming up as well. In fact, let's go with the black card behind this one. So you can see, again, that wonderful size stamp there. Every millimetre has been filled with script there, hasn't it, Lil? Oh, it is, and it is an actual, quite a very nice, thick stamp. So if you want to move it and just do, you know, like you were saying, small portions of it onto yeah. your project, you're not going to worry um, about, you know, taking the whole of that stamp off or using parts of it. I mean, it, it's absolutely superb. It embosses a dream. You can see how deep that and is. And you don't lose the detail etched. when you emboss with it as well. Um, and it, it's great for backgrounds. Fabulous. I've loved it. Absolutely fabulous. Or oh, a must have in my book. Item number 504842 if you want to go for that one. Now I will just show you one or two samples as well. Now we've got flowers coming up, we've got MDF coming up, we've got embellishments coming up for you as well. And Lou's got a lovely journal page that I'm going to show you in a second. So you can see here using the script and some of the flowers that we've got coming up as well. Then, of course, the sheet music, using the background there. You see, sheet music and script, it works with any other stamp, And they it, overlay though? on each other absolutely beautifully as well, because if yeah. you stamped one a lighter colour than the other and overlaid them on top, which is what I've done there yeah, as this well. Is beautiful. But this is what I want to say. The designs are... Simple isn't the right phrase, but you can take them wherever you want to take them to. And that's like a, 
double page journal spread oh, that's and that's using every single stamp I think <laughs> I think I went a little bit OTT. Um, no, but it showcases it beautifully, Lou. But and it goes to show, if you want to use bright colours, it works. If you want to go with a black and white image, it works. If you want to emboss, it will yeah. work. And so they, they fit every sort of genre that you like to do. And I think it's because of the simplicity of the designs. It allows you to have your own creativity. Yes. So you become that, li that more of a designer. Yeah, that you want oh, to. These are fabulous. They really are great prices as well. But we've got more to show you, so let's move on down. Now, the script, I've just got to tell you, 10% of the stock has gone on that one as well. So it's both the music and the script already very, very busy. Now, we've got more for you as well. I've got, oh, this is nice because I've got a little card to show you for this one. So we've got the dainty florals here. Now, not just the florals, you can see that beautiful sort of elegant lace edge there. Do you know, I could see that you could actually cut that out and roll it up and make a flower out of that. You could. Very, could, very much that, like and it looked petals. lovely, especially if you did it in a vellum. You know, embossed vellum would look lovely, stamped it in white and rolled it would look beautiful. Now, I don't know if our set has got mixed up here. Right, we, I'm just going to do a little switch because we've got a couple of items the wrong way around. So if I do this, I will show you that card again in a second. This is the one we're looking at, isn't it? <laughs> Oh, with the stamps right, the cards were wrong. That's what I'm hearing. Right, okay. There you go, you see. I can't see through these stamps. They're clear stamps. Right, the cards were in the wrong place at the back, but the stamps were right. Okay, so, details are still the same on the screen, though. Fifteen stamps. We'll, we'll come back to the lace. There you are. You can see those beautiful flowers. And again, Hayley, to, uh, not Hayley, uh, Lou, you can see here that, uh, you know, you can cut these out beautifully as well. Let me just put the black card behind the stamps and we know we've got the right ones, don't we? That would have been the wise <laughs> thing to do to start with, I think. So, Lou, tell me about this set. Why do you love this one so much? You can... I mean, I've overlaid them, um, like in my journal page, but they cut out. They're nice straightforward designs to cut out but also I mean I like making a mask so that means making masks is really really easy so you can create flat designs you can layer them up to create 3d designs um, I mean they do they work absolutely beautifully they stamp with the papers coming up Yes, they look stunning on the papers. Beautiful papers. Mm. In fact, we're having a sneaky peek of some of those papers right now. Right, lovely stuff. So, item number on the screen, 430776. I'm going to make sure I put the right card. <laughs> That's going behind. There we are. That's staying there. Do not move that, anybody. That's in the right place. Right, now the next one. I can show you this one again. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> now, this is Flowers in Bloom, and there's a lovely sample here as well. Using, actually, that, that sort of very elegant edge there that I did say, if you roll that up, you can certainly could make a flower out of that if you wanted to. Oh, I think it would look lovely. Yes, I do definitely. as well. I love the fact that you've got all the words there on their own banners as well, so they're easy to cut out. And there you can see that beautiful, beautiful edging there. Use double up as well. That looks nice with the ribbon down there, the centre, the paper ribbon. And of course, some of the flowers we've got available. Absolutely stunning. We are very busy. The phone lines are very, very busy. So please, if you can make your way to the website or the app, that's the quickest and easiest way. But we will get to you, so do hold on there. 039012 is the item number if you want to go for the flowers in bloom. Now, we've mentioned the papers, and we have got those papers for you as well. Now, you're getting two lots here. These are 8 by 8 inches, so perfect size. Very, very pretty. Now, I know Lou has done the most beautiful album, so I'm not going to spend too long flicking through this, but we'll give you a little snapshot of some of them. But I know Lou's going to show us uh, that beautiful album that she's been making. You can see these are double-sided as well. Now, it's 120 GSM, so it is a paper, not a card, but a beautiful quality. You can feel that. What I love about this as well, Lou, just looking at the few that I've just flicked over already, but you can see that lovely background. There's plenty of areas still to work in there. Which to goes more. to the company's ethos, you know, that yeah. not simplified, but to make it easy for you to stamp your, little, your personality Ooh. onto whatever you want to do. Or even, but the designs are beautiful to cut out as well and overlay... It, you know, if that was what you wanted to do. I mean, some of them, you just need to cut around the edge and slide yes. a photograph in or just even your topper in. These are lovely. Absolutely gorgeous. And the fact that you're getting 96 sheets in total, what a bargain. 
15 pounds and 99 pence i've got one or two more cars just here as well but i do want lou to show us that album when we get to the demonstration now because it is absolutely gorgeous so whether you're talking about card making whether you're thinking about your albums your scrapbooking your home decor these papers along with the stamps and everything else we've got on the show are going to work perfectly together 884-334 is the item number if you want to go for the papers Oh, one of my favourite things coming up next. Now, we've got some natural coloured fibres for you and we've also got some stamens. These are so, so useful. Now, these are double-ended. They're like little gypsophilias, really, aren't they? They could be the centre of flowers. They could be used on their own. They're all sort of beaded. They're absolutely beautiful. Are we really getting all of these? No. 1,600 double-ended white stamens. That is ridiculous. You could colour those as well, couldn't you? Yeah, and um, if you put them in embossing ink and then put your embossing yeah. powders on top <gasps> or um, dip them in glue and then put them into glitter, oh, suddenly you've changed yes. the look of them again. All year round, these are for all seasons, aren't they? And any, any type of card, you can mix these with whatever you want. And, of course, the fibres, you can pull these apart and just use tiny little bits. You could use a whole nest of this if you wanted to. This is really, really lovely stuff. I'm a big fan of anything like this. I think everybody knows that by now. And I'll tell you what, I'm an even bigger fan now. I can see that price. £10.99 for the whole lot. That is ridiculous. I know what I've paid for stamens and the fibres in the past, and it's a lot more than that for much, much less. 577-975 is the item number, and I'm just showing you another sample here. Use some of the fibres on there, but you can see the script in the background. You see that beautiful border and some of the florals that we've already got as well. We have got MDF coming up, so uh, stay with me for that. But more of the flowers and, of course, the fibres that we're looking at now, use on this sample as well. Just stunning. No wonder we are so busy. Right, wonderful stuff. Now, I did mention MDF. Let's have a look at the next item. We've got some clocks for you. Now, we've got two options here. We've got circles and we've got squares. Now, there is a sample of a circular clock behind me. We've got a square one in the front there, but you're going to get all of the components you need. So, if I just show you the square one at the back here, you can see that's your clock face. You do get the stand and they just simply slot together, as you can see. Everything's thought out and cut for you. It's all laser cut as well, so no sanding. You get your numbers as well which are very very important and of course you're going to get your mechanism now you might have to apply your own battery but i'm sure you don't mind doing that when you get all of this here uh, just one battery it looks like a double a battery that's all you need you get the hands you get this you know the second hand and all that mechanism what a great price once again and look at the way you can decorate these so you could really go to town with these lou again i'm thinking personalizing with photographs oh you beautiful. could have little members of the family all around where the numbers are couldn't you yeah or just stick to the four main numbers and then the um, in where the other numbers are going to be put little photographs in yes Oh, yes, your rice papers, your decoupage papers, of course, the stamps and the papers we've got on this show work so beautifully, as you can see there. £9.99, pence. I've got those options. You can go for one of each if you like. 631271 is the item number. Just make sure if you want one of each that you put multiples of two in there and choose one square, one circle. Right, then moving down again. We have got more. We've got the palette for you. Again, this is laser cut MDF. I'm looking, I think this is 4mm um, MDF as well. I know a little bit about MDF because I cut it and laser cutting is my favourite sort because you don't have to. You don't have to sand it down, do you? You've got that wonderful edge to work with. You can keep it natural or, as you can see here, you can use the beautiful papers and the stamps that we've got on the show. Now here, we've got in the details one large and two medium-sized palettes. Again, look at the price, just £13.49. These are a statement piece, aren't they, if you want them to be. Again, you could put photographs on there. You could decorate with all your florals and your stamps, your rice papers. Do you know, everything on the show that we've got today works so, so beautifully. They all go hand in hand with each other, including those embellishments, those stamens and the fibres as well. 937-879 is the item number if you want to go for the MDF. That's those, of course, those palette art collections, 13 pounds and just 49 pence. And then finally, we've got some pencils for you. These are watercolours as well. I really did say we've got everything you need, didn't I? Now, these are a really, really good buy. Let's look at the details. A set of 48 watercolour pencils. And you get a blending brush as well, which seems to have escaped over here. There it is. 
I presume that's the blending brush anyway. £15.99 is the price for these. Look at the colours you get in there as well. 48 individual pencils there. All watercolour ones. 954-239 is the item number. Now, we'll just hop over to the website just for a second before we get to Lou and have a look at one or two other things as well. Of course, you're going to find everything that we've just found on the counter. You have already found them because you are shopping ahead of us or you were shopping ahead of us and we're off to a very, very busy start. Now, I can tell you, particularly busy on the sheet music. I'm not surprised. This is an A5 stamp, a clear polymer stamp, really deep stamp as well, beautifully etched at just £10.99. If ever there's a stamp you're going to use over and over and over again, it's going to be the sheet music or the script, but of course the florals are going to come in for every season as well. What a lovely selection we've got, Lou. Oh, it's beautiful. It it's, really it's is. It's been a dream to work with, and like I said, there's just so many different ways to use it. You just don't, you know, you don't have to stick to your card mating. I mean, I went straight for an album because the papers. I know, I can't wait for you to show us all that. And you can see, of course, on the website there, those papers. I had a quick flick through the pink ones, but you do get those lilac ones as well, 96 sheets. But, of course, you can be spending your time looking at the website and checking those baskets out as long as you don't miss the demonstration as well. So, Lou, can we start with the album? <laughs> yeah, and the album's actually made from card blanks. Is that it? Yeah, it's six by six car blanks, and I just put it all together. They were, I, I don't know, I had them for ages and didn't Aww. use them. But I really wanted to showcase the papers not just being used for cards, yeah, you know, for other things. So if you're into your memory albums, and I've just, you know, made little swatches, and I've got my magnets, and, you know, lots of different... Pa so you've got all the different designs, and you can see, even though they're double-sided, they just work beautifully together. I adore any and, album, and, but these I think are so the, pretty. I mean, the pattern there is such a soft watercolour effect, and it, it repeats in so many different ways. I mean, Do you know, the size of the print, because you've got eight by eights as well, and you've done six by six card blanks there to make that album, yeah. the size of those florals work beautifully. If it's an overall design, then you've got those sort of inked images as well. Yeah. You've got the I mean, I haven't space. decorated. This is just the papers. Yeah. So it's I haven't even gorgeous. brought in the stamps yet, you know, to add all the additional details, which is what I would do. And it's just, you know, the papers just work, you know, absolutely. It was really easy to put together because it worked brilliantly. Now, I, mean, I even made a little, like, notebook to go in the centre oh, because you you've got the... <laughs> sort of, you know, because it cares, because you can put it all together and just lots of little pockets. But it... And it's lovely, like I said, it's lovely to actually work with. It's yeah. nice paper. It's also uncoated which means we can stamp on top of it and do yes. lots of the things we like stamp to do. Stamp on it, ink on it, spritz it, emboss it, do whatever you wish. Yeah. Lovely. So first demonstration then, Lou, what are right. we going to see? I'm going to do a mixture of using a bit of everything, because okay. why not? Um, right, I'm going to start with this beautiful music. Yours will come a little bit cleaner than mine. Okay. <laughs> but yes, then but it just shows true, you I've used it? it. The more you use it, the better it stamps as well. Yes. Um, there's me thinking, I, you know, I would have, I had to cleaned it, but... But it shows it's being used. It does. Yeah. And it, well, we can see with the samples as well how beautifully it prints. Um, do you know what I can tell you, everybody, that almost 60% of the sheet music <gasps> is already gone? This is, we, you know, we're not even 20 minutes into the show. This is the first time we've seen Timber Boutique. I hope the guys are watching. If you are, a very good afternoon from me. Um, and what a good choice in demonstrator with Lou as well. <laughs> what a magnificent job she's doing. So I'm using an oxide because I want to create a background, but I'm not going to, I just want to make sure that the outside edges are showing. So if it doesn't stamp too perfectly in the middle, I'm not bothered because really I could have just not stamped the middle bit and it would have been a, a lot better. But, but it's lovely. And as you can see, it's a huge stamp. I'm using a, a really big block to put it on. And I just want to let it um, dry, the oxide to dry oxide ink to dry so and there's Ooh, the background pink. do you know why i love sheet music as well and i've done this in the past especially at this time of year i like to print and make those scrolls make them look a little bit aged and then roll them up put pretty ribbon around and hang them on the christmas tree do you mm. oh yeah i don't quite go that far yeah, <laughs> i do no make de we do make nice. decorations each year right i'm going to use um some of the florals and i want to um emboss them but I want to do layered embossing. Now, we always seem to 
emboss one image and then think now, that's it. Lou, because we had our cards the wrong way around, I'm going to double check with you which set that is. That is, I believe, our second set. No, I'm using no, that the other first one. one. Which one is it? I'm using that set there. Ah, right. That one. There, yep. Yeah. Yep. This one here. With all the different this florals. This one here. So I'm you just get going to turn that card round again so you can see our yeah. stamped so you get image. four That's different sizes of the same flowers. You can layer them up or you can keep them all separate. Right, so what I want to do is I just want to start there. Lovely, lovely designs. Oh, they're, they're beautiful. And I love the idea that the designs are kept unfussy to allow us to take or do as much as we want to do with it. Right, and I've got some embossing powder. I'm looking to see if I've got a spare piece of paper. You know when you do go... Do you want this? Oh, no, I can't pass to you, can I? No, um, I've got some. Have you found some? Oh, wonderful. I, I can let everybody know some. while you're looking for your paper, though, that 80% of the sheet music is now gone. So, and... some nice sparkly embossing powder. Yes. I, I've gone for um, a gold tinsel, because I, I wanted to show them off in different ways. So, let's get my heat gun... You know when you go, did I plug it in? And yes, I did. And I'm going to be really good. Oh, I keep forgetting. Your, your... <laughs> right. You know when you go, mm. What have you melted or oh. scorched? <laughs> yeah. And you know when you just go, mm. Or I put it down upside down and the, the switch has come back on again. Oh. And something nearby has uh, oh, no. been and a little bit cooked. that's a quiet heat gun as well. You might turn it on and not realise it's on. Oh, I know. I'm so pleased. I've got a quiet heat gun. Now, I've let it deliberately, um, all the little bits of gold go over, and that is because I want that to add that to my background. Okay. So that's my first stamped image. And then what I want to do is I have created a mask. Ooh. Okay. And I just want... You're just layering that out. To layer the now, sheet music is now limited stock, everybody. Please, please, please don't wait to check those baskets out. We are extremely busy. That banner, <laughs> at the corner of my eye, I've seen it keep going across <laughs> there. It's literally just gone off, but we are so busy. So I want to layer up, and I want to carry on embossing. Now, as I said, normally we will just do one image, and I just... I think they're beautiful um, embossed up. So I've got that one there, but... In the other set that we've got, we've got some beautiful leaves and some floral elements. Um, and I just want to add one of those in. The other set, I must have picked the right card up because it's not the one I had before. So it's this <laughs> one we're looking at now. You can see, actually, when you look at this close, you can see those beautiful elements in there. The leaves, you've still got florals in there, but you've got beautiful leaves in there. I love anything that's a sprig with the little berries or the, the fine detail on there as well. But nothing too difficult to cut out here again, Louise, there. No, but that floral there, if I think, would make a perfect Christmas rose. I think it's just a lovely design, you know, perfect Christmas sort of rose design because the way it's been loosely it is, it's drawn, yeah, it works you could easily put that, that on a manner. Christmas project and it would, um, you know, match in beautifully. Right, so I'm just going to do this one because I, I have got one fully done, but I just okay. wanted to show them layered up. Now I'm going to start, because we know with embossing powders that if we oh, put too much heat on, the emboss, you know, it'll just spread further and yeah. further. So I'm going to work from the outside okay. and then come towards my previous embossing so the heat isn't on it as yeah. much. While you're just heating up then, we're watching the magic as always. I can let everybody know, uh, just within the last minute or so, we sold out of the sheet music. Now, calls were being made at that point because <laughs> we knew that it was so vulnerable. Uh, I heard so much tapping away. You can hear it in the gallery. It's so amusing, you know. You know what's going on. We have managed to secure some more stock. It will be on extended delivery. Uh, dispatch date from the 7th of December. So if you want the sheet music... You can still get it, but just bear in mind that extended date. If you want to use these for your Christmas decorations or your cards, you've still got time, haven't you? Because, you know what, we're going to be we're going to be crafting right up to the day itself this year, I'm sure of that. Right, so what I've done is I would carry on, and then I've added the smaller stamps in, added some more floral, and made a whole panel. But everything is embossed yeah. with the gold. Perfect. And I wanted to grab some of the pencils, and I want to do a... A very very loose watercolor background okay. just to highlight I mean, I'm just gonna move that stamp out of the way before 
Can I ask what card you're working on there, uh, Lou? I, I'm working on a um, smooth watercolour okay, card. Okay, lovely. Uh, it, it's, you know, everyone's different preference. Yeah. I just prefer that. So, and I'm just going to layer the pencils on top of each other. I, and then just gradually build it up. I have got one finished, but I just wanted to show... Ah, oh, now, if everybody at home is like me, you, we were expecting to see you start to colour into the centre of the petals, and you're not. You're working on the background alone at the moment. I'm working on the background alone. I, um, I want, because I'm doing it, I want to do it really quite a loose watercolour effect, because if I wanted to bring in the backing papers, they're such beautiful, uh, light, you know, designs. Yeah, they're that very then my topper, airy, aren't they? Yeah, my topper then would match in with those and I've deliberately gone for um, greens that I know would be sympathetic with the papers now I'm going to be honest and say I'm not going to be using the papers but I, that's what I have done when I have used the papers okay so I'm just gonna put a little bit more color down so you mean you're not using the person in this particular no not in this yeah. demonstration but I have just got to, one just for to make that clear because yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I, no, I, no, do, no. I do know Lou loves those papers we've seen <laughs> the album we know how much she loves them oh they are and all the little bits keep because on the um, the clocks they make fantastic um, you know like mismatch if you yes, then ink the ed yeah. ed edges and load them over and then oh. right so let's just get a little bit of water I want to get my cloth okay now you do get a blending brush with the pencils I'm, don't you I know it's really bizarre I was thinking about this in the car if I'm traveling I would automatically go for a water brush yeah but because I know I'm here and I can have a pot of water I automatically you, grab a paintbrush. Uh, I know that sounds Each really, own, really bizarre. It really doesn't matter, does it? Do you know, I know a lot of people that use a water brush without the water in it as well. They still yeah. have a pot, but they use an actual water brush. So it's whatever you're comfortable with. Yes. Yeah. So I just want to drag the colour out, and I'm not being overly precise, because that's not the look, because the whole look, I just want to keep it really quite fluid. Oh, that's nice, though, Hayley. And the, uh, I keep calling you Hayley. Um, <laughs> Lou, where have I got Hayley from today? Because I was talking about who, um, who the owners when we were talking before the beginning of the show, weren't we? we oh, were saying... yes, yes. Oh, it's because I saw Hayley Smith as well when I came in. <laughs> so, so I just want to drag out the colour and I want to keep it very, very loose. I don't... So I want my... I want to have a background, but I want my embossing to stand out. Does that make sense? Yeah. So I would carry on and on Nothing. and on. And then what I've done is I have then gone into the petals. But what I've done is I just want to follow the embossed lines because I want, I want the, the twinkly bits to stand out. Oh, we all need some twinkly bits, do yeah. we? Yeah. Um, and then... So the colour is really subtle, so you get a oh, mixture. So of I love that background that you've started on there. The blue and the green together is so, so beautiful. And of course, green will work with any colour, yeah. won't it? Because and you've got your leaves, your background, your And then I've just added the, the darker bit with a little bit of blue. So it's, I wanted to create a background that looks more complicated than it actually is. Does that make Yes. Sense? So if you carry on and on and on and on, you finally end up oh, look at this. with something like that. So it's exactly oh, the same design. And then I've just done exactly the same with the greens and the blues. And I've got my little bit of white space. And I've lit, and again, I've just followed the lines like I've done there before and just brought the colour out. And that just shows how beautifully those two floral sets work together because you have gone with elements from both, both of those yeah. sets. They yeah. absolutely go hand in hand along with everything we've got on the show here. Hayley, I adore that. I think that is absolutely... I'm doing it again, aren't I? <laughs> <laughs> okay. do, you, do you know I think it's because I was with Kathy Sosley for two hours yesterday. <laughs> Hayley Smith... Yesterday, I've got two shows with her. Oh, then and we then had a chat Hayley. afterwards. Then I saw her when I came in this morning, and I, just in my head, that's the only person I can see today. Right. So what I want to do is we were talking about that lovely lace border. So I've got a piece of vellum, oh, dear. and I've just put um, some of my anti-static on it, and I just want to get my embossing pad. I'm going to move those out of the way because we don't need them just yet. Oh. You know, at the start of the show, Lou, <laughs> when I said, who are you? I've forgotten. <laughs> was, that, was, was that the actual real thing, was it? <laughs> and I had to remember. Oh, oh, well, I did know at that point, and it's all gone to pot since. <laughs>
<laughs> oh dear, I'm going to have to write it on the back of my hand, I think, for the rest of the show. Right, so I've got a piece of vellum and I want to take this lace border and I'm also going to emboss this. I just thought it'd be nice to see. Oh, I love this stamp. It's a beautiful, oh, it's, beautiful element. It's beautiful. I mean, when you look at this, I mean, you could stamp it coming in and you've got four or you could stamp it going yeah. out. It's... It gives you a large scope. It does, doesn't it? Yeah. Now the pencils, Lou, I'm going to say your name every time I speak to you to make sure I get it in my head. <laughs> so the pencils, Lou, such yes. a good price, 48 pencils with the blending brush as well. Yes. Would these be suitable for children to use as well? Mm. Would they manage them? Yeah. They're a nice, they're hard, but they're also soft, if that makes yeah. sense. So you, where if you've got... I don't think I've got many sharp ones. I did sharpen them before the show. Um, so they're nice and hard. So you could get, you know, quite a lot of detail. Or you could slightly blunt them down and you can get a lot softer detail, which is how I yeah. created my background. But, oh, definitely. And you've got a range of colours. So, for example, if I pick those three together, you've got, you know, like your medium, your middle, and your darker tones yeah. straight away. So you can do that as well straight away with them. They've also got a grey, which I always think is a bonus. So, oh, look at this. Wait till you see this. I'm oh. trying to be good because it's all glittery. I'm trying not to get the glitter everywhere. We've, we've got people in the building <laughs> running upstairs to buy some of these stamp sets. Yes. The sheet music is absolutely it's so popular. I can't tell you. Can I say who bought it? Who we've just heard? <laughs> guess who's just, <laughs> guess who's just been on the app and bought the sheet music? Mr. Lockwood. Has he? Yes, he has. Ooh. If there's any left, I think I'm going to get one as well. All right, so let's heat that up. I think it's... I, I mean, I do love the versatility of the stamp sets because I've gone from, like, doing something like this to a journal page and not having to think about it, which I think when you're crafting is, is part of the bonus, really, um, that, you know, that you can do all your different styles and techniques. I mean, I've used the watercolour pencils on that journal page as well. Have you? Yeah, um... To, um the orange colour and the darker black and grey, just to um, highlight all the different images. I love how you used the fibres as well. Oh, I know. I, I thought someone must have been listening to me. They saw the state of my journal and went... <laughs> all those bits hanging down. It was like someone read my mind. It was just perfect <laughs> to go with it. I just <laughs> Anything like that, when it adds texture, it adds interest, I just love it. Love it. Right, so that's... If I move the heating mat you'll be able to see that bit better okay so that's the border beautifully embossed and then all i've done is i've just trimmed it away because yes. i actually want yeah. to treat you know treat it as a border but it does it embosses stunningly and you don't lose any of the detail so let's bring this background back in okay. now you see i've got i'm trying to think how many i've got i've got at least three stamps that have got sheet music on them but none as big as this this is why i really like it as well <laughs> I, it's covering I, such a big area if you want to cover that area. If you want to cover the whole of that area, it, it, it's it's stunning. If you want to use parts of it. I love it because being so big, you can bring in three or four different colour ink yeah. pads straight away yeah. and create that. Um, I've used it where you use that. I mean, I, I won't waste all that oxide. I will spritz that and that will go in my journal yeah. at the end of the day. Um, and it's, it's, it's brilliant for that. It embosses absolutely beautifully as well yes. right let's just do that there and of course if you want more of a, a vintage look or a distressed look you can tear the edges of your paper catch the ink on the edges yeah stain them with tea or coffee if you want to do that if you haven't got the inks as well to give that aged look that will work perfectly both with the script and of course the music as well right so what I want to do is I just want to just bring in a little bit not much of the distress oxide in certain places because okay. I don't want to lose all the detail of um, the, the music strip. What it, colour are you using? Is it pink raspberry? Yeah. It's a, I'm not normally um, a pink person as such, but it's one of the few colours that I that and sponge sugar I can find really easy to use. Yeah. One lipstick's nice as well if you want to go for a, a ready pink. And then just a little bit, not much, just around the edge here. Oh, I like that. Lou, that looks lovely. Just a little bit of the pink on the edge, it pulls it all together, doesn't it? Yeah. Um, it, and, I, and I just... 
the pink warms it. I was originally going to go with the green, but I think the, the pink yeah, I like the just pink. warms it a little bit more. Oh, it's making me feel all spring-like. <laughs> so we're just going to... And that's all I'm going to do there. I'm just going to wipe that down because I've got white card. You know, when you just go... So what I want to do is I then want to add... So I've got that border going across there. Oh. And I've got a piece of card to mount that on as well. And I'm looking for my other piece of card. And I thought we'd do one of the sentiments. Okay, yeah, we've got some nice sentiments um, within both of those floral stamp sets. Very different as well in design. I'll just hold the cards up again for you so you can see. So, now remember, Hay uh, Hayley, Lou <laughs> is using... Oh, dear me. You know, once you've said something, you just can't stop, can you? Oh, somebody get me one of those what's it and stick it on a post so i can see it idiot board because i'm an idiot today they <laughs> now this is one of these i can't even think of the name for the hum that much of an idiot uh, um, you can i mean see. that sentiment there is lovely look when you love it is isn't it let's just lift that up take the time to do what makes your soul happy i like that when you love you have everything oh when you love what you have you have everything you need isn't that beautiful it's <gasps> very nice isn't it and then the other set completely different because you've got those kind of those banners there those uh, kind of ticker tape yeah. sentiments there so you can cut those apart in any way that you wish i mean to my friend if you just wanted friend and you didn't want the two my you could do that or yeah happy friend <laughs> we love friend so that, look at the way you say, well you've got friend on its own as well so you've got lots of yeah, just, <laughs> just just friend just one friend. Mine's not Lou, not today. <laughs> but then oh. the, the way they've been designed as well, you've got enough room between a lot of the words to snip them out. Yeah. So you can do that way. So that's my top. And now one thing I do want to quickly do, because I'm in love with this stamp. I know it sounds silly, but there's a lovely little dotty one. I just want to bring in... I, know that sounds, I don't know how else to describe it. But I just want to bring in... Just a few. They're, they're like, um, well, I know I was going to say them, but I don't want it to sound as, as though it's a negative. You, you know when you sort of get your embossing powder yeah. where you don't want it? Yeah, I know exactly and what I you actually, mean. And it's you know some people get really, really funny about that. And I say, I actually don't mind it because it adds to the finished look. I think it can add to the effect. I do as, um, as well. And I think that's why I've let some of my embossing powders go over. But I just thought it was nice... Do, do you like the seeds yeah. going away, as it were? Right, I've got scissors somewhere. I'm in a different... I'm so used to having the drawers in the other studio. This just seems really weird, <laughs> being this way round. I, maybe that's why I can't... <laughs> oh, I just noticed something. Oh, Lou, I can't get it wrong now. Can you see? That's the biggest idiot board that I've ever seen. <laughs> just being uh, attached not to one saying of the a Oh. Oh. Right, so I just want to do some 3D foam on there. Let's move that one out of the way. And then what I'd like to do is I just want to have that border so it's a little bit down, but I want to try and line it up. Now, at home, I probably wouldn't be... I would snip those extra little bits off because <laughs> you could use them in something else. Okay. But I just want to add that bit on there. Now, Lou, there's only one hour today, isn't <gasps> there, for timber building? There is, yes. So don't forget to check those baskets out. I know you are doing because things are absolutely flying out the door. Right, so... Oh, look, as soon as you put that black card behind... And then what I'm going to do is just quickly, for speed, trim this. OK. So just to right. go through what you've used there, we've used the uh, music sheet, of course. Both of the floral sets have been used there. Uh, the watercolour pencils, which made that beautiful background, and, of course, the colour on the petals. Um, that lovely sort of lace frame is part of one of the florals as well, as is the, the sentiment, and the details are on the screen for you right now, so if you are confused, <laughs> don't be, just look at the website, don't listen to me. <laughs> the I, pictures are right, there's no cards to get mixed up on the website, the pictures are correct, I can guarantee you I will that. glue all this down, but I will then have the sentiment there to my friend, and because I'm just obsessed with sequins, I just add one or two sequins in a green or a gold colour just to tie everything in. 
Oh, Lou, Lou, that is gorgeous. Do you know, I said Lou then and stocks, I thought I'd said it wrong. <laughs> Lou, that is absolutely stunning. And the finished result there with those little sequins just adds to the final look. Thank you so much, Lou. We'll be back with you in a little while. We'll have a bit of a, a recap, actually, because it's so busy. Now, the sheet music don't really have to say any more than that because you're loving it just as it is apart from a reminder that this is an a5 stamp sheet let me just put that black card behind again i know you've just seen uh, lou using this but so you can really appreciate what you're getting for your money there every scrap of that stamp has been filled with the sheet music there use it in its entirety use sections if you so wish distress it use the bright colors it doesn't matter just 10 pounds and 99 pence 866 664 and i can tell you already 40% of the extended stock has already gone. The initial stock did sell out, so we're on extended from the 7th of December. Still in time for Christmas if you want to make your Christmas cards. Do you know, it's for all year round, though. It's not just a seasonal stamp, is it? Same goes for the script as well. Again, an A5 stamp there. Beautifully etched as well, the polymer is. Fantastic quality. You know, I did have a, a little bit of a prep meeting with Lou before the show, and you know, I said, these are really, really good quality stamps. They're beautifully etched. They're very deep you're going to get that wonderful print quality every single time ten pounds and 99 pence five zero four eight four two that is that one now almost 60 percent of the stock has gone on the script as well now that is still initial stock but it's very very busy then, of course, we get onto our florals. So the first one, the dainty florals. Now, this is lovely because you've got all those different layers there. You've got the very small ones. Well, I'm saying very small. They're still a good size for your cards, aren't they? But then, of course, you've got all those sizes up to the largest. So layering these together, using them individually, using them as a spray or making a whole wreath. These are going to look absolutely stunning. And then, of course, you have got some little leaves in there as well. You've got a flourish in there. And you've got some sentiments as well with that beautiful script font there. You know, I love it when the fonts are mixed up a little bit as well, so you don't have it all in one style. I just think it works so, so well. 430776 is the item number, just £13.49. And, and then we have our flowers in bloom. Now, this is the one with that gorgeous, gorgeous border there. And you've got the leaves in there as well. You saw Lou using that little sprig there, which to me is just the icing on the cake. When you're stamping with your flowers, you want those little bits in there. And then, of course, that's stamp that was used at the end we don't know how to describe it but it works perfectly doesn't it zero three nine zero one two is the item number 17 individual stamps in that set unbelievable value 13 pounds and 49 pence then we have the paper pads, of course. Now, we saw that wonderful, wonderful album of Lou's, but also we've got uh, beautiful samples here as well, using the papers, stamping onto those papers. These are double-sided. You're getting the pinks, and you're also getting those lilac tones as well. They are double-sided, as I say. In fact, if I just point out on the front this is the pink one but of course you're getting the same in the uh, lilacs as well well I say the same you're getting similar designs but there is a difference because I've just noticed one of my favorite things again you've got the weathered wood look beautiful and you've got spots and stripes you've got to have spots and stripes these are so so pretty that watercolor effect they're contemporary but not too contemporary they just work don't they they are beautiful 96 sheets in total they're all eight by eight they're all double-sided and you're getting both of those for 15 pounds and 99 pence 884 334 and then we can't leave the counter without reminding you about this next bundle the value on this is absolutely exceptional now you are getting the double-ended stain now these are white so you can color them but as they are they are so pretty I love the fact that as Lou said you could just put a little bit of glue on these and dip them in glitter as well you know with an ice blue on your Christmas mm. decorations Do you know a few of these on top of a bauble or something even would look beautiful and then of course you've got those fibers as well which you can easily pull apart just use them individually um, just wrap them around or use a whole nest of them if you wanted to. Absolutely stunning. Ten pounds and ninety-nine pence. Five seven seven nine seven five. And the phone lines are very busy again. By the way, we've got two-minute queues at the moment. So uh, if you can go to the website or use the app as John Lockwood did, then that is the quickest route. But we will get to you. Please hang on in there. We will get to you. Now the pencils. Now, I did say to uh, Lou, are these, are these okay for children to use as well if they're getting into crafting or maybe for their schoolwork? Lou said, yes, it's hard to describe, but they are sort of a harder pencil, but at the same time, they're soft as well. We've seen the beautiful, beautiful background that Lou created there and also the pink in those petals. The
value of this once again is absolutely incredible. You also get the blending brush as well, or in other words, it's a watercolour brush because it's got the barrel there. £15.99, 954239. 48 individual colours there with those pencils. Wow, they're great stocking fillers, or just treat yourself. Just treat yourself. If you've never had watercolour pencils before, that's a great way to start, isn't it? Right, Lou, what else can we see? Right, I prepped most, a lot of this because I thought, why not? Sort of thing. I just wanted to embody You the were last just lot. having fun, weren't you? Yeah, I just wanted to keep one. going. But um, so I'm using the papers, and I love the colours, and I've gone for. Um, because it's got a beautiful, um, like this green, that moss green and everything. But I mean, the reverse works just equally as well. And I've actually stamped out one of the flowers and I've okay. cut it out. I always leave a slight white border around mine, but that's just a habit more than anything else. And I'm going to use the pencils, but as this is such a subtle um, watercolour effect on the paper, I want to do exactly the same with the flowers. And all I'm going to do is... I'm not going to do any form of complicated <laughs> colouring. I don't normally, anyhow, I must admit. Okay. Um, now, the flower that you've done there, Lou, is from our first uh, floral set, isn't it? That's yeah, the, it's the um, largest one I'm working on. Yeah. yeah. So I just want to... I'm using some of the ultramarine here. And then with the fuchsia, I want to just go in between. And that is going to be the bulk of the colouring. Now... The, we could go in between. If you really wanted to do really fab and funky ones, you could do each one of these like rainbow coloured yeah, oh, flowers. Nice, You'd, they'd look really, you know, cool that way as well. But because yeah, I want to, plenty of lines in there to work, to, haven't you? Yeah, because I want to do like a watercolour effect. Um, I've gone quite light here because I would like to blend these out. So when it dries, it has um, not quite pastel look to it, but not far from it. And then the pink just tones down the ultramarine just a little bit and Do you know we've still got about 10 minutes left Lou we're doing oh. really well for time brilliant I've got mm. oh they're, they're giving me another name in my ear don't do that because <laughs> oh. I'll say it I got it right then <laughs> are they being wicked <laughs> so they're trying to trip me up Lou oh, isn't that wicked I know they're terrible aren't they so, <laughs> you should have to email in one day and they <laughs> so I, I email in quite regularly. You no, know. I mean, I'm just saying trip them up. Yes, <laughs> yes. So I've done that with all the flowers, and I've kept it really quite loose because because of the actual colours on the paper are quite loose. I wanted to keep my colouring so it matched in. Yeah. So I have done that, and then what I've done is I've obviously stamped them all out, cut them all out, and then I've added the stamens to the centres. Oh, they're pretty, aren't um, they? So, I mean, the... I, glue, I needed it all to glue so I could put oh, the stamens through, so but you could overlap the petals if you wanted to. You, you know, you could. There's lots of different ways. I just used a ball tool on the back just to round them. It's up. worth shaping a little bit, though, isn't it? Because it, it is. Really does give I mean, you can still, you know, grab them. If I'd spritz these with water and then scrunch them, I would have got a totally different yeah. look again as well. Oh, so, now those stamens are very busy as well. I am not surprised. I think many people are probably buying in bulk on those. I would be if I was not stood here uh, making a total hash of uh, Lou's name. <laughs> <laughs> right, so I'm just adding a little bit of the peel paint oxide. That's another one of my favourite colours. You know? It is mine as well, I must admit. Um, so I can just add that backing paper to there. That sort of green with lilac looks lovely. Oh, it does, doesn't it? It's. Mm. But you could, I mean, if I'd have stamped those flowers in um, like a lilac, like the ink pads um, Paula had on, there was a beautiful colour in there that would have worked, you know, stamped the outline instead of black. The flowers then would have taken on a totally different look again. Oh, if you yeah. stamped them out in the colour that you want to work yeah. in. Fabulous inks uh, Paula had, didn't she? Oh. If anybody missed those shows, do look on Rewind. The amount of knowledge and education. Only yesterday as well they were on. I think it was at 7 o'clock and 11 o'clock, I believe. But if you're ever confused about your inks, please, please do have a look at one of those shows. Or record one if you can to keep for future reference. Oh, definitely. And, and, and Paula uploaded all those ink charts as well, I didn't know. she? she about all really the correct hard. ones, what works with work whatever because it does get confusing doesn't it, it does there are yeah. so many different types of inks right so let's just so what I've done is I've done that lace border yeah 
and I've just stamped it twice. Yeah. So I've actually created myself a oh, border and left a strip there. And what I want to do is I've taken a piece. I don't. I mean, I could put corresponding paper on, but that just looks a little bit too busy for me. So I've gone for oh, one of the dotties. Oh yes, definitely the spotty one. Yeah. So I just want to put that. Down the oh, middle do you know there. we're still busy in those phone lines, Lou? Oh, good. I'm pleased because moment. they are beautiful, versatile designs. It. Do you know what, Lou? I don't get a chance to make as many cards as I'd like anymore. I used to do card making mm. classes, but now with you know with presenting and, and guesting for other shows, I love doing any of the shows that I do. But card making is something that I don't get a lot of chance to do. And you have seriously, I'm watching you there, and I think I really miss making just simple it is, cards isn't it? It's some pretty papers. I like simple. I like sick cards that are simple but look complicated. Yeah. Does that make yeah. sense? So I've taken the sentiment: take time to do what makes your soul happy yeah. I think that's such a wonderful that's why when I got this stamp set the journal page was so easy to make that those sort of sentiments oh I'm so. just laughing at that I, I'm surprised I didn't first start laughing when I read it out the first time some of you at home may know I'm not going to repeat what I said <laughs> there is a blooper of me and Janice oh, when we had a stamp set some I remember time ago. it was one when we did good morning Ishanda and me and my Yorkshire accent said something and it sounded like something completely different. That's all I'm going to say. Yes, I remember. And Janice she, has got the video on her page, I think. Janice couldn't get past it, could she, <laughs> bless her. <laughs> <laughs> right, so I've just trimmed that down. So that's... I just want to do that. And then I just want to start layering up my actual flats. Actually, what I want to do, let's put... I was going to cut that out, but I'm not now, actually. I'm going to just put this on as well. I would spend a little bit more precision with my uh, gluing. Aww. I love anything with dots on, but I've got to say, that does look very nice there with the sentiment. So, we've you got that. You can still see the top of the dots, can't you? They're very pretty. You can see, yeah, I could have made it a little bit bigger, but how the papers work together. And then yeah. what I wanted to do was start layering up the flowers around. So I've got one to sit there and I've got the stamens in there. And I've cut out and stamped lots of the lovely leaves and the extra floral elements as well. I don't know if I'm going to use them all. but I These lower, the sort of thing that if you've got a few minutes in an afternoon yeah. or you've got some scraps of card, just stamp away, cut them out at your leisure and keep them in a box because they will work on so many different projects, won't they? With different oh. stamps as well. Not just the stamps that they come with, but they'll lend themselves so well to so many other uh, stamps that we may already have. Oh, definitely. Oh, that's so I mean, pretty. I've got loads here standing beside me, <laughs> just in case. And they will get huge, you can see that. Right, so oh, I just want lovely. to add on in oh, the months there. Oh, how refreshing with these colours as well. I'm just loving it. And then I've got some of the leaves. And I just want to add a little bit of dimension with the leaves. And it brings all the colours in it together. Does, I've got that there. And I don't want all of those leaves, so I'm going to tear that little bit off. I just want to put that bit there. Oh, no, that's so pretty. And I'm going to tear that bit off. And so all I'm just doing is I just want to add a little bit of height and put those in. I haven't coloured the leaves, but I could have easily... Um, done so, but I, I wanted I like them to blend into the background. You can see, so the you paper, can see them, and it's yeah. not, you know, you've got quite a busy background there, but it doesn't look over fussy because you've left that little bit of white and, space as well. And I wanted the background to still be part of what, you know, um, of the card. Yeah. So. Oh, I love it. Well, hopefully, because um, we're just finishing this one off, it'd be lovely to have another look at your album as well before the end. We've got two and a half minutes, so we're fine. So Not that's all, and now I was going to do, and then all I would do is add in a few little gems yeah. or some little crystals along there. Yeah. But that was, oh, you know, so bringing pretty. it all in together to show, and that's using both stamp sets together plus the actual papers. 
Oh, oh, Lou, thank you so, so much. That's absolutely gorgeous. Now, just at this precise moment, I've just heard the phone lines are finally clear. We've seen that banner going off. Buy it now. That's what we're going to say. If you've been waiting on the phone line, quick, jump in now before it gets busy again. So anything that's on the show, we've got the uh, music sheet is now on extended delivery from the 7th of December. We've still got initial stock on the other items, but everything has been so, so busy right across the board. There you can see the details for the sheet music. 866 664 just 10.99 for an A5 stamp it's absolutely stunning let's just show a few more samples while I'm here as well because there's a few we haven't shown do you know I'm just going to pick up anything because right across the board we've you know the stamps have been used the papers have been used the MDF has been used as well and of course the beautiful stamens and the fibers have been used so I'm just going to keep picking these up and show you as much as I possibly can uh, how long we got left? We've literally got seconds, haven't we? Oh, can we look at Lou's album again? You've got a minute, Lou. Let me just show this piece of MDF. Get it ready, get it ready. We want to show as many as possible. There you go. Are you ready, Lou? Yes. Perfect. Let's have a look. Right, so, like I said, these are made from card blank. And I just wanted to showcase both sides of the papers and, and all the little bits and pieces that you could do. And, Mine's magnets, flips, and that and shows everything. the other side of those papers where you've got yes. the florals, you've got the stripes, you've got the spots, you've got the inky ones. So you've got I know that those two are going designs. to go together yeah. beautifully. Um, the same here, I can do, and I've mixed the different sheets in together. So there's magnets everywhere, and then that one. I wanted to stamp that long sentiment in there. Oh. So when you open this up, oh, that actually then that appears is. there. Oh wow! Do but that I, again. It's so clever, isn't it? This is why, this is why Lou, yes, Lou was headhunted for this show because she's brilliant. Oh, what a lovely, lovely hour. I'm so pleased it's gone so well for Timber Boutique. Thank you so much, no, Lou. It's been you. an absolute delight. Say with us, though, we've got much more to come. It's Cross 2, one day special with, what's that, John? I think it's John. Mm. Then the Couture Cake Company. No idea what that is. It's a new supplier. Then Studio Light Essential Journals. Did you know you can watch Hochanda 24 hours a day, seven days a week for free using our app on Roku? Just like your smartphone accesses an app store to add new applications, your Roku streaming player or Roku TV accesses the Roku channel store to add new channels. By downloading the Hochanda channel, you'll be able to access your favourite craft channel on your TV anytime you want to watch. Here's how to do it. Turn on your TV and connect your Roku device. Next, turn the power on and press the home button on your Roku remote. Scroll up or down to select settings. Select your network and select setup connection. Roku uses a wireless connection, so select your router name and add your password. This should be on the side or the bottom of your router. If this is the first time using Roku, then you'll need to set up an account on the device or by going to the Roku website. That's it. Now it's time to add the Hochanda app. Simply press the home button on the Roku remote. Scroll up or down using the arrows on your remote to select streaming channels. Then open the channel store. At the top of the channel store, you'll find a list of featured, new and popular categories to explore. Enter Hochanda into the search bar and this will take you to the Hochanda app. Now simply select Add Channel. When you see the added channel screen, press OK and return to the home page. Now scroll down to the Hochanda app and press the star button on your remote. You can then use the arrow buttons to move Hochanda to the top of the screen for quick and easy access. And that's it. You can now watch, purchase and catch up with your favourite shows 24 hours a day, 7 days a week on your TV whenever you feel crafty. Hi, I'm Hayley from Craft Yourself Silly and we're really excited to still be working with you guys here on Hachanda. We were there from the very, very beginning and we're still bringing you lots of really exciting soft crafts. We design and manufacture all of our kits and all of our fabrics here in the UK and we love bringing them to you. So if you're an experienced sewer or you're just starting out in soft crafts and sewing, join us. There's tips and fabrics for everybody. Make sure you don't miss our shows and come and craft yourself silly on Hajanda.
Hello, my name's Kay from Indigo Blue and we've been established for seven years and together with my husband Alfie, we design and manufacture our own in-house red rubber stamps. We also have our own range of paints, lushes and stencils. We're so proud that we've now got a reputation for such high quality products and the detail that we can manage to get in our stamps. What I really love about Hachanda is I get to demonstrate lots of different techniques for you to understand how to use our products and hopefully inspire you. I've got loads of fantastic ideas buzzing around in my head so I can't wait to get those filtered into our products and out to you at home. So grab a cup of tea, join me and the team from Indigo Blue on Hachanda. Hi, my name is Blanche Siegmann. I'm the owner of the company La Blanche. The company La Blanche is a crafting company located in Germany. For over 20 years, I'm designing and selling stamps, paper crafting products, and home decoration. As a passionate crafter myself, I make sure all our products are of highest quality and easy to use. We produce a whole range of products. We produce paper products. We have also shrink sleeves for your jars, glasses. We have home decoration products, paints and wall vehicles. Everything, the whole range of crafting we produce for you. I hope you enjoy watching us at Hochanda and crafting with La Blanche. Good evening, afternoon even. Oh, I always get that wrong. I say morning when it's afternoon, afternoon when it's morning. I th well, that is a good question. Evening is Should at 5 p.m. 5 p.m. I think is a good time to call 12 evening. 12 o'clock. I, I, look, I looked this up years ago ah. when, I worked in the call when I worked in a call centre. So evening after 5, but now it's yes, 4, after, it's afternoon. It's, it's afternoon after 12, Yes. evening after 5. Oh, there you go. You learn something new every day. It's great to have your company. This is your final call for the One Day Special. Well, the One Day Special sold out, and then we had a Wild Stocks last. Uh, now that sold out, and we had another one. Yes. Because we've had a very, very busy show. Uh, but this is the final, final one. But it's still great value for money. It really, really is. Now, two-thirds of the stock has already gone. If you want to get this in your basket now and order and get it all sorted, the details on your screen, 9904. Uh, 947, that's your item number, and then two payments of £22.43. If you've always wanted to make and create your own flowers, oh my word, this is definitely an out-of-the-box experience for you, John, isn't it? It is, because everything you need is in the box when you get it. It certainly is. Or the is. bag, or the packet, <laughs> or whichever way it comes to uh, you. Let's talk through exactly what we're getting. Shall we talk with the phone, first yeah. of all? So with the phone, you can see all the colours here. Yes. You're getting two sheets each. Each of each of these colours. Okay. So this mark, this here isn't everything you're getting. This is one A4 sheet folded over of each colour. Wow. You're actually getting two sheets of each one. So the, each each board shows you five sheets. Yes. And there are ten sheets in each colour pack. So you're getting 60, so you're getting twice what you see here. And you've got some delightful colours for spring-type flowers, summer-blooming flowers, autumnal flowers, and going all the way through to the winter, and some nice Christmas colours in there with your greens and reds as well. Yep, so what we've done is you've got a double, almost a double, you've got two packs of the Christmas okay. in this one. So it means that that beautiful deep burgundy red, the light, the beautiful deep burgundy red, sorry, the next sort of bright pillbox red, mm -hmm. that cyclamen pink, the deep sort of forest holly green That's and that really nice sort of ivy lighter green, yeah. you get two packs of that in there. So you're actually going to get four sheets of each of those. Wow. Because oh, those are some of my most favourite colours in there. Well, as we are at that time of year and we're heading towards Christmas, it's a good idea to have the extra colours in there just for that. Now, we've also got some dyes as well, haven't we, John? We have. To help you cut out the flowers. I mean, there's nothing stopping anybody cutting the flowers out individually, freehand. You can freehand them, no problem at all, but the dyes make it easier, and the dyes we've put in here are not 
we've not put these dies in because oh we need rid of these yep or we want to do, you know it's like oh let's bundle it randomly together these are the best dies that i've done to work with the flower foam really Why so these is that? will give you because the rolled rose works perfectly with the flower foam as you can see there and it works with the petals that match with it in the peony the peony being that slight bit bigger and almost I can't think of the right phrase. It, it, it's just almost a, a sort of long circle. Yes. It equates to so many different flowers. So, so many of the flowers that we've done have been done with the peony, which is just so much easier to do because you can really shape it. And again, I'll show you again in this one, this hour, how we can do them a little bit differently now, again. Now, alongside cutting out those petals and, of course, manipulating them and making them look beautiful, you need the centrepiece. Of course you do. And that's exactly what you're getting in the deal as well, all of these stamens. And these are beautiful. These are top quality, aren't they, John? They are, yeah. I mean, I, I keep saying this, but I know for a fact I've bought packets of these before at over a fiver. Really? Because wow. that's how much they cost. Each one, each one of the 12 stamens has like six, eight, ten heads on it. They've got little glass beads on it, they're individually painted, they're all wrapped in wire. They've got the calyx on them, they've all been hand wrapped in the florist wire. So again, it's all the hard work's done for you. They're absolutely So beautiful. you're actually talking, it's 96 times each one of those individuals. Wow. So you could 96 times six or eight or ten so there's so many individual stamens in here it's crazy but they're all done for you i think it's a sensational price it really is do get it whilst you can we're going to head towards demonstrations to show you how to build and create those beautiful floral designs maybe for your cards maybe for your boxes or maybe to actually make a bouquet to have in your homes but they do add that beautiful decorative uh design to maybe your boxes and if you do like the shape of this box which is in love heart of course we have some dies on the show for you but doesn't that isn't that different let's just show you the box as it is it's nice it's a beautiful shape it's a love heart whatever you put into it absolutely gorgeous but turn it around when you add those flowers it makes the difference yes it really does it it makes it look so much more expensive yeah. and that is half a sheet of the foam to make wow. those flowers i think we better have some demonstrations john to see how this works 70 percent though of the stock of the wild stocks last which is then the wild stocks last, which is the wild stocks last. This is the final one, by the way. 70% uh, of the stock has now gone. Right, John, what are we going to have a look at right. first? Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you this time with the blue. So I'm going to take some of the blue, and again, I'm using the dye you've got in there. In the next demo, I'll show you how to use some of the other flower dyes we've got on the show. But I think it's important to just to show you this is what you can make out of the box. Okay. So I've got two layers doubled over, and this is the blue from the winter pack. And again, if you look at it, it's a little bit, the blue on this, a little bit insipid. Mm. The colours need to be like that. Okay. And the reason is, if they are very, very, if they are too true... Yes. You can't take them anywhere. And what do you mean when you say what take I, them It's really like difficult on. to explain, but when I colour this, it might actually show you a little bit more. But when this comes out, this is trying its hardest not to knock off the glass bars that he's put right at the end uh, of yes. where the dye machine yes, comes out. Not. So what I mean is that if this was the perfect colour for the flower to start with, you can't shade it at all. OK. So... To take the colour, what I'm going to do now is, I'm going to use some of the Mica Magic, so you may have this at home, um, or if not, you can use some of the your pigment inks, you can use other products like that. So I'm going to go here now, take the darker blue, and I'm just going to take half the petal in the darker blue. But you see what I mean by that being pale, suddenly, yes. it works with that darker blue. If it was that blue already, I'd have to take it even darker. Yeah, I get you. Now, these Micro Magic palettes, we do have two available for you. Um, you've got your Metallics and the Basic Brights, 24 pack. Oh, they come together. I thought, I thought these were individual. That's an incredible price. Both of those together. I was holding it the right way the first time. £24.98, saving £5 on that deal. But there's something rather special about these, John. And you'll see as John uses the Micromagics on the flowers just how perfect they are. But notice if John changes, not John changes colour, that would be really wrong. Unless you've eaten something dodgy, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, I could go green, I'm sure. <laughs> uh, but when John takes the daubers, which are available on the show, and goes from one colour to another. Just see what happens. So, I've gone blue, yeah, and I've done, so effectively, one full flower. But you see now, suddenly, no skill involved. This is what I love. That's fixed on. Yep. But can you see when I put my finger over how it blends? Ooh. 
So that's what happens when we start to shed it. You see what I mean about the colour needs to start slightly yeah. insipid to flame. Yes. But this has got dark blue on it. Okay. Yeah, I'm now going to go into the purple. Okay. Don't so, you need to change? No. Purple. But that had blue that on had it. blue on it. Because it's mica. Mica is effectively a stone. It's a reflective. It's reflection. Okay. You see, almost what a mica is. So what happens is it doesn't matter what colour I've got. Yeah. Because what happens is the mica reflects the pigment back. This is a size so job. I can go into this purple. I will do this in a second. So I'm just going to add a little flick of purple on okay. the end of each one. Now the finger daubers are on the screen. These are so handy. Eighteen pounds and ninety nine pence. I've got a, a box of them here. My word! How many did you get? Forty in total. And you also get. Oh, let me just grab that as well. You get the blending petal as well. This is excellent value for money. It really is. Whatever you are adding your colour to, these are perfect. Maybe you're using some stencils. These are going to be great for you for blending your colours. Eighteen ninety nine, saving three pounds. You could add those to your basket and divide the cost into two if you're going for the wild stocks. Last. Cool. So I've got purple on this. Okay. And you can see, hopefully, I'll hold it upwards. You can see how purple that is. Yes, there very purple. Yeah. Yeah. Watch. So I'm going to now go into the white. No. Yeah. So I'm going to no. go to the white with it. Watch. Don't. Hang it's on. It's white. Did you? Oh, no, you've got another white. dauber. No, my dauber's white. But my dauber, there's the blue. No. There's the purple, there's the white. Because it's micro, as long as I've taken the majority of the powder off... Yes. ...then basically now, look, there's white. I, I, do you know what? Every time you show me this... People I think I fake it and it's... Shiver up genuinely not, I can go into the black. Now, if I go from that black now straight into the white... Yes. ...I'm going to contaminate it. Right, it's, OK, it, it's, got you. It's fresh on there. Yep. But if I just take a little bit off, still black, go into the white, nothing. <gasps> And actually, that. that little bit at the bottom is where I'm getting to the mirror because I nearly used yeah, it up. Yeah, All day. Um, but yeah, you see? That is fabulous. Now, where else can we use you the use Micromagics? This, you can use this on your moulds. Yes. You can use this anywhere you would use gilding wax. You Ooh. can use this. So, why buy... Can you imagine the cost of having this many colours of gilding wax? Oh, I certainly can. And uh, they go a long way, they? Don't do they, go a long, long way. This is my first set still. And how long have you had And that? I've done the boards, what, got to be a year now at least, no, I would really? think. Really? I would have thought so. Well. But that's, they'll go anywhere you'd use gilding wax. They're perfect on card, but because it's not got any moisture in it, because it's a powder and it sort of binds to itself, yeah. they're perfect on the foam. So if I start moulding the flowers... Yes, please. You can see all that will happen is those shades will start to blend slightly. So what I'm going to do is hold this in the middle and then just take and pull and twist. So this foam works with the heat from your own fingers? You no, don't need you to are use stretching a... it. Oh, it's not okay. heat activated. You see there, all those shades, I've taken a little bit off onto my fingers. It'll come straight off because there's no solvents or anything. Yes. But we've just made that now Look from that shape to that. That is yeah. that looks all I'm doing, so easy, John. But you are stretching it. That's what you're actually doing. You're stretching the fabric of it, like a jumper, like a t-shirt that doesn't fit. Yeah, I've, got, I've actually got uh, a small sheet here and I've, I've done exactly that to the top part, as you can see there. So I'll turn this around, so there it is, all nice and flat, all nice straight. And I'm just going to gently, two thumbs, like that, just push through. And now you can see how you can start to manipulate that and shape it. It's ripped. It's a lot of fun to do. It really it's really is. Easy, you sit isn't it? in front of the TV, and the less attention you pay, yes. the better it is. Yeah. Literally. So, with the largest one, I'm doing exactly the same again, taking it, pulling it. And it, can you see I'm sort of screwing it up in my hand? I'm really pressing. So, it's the same thing. Pull it. But there we take that. So, we've gone from that shape to that. Wow. Really easily. One more to do, so I hold it, and I've got my finger and thumb almost rotated. So I pull and I twist. Pull to stretch it and twist. Sitting stroking it, yeah. trying to get the heat of your hand won't do anything. Okay. You've actually, you're pulling the fibre, and that's why it's made so it. thin. And if you tear it, you tear it, because petals have tears in. Yeah. So there I've got all the ones, so I'm going to make quite a big one. So I'm going to take one of the... So that's the same, and this time the purple colour, I love this one. Take your calyx off, 
which is your base little piece. I'm going to start with the smallest one, straight through, and push that through so we start to see that work. So what I'm going to do is just add a little bit of hot glue and if you're not comfortable with hot glue you can use something like the craft artist do the glue glaze which has got a little brush in there. Okay. So you can actually apply that. Whilst you're doing that John I'm being I'm cheeky here. So actually I'm actually following you and I'm kind of making my own little flower there you here. Go. Perfect. Look at that. But you've made that. That's the first time. Yeah. That? But it's got tears in it, in the petals, but doesn't that make it look more natural? It does. And more real. And do you know something? I can turn that into a little brooch. And you that's that started with just this colour. Yeah. Because I'd left you some of these. Oh. But you've not even coloured that. No. That is just I've stretching just left it the as foam. It is. That's how fantastic. I like that. There I you go. If I can that do it, home. it's easy. Yeah. So what I've done is I've just glued that one on. Can you see I've got like a little V? But that looks almost like a snowdrop now. Yeah, it does. To me. You Isn't that beautiful? Brunch it up. Or so I'm going to take the next small one. See, this is when I design flowers, I draw them what I like, as I, you know, as I want them, and then I actually have to send the design to Mrs. Duck, and she tells me because she's the horticulturalist. She tells you what flowers you've made. She tells made. me what what flower it is. Fantastic. But you could make little fantasy flowers as well if you want to. Oh, completely. So I'm just going to then put another set in, and I'm going up each time in size. Okay. Yeah, so I'm just bunching these in. Do you stick each one as you go up? Nope. No. Nope. I've stuck the first one. I think I added a little bit of glue to the second one. I'm going to add two more here and then I'll probably add a little bit more glue. And then I'll put the third one in. And sometimes they think you've got to think about what they're going to look like from the side as well. Okay. Because this is the difference with foam to paper. Paper, you can make it look beautiful on the top. Yeah. But when you actually go into, when you go into the side or the back, it, you can see it's just white paper. Yeah. This yeah. is going to be the same all the way around. That's true. So you start to see now how they, it's almost like a bit of, is it a delphinium? Mm. Now, can you imagine asking somebody to hand make you flowers to this standard, maybe for a special occasion, for a wedding, for a party, for table decorations, for going around the base of cakes, for example. Uh, talking of cakes, we've got a great show coming up at five. Um, but yeah, around the base to decorate that particular area. How much would that cost? You may have seen faux flowers in shops and stores. We were talking about this yesterday. And you go around and think, oh, that's nice. Yeah, I'll have that one. I'll have that one. And you bring them all together because you've seen them somewhere in a magazine and they look fantastic. You're talking about my £200 vase yes. of flowers that I ended up buying because I was too embarrassed to say I got the price yes. wrong. Yes. And I didn't eat for the rest of that week. Yeah. They yeah. can be very, very expensive. But now, not only can you make them to order, um, but you could also make the right colours how you want it to look in your home or for someone else. But then all I'm doing now... It's just adding a few more twists and arranging it however I want to. But you can see then, so it works from the front, but it works from the side. That is absolutely gorgeous. And it gorgeous. works from the back because we've added the calyx on. But I that was just half a sheet of this colour foam. Wow. Do you you know, see what I mean about how you need to yeah. start with that? Do you know, I think you're going to gonna be so pleased with yourself when you sit down and you make these flowers. And as John was doing there, just at the end, just twisting a few more of the petals over to make it perfect. Perfect for someone else or perfect for yourself. That is absolutely gorgeous. Thanks for that, John. Uh, right, your wild stock's last three quarters of the stock has gone. Remember, you're getting these beautiful uh, foam paper. What do we call them? Foam paper? Foam sheets? It, it's, foam yeah, sheets. it's just flower foam. Flower foam. And you're getting two of each colour, but in the Christmas colours, you're actually getting two sets of those. So you will be getting four in those particular Christmas colours. You're also getting the dyes and the stamens as well. This is top 
quality and also an excellent bargain for you, saving £28, but only, of course, while the stocks last. And uh, this is the last live hour. We will be heading up to six o'clock when that price, um, oh no, with while stocks last, it's while the stocks last. So um, if it's available after six o'clock, then uh, it will be, but I don't think that's going to happen. Uh, right, we don't want anyone tripping up, so we want you to get them into your basket and checking on out. Right, we've got some more items for you in the show. Uh, we've got some flower bundles for you. This is the stamp and the die to start creating beautiful flowers. Now, with your dies and the stamps, they work perfectly together because you've got the system that John came up with where the stamp goes over or the die goes over where you've stamped and you just simply... Um, not mark it up, what's the word? Line up, that's it. Line up your stamp to um, the die to the stamp and then it just goes through your die cutting machine and then it will cut out perfectly each and every time. You get the camellia, you get the orchid and you get the hydrangea. So you get three in total, absolutely gorgeous. And then you can start to create beautiful cards, embellish boxes if you want to. Can we use these with the foam sheets as well, John? You can. If you want to stamp uh, on the foam sheets, you must use stays on. Okay. Because it must be a permanent, the solvent-based ink to work on there. But don't they look gorgeous? Now, where is that full-headed hydrangea? Can I just step to the back to pick it up? Because this is incredible. Um, if you love hydrangeas, they are such a gorgeous flower. Um, look at what you can make. Isn't that incredible? That is absolutely incredible. And that's just using a foam or a polystyrene, as you can see there, uh, just ball, and then placing those flowers in there. That is fabulous, That is John. beautiful. I have to say thank you to Mrs. Stuck, who is my horticultural friend, who made this. She's amazing with flowers. Yes. Yeah, but literally, it's just blue paper cut, and then she's, she's inked it, but it's stunning. Wow. It was in a vase of three, but I lost the vase and two of them. Wow. And I kept one and found one of them, Ange. <laughs> it's brilliant, isn't it? You too can make these. Two payments of £23.47, 460134. Make the perfect flower time and time again with the system that you've got here from John. Right, let's talk about boxes to put gifts in. Um, and also a die that you can use to make boxes in a heart shape, but then you can make cards with the hearts, but also different shape boxes with the box surround if you've got other dies to make those lids. I'll tell you what I mean. Let's pick up the dies to show you. Three quarters of the stock already gone. Now these dies are interchangeable, so you can mix and match the finishes on the dies. I'll show you what I mean when I pick up the next die set. There you go, don't want to ruin anything. There's the next one. This is what goes around your box. So you can see that. So it's been engineered in such a way that you can create the perfect heart. But John, you can also use these to make different shaped boxes if you want to. You can, yep, really simply. Because what it, I've got here, this is the hexagon and the circle. But all you actually do, because I did say to a friend of mine, Brenda, I would try and explain this a little bit easier. Can you see here? So each of these little sections is half an inch. So this is one, two, three, four, five. So that's two and a half inches. So we went to five, fold it, five, fold it. And then I put it onto a hexagon, one of the um, press cut stitch dot hexagons on the top. Perfect. So you can make so the you, different... you can make any shape or size with the circle the same again. I use the circles. This always makes me think of those cheese boxes. But that's exactly the same, and they work perfectly round the circle because of the little scoops. So we put that round the circle there, and then we just it just overlaps here, just a little bit. Perfect. And then the lid's done the same and goes on top. So you can make any size or any shape box you want using those side pieces. I love that. I think that's ingenious. It's so versatile. But also for making cards as well, you can use the dies to make those decorative box tops, but you can also make a card to match. How cool is that going to be? Beautiful designs, whether it's cards, whether it's box tops or whether you are building up a collage to hang up on your uh, walls it's absolutely stunning it really really is a great investment for you saving 17 pounds just 34.97 586741 right we're talking about gifts so we've maybe made somebody some flowers forever flowers that's what we'll call them um, and then we've made a box or well, we need some tags and we've got a die set here 
to deliver you those gorgeous tags as well and a variety of tags that you're getting in here let me show you the dies and what they'll cut out for you oh she's oh, well i won't show you the dies i'll show you what they can cut out there they can just drop one um but the size of the dies good sized dies and uh, they're going to give you that lovely decorative edge to your tags which always makes a difference doesn't it it really does so whether it's christmas whether it's birthdays, whether you want to add some flowers to your tags, whether you want to make a little book tag. It doesn't have to be a birthday tag or a tag for a present. They could be little tags that you place in your book. It could be little recipe tags and then you could put them all together and you could have various recipes that you can just turn over and uh, use like an index, which are gorgeous. I think they're absolutely fabulous and go perfectly, of course, with the flowers that you will be making. Um, tags are great but how about putting the tags onto a card let me show you this one yeah isn't that nice also for your journaling as well and your scrapbooking they're going to be absolutely perfect so it's a wonderful way of getting your tags all together beautiful dies and I think you'll know all the time at Christmas you're wrapping presents and you run out of tags time and time again and they can really push up the price of the present and you want to wrap the present nice and you want to actually give a really nice tag with it as well well you can do 14 pounds and 99 pence and you get 10 dies in total with that now your mica magic you've seen this in action with our John um, two-thirds of the stock has already gone if you want to get them both together saving five pounds you've got your metallics and your basic brights nothing basic about those beautiful and bright and they work in the same way as like your gilding waxes work there's no moisture in here so they're not going to dry out at any time and they are incredibly uh, easy and beautiful to use as well with your projects now they are available on their own 14 pounds and 99 pence for either the metallics or the basic brights but going for them together is the best way to do that because you're saving five pounds on that deal four three zero four one four is your item number now let's have a look on the website this is where you can find other items uh, they're essentials but there's some great deals and great five star reviews as well so maybe you want somewhere to store your dies well we've got it for you 29 pounds and 98 pence you've got two little books there with your magnetic sheets we've also got more storage that's always always busy uh, when we have it here we've got the watercolor media mat that John's using and I'll let him talk you through this that's just 19.99 so uh, we're busy for that one you found that on the website so it's a good idea to pop that in your basket if you want it or wait till you see John um, tell you about it um, and you've also got that all oh, the anti-static bag and your handy clips and your heat resistant mat that really is handy very very handy five star reviews on those uh, right let's head back to John um, and can you tell us a little bit about that match you work yeah, on? Yeah, I mean, John? the media mat, I, I, I keep saying this is my product of the year, but I've had this so long. But look, when I coloured the foam earlier, the great thing when we're using it with this is, number one, once that's down, look, that doesn't slide. So it's so much easier to shade because it's on that. All of these marks of Mica Magic, we know Mica Magic's permanent on card and paper and everything, but it will just wipe off here. I've, wiped, I've cleaned this. I've, I've, I don't have two of these here. Okay. I have one. This is the one I've been using for weeks and weeks and weeks. Yes. But I've used different colours on this through every show, and all I do is just clean it off every time, and it takes it all away. So, so it cleans beautifully. It's heat resistant. So right. if I put my glue... I mean, how many times would you do this on a rubber mat? You wouldn't. Because, but that, literally, as that dries, I don't want to touch that too you quickly. You could use those as little, um... You could. Little beads and yeah. things. But it basically it is heat resistant, watch. I mean, what Sam was doing when he made his wreath, he was actually putting two petals together, just like this. This is what he was doing. He was shaping them. He was putting it on there. He's putting his hot glue down. And then he was squeezing it onto his mat. Now, again, if I did that on anything else, I would hurt the mat. And that what he was doing, he wanted to glue them, so he was gluing them like that on to the mat to keep them in place. That is br What a great idea. And then idea. when he's ready, he was pulling them off because, of course, they peel, look. Yeah. Straight and also, off. Um, the little reservoirs, as it were, that you've got on the side of the mat, if you mix in paint, they're going to be perfect yeah, for that. Yeah, and they're deeper than this side because this side's got a matte finish. The other side is completely shiny. 
and that makes it non-stick and non-slip. So on this board, I've got to hold the board to show you, but look, it will not... It won't slip. It's oh. a non slip oh, because it's perfect and you, that way, I just love it it's you brilliant. know we, we, we all craft in different areas in our homes for example it's going to be perfect for you to protect your table if you're in the kitchen I know you've got yours on a glass mat do we need to put it on a glass mat no, John? this is actually on a self-healing cutting mat ah, okay and the only reason is because I like to when I'm stamping I tend to pull it away yeah because I don't want it to get in the way of my stamp press so I put it on there but no I can actually take that away and just use it on the surface. And use it directly onto the surface. And again, once that's down, that's non-slip. Actually, this the rocking is me moving the table. <laughs> I love that. Genuinely. What, what a great So I don't price. have to have it. It's just easier for me to move and transport on one of those. Do you know what? That is the perfect Christmas present, isn't it? Um, that you, You're kind of telling your partner or whoever you live with that crafts that they are a little bit of a messy pup, but you're buying them something so that they don't ruin the dining table. That's the wreath, by the way, that our Sam made and created using that mat. Isn't that absolutely stunning? I mean, this stunning? is probably a great idea for Jane, for you, for Christmas. Christmas. It possibly could be. Because you can be. do your clay on this, it won't stick. You yes. can roll it out. You could actually technically, although I wouldn't suggest it, you could actually bake it in the oven I'm in this. I was just about to say, yeah, could, I could just um, take it straight to the but oven. you can then paint it on this, clean it off, and of course this will go through the dishwasher. Wow. You can use resin on it and pour resin into it as a mould. Yes. So Sam uses his. Um, and he does, he started getting into resin, so he does that on it. You could do your acrylic pour on it because you don't have to you don't have to get one of those tin trays anymore because of course this is a reservoir yes so you could do your acrylic pouring on it and then pick up all your excess oh, off that, it that's perfect and clean it you can't i've tried my hardest yeah. sam took the original prototype he got the pigment inks from yep. um icing you know the yeah. ones that permanently paint yes. on glass yes. and acetate yep. and he painted it on it left for two days and then wiped it off <gasps> That's like magic. And the only thing I've ever had it's to do magic, is if when something like sticks. It. You know those really cheap, you know the 99 people as a penny shops? Yeah. They do those magic sponges. Yes. Just use that and that will take it off. I've not found anything yet that stains it. Wow. I, now, I just, it is my product of the year, genuinely. Is it really? Yeah. Oh, my word. Well, it's definitely going into uh, people's baskets now. We're getting very, very busy. It's only £19.99 pence during the show. We're saving £5 on that particular deal. There it is. So it's wrappable um, and it's going to look fantastic. And whoever receives that for Christmas will thank you. And it might enhance their crafting as well because it's going to give them confidence to do more different techniques. 785543 is your item number. If you want to go for that, right back to you, right, John. So you said, we said about out-of-the-box crafting okay. and obviously what you've got in this bundle are no leaves. No. So let's cut some. Let's do it. Let's so make some leaves. Standard scissors that really have got to the point now where they really need cleaning. They're really sticking together. But all I'm going to do is I've laid three together. So cut out a basic leaf shape. This is using the dark green that's in the Christmas pack. But again, because I knew it would be useful, you get more of this, of these greens, than you do of anything else. Because they're going to be really useful. So there's, there's our leaves. Yeah. That's easy. No care, no, no, no template needed. No. You know, literally, it's just a case of going like that and going like that. And again, leaves are natural. They're not perfect. They're not all shaped the same. So look, I mean, that one, I've got where I've got the scissors wrong. Yeah, it doesn't yeah. matter though, does it? It's not in the slightest. All I'm going to do is add some colour to these because we're going to put them with our flower that we made earlier. So I'm going to use the same dauber again. Okay. And what I find with the mic, don't mix your dauber between mica magic and ink. So don't use your dauber for don't ink. Don't use an ink dauber for mica magic and vice right. versa. Well, if you're going for the full set, you're getting 40, aren't you? So um, it's, it's a good way of keeping them separate. Yeah, because what will happen is these will blow. Yeah. Some reaction happens between the ink and the mica magic yeah. on the sponge and they sort of pop off a little bit. Mm. So I always try and say that. But I'm going to take red. Now, I know that seems weird, but I've always found that red... Yeah. If you look at a lot of leaves, they've got red in them. Yeah, they have. It's like a rusty colour, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, it, it's almost like... And it, to be honest, it makes them look more natural. But again, yeah. you see, put them down on my mat. I'm not holding it. They're sticking. So I'm not going to hold each bit yeah. down. That's Because there's the silicon. Then straight into the black. 
and a little bit of black as well. Okay. And all that will do on this, when you pull the fab, sort of pull the foam, this will actually uh, just all mix together. There we go. So look messy. Yep. Don't look great. Almost like bad camouflage, isn't it? I've just had a, a, a thought. I'm going to ask a question. Could you mist the mica that's left and mop that up with anything? Or the not? mica is a dry product. Ah, okay. So using water with it, yeah, will we'll, we'll sort of semi-activate it, but it's, there's not enough there. Yeah, okay. It doesn't. Leave, it's not like ink when you yeah. put ink down; it leaves a residue. Yeah. It doesn't leave a residue. Okay. It's literally just the end strip. So yeah. there's not actually enough there to pick it up. Okay. There's not enough of that purple. No. It's leaving virtually nothing. Yeah. Really isn't. So what I'm going to do is fold these in half and pull. And there's your leaf. Oh my word. So just fold it in half and effectively pull and twist. Wow. But you see then? That looks so realistic. It's to almost me, like because you do get like that bruising on the leaves, you do. don't you, when they're falling? So we just pull so do some do some weird twist, but again. See that? Oh my word. If you're looking at the little bit of red and black on it against that yeah. green really works, so. Um, I do need to tell you that 80% of the wild stocks last has gone. Uh, I think you've joined us and you've seen what John's making and creating, and it's sparking those ideas in you. Thinking about maybe a Christmas present for somebody, making them a lovely bouquet of flowers, flowers that will remain with them. They don't need to water them or anything like that. Uh, it might be that you are making a wreath or a headband or a decoration for a box. It might be that you've got an area in your home that you want brightening up. Maybe somewhere on the table that you will make and create those flowers to make that centrepiece perfect time and time again. Well, you can do that with your Wild Stocks Last. 60 foam sheets, 96 stamens, and you've got your two die sets there. On FlexiBuy, just £22.43 today, then another payment in a month's time. It's interest-free payment. Um, there's no credit cards or anything like that to set up. And it's really easy to do so. If you head to the website, you just pop everything into your basket, and then you just select FlexiBuy, and that's it. And if you want to add anything else into your basket, then you can do, and the price of that will be divisible into two payments for you as well. So it might be an idea to think about the Daubers and definitely have a look at the Micro Magic. Oh my word, so impressed with that. So, so impressed with that. If you do have any questions about anything, please do email in. If you've got any photographs of maybe any faux flowers that you've made, I'm sure John would oh, love, love to, to see them, uh, that you've made with his dyes, his stamps, and some of the foam sheets, please do email them in. It's studio at hochanda.com. But very busy now for your wild stocks last over 80 percent of the stock 990947 back to john right so i've actually got a piece of card here that i've embossed so i'm just going to put something together okay but what i thought i'd do is i'll use the mica magic because right. again we've used it on the phone but i use this in everything to do with my yeah. crafting now so i'm just going to take some silver on my finger and this is embossed wow Look um, at this linen it. card but you, can you see how that... And you can't have an awful lot on the end of your finger, John. No, I really don't. Wow. But again, it will never dry. But show you that. Reflection. The light. Yeah, and so I'm going to take... I'm going to go with a little bit of grey and just... But can you imagine... So this is the greyer colour. How many um, pots of... Um, gilding gilding wax, wax yeah. you'd need to have... I'm just thinking, I'm ma I made some bird feeders out of um, old bottles that <laughs> I drank, um, <laughs> instead, of, <laughs> instead of throwing them away. I made some bird feeders, but I made them look all rusty and old and grungy. And I'm thinking something like this, over the top of maybe some paint. I think I, I, I put a piece of string round there and I painted over that so it looked like um, a sheet of metal. This would look really good. Really would like work. Like a grungy... So then I've, I've just sort of... It's difficult to see on the um, the overhead, so I'll try and show you there, but you can see it even picks up the linen cut look. Yeah, look at that. That's what I love, so delicate, because there's no wax or finish on that at yeah. all. And you don't, sometimes you know when you use gilding wax, well, when I use gilding wax, I might be using it in the wrong way, so apologies. Uh, sometimes I get that clumping. Yeah. So there's part of it that's gone on too thickly, and then it goes on too thinly, and it doesn't look quite right because I haven't applied the right pressure or something like that. It doesn't make a blind bit of difference no, with this. No, because of the fine powder. Now, if you do want to go for the basic brights and those metallics, then together, 
three quarters of the stock is gone, saving five pounds on that deal. Um, individually, they look lovely. Of course, you can wrap them up individually as well. And, um, well, the footprint isn't very big, is it? Uh, look at that. You can just simply place those together and pop those into your craft drawer. Imagine if you had all of those in gilding waxes. And gilding, I'm, I'm not knocking gilding waxes because they're fabulous. We do sell them here at Hochanda. But this is a great way to compact all of it those is. colours. Yeah. Definitely. One of the great things is, what I've got now is I've got that layer on, so normally you can't build more on. No. Because you've got a waxy finish yeah. and you haven't here. So I, the, the flower I'm doing is sort of blues and purple, so, oh, that's really standing off against it. Yeah. So I'm going to take some purple, same dauber. Yep. And when I use a dauber, I get a heavier coat. Okay. That's nice. So the dauber gives me a heavier coat. So I'm going to go now with some of the blue. Oh, that's nice. I like that, John. But put some blue. Oh, these mica magics are fantastic. Because that's dry, because it's not an ink. Would they work, John? If I if I make like a, a clay model, I'm working yeah. on one at the moment. Little doggy, little cockapoo with some fur. Um, if I make anything else, could I use these micro magics on the top of maybe if I painted them just to give them a bit of a sheen? Yep. Yeah, no reason why Ooh, not at all. Oh, that would be good. So again, I'm just going to, this time I've gone with almost peacock colours to match. You're not changing your dauber and you're changing your colours. No, I I'm changing that. my colours all the time. Yeah. And as long as I've got off the major part of it. You're not cross-contaminating. You can see there, that looks as if I've been really, really arty. <laughs> if I hold this one in. up, I genuinely haven't. Because you saw what I was doing, it. I was just scrubbing on with a dauber. But look at that. That's brilliant. Oh my word. I wonder, could you use these on fabric? Um, they won't be colour, they... They won't be machine washable on fabric. No. It needs a sort of, not a porous surface, almost like a, it needs a, a, a top surface. It's almost yeah, better like on the non. That's, that's fibrous. That's like, flat. Yeah, I mean, yeah. it will go on anything, but I've not tried it on fabric. But can you see now my flower yeah. actually starts to work? So what I'm going to do is put a little bit down of um, hot glue, take the leaves I've made and just randomly put those on. I keep to the rule of three. I'm terrible for it. I do think, you know, I like things to be in sort of a three. But you can see we've cut these. So I'm just going to take my scissors. That micro magic that looks great on the foam. It it's all ties together. It's the same colour. It just really works. 80% of that micro magic has gone. Eight, oh, there's some left. I'm going to whiz upstairs. 80% um, of the stock has gone. You can buy them individually, but the best deal is to get them together as a Christmas present, my word. Uh, maybe you could split them up and somebody gives the um, metallics and somebody gives the basic bright. So then it's like yeah, okay. two presents that you've got or treat yourself. Um, £24.98. I know you're going to enjoy using those when you get them home. And it might be an idea to go and have a look at the daubers. You might have some daubers already at home. But we do have a set of 40 for you uh, available if you want to get hold of them. Uh, back to that card that John has made with that beautiful background using the Micro Magics, using the foam sheets to build and create that gorgeous just flower and the leaves as well oh my word and it looks so realistic doesn't it It does and it's got a real look to it. yes okay it's gonna cost us in postage because it's not flat but what I love is look it's that is just as attractive that way there's no weight no no, no weight, weight. At all. it's just the size yeah but it's really you know to me it's that they what makes the difference is I go both paper flowers is they're so much more attractive from the side or behind yeah they are I love those so imagine using paper You've got to make sure your paper's the same colour each side. And, John, of course, if you're cutting out the paper, it might have a white core. Then you've got another issue to cope with. With this beautiful foam, the sheets that you're getting, it's uh, easy to manipulate. You don't need to heat it up or anything like that. Uh, oh, my goodness, we're approaching limited stock on the Wild Stocks last. We've got queues on the phones. Uh, we will get through your calls as quickly as possible. But the best way to order would be the website. Isn't this beautiful? They look like real poppies, but they're not. They're not. And the great thing is, these poppies will last. And I think they look absolutely gorgeous. And you can that see... The actual sample, I think, is at least 18 months old. Is it really? And it's just been thrown in a box in Sally the Sample Shed. Wow. That I have at home. Literally, is a tin shed full of samples <laughs> in plastic boxes. I and I pulled that. it out, and it's perfect as the day it yeah. was, because the foam... So I know that I, I pulled that flower, I pulled the petals on that yeah. flower, 
over 18 months ago. Wow. And yet it's still, they've not moved or changed. That's no. how good the foam is. And not wilted. And you've not had to water them. Um, look at this one in the blue. Now, that is gorgeous, isn't it? That's a lovely Christmas card. And the great thing is, because you're getting all the colours as well, if somebody has a certain theme for Christmas in their home, for yeah. example, you can make them a card that's their theme or their favourite colour. Uh, using the heart boxes and to decorate the heart boxes as well really does just add that luxurious feel to it. So I'm thinking now, John, I want to build and make flowers and I want to sell them. Can I do that if I'm using your dies and the foam sheets you can yep yeah. um, you can they are all it's a full standard angel policy on here yes so you've bought them do what the heck you like with them we obviously ask that you don't take a copy of the flower and scale it up and start selling your own flower in that shape yeah of course um, but you know, you, anything you make for yourself, for charity, for anything, yeah. for profit, whatever you want to do, do it. It's, it's yours. You've bought it. I love that. I love that. And I love it because we have so many flowers in our gardens now that we adore. We've had a lot of time this year. People that haven't really yeah. done any kind of gardening have gardened this year and really getting into flowers. So now you're bringing those flowers inside bespoke to you. Now that one, the background on that is Micah Magic. Oh, wow. On top of an embossing folder. Oh, I thought that was a printed card. No, Can you that see that? It looks shiny. White embossing, embossed card. Yeah. And then I've just coloured it with the Mica Magic. That's gorgeous, John. That is. Can you see that? That lovely pearl. Because look. your Mica Magic, we call it magic. Some of them have a Mica shine in them. Yeah. And so so that's what makes a difference. Now, there you go. Now I want another piece of embossed card so I can show you how that works. And have I you got one? I haven't. Of course I haven't. Oh. Despite all of this. Can and you I make haven't one? brought an embossing folder with me either, so. I bet we can't make one for no, you. No, I can't. Um, maybe Molly could see if there's any embossed card knocking around in our little demo box backstage. An embossing folder or some embossed card. Our oh, Molly will get onto that for you, John. Uh, in the meantime, busy, busy, busy for the Wild Stocks Last, 990-947. And you can divide the cost of this into two payments, uh, £44.86. But we can divide that cost into two for you. And there's no delay on the dispatch either. I don't think there is, is there? No. Not on the Wild Stocks Last? So there you go. Uh, right, now, uh, all the flower bundle. Oh, it's gorgeous that hydrangea absolutely love that uh, mrs. duck that was amazing and you'll be able to build and create those beautiful flowers your camellia your orchid and orchids are expensive uh, and your hydrangea three stamps and three dies they work perfectly together and there's a cheeky freedom price on there saving 17 pounds and 69 pence can we divide the cost of that into two of course we can. Freedom members, just £21.13. 460134. Now, you saw the heart box with the flowers on. If you fancy making some more, then here you go, 34 97 But you've got a great saving on that of £17. You get 12 dies in total. Now, you've got the die that makes the, the depth of the box. And what you can do with that, you can extend that and you can make any shape. So if you've got some other nesting dies, you could make some different shaped lids. You've got the hearts there to make the heart-shaped box, but you've also got some fantastic hearts to go on top to create those decorative lids, but also to build and create some gorgeous cards as well. Only £34.97. I say only because you're getting a lot for your money there, and you've got a lot of versatility as well. Now your Mica Magic. Oh, we're approaching limited, you cheeky minxes. You're getting in there before me. Uh, £24.98, saving £5. Oh, mm, 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 mm. that's me being Mardi because I can't run upstairs. Uh, 430414 is your item number. It's a great bundle. Uh, metallics and basic brights. Oh, my word. Lucky, lucky. Uh, right. Oh, don't tell me I've got some news on the Wild Stocks Last. I've got some news for you guys. It's limited stock. Right, we have got 40 minutes left of this live hour. Of course, you can continue to buy after the hour. I don't think we'll have any left. But you can continue to buy after the hour. It's a Wild Stocks Last, but that means green on the screen, limited stock. Right, John, what we're going to have a look at? Well, I've actually found a piece I've got embossed. You. In my little kit of emergency bits. Oh, well done, but Not thank you, Molly. Not the best embossing for it. Thank you for trying, Molly. So I'm going to go, again, I'm using the same door because I might as well, into the lilac. Okay. But what I'm going to do is, this is a raised one, but can you see what happens when do I... you know what, John? I like that effect that over. you're doing there. Okay. 
I like that. Look at that. So when I press on really hard, yeah. I get that white line around the edge. Oh, yes. So if it's a full embossing folder, I go just on the embossing. But I actually really love it when this happens. I'm going to go light pink next. Oh, John, do you know something? The effect that you're creating behind that thank you, it looks like you've built and created a background and then you've embossed it, but you've not. No, it's exactly what you've done. So it's just literally, there we go, shall we get some yellow? Same dauber. Yep. Green. And then with the grey. And then we'll go oh, with... Oh, is that green? That was green. And you're not changing, you're not changing daubers, you're just no, using the same, same dauber. Look at that. More of the peacock green. Should we go to some blue because that works with it and we'll go finish off again with some purple there we go that is fabulous look at that so will so that yellow. work well you know if you emboss any design john and yeah. you're going over it you're going over it and it's a little bit harder will you create that white line all the time on your emboss what you've got techniques? is your dauber yeah if it's a fa if it, you've got a we've got a raised pattern here yeah yeah and we've got nothing else so it's skipping over and the dauber cannot get into that gap you, there. Yes, yeah. So that's why we're getting the white line around it. Oh, you could if do I some wanted to sort of effects. highlight that, I would probably use my finger yep. and start to just go actually around just... That's... Do you know something, John? If, if, if maybe you're at home, you're thinking, I love to do those messy backgrounds. I love to do my colour blending. I've seen the lovely Lou Withers do it. I've seen Catherine do it. I've seen Paula do it. But I'm a little bit nervous. I'm not quite sure how to do it. That has been done in a matter of moments. And it's taken no time. And again, it doesn't matter that I've made a mess on here. Yeah. It really doesn't. So if you show you that now up, you can see, or I'll show it that way. Can you see? The sheen. I love that, yeah. And this is flat card. Wow! Yeah. So completely flat card. If I get it in the right way. There we go. John, that is brilliant. I love that. And whilst we're there, John said it doesn't matter about the mess on his mat. We have these mats available for you as well. And John's been using this all the way through the One Day Special and the Well Stocks last. Uh, and, and far beyond that, because he's had this mat for quite some time. And it's really easy to clean because it's made of silicon. It's non-slip. You can use your hot glue guns on here. You can do your different uh, resin effects, your paint effects. And it's just going to work perfectly each and every time. We'll get some more wall. Wa I think I actually know what. What I normally use is, yep. you, I need to use something like an antibacterial spray. Oh, an antibacterial spray, yes. Um, and there's I some on the shelf. I've got some here, John. bring one with me. Right, I shall now sanitise my hands. So I'll sanitise my hands, and that means I can actually touch this and place that, cool. and then you can go in and grab Thank you. that. There well, you normally go. I'd use anti back spray, but this will work, should work just as well. So basically, water will take the majority off. To you at home, this is looking like it's completely covered. It's, com it's almost completely clean. To me, I'm seeing the colour a lot better. So I'm just going to nick some of this one. Okay. And I, I'll re hide that so no one can see the brand name. Of course, thank you. But then, watch. Ooh, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. This is just a, literally a cloth. And it will just come completely clean. But that's had all that mica magic on I'll it. I'll tell you what I could use on there. I've got a 3D pen. Yeah. And uh, I'd yes, be able to use could. that. Yeah, I'd be able to use that on there. And oh, Catherine would be able to use that. The with thing the 3D is, as pen. well, if you kept it separately, yep. you can cook with it. What? So if you want to you know, sort of roll what, things like out on make it, make an omelet. No, but you can use. You know, if you want to roll out like your fondant and things like uh... that, have a separate one and keep it just for food because it's dishwasher safe and it's silicon. It's the same as having a silicon mould. So like decorate cakes, roll out some cookies. Yeah. Things like that. Ooh, talking of cakes and cookies. Don't we've got put them in the oven on it. But you, then, up next. you know, it, it's, it's, it's a safe space, but yeah. again, keep it. You need a separate one for food, never mix food yes, and craft ones. Yes, don't cross contaminate. That yeah. is it. What a great idea. What a fabulous idea. That really, really is. If you do want to get hold of that, details on your screen £19.99. Uh, there it is. Uh, it's a wrappable gift as well. Well, all gifts are wrappable.
by that I mean it's easy to wrap not like a bottle that's not very easy to wrap so I just drink it and don't give it um, <laughs> Maybe that's just me. Uh, right, your Micro Magic, very, very busy. Um, what's the stock update on this? I wonder if there's going to be any left. I bet there won't be. I bet there won't be by the end of the show. Um, you can buy them separately, but the best way to get them, you've got your basic brights and your metallics. It's to get them both together. Uh, you're saving five pounds. Uh, 430414, we're limited stock. That was a huge stock. Yeah, we did put a large stock on because I don't, I hate people to miss out because mm. that's what I always do at home constantly. Yeah. I had to run up, I had to run upstairs earlier and then I couldn't go up there because the thing is I've had to do, I had to order on the app from one of the things on Loose Show. Did you get what you want? Yes. Good. Good. Well, if you want to get what you want, you best get onto the phones or head to the website, 430414. Lots of fours in there. Um, and pop those into your basket. They do fall flat. They are separate, just to show you. Um, so they'll make great Christmas gifts and they have a very, very small footprint on your craft workspace so very very easy to use love that uh, right John we've got a minute and a half left the while stocks last is limited stock you are getting your foam sheets lovely colors in here John you have you've got what I as I said before you've got colors you can take somewhere yeah so you've got the beautiful warms you've got that bright lime green the sort of chartreuse you've got the lemon you've got the lime You've got that clotted cream, I think that colour is. Then you've got the brown, the cyclamen, the peach. Again, there's another yellow. There's a cream colour in there. Soft pink, brighter pink, lilac. You know, again, something more along the cyclamen. But they're all different. Mm. But you've got, effectively, the choice... I think there's 25 different colours in the bundle. Wow. So there's 25 different colours in the yep. bundle. Two of each and yep. four of each of the Christmas ones yeah. to make it up to the six. And that's perfect. And those yeah. colours, Christmas colours, they're the greens and the reds. That's the greens and the reds. And you can use those beyond well, Christmas, I've, really. Well, I've used the red constantly and I've yeah. not made a single Christmas thing yet, yeah. apart from the, <laughs> the heart box, which even then wouldn't be Christmassy. But this is one we made earlier at 12 o'clock using the red. And again, you wouldn't think... That's not Christmassy, but again, that's using the red, and I think red is something we use an awful lot. That's Valentine's. Oh, that's lovely. And of course, you can make your, um, what's the Christmas plant leaf called? Poinsettias. Can you do your poinsettias yeah. as, as well? Well, I made a little flower there. It's my little badge, so I'm really proud of that. Uh, thank you, John. Thank you so much. When are we going to see you again? Uh, Boxing Day. Boxing Day. Have a lovely day. Christmas, everyone. Oh, well, we'll see John on <laughs> Boxing Day. Uh, do check out your baskets. Make sure you get what you want. Thanks, John. Stay where you are, though. We've got a great show coming up after the break. Yes, we've got the Couture Cake Company coming up next. I think we'll all be hanging around for that one. Uh, Studio Light Essentials Journals is coming up at 6 o'clock, your brand new one-day special. And then we've got Introducing Fort and Scrap. Hi there, my name's Leona. I'm a presenter, a guest and a crafter here at Achanda. I got into crafting years ago, ever since I've been crafting since I was a child and I absolutely love it. I love my job, I love the presenting side because I get to meet loads of really inspirational people and that's just the beauty of this, there's always something new to learn, there's always something that you want to get into, it's fabulous. My Let Leone Loose show on Achanda is also fantastic. It's my weekly highlight. I get to work with loads of really cool brands, loads of fantastic products, and again, I'm always learning. And I do get loads of wonderful viewers getting in touch as well, which is obviously a highlight of our job. I hope you can join me on my Let Leone Loose shows every Wednesday, 11 a.m. and 2 p.m. Hi everyone, I'm Phil Martin. I've been a paper crafter for well over 20 years now and a designer for just over 10 years. Sentimentally Yours is my multi-award winning brand of clear stamps, rubber stamps. I've now also introduced lots of craft dyes in there, designer papers. I have my mediums where we've introduced the Flawless Media brand into the Sentimentally Yours family. So on our Hope Chanda shows, we aim to inspire you, to be educational, and to teach you how to get the most from the products that we're bringing to you. The Sentimentally Yours family has grown uh, to include my good friend Julia Watts and our new designer Trudy Howard. Hopefully we're all going to bring something different to the show, so you're going to be enriched with lots of different ideas and inspiration. 
Be sure to join us for our Sentimentally Your shows on Hove Chandler. Hi, I'm Lou from Studio Light. Studio Light has been around for about 40 years now. They're based in the Netherlands. It's a family-run business with a great heritage. Over the 40 years, Studio Light have evolved. They listen to me, the demonstrator, and you, the customers, and really take our ideas on board. So make sure you don't miss the Studio Light shows on Achanda. Hello, my name's Stuart and I'm the Managing Director of Oakwood Archer. Oakwood Archer is a family-run business and my son and my daughter work very hard with me to bring the best craft items to you in the UK. We specialise in high quality items brought into the UK from all over the world, including brands like Kaiser Craft, Stampendous and Impression Obsession. Working with Achanda is fantastic for us. It gives us the opportunity to bring all of these brands and all of these products from all over the world direct to you, the crafter in the UK. Our products include stamps, dyes, papers, buttons, trimmings, ribbons and album making kits. Just about everything you need to be a good crafter. So please, don't miss Oakwood Archer Shows on Achanda. Hi, I'm Julie and I'm Paula and together we are Julie Hickey Designs. We formed our partnership after many years of friendship after both of us being in the craft industry for well over 20 years. We have a great partnership. I do all the day-to-day -day business side and Julie does all the designing. Our range of stamps and dies are made to the highest quality. Our stamps are the deepest etch that are available and they are made in the UK and they give you beautiful, clean, crisp impressions every time and our dies cut like a dream. The thing I love to do most is to share my ideas, hints and tips with you, the Hachanda viewers, so I can inspire you to pick up a stamp and get creating. So be sure to tune in for the Judy Hickey Design Shows on Hachanda. Hello everyone. Yes, it's five o'clock and we've got a new supplier in. This is the second new supplier for me today and I'm going to introduce our guests very soon. It's the Couture Cake Company. I've got to tell you, the studio smells divine as well. Let me introduce you to Victoria. Her first outing here at Achandra, of course. Victoria, it's lovely to have you on board. Thank you for How are me. you? I'm good, thank you. How are you? Oh, I've got to say, our set looks fabulous. I love everything I'm seeing here. We've got all sorts of wonderful kits these make great gifts as well we've got lots in the way of cookies and cupcakes shortbread which is my personal favorite <laughs> I've got to say but can you tell us where it all began for you I uh, started the company in 2011 um, starting making wedding cakes and birthday cakes for friends and family and um, at that point I decided to take the business sort of and do that full-time and then oh. it's gone from sort of strength strength to strength Oh, amazing. So we're seeing lots of lovely goodies here today. I've mentioned cupcakes, I've mentioned um, shortbread, and also we've got brownie kits as well. Are there other things you do as well? Also sell things like um, letterbox brownies, um, which are kind of really popular at the moment with everybody being at home. Um, and sort of stuffed cookies and obviously the baking kits are very popular as well. Amazing. So you started the business back in 2011, but how long have you been baking? Did you bake as a small child? Um, I used to bake with my mother at home. So it always used to be orange cake or um, upside down pineapple cake. Ooh. That was a, a good favourite in our household. Um, so yeah, so it started there really and baking the uh, yearly Christmas cake, stirring the fruit. Oh, amazing. Do you know, that's a fun memory for me, my mum making the Christmas cake well in advance, so it really got time for those uh, beautiful, beautiful alcoholic elements to uh, <laughs> really work their magic. Uh, now, let's have a look what we've got, though, because, of course, it is all about baking. And, do you know, sometimes, and I hear this myself, you know, you, you, we love our home-baked goodies, don't we? We love our cookies, our cupcakes, but sometimes I hear people say, 
Oh, do you know, I want to bake, but I'm worried I'll get the ingredients wrong. I'll, I'm worried I'll get the weights wrong. I don't know where to start. I just think I'll make a mess of it. Well, we can take the fear out of it because these kits are going to contain everything pre-measured for you as well. You've got cookie cutters in this one that we're looking at right here you can see the stars and these are quality cutters as well and they're very very important when you come to professional looking biscuits and cookies and cupcakes you want those professional items now Victoria I'm right there aren't I I'm saying that everything's pre-measured so you don't have to worry about that we want to learn how to bake yeah and take the fear out of it and this does the job the only thing people are going to need in any of the kits is either eggs and butter or purely butter so it's things that you're always going to have in your in your cupboards yeah. at home so you haven't got to scramble to the supermarket to get sort of 20 ingredients to make them and yeah everything's pre-measured for everybody amazing and some people do have intolerances so maybe you know if it's a dairy product yeah. that they're intolerant to then of course they can tailor make these they can, yes. to suit themselves yeah. because those things that we've got in our cupboards at home are going to be bought specifically yeah. to suit their yeah. needs love it now what I also love about these is the fact they make the most amazing gifts as well I mean if you want to bake them yourself and then gift them that's one thing but if you want to gift the whole kit you can do that as well I've got to say I adore the packaging it looks very very smart extremely professional do you know if I received this as a gift Victoria I would be absolutely absolutely delighted but they do make really, really nice gifts and from young children to sort of t to any age really because everybody yeah. likes baking and it's good to do it you know with, with children or sort of older children sort of learning to sort of venture out a little bit more on their own with the baking or sort of uh, sort of getting sort of older ages that just you know fancy a little bit of baking but they don't want to go and buy big packets of every single ingredient just yeah. to make you know a, biscuits for sort of one occasion wonderful now I mean, I'm just going to give one little warning to everybody because these are created the kits are created in an area where there are nuts around so if anybody's got a nut allergy then maybe this is one to avoid for you but other than that these are just fantastic 14 pounds and 99 pence for the first kit this is our shortbread baking kit shortbread is my all-time favorite biscuit I've got to say so this one's for me four seven eight one one five is the item number that does include as I say that beautiful packaging everything all boxed together for you with those pre-measured ingredients and you've got those wonderful cookie cutters as well now you've even got the sprinkles in here as well and it's not a shortbread not a real shortbread without those sprinkles is it four seven eight one one five is the item number now another biscuit that I actually absolutely love is gingerbread now we've got really lovely ingredients again here of course everything you need pre-measured again and of course you need that cutter the all-important cutter you've got your syrup in here everything again perfectly boxed for you 14.99.151.268 is the item number on this one I've got to say Victoria what is your favorite biscuit probably something like a gingerbread something with spice in or you know mixed spice something that's not too sweet I find yes and of course when we think of gingerbread at this time of year we are thinking Christmas aren't it we as well like Christmas. oh it certainly does so if you want to go for the gingerbread details on the screen there for you but we've still got lots to look at let's move down I'm being joined by some little cute friends actually on this set look how we've got here the decoration for your cupcakes these are your Christmas cupcakes oh oh I like the uh, sprinkles in this one as well there's a little bit of gold going on in this one and you've got your vanilla essence in there of course you've got your main ingredients as well you've got the cupcake holders and you get the wooden spoon as well 13 pounds and 99 pence one two three one five nine is the item number now can I just ask Victoria the little gingerbread man what are they made from uh, they're made from icing oh so they're just little fondant gingerbread yeah, little men. fondant gingerbread men you just pick them off and eat them before you eat the cupcake oh <laughs> oh it's a little bit like that famous sweet isn't it which bit do you eat first <laughs> do you go for the head do you go for a leg or do you go for an arm well you can choose 13 pounds and 99 pence for this kit one two three one five nine oh Kim's in the garage she said she goes for the legs first oh I've got to go for the head I'm sorry Victoria what do you do head every time oh see <laughs> the head oh you wouldn't really want to eat them though they're all smiley and happy look 
Oh, what a lovely kit. Oh, absolutely fantastic. Right, okay, so let's have a look at the next one. Again, wooden spoon in this one for you as well. This is what I'm saying to you, see, you've got a whole kit here. So you just open the box, you might need eggs, you might need your butter, you've got those in your fridge already, you can buy to suit yourself, but everything else is already pre-prepared. If you've been watching a famous baking show, perhaps, and you're inspired by that, and you think, you know, I want to start baking, but I've not even got any scales. Well, you certainly don't need them, do you? $13.99 is going to get you the cupcake baking kit, and you can see you've even got the cupcake wrappers in this one as well, those sprinkles with the stars and the strands in there. You know, the finest quality ingredients as well. 323956 is the item number. Do you know, the more I look at this packaging, Victoria, the more I love it. Absolutely love it. It just looks so, so smart. Thank you. It really does. There we are. Right, the cupcake kit proving popular. Now, moving on. I've got to say, it's not my favourite cake, this one, but I know it is that of many, many people, the brownie. I'm expecting this to be a busy one. $13.99 will get you the brownie baking kit, 934561. I do like brownies, but I just, I've just done a shortbread person. That's my favourite by far. But this, again, Victoria, a beautiful kit, and I know brownies are a particular favourite of many, many people. They're very popular. I mean, the kit as well makes, will make you 16 brownies and sort of, sort of two inch by two inch square so you get quite a lot of brownie out of the mix which is good you certainly do and we will have a look at the plates in front of you a little bit later and everybody in the studio it's like oh please can we eat those cakes no we can't we're not allowed oh never mind but you can eat yours when you make them of course 13 pounds and 99 pence is going to get you the brownie kit nine three four five six one and then we've got our cookies as well these are to die for Oh, have you seen the picture on our Chanda Facebook page? They look like they've got a really lovely, chewy, gooey centre, mm. do they? They do, yeah. It's a nice sort of hazelnut chocolatey filling <gasps> and peanut butter as well. Is it? Yeah, which is delicious. Oh, I didn't even realise that. Wow. So, does that come in the kit? Have we got those flavours no, in there? that one is just the cookies, but I'll be demonstrating the sort of the different So sort you of can still add, still add, if you yes, so wish, yeah. other ingredients yeah. from your home cupboard as well. Yeah. Brilliant. So you can ta really tailor make these to your own taste as well. But if you don't want to add anything else, of course, everything you need is in the box there for you. $13.99 once again is going to get you uh, this particular kit. And it is the cookie kit, as I just said there. 714086 is the item number. Oh, 10% of the stock has gone for those cookies. Oh, 20% gone on the brownies. Oh, we are busy as well. Look at those cupcakes as well. I've got to say, the topping on those cupcakes looks absolutely divine. And look at the little gingerbread men just sat in there. They look so happy <laughs> to be happy, on, sat on top of those cupcakes. And why wouldn't they? Do you know, you can see the quality of these kits, Victoria. You can see how beautifully packaged they are. Seriously, if anybody wanted to buy me one of these for Christmas, I'd be very, very happy. <laughs> I really would. Do you know, it's a long time since I've done any baking, so I would genuinely appreciate a kit like this. I think that's the thing with a lot of people. They don't have time to, to think about the recipe they're going to do or to go and buy all the ingredients. Or it, I think a lot of the time it's the fact that like, you have the thought you want to bake, but yeah. then it's just getting everything together, everything ready, and then starting, whereas if it's all there for for you then it then it's easy it certainly is and you're going to show us how easy it is as well Victoria, yep. aren't you? you're going to be demonstrating right now for us so don't forget to be checking those baskets out don't miss out on these treats whether it is a treat for you or you are gifting then certainly we've got something for everyone I believe so Victoria we're going to hand it to you yep so what I'm going to make is um, cookies from our kit um, the ingredients you get in the kit um, is sugar flour um, chocolate chips and some vanilla essence so all you need to do is quite I'm going to make it with a bowl because a lot of people at home don't have a mixer. If you have a mixer, then obviously use that as well. Um, with that, you can kind of just bung it all in together with the mixer. So pop your sugar in and your butter as well. Just make sure the butter is softened, especially if you're doing it by hand. Okay. Now, I've got, I am admiring your baking equipment there, Victoria. You. Uh, your bowl and your whole equipment, it's a lovely sight. Does it matter what sort of bowl we mix in? Is it better to mix in a plastic bowl, a metal bowl, Not at a all. ceramic can, bowl? Anything you can get your hands on is okay, absolutely lovely. fine. Okay, so just mix the um, butter and the sugar together. If the butter's too hard, you can just simply kind of press it together. It doesn't really matter. It, was, it all sort of binds together in the end. Lovely. So, if I remember rightly to my baking days, is this creaming the butter is, and sugar yeah, together? Yeah, creaming the butter and the sugar. 
But because you haven't got to be too gentle with it, it doesn't really matter. Yeah. You know, you can be quite sort of harsh with it as well. Oh, do you know, I'm hearing all sorts down my earpiece, Victoria. <laughs> Kim, uh, can I say this, Kim? Do you mind if I just repeat what I've just heard? Kim's just saying she's never baked in her life. But Give she really it. loved it. This is a great way to start. Do you know, when we can, and I, I, you know, I really hope it's soon, when we can get together, and we should have baking classes here at Agenda for those that, you know, are a little bit out of practice or who haven't baked before, because it is great fun. Oh. So once oh, you've um, creamed the butter and the sugar together as sort of best you can, then pop yep. in one egg. Okay. So straight into the bowl with the egg. Straight into the bowl, yeah. And then start mixing all that together. Okay. So I like the fact that you are just doing that into a bowl with your spoon because, you know, some of us do have equipment that's great, but not everybody does. And if you've not baked before, we don't want to have to go out and buy lots of expensive equipment, no. do we? A lot of the time, I think people buy equipment, then it ends up in the like, procrastination cupboard. Yeah. And it never gets used. Yes. <laughs> oh, and do get your children involved as well. I love to think about children baking. I used to bake with my children when they were younger, and they loved it, you know, whether it is cookies, whether it is gingerbread, whether it's cakes, whether it's just applying the icing or the sprinkles on top. And, of course, we've got all those ingredients in the appropriate kits here as well. We are very busy. We've got queues on the phone lines at the moment. Please use the website, please use the app if you possibly can, but we will get to you. Particularly busy is the brownie kit. I knew it would be, and that's why I didn't mind saying it isn't my personal favourite because I know it is that of many, many people. A third of the stock has already gone on the brownie. I've still got my eye on the shortbread. That is my all-time favourite. The fact that you can tailor make these to yourself as well, if you want to add something like with the cookies, uh, a hazelnut sort of spread in there or a peanut butter as well, you really, really can can tailor make these. I love Victoria the idea of buying one of these kits and baking these up. Everything's measured for you and then making some really pretty packaging and just one cookie, one cupcake mm -hmm. in beautiful packaging just says it all doesn't yeah, it? it That's gift. all you need as a gift. You only need one. If it's made yeah. right and you you know you produce it in a beautiful package it means more I believe than giving a whole plate, just just handing a plate it over. It does, it does, definitely. I think yeah. it does. So next we add in a bit of vanilla, which comes in the kit as well. So add that in, everything that comes in your tube. And mix that in as well. Lovely. And then pop in your flour. Now, I'm a really messy baker, so I apologise for any flour comes in your direction over there. <laughs> oh, well, you're doing very, very well so far. And I've got to say, Victoria, you seem very, very confident. This, this is the first time you've been here with us at yeah, Achanda, yeah. and it's lovely to have shows like this. Now, we're just bringing up the details for the cookie baking kit. A third of the kit has gone now, or a third of the stuff, I should say. £13.99, 714086. Now, just a little question about the flour, Victoria, yeah. if I may. Um, because I was always taught to sift flour. Looking at the packaging here, you can see the quality of the ingredients, but that didn't look as though it needed sifting. You went straight no, in. Not Is that all pre-done for us as well? Because the cookies are quite sort of a dense and, and heavy thing, it doesn't really need sifting. Okay. I think it's only when you have sort of more kind of delicate cakes that you need to sift the flour. But flour these days is sort of milled a lot finer than it used to be. Yeah. So you don't often have to sieve it as much as you used to. Oh, I'm loving this show already. <laughs> So next, before it all binds together, you want to pop in your chocolate chips. You've got quite a few in here. Oh, you do get a generous amount of chips, don't you? You can never have enough of those. So just stir those in as well. Now, I, mean, I presume as well, Victoria, when it comes to the chips that you put into your baking, yeah. you, they are a particular sort of... They're made in a particular way so that they don't just melt into nothing no. in the cookies. And they're very, uh, there's a very high cocoa content as well, um, yeah. which gives it a, some, a nice richness to them too. We can see by the samples that are by Victoria, actually, when you bake these, that the chips do remain with their shape, and that's important when you've got a really good cookie. I know in the past when I've baked, you know, with, with children and things like that before, we've put little bits of chocolate in or chips that we've bought, and they just do melt away into yeah. nothing, and you lose the effect, and you lose the flavour. But we can see from the samples there, Victoria, how beautiful they look. So next what I want you to do, you can just scrape off your spoon, just any excess. 
and this is where you can get your hands in and I think all baking at home it's great to get your hands in there and like you used to do when you were a child as well. Yes. Let's pop some gloves on. Do you, I can't tell you how excited the guys are in the gallery <laughs> over what they're seeing here. They all want to come in and make cookies now. <laughs> so next all I'm doing is kneading all this together with my hand. Um, just binding it all together. And because after a while it gets quite quite tough to stir. Yeah. Um, but it comes together very, very quickly. You can see there's a really generous amount of mix there. Well, this makes um, 12 cookies, and it's tw um, 12 quite large cookies as well, which is great. Amazing. Well, you see, that, yes, large cookies as well. You only need half a cookie the size of these as well. When we think about, in fact, uh, the other night, Janice did a, a coffee show, and we were talking about the cost of calling off, you know, to pick up a coffee from these well-known places. I mean, it's quality coffee, but the amount you pay. And what do you usually pick up with one of those coffees? You pick up a biscuit, don't you? And you can pay quite a large amount for one of those biscuits as well. So when you've hand-created something yourself, when you can then, you know, gift it or uh, produce it to family, you know, in a very well-presented way, and everything's spot on because you haven't had to weigh those ingredients out. Everything's done for you. You don't have to worry about that. You know you're going to get the perfect results as long as, of course, you set the oven correctly. I can't guarantee you're going to make mistakes there, so do watch out for that. But how wonderful to create something so nice and tell everybody, I made this. So, um, so next we need to break it into 12 pieces. I often use an ice cream scoop for this, a large ice cream scoop, and it gives you almost a perfect size cookie, which is, which oh, is that's brilliant. that's a good idea. And same for the cupcakes as well, it gives you the perfect size cupcake. So all I do with this with my hands is just break it in half, and then just half again on each piece, and then each quarter into three. It doesn't have to be exact, which is brilliant. And then you have 12 pieces. The great things about these two is once you've got them sort of into these cookie dough balls, yeah. um, you can freeze these, which is brilliant. Oh, can you? Yep, yeah, you can pop them in the freezer. I, uh, you can just sort of ball up all of them, pop them in the same bag, yeah. and um, yeah, freeze them, and then on, when you want to use them, just get them out to defrost for a couple of hours and then pop them in the oven and you've got Oh, I'm cookie. really pleased about that idea, especially because we know some of the restrictions look like they've been lifted for Christmas. So if you have got family and friends around, you could pre-prepare these, have them in the freezer so you've got time to spend with your family and friends, yeah. and then you just get, get them out of the freezer, pop them in the oven. All the work has been done beforehand, and then you've got lovely, warm, beautiful cookies in a very short space yeah. of time. It's, it's perfect, really, and they're free. They freeze ever so well, really, and it is really handy just in case you haven't got the, the grandkids coming round yes. and you've got nothing for them. But so you can just um, get out a couple of these out the freezer, pop them in the oven, and then you've got a lovely fresh cookie. Oh, the other thing I like about these as well, Victoria, I've got to say, because we've got crafters on board for this here at Achanda who are multi-crafters. Many of our viewers and our customers, of course, do do all sorts of crafting. And I think because of the type of packaging we've got here, you could easily stamp some images on the box, yeah. you could wrap them with ribbon, you could really go to town yeah. and decorate these up if you wanted to gift those as well. Yeah, you definitely could. Um, that's something that they are perfect as gifts as well. And even um, as things, so, you know, a lot of people do the um, Christmas Eve boxes. Yes, They're perfect for those because you're always looking for something for your kids to do on Christmas Eve and. Father Christmas, he would yes. be chuffed if he came down the chimney to a freshly baked cookie. Wouldn't he just? Yes. <laughs> oh yes, he would. Um, so as as they are. They're kind of ready to be baked so you can just pop um six on a tray i tend to leave them so there's a little gap um between each of them as they do spread a little bit but you don't need to push them down on the tray you okay. can simply leave them as a ball as well and yeah. only spread kind of slightly the great thing is with these as well is you can stuff them as we we're saying before um, if you want to use any kind of like nutty spread or you can get white chocolate spread or peanut butter um, all you need to do with that is freeze it first. So I tend to freeze it in ice cube trays. Oh. Um, and then so it's hard. And so it hardens sort of like a ball or like the ice cube tray shape. And then you just, let's just stuff it inside the cookie. That'll stop it from, obviously you can't wrap around. Do you know, I would stuff. never have thought to do that. That is such a good tip. Which is the same as sort of when you're baking um, 
things like that in cakes, always freeze them first because then they will sort of remain in their shape rather than just kind of yeah. um, oozing into the cake instead. So what I've got is I've got a few different um, ingredients to pop inside them. So all you need to do is flatten up the cookie a little bit from the ball shape we made. Um, after Christmas especially, you often have lots of chocolates left over. Um, some people do. And all you need to do is get one of these chocolates, pop it inside the cookie, and then just sort of encase the cookie dough around the chocolate and then pop that it on is the another tray. good idea isn't it it's there, there are so many sort of um, different things you can do with them I've got some um, cashew nuts here as well so you can pop a few cashew nuts in oh, there that's another favorite for me cashew nuts I love them my daughter as well oh, I love them Have to wrangle the packet off her so you can just mix you can literally just mix those in there they it's quite a sturdy cookie how old is your daughter then? She's just turned two. Oh. Just turned two. Oh, she must love watching you. I'm, I'm sure she does help she with does. the wooden spoon and yeah, has, a, has a taste at the end of it. Oh. <laughs> she has a lot of fun. Oh. Do you and think she'll follow your footsteps then? She might. I think she is going to be quite creative. Well, so far she seems to be quite creative and sort of likes trying different things and stuff, which is great. And Who oh, knows? We may see Victoria's daughter here on the channel <laughs> one day. What's her name? Isabel. Ah, oh, is she watching? I think she is. Well, unless she's uh, turned it over to something else. <laughs> I'm sure she will. Isabel, if you're watching, your mummy is a very clever lady. <laughs> she certainly is, and we're so pleased to have her here. And hopefully we might see you one day as well. Oh. Um, so another flavour we can do, we've got here um, some raisins, which we can pop in, and also some mixed spice. Oh, nice. And some grated orange zest as well yeah so this one smells really really Christmassy and again you can just mix it in with your hands right into the into the cookie dough but with these if you have a favorite flavor you could do the whole batch as your favorite flavor yes. or you could just do or if you have a large family and everybody likes different flavors you could just give them a cookie cookie ball each and say here you go you could you can fill your own cookie and you can have your own sort of bespoke cookie well that works particularly well with those chocolates doesn't it because yeah. they can choose their own favorite yeah, because everyone's chocolate got favorite you know whether chocolate. it's a caramel yeah. or a fudgy one or something like that I do love that idea I never even thought of putting chocolates inside cookies it's nice just a little bit extra. We've got some white chocolate here. Nice. And again, you can just pop that inside. And you can see how generous the size of the the, the ball dough, the dough balls are, yeah. the cookie balls there. You can see them, and they will spread a little bit. You said, didn't you? Yeah. And so that's another chocolate I've just popped in that one there. And then I've also got some caramel here as well. And these are soft caramels for the last one. So that was quite easy, six different flavours there, just right. mainly oh. from leftovers. Is that your last one there, Victoria? Yeah, this is the last one. Okay. This is the yep. last one with caramel in. So we can see, yes, very generous size cookies going onto those trays there. Is there a, a special tray that you need? You know, would you recommend a certain type of tray? Would it be a non-stick tray, a metal one, um, some sort of silicon coated tray? It depends on what you've got. I just use whatever you've got, really. Um, okay. I mean, even sort of a, an oven dish is absolutely fine. If it sticks, pop a little bit, bit of baking paper down. But generally, you can use anything. Before now, I've used the grill pan because I needed an extra tray, and oh. I've just sort of. Um, coated it with some baking paper so pretty much anything anything yeah. in your kitchen you can use as a baking tray. Amazing. So, so you haven't got to go out and buy any sort of special equipment at all. Amazing. Oh well we'll be back with Victoria in a little while. I don't know if we're going to cook these cookies. I hope we are because the smell is divine already in the studio. We'll have a little bit of a recap as well and we'll go through each of these kits and show you exactly what you're getting. So let's start right at the beginning again. So the cookie baking kit is what we've just seen in demonstration. But first of all here, we do have the Christmas shortbread baking kit. Shortbread certainly just isn't for Christmas, but this one you've got your star cutters in here included as well. Now do have a look at the packaging again. I think it just works so, so beautifully. You can see how we, each of these is sealed as well. Everything is pre-weighed for you. You do not need scales. You don't have to worry about that. The fear of baking is taken out of it. We want you to enjoy the process of baking and not have to worry about getting the ingredients wrong or getting the weights wrong and then the results not being you know acceptable at the end of it you are of course getting your recipe booklet there as well or your little strip there with your recipe on your ingredients are all included you can see here we've got everything we need apart from whether it's the butter or the eggs or if you do want to adapt these as well you certainly can as we've seen with the cookies we'll mention that as we go down but with the shortbread 
the only thing I can really think of here that I might do with the shortbread, because you've got the sprinkles in there, is maybe some sort of uh, chocolate or topping on there, or maybe a caramel that you wanted to make if, if you wanted to do that. They're absolutely beautiful as they are. £14.99, item number 478115. And I've got to say as well, there is a difference between the quality of the cutters that you can purchase. These are really, really good quality cutters. I can tell that the way they're made. You can see that how precisely they're going to cut as well you've got the larger one and the smaller one all included in that kit really lovely kit now a third of the stock has gone this is the only hour i believe as well for uh, couture cake company today as well we do want to see victoria back because i know i did ask her at the beginning of the show we want to see what else she brings to us as well maybe candy bars cake pops that sort of thing as well now the next one always a favorite at christmas time but you know gingerbread any time of the year for me. Absolutely love the flavours. Now we have got the cookie cutter in this one as well and of course it's got to be the gingerbread shape hasn't it? It could be a man, it could be a lady, it could be a girl or it could be a boy. You can decorate again there with your icing or your little icing bags if you want to go with that. Um, your pre-made icing maybe you've got it, you've got your syrup in here already. So again those main ingredients already there for you. What a lovely kit this is pre-measured again you can see how fine the flour is there in the packaging as well you've got your wonderful spices included 14 pounds and 99 pence is the price for this kit 151268 is the item number do you know i know it's only a box but it's not only a box is it let me just open this box up so i can show you these are really sturdy boxes as well inside there you know everything is so professional so once you've made all the ingredients put them all together if you were going to gift them you could put them back in the box with some nice tissue in there or as i said if you wanted to separate these down and really make some special packaging and gift one per member of the family or your neighbors or your teachers i'm just thinking back to john lockwood's shows actually that beautiful heart-shaped box oh imagine making your own packaging and just one beautiful cookie or gingerbread man or cupcake in that box as a special gift 14.99 is the price for the ginger Gingerbread baking kit 151268 is the item number. Then the Christmas cupcakes. I am dying to try the topping that are on those cakes, but I can't do it. I'm just not allowed. But what have we got in this kit? Well, this is a really special kit because not only have you got all the ingredients that you're going to need, apart from the butter or the eggs again, you even get a wooden spoon in this one. You even get those very cute fondant gingerbread men that are there that you can stick on top of your cupcakes. You've got your cupcake holders as well in those nice metallic gold. You've got your gold sprinkles in this one again as well and everything again pre-measured pre-prepared for you so it's just straight into your baking bowl you don't even need a mixer you can do this by hand love the fact that you get the wooden spoon so you just straight away from something from your fridge that's all that you're going to need and as we said earlier you can tailor make these so if you've got intolerances you can buy the appropriate you know sort of uh, butter or whatever sort of cake mix that you need to go in with these one two three one five nine is the item number for this one popular on this this one as well now you do get the recipe card in each one oops almost knocked that box off there let me just let me just show you what you get in here so isn't it lovely to see something so so attractive as a recipe card as well i mean it's not just a plain white piece of card it's got that lovely background to it there you can see it's professional so again if it is a gift idea this is going to really look the part isn't it and of course you're going to keep these as well and maybe you're going to move on from the kits and start to you know put your own ingredients together and try different flavors as well and get a little bit more experimental 13 pounds and 99 pence is the price for this one one two three 3159 is the item number. All new today, of course, brand new supplier here at Achanda. Now the cupcakes. Ooh, these look divine. Now we've got sprinkles in here as well. We've got stars and strands. Oh, all different colours as well. Do let the children get involved when you work with these as well. They will love, love, love just tipping everything into a bowl, helping stir with, of course, the wooden spool that's included. You've got the vanilla essence in there as well. And then, of course, they're going to want to put those sprinkles on top, aren't they? £13.99 is the price. 323956 is the item number. 
That famous baking show that I keep referring to, they do a children's version as well, don't they? I'm sure there are lots of children out there that watch that and are inspired by baking and want to have a go. Something like this is a kit bought for them so they don't have to worry about the other utensils. You know, they don't even need another baker in the house. As long as, of course, it's a child that, you know, under supervision with the oven, they can make these. I think they're a perfect gift for any age, male or female. Absolutely love them. Now when it comes to the brownie kit it has been so popular. I think if I was to ask around the studio all of the staff here the brownie probably would be the most the most asked after um, goody that we could provide or something that they would most like to make. Brownies always seem to be so so popular. You can see again you've got all those pre-weighed ingredients all separately packaged for you. Everything can go straight into the bowl again. We saw Victoria working with this one. Those chocolate chips, you get so many. You really do. You, don't, you know sometimes you'll buy a cookie and you'll pay quite a lot for it and you can count. You can count maybe three or four chocolate chips in there. Not with these, you're going to get a whole abundance of them. £13.99 for this kit. It has been popular. 934-561 is the item number if you want to go for our brownie baking kit. And then we have, of course, the cookies. Let's have a look at this box again. So. Again, all the ingredients there for you, all in that box again, everything beautifully packaged and sealed. You can see again, you've got a whole, well, a ginormous bag of those chips again in this one. You've got, of course, everything you need apart from the eggs or the butter that you will have in your fridge. You've got the vanilla essence in there as well. Another favorite of mine, vanilla essence, love it. Vanilla and lemon are my favorites. And of course, again, if you want to give this one, it's absolutely perfect. 714-086 is the item number. 13.99 is the price on this one. And there we are, we've had a whole recap of the counter. Now I'm hoping if we go back to Victoria, we might be able to see those cookies going into the oven. Now, if anybody's got any questions as well, please do let us know. Email in studio at achanda.com. If it's about one of the kits we've got here, or if it's about Victoria and her business, or what she may bring us in the future, or any suggestions of what you might want to see, please do let us know. Also, watching that cookie demonstration, using chocolates, using raisins, using spices, mm, using nuts, spreads, peanut butter can you think of anything else or have you put anything else in your cookies that you've made at home that we might not have mentioned please let me know i would love to hear right victoria so we've got six cookies on each tray yep. what temperature is the oven so preset at the oven's preset at 180 degrees and the cookies tend to um, take between 12 and 14 minutes to cook but it really depends on your oven so it may be 12 minutes, maybe a little bit longer than 14 minutes. So I think put your timer on for 12 and then keep on checking them. Just look for them to be slightly golden brown. Oh, lovely. This is the other good thing about cookies and cakes, isn't it? They don't, unless it's a big cake, when you're talking this sort of size, they're relatively quick to cook and that smell and you just want to devour them straight away, don't you? So with the oven then, Victoria, yeah. Um, if most of us have a convection oven, if you don't have a convection oven, what adjust adjustments do we need to make? Anything at all? I think, again, just just keep on checking on the time okay. because, I mean, I've got a, a few different ovens and they all cook. They're, they're, they're all the same type of oven, but they all cook differently. Um, okay. So it's a case of going for the, so the lower minutes, going for 12 minutes, and then just keep on checking them and then and then until you know lovely and we do have the temperatures and the timings all on the recipe it, cards yeah, as well on the recipe card for them yeah perfect he's in the oven oh, we can hear the oven out. is it important to preset the oven and preheat it yeah it's always good to preheat the oven so that they'll um cook at the correct temperature yeah. put those in and pop the timer on so i'm just gonna do these for 12 minutes Lovely. Again, just because obviously I'm not familiar with the oven, and then after 12 minutes I can go and then check them to see if I need to cook them for a little bit longer. Amazing. Well, I'm just looking at our clock, and if we can time this right, which we should be able to quite easily, we should see these coming out of the oven before the end of the hour. Now, we have had a question come in. This is coming from Pauline, and it's about gingerbread. So, now with this kit, Victoria, we do get the ingredients pre-weighed for us. We do get the cutter. But if you wanted to make a gingerbread house, could we do that and keep the cutter for something else you or would could, the recipe yeah. 
be different? No, it'd be absolutely the same. Um, it makes quite a quite a big amount of um, gingerbread, um, and so yeah, all you need to do is just make it as the instructions, and chill it as for the instructions, and then just sort of roll it out and cut it into your house template. You, sh you can usually find these templates online. Obviously, you can make one up yourself as well. Oh, lovely! Any tips on decorating? When it comes to gingerbread houses or gingerbread, men or ladies, you know, we, we want smiley faces and iced sort of um, elements on them. Have you got any top tips? Well, I think definitely with the houses to make royal icing rather than sort of like your runnier icing only because it'll stick fast. So that's obviously using egg whites and icing sugar. So use egg whites to replace the water um, ah. and then hold it. So I think with gingerbread houses, it's going to be patience and holding it, holding it tight until it's set and then going on to the next bit, holding the next bit. Oh, and what about decorations, if they want some nice buttons, nice sugary sweets or chocolate yeah, sweets? Pick your favourite sweets to decorate them with. Um, oh. And again, pop some icing on in sort of nice, nice little patterns. Oh, lovely. So just have fun, basically. Yeah, again, fun, it's yeah. just like any sort of crafting. You know, with baking, have fun. Take time to decorate. Pauline, thank you for that question. If you do want to make a gingerbread house or you do buy this kit and you make one, please send it in. I'd love to see how you decorate that. I think when it comes to gingerbread men, gingerbread houses or any sort of gingerbread, you really can go to town with the decorating. Fourteen ninety nine is the cost for this particular kit. One five one two six eight. We are busy on those phone lines again, so just for a minute, we're going to go to a video. I'm going to tell you about freedom. Have you heard of Hachanda Freedom? Did you know that as a Hachanda Freedom member, you could be making savings on every order you place? For just £5.97 a month, you will benefit from selected Freedom member discounts and complimentary standard delivery on every order you place. You will also receive our exclusive Achanda Freedom Members badge, regular newsletters, giveaways and crafty updates. If you shop with Achanda more than twice a month, then Freedom is for you. Don't forget, your Freedom membership is flexible, so you can pause it if you're going away or you can cancel it at any time. So what are you waiting for? Give us a call or head to the website, quoting item number 888888 and join Achanda Freedom today. Oh, lovely Leonie there, of course. Now we've had another email in as well. This is from Rebecca. I'm smiling away because this is something that um, actually I thought the same when I first came to Achanda. Rebecca said she's really pleased to see the cookies go in the oven because she thought the oven was just for show. It was fake. No, it's a real working oven. In fact, I'm going to let you into a little secret. If ever we're in that set and you can hear a beep, beep, Sometimes where the hob is, if you rest on the surface, you might catch the button and it's trying to tell you, don't lean on me there because you might turn me on. So that's happened to me once or twice. Uh, so yes, it is a real oven, so hopefully we'll see those cookies coming out. Now, Victoria, I'm so glad we had the question about the gingerbread because it's made me think of all sorts of wonderful ways of decorating gingerbread. You've given us some great ideas there. But can we talk more about decoration in a while? But also, I can see you've got one of the boxes there. Yeah. So when everything arrives, Arrives and it's all boxed up. How does it arrive to us? So this is the um, this one's a shortbread baking kit. Um, obviously, you can open your box and then you've got all of your um, ingredients inside. Um, so all just your little packaging, a little, um, bag of sprinkles, your recipe card with all of your information on, um, sugar, icing sugar, your cutters. You get two different sizes as well, which is nice. Um, I, I quite like the small ones because they're nice for a little nibble and um, flour as well. Oh, wonderful. And I am going to go back to the packaging again because it is such a sturdy box you've got there. The packaging, it's all sealed, it's all very safe. Everything looks so wonderful when you unpack. But it's important, isn't it, to have the packaging right? Because, is, yeah. you know, if you, if, especially if you are going to give, but even if you're just treating yourself as well, you know, when you receive something like that, it's just, if it just arrived in a plastic bag, it's not the same, is it? So I'm so, so pleased to see that you've taken so much care and consideration, even down to the level labels on there which are inside and outside the box as well so when you get this home then you unpack and yep. you think right am I making for myself or am I making for someone else as long as you've got a bowl as long as you've got the oven obviously to cook them yep. in some some butter and an egg yeah 
for you know depending on the kit you're going for and then you're good to go I mean with them um, the great thing with the this packaging as well is um, you can open it and because of the, the type of packaging you can say oh, I don't want to bake them all from with the cookies obviously you can freeze those but with these you can always um, just halve the recipe and then just seal at the back again and it'll be airtight so you can just bake half the amount and then bake the other half another time as well Oh, for the lovely. ones that make quite a lot too, which is quite handy. Yeah, I'm, for anybody that didn't join us at the start of the show as well, I'm just going to let everybody know what Victoria has said because it's something I've not even thought of. When demonstrating the cookies, and I presume this would it work with the gingerbread as well, freezing the yeah, dough? Yeah, you can do as well, yeah, freeze the dough. Um, you can just freeze it in the sort of the ball you make it in, or you can freeze it once you've kind of rolled it out and um, use your cutters on it. Same with the shortbread too. Um, yeah which again is perfect. Oh amazing, so if you want to pre-prepare the dough put it in the freezer so when you've got friends family around and hopefully now you know we can meet up with at least some of our family over Christmas you can just get that out of the freezer beforehand pop it straight into the oven because the work's already done. Right when we go back to decorating then Victoria I mean we've got some beautiful cupcakes there as well the topping what is that topping on those cupcakes? This is buttercream so um, we provide you with the icing sugar then again you just need to add butter to that um, to whip up the buttercream. Oh, it looks silky smooth. And we, uh, yes, uh, lo lots of whipping and then a piping bag as well for you to obviously pipe it onto the cupcake. Okay, do we get the piping bag? Yeah, you get the piping bag as well, yeah. <gasps> oh, marvellous. Oh, I didn't even see that. Oh, we haven't got it out on the counter, but you do get the piping bag as well. So really everything has been thought about. You know, I might be a little bit naughty. I know we can't taste these, uh, Victoria, but is there anything, is there a filling in those cookies that are on show? Or are they just, are they the cookie mix on its own? Some of them do have fillings, yes. I'm not sure which ones are, but some of them do. Um, I was going to say, if they've got something in them, could we break one open? <laughs> yeah, but I don't know if you can tell. Try and, uh, try and find one. I might have to cut through a few. Let's have a look. Oh, oh don't, if you, if you have to demolish them all. Now we are very busy on the shortbread as well, half of the stock approaching now gone. Don't forget you get two of those cookie cutters, the stars there, the smaller one and the larger one as well. You get lots of sprinkles in there. Lovely. Right, through a few. Here we are. This might be one. You oh, can't tell. Know, we might have Victoria opening all of these up now <laughs> to see because we're not sure which ones have got the filling in and which oh, haven't. This one has. So this one obviously has a chocolate inside. Okay, if you want to just hold that to the camera there, Victoria, so we can see. Oh, look at that. Do you know they look really, really filling actually, don't they? They're really chunky. See, the lovely things about these as well is you, you can, if you decide to make the whole batch and you don't want to eat them, um, but then, then you come to think, oh, I wouldn't mind a cookie. Pop them in the oven or the microwave just to warm them through. Then if they have oh, any nice. filling, then that'll, that will go quite sort of gooey again and the cookie will be quite nice and soft and warm. So they keep really well. I've got to ask, there are, f well, there's one in particular, famous ice cream that's made with cookie dough in it. Would they make a good accompaniment with an ice cream? They would, definitely, If yes. you warmed it up and had yeah. that on the side, oh. I'm getting hungry now. Another thing with the cookies as well is if you, you could, all, if you had the cookie baking kit and the brownie baking kit, a lot, a bit of a trend at the moment is to have cookie dough underneath the brownie, so you could have like a layer of your cookie dough and then put your brownie batter mix on top, and then as you cut it, sort of as you see the um, the brownies, you would have a layer of cookie dough underneath the brownies as well. Oh, I like the sound of so that. Double whammy. Oh. Oh, so many ideas, so many ideas, wow. <laughs> Busy on the brownies, over half of the stock has now gone. Let me just move down to the brownies, where is it? We are this one, aren't we? Just tell me on the back, actually. Um, right. <laughs> I've had a good day today, I kept calling Lou Haley. At least I've remembered our new guest name, it's Victoria. Uh, now, we have got the brownie kitty, it has been very, very popular. I cannot get over the amount of chocolate chips you get in these kits. Now, I'm, I'm going to ask Victoria in a second in, just to show us the inside of that cookie again in a second, because you do get, of course, the chocolate chips and all the flavourings that you need to go with the brownies, and the details are on the screen there, £13.99, 934561. And then, if we just pop back to Victoria, can you just show us inside that cookie again? These are literally packed full of chocolate chips. Absolutely There's no scrimping at all. No, not at all. So it's quite nice when you reheat them against all those chocolate chips in there will start to melt again, which oh, is nice. absolutely yummy. 
Well, I'm going to be a little bit selfish now, Victoria, because my favourite is shortbread. Is there anything we can do with shortbread while we're yeah. here? Well, I can show you one of our shortbread baking kits. Um, so if I just move the... Obviously, you've got to get sprinkles nice and sugar as well, which is for afterwards. Okay. And with this one, I'll have to grab our bowl. And then again, pop in some butter. Lovely. And your sugar. And again, you need to mix those together as you did okay. before. Now, of course, you do get the cookie cutters with this one, which are totally reusable. Just give them a wash in soapy water afterwards, and then you can use them as, as many times as you like. Once you've creamed those together, you just add your flour again. Like the cookies, these are very, very simple to make. Lovely. And um, there's no egg with this one as well. It's literally you just add butter to these. Now this is why, for me, it's important because um, although you're using butter, you're using the flour there as well. You will have different weights of ingredients throughout the kits because a shortbread is that, the name shortbread is, yeah. is used because it's a short biscuit. It's not a bread really, but it's a short biscuit. And by that, that's the kind of the texture, the amount of flour that's yeah. in there, doesn't it? I can't explain it very well. I know what I mean, but Victoria, you can describe a little bit better, can't you? You get different sort of um, consistencies of your doughs depending on the biscuit or the cake that you're making. You do. I had this conversation actually with a friend quite recently about shortbread, gingerbread, how it's a totally different sort of biscuit to a, to a sort of standard biscuit. Um, Oh, it's kind of like a, a lot more of a sort of a denser biscuit as well. Yeah. Is it important, I'm just thinking of that programme again, you know when they get really strict and they're testing everybody's cakes and biscuits, particularly with the biscuits, and they say, we want a gooey centre, but we need that snap. Did I hear a beep then? Was that you the did oven? hear a beep. <gasps> I think the cookies are ready. You know when you... <laughs> They, they want to hear a snap of a biscuit. How important is that to you? If you're doing a particular biscuit that should have a crunch or a snap? Yeah, it depends on, obviously, on, on the biscuit. But if it's, yeah, the one, one that does need to snap, then you, then you kind of do need that snap. With the cookies, these are more kind of like, um, sort of gooey, gooey or nice soft centres. Oops, so we Oh, have... they smell. Oh, I wish we'd got smelly vision again today. They smell absolutely beautiful. Now, everybody's oven will vary slightly as well because, you know, you can set your oven to a certain temperature. Your neighbour might set theirs to a different temperature. Is it important, Victoria, perhaps, or is it wise to have an oven thermometer, perhaps? Yes, it is. Yeah, if you do a lot of baking, it's, it's worth in, yeah. investing in, but um, otherwise, you're just kind of playing around with different recipes. Oh, I cannot tell you the smell that is coming <laughs> often across the studio. With social distancing as well, I can't be that close to Victoria. I can tell you these cookies smell absolutely divine. Now, we, we can see one that's had a little leakage. Yeah, this is a volcano. Um, I think uh, this one is of the, the caramel one, there. this one. So this is a soft <sighs> caramel one. Uh, so with this, to prevent that from happening, pop them in the freezer. This is why you pop sort of soft things oh. in the freezer so they don't kind of ooze out. Yeah. But still, that would be absolutely amazing to eat. Um, and then we have, so these are our, sort of our, our normal ones. You can see how they've spread a tiny bit, but they've yeah. not spread um, too much on the tray. Um, but it's still great to sort of uh, move them apart. Okay. There's a monster one on this one. There is a monster one. Now, colour-wise there, Victoria, I can yeah. see one tray looks a little bit brown than the other. Obviously, that's down to our oven, maybe a top shelf compared to the middle shelf. We've still got a little bit of time if you needed to put them back in at all, or to you, it's, are they done it's perfectly? Just okay. Yes, um, some are fine. I tend to, a lot of people move things onto cooling racks straight away. I tend to, with these cookies, let them cool um, on the baking trays. Okay. So, that obviously, they still take the heat from the baking tray and just continue cooking until they're cool. Because they're going to be really hot inside, especially if to, you've got a caramel or something Yeah, and there. you don't want to overcook them because you want them to have that sort of that really nice soft centre to them especially when they're sort of warm as well. And everybody's taste varies as well. I know when I, when I was little, I'm going back a long time, I know, but when I was little, I was one of these when my mum baked. I did want the ones that looked more underbaked. I didn't yeah. want the really brown ones, whereas my brother preferred the crispy yeah. bits. So we were quite happy because we got to choose which one we yeah. wanted. And I always got the, the, the ones that looked a bit paler, and my brother used to get the darker ones. They smell, I've got to say again, they smell absolutely beautiful. Now, when it comes to the shortbread again, because yep. I know you were demonstrating with that. Yep, so again, you just keep on stirring this, similar to the cookies. 
until you're in a position to kind of just bind it together. Okay. Yeah. But again, this is kind of like a, a basic recipe for shortbread. And as you said, you like you you said you like lemon flavours. So yes. you can add some lemon zest to it as well, yeah. which is nice. So if you like orangey flavours, orange zest. Or even if you like chocolate, you can add chocolate chips. So, so another quite one versatile very recipe. very popular flavour that has been around for a while is salted caramel. Now, isn't it? That's my <gasps> mum's favourite. Is now. it? Yeah. Salted caramel. Oh, would your mum have salted caramel on everything then? I think she would. I think she would. <laughs> oh. So, yeah, when, once you're at the point sort of it's into a ball, um, then you can roll it out and use your cutters then. Now, once you've used your cutters with the shortbread, this needs to be um, chilled in the fridge for at least half an hour, but I prefer a couple of a good couple of hours. Yeah. And then, again, they cook on 180, 190. Um, and then just obviously keep checking them like you do with the cookies as well. Oh, wonderful. Oh, Victoria, we're really enjoying this show. We do want to see Victoria back as well because I know you could bring us lots of other things <laughs> and work to the different seasons as well. But, you know, we're having a busy show because, you know, across the board, actually, everything's going. I, I did expect the brownies to be one of the most popular, but, you know, things have kind of been moving around a little bit throughout the show as well. What was in the lead? Maybe something else has taken over, but... Seriously, across the board, everything is selling here, and I'm not surprised when you see these wonderful kits. Now, if anybody's got any questions, don't forget you can email in studio at achanda.com. Victoria, do you have a page on social media as well? I do, yes, we're on um, Instagram and Facebook as well. Lovely. I shall look you up later as well. So any questions, maybe you could contact Victoria directly. Perhaps if you get the kits and you've forgotten what was said about the ways to ice or other flavours to add, then you'll find that inspiration on Victoria's pages as well. But I'm sure, Victoria, you're quite happy to help everybody yes, they've got any questions. Happy, yeah. Wonderful stuff. Well, let's have a look at our Christmas cupcake kit here. Now, this is just £13.99. pence. Oh, there, that box again. I've nearly done it, haven't I? But... My favourite thing with this, you do get those fondant gingerbread men. They're, they are there. They are so cute. You don't really want to eat them, do you? You just want to look at them and smile. You do get an icing bag as well. We haven't got it on the counter, but you do. So if you want to ice these in any way that you can, you certainly can. Or if you just want to spoon the buttercream on top, you can as well. I've got to say that buttercream looks so, so delicious. It looks so silky smooth. So again, everything pre-weighed for you. I love the fact that you get the wooden spoon in this one. Of course, you're going to get the recipe card as well. You've also got those beautiful golden sprinkles in this one. Are they made of chocolate? Or are they, what, what are they made of? Are the they a sugar? Yeah, it's sugar. It's yeah, a sugar. Because sugar. I have seen sort of the, um, the golden luster sprinkles and things before yeah. as well. Do you know, does it matter what they're made of? They look amazing, don't they? <laughs> oh, a nice swirl of that buttercream there as well. We do get an essence in this one. Is it the vanilla again in this one, Victoria? Yeah, vanilla essence isn't it? in that one. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Everything you need apart from, again, the butter or the egg. 123159 is the item number. That's what you need for the Christmas cupcakes at 13.99. Right, there we are. Now we've got our our other cupcake kicks. So that was clusters of Christmas. You've still got your cupcakes in here, but you've got those bright coloured um, little cases for the cupcakes there as well. Again, you've got the vanilla, you've got the wooden spoon again, you've got different sprinkles in this one. Again, everything pre-prepared for you in the way of weighing out. All beautifully packaged. 13.99, There we are. Well, we're almost out of time, would you believe? Don't forget to check your baskets out. This is the only hour today for the Couture Cake Company. Don't forget about the brownies. Don't forget about the shortbread, the gingerbread. And, of course, at the end there, we've got those other cookies as well, those chocolate chip cookies that are absolutely packed with chips. Victoria, thank you so, so much for joining thank us today. You thank have you. you enjoyed it? I have. I have really enjoyed it. Yeah, oh, thank you. <laughs> wonderful. We do want to see Victoria back, but do stay with us, though. We've got much more coming ahead your way, so stay there. We certainly have got something special coming up next. Lou Withers is with us, with Janice as well. That's coming up next, Studio Light. And then we've got Introducing Foreign Scrap. And then we're back with Studio Light. Hi, I'm Nikki Hassan. I've been working with Heartfelt Creations for about nine years now. Heartfelt Creations as a company 
launched the company back in 1994. They have been in the industry for a very, very long time. They are crafters, so they know what you crafters want and they listen to us crafters too. Their products range from stamps that coordinate with dyes that then coordinate with a paper pad. But then we also have storage folders. We have decorative dyes, we have coloring daubers, we have Insta albums. One of the products that really make Heartfelt unique are their flower shaping molds where you can make easy, quick, three-dimensional flowers which are absolutely stunning. So I hope you can join Heartfelt Creations here on Achanda. Hi, I'm Hayley. Join me for some amazing Fabric Freedom shows. Fabric Freedom design all their fabrics here in the UK and they design them with quilters in mind. So they're really good at picking out those unidirectional prints. Really nice and small prints so you can work on smaller patchwork projects. And paste prints as well, which is one of their signature fabrics. They do lots more fabrics besides quilting cottons. So tune in to the Fabric Freedom shows here on Hachanda. Hello, I'm Hayley, and you might have seen me presenting here at Hachanda. Well, I've always been an avid crafter behind the scenes and have been given the opportunity to share some of my favourite products with you in a monthly show called Handmade by Hayley. I'll be covering lots of areas of soft crafts like quilting, dressmaking, sewing, knitting, even printing your own fabrics. I'll even be bringing some items from my own Handmade by Hayley range. So I hope you'll join me, let me inspire you, and maybe you will discover a new craft in the process. Have you heard of Hachanda Freedom? Did you know that as a Hachanda Freedom member, you could be making savings on every order you place? For just £5.97 a month, you will benefit from selected Freedom member discounts and complimentary standard delivery on every order you place. You will also receive our exclusive Achanda Freedom members badge, regular newsletters, giveaways and crafty updates. If you shop with Achanda more than twice a month, then Freedom is for you. Don't forget, your Freedom membership is flexible, so you can pause it if you're going away or you can cancel it at any time. So what are you waiting for? Give us a call or head to the website, quoting item number 888888 and join Hachanda Freedom today. Hi, I'm Emma. And I'm Pam. And we're from Quilters Trading Post. We've been open since 2007, so we're coming up to 10 years now. We started our business um, in Cambridge, really, with a long arm quilting machine. We decided we wanted to make a proper business of it, so we bought a shop in this area. We soon grew out of that because we became successful and we bought a school, and now we're in the school. We have four parts to our business. We have the quilting service, we run workshops, we sell patchwork and quilting threads, fabrics and notions, and we do patterns and books. That's our newest thing, and our favourite being our crafters carry-on. We've really enjoyed being on Hachanda. It's um, made us famous, really. We've got lots of people who now come into the shop and tell us that they've seen us, and that they've enjoyed the demonstrations, and they've watched us over and over again. Make sure you don't miss our shows here on Hachanda. one day special I am so excited about this one day special I'm going to tell you all about the savings but first of all I'm also very 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 excited Lou with us with us 
How are you, Lou? I'm doing really, really well. We've got Ira and Mappy as uh, Larry. Good, and good. Else. Oh, <laughs> I am so happy I'm working with you, Lou, because I don't think I've seen you for a couple of weeks now. Yeah. It is. It's, it's well over a month. It's well over a month. So, uh, I am well happy about that. I'm sure you guys are as well. Now, it's already going, but what I'm going to do is talk you through the savings if I can, Lou. So, here we go. If you love journaling, if you want to make more journals rather than buying them, this is your golden opportunity to do so. Now, already there is a £49.50 saving because all of the items that you see in front of you already have a saving on them. But because it's a one-day special, we wanted to make it special. So we've added another £10 on top. That's £59.50, so stay with me here. Now, if you're a Freedom member, you may have seen us talk about Freedom membership before where you don't pay any P&P. If you are a Freedom member, you are saving a further £14.00 and three pence making your saving as a freedom member oh my word 73 pounds and 53 pence it's a why not deal that means if you're not a freedom member but you really want to get hold of that saving you can do by becoming a freedom member right here right now triple eight triple eight into your basket now you can divide the cost into three payments that's the beauty from buying from us here at hochanda we know sometimes it's a considerable purchase but we also know you want your crafty stuff so this gives you a chance to get it for only 46 pounds and 75 pence today and then there's two more payments after that but freedom members your flexi is even better 42 pounds and eight pence today now how many dies do we have in this package we have 145 dies in this set I know you've got your alphabet dies in there so you can start to create titles or maybe messages or maybe sentiments you've got your journal essentials in there it means that you can make and create your pages for your journals you've got your celebratory celebratory can't say that celebratory you can celebrate <laughs> with the shapes of dice that we've got for you you've got your tags and your banners as well and you've got your ornate steps and your ornate frames in there as well my word this is incredible isn't it so make your journaling make your cards and craft away to your heart's content. It's a fabulous price, it really is. We're already busy. 598, 598 is your item number. Now, let me show you some finished samples. Lou, this is such a fabulous deal, isn't it? Yeah. And being able to make and create your own journals. This I mean, is that's a, great. For everything that we've got, it goes with everything we've got and it extends everything we've got. Uh, but these are really beautiful. I mean, it's so new in the UK. We only, I'll be honest with you, I only got it yesterday. Did you? It was so new. Wow. And we managed to get these, uh, Rachel did these. Just to show you though, I, I'm, I'm, I'm a lover of journaling. And if you look at some of the things we do on Facebook and here, journaling's all about sort of mindful art. And I think these, you can create your own journals, but they make fantastic cards as well. Yeah, Scrapbook they do. pages. Yeah, yeah, you know. absolutely perfect for that, Lou. But look at the dies. They're absolutely amazing. And you get so many in each pack. 100 yeah. and what? 100 and... Um, 145 in total. Yeah, that's a lot. That's a, that's something for every day, something for every occasion. What's lovely about journaling as well is that you do fill your books up. And that's great, isn't it? Because you put your thoughts down. You start off very tentatively um, if you're new to journaling. And you write in there and then you maybe draw in there. And then you draw some more and then you write some more. And before you know it, it's full. And you've got to go out and buy another one. Now you can make and create your own. You can make them bespoke to how you're feeling. You can make them bespoke to your friends and family as well. Now we've got extended delivery on this um, across everything that we've got on the show because it's, of course, studio light. If it's only the 2nd of December, that's not long to wait. Eight days. Nothing. It's not bad, that. Actually, actually it's really payday really at the that. end of this week, I think. Is it? For us, yeah. I'm super. It means haircut. Hopefully, if they all open again. Right, we are. Oh, we're already approaching ten percent of the stock blue, and it is a huge stock. When you start to see what it looks like individually, you really kids to pack them on like that. It's really difficult to see, but 
I am, each time I look at them, I see something else, or something else, something else. You won't be disappointed with this. Yeah, I love the, I love the belt buckle. Now, I mean, that's fantastic for closing your journals, but hey, why don't you use it for Father Christmas if you're making a card? Absolutely, and there's, there's like these, all these outer edge dies all make their own card sizes. Yeah. So you don't need to sort of think, I mean, the, the alphabets, three different sorts of alphabet, and, and, the, and the great, the best thing is they're not individual. I was going to say that, oh, because you put that me. through your die cutting machine, but they will cut, do they cut individual? Yeah. yeah. But you don't have to put an A through, an E through. And actually, here's a good point, you've got a couple of E's, you've got a couple of A's. Absolutely. And that makes a difference. It's a one pass thing, and that is so annoying, because then you'll lose them. Yeah. And then you're trying to put them on with tape, which is great, don't get me wrong, but when they're cut on a plate like that, you just cut them through and cut them through. And then you can make sort of, uh, like, not spaghetti, confetti with the letters. Spaghetti? You try throwing that at somebody after the bin battery. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> confetti. I know you can throw rice, but don't, <laughs> only if you've Sorry, cut it do you first. know what I mean, don't you? I've, I've, you're I've, like I've... javelin, you don't want to do that. Uh, just taking a look at the dies <laughs> with the numbers on, I've got a bit of an idea, actually. Go on. When you pass these through your die, yeah, yeah. you know how you said they'll all come out individually, which is great. You can put them into little compartments, so all your A's, all your B's, all your C's. Perfect. But what you can do is get a bit of washi tape and you can place it over the letters and lift it up so they're all attached to the washi I tape. Do, because mm -hmm. otherwise I tend to sort of lose them. And, and that really is how I used to pick up my, my individual dies. Is it? Because you'd be there, oh, God, where's, where's he gone now? Where's... So I used to put tape on them all, but this way it's great. Yeah, it certainly is. It is such a wonderful deal. And yes, it is a considerable purchase, but look at what you're getting in this one day special. 145 dies. Great for journaling, great for card making, great for scrapbooking, uh, great for working with existing dies that you've got as well. So it is a phenomenal deal. Remember, Freedom members saving £73.53. pence. It's worth becoming a Freedom member. It also means when you become a Freedom member today, your month a free PMP starts today. So it's not like, oh, I've only got two weeks left. Um, it starts today. It starts when you become a member, which means anything else you buy throughout that month, you pay no PMP. And we also have some great deals on the web. We also have great deals on shows. Whenever you see the blue banner, that's your freedom discount. It's fantastic. So pop this into your basket. 598 598 is your item number. It's good item number to remember. Now we've got a Just Lou collection for you. Lou, tell us about your Just Lou collection. Well, we had some people saying that they liked, they wanted bits and bobs, and, and it was like a new configuration where you can just do your own like blooms. So this is to make, add on to the journals we've got. Yes. But make them into sort of a bloom or a floral feel. So you could use the rice papers to do your backing and stuff, but then the die cuts also for using um, on top of your dies and things, so they all work together. Wow, love these, and I love the images you've got on the rice paper. Let's go through these because uh, I've got them just here. I've been I've been starting to use uh, rice papers. Actually, really get into it. It's really nice to use once you start to realise how, how versatile they are. Now that is your vintage lady. Isn't that lovely? That's that Marianne there. North. That's the lady I was researching for this. Really? Yeah, she Aww. was an entrepreneur going around the world. Wow. It, now that one is impossible to forget. No, that really is the name of it. I'm not just saying that. Uh, it's gorgeous, isn't it? Love all the different layers that you've got in here, Lou. Then your next one is your colour bloom. Love the greens in that. Isn't that delightful? And then... Oh my word, you've got your floral index. Oh, and then at the bottom, you've got the descriptions of all the flowers, and also on the salvage there, if we can call it that, you've got the colours that are used within, so you can match that up with your inks, maybe. Yeah, it is, and, and it's a really, it's, it's what they call a colour plate. It's a version from one of the, the botanical books, yeah. and have what they call a colour plate, and that'd be it. Oh, so it's, that. it's used from that. But if you want to keep the picture really crisp, you yep. can paint the back with white gesso. Good idea. And the, and the images stay really clean then, Good and idea. not transparent. It reminds me of those vintage books that's that it, your mum yeah. and dad and gran used to have that you used to look through, or the woman's own books that Absolutely. you used to get many, many years ago in the 1920s. Not that I can remember. 
I'm talking yeah. about seeing them in vintage form. Now, you've also got some dies as well yeah. uh, included in this deal. That's why this is superb value for money, two pence at 24.94. So you've got your two die sets again to create and build up those beautiful flourishes uh, that's going to extend um, any work that you're doing. So it's just going to add those beautiful touches. You've also got in there, where are my hands? You've got some gorgeous dies down here to make those tickets that are rippable because they're perforated which is lovely. Uh, you've got a lovely little framework down there as well. And then over the other side, it's amazing this deal, isn't it? Along yeah. with the rice papers, all of these dies. You've got that gorgeous one down there to give you lots of detail. I do like that, Lou. It's like a lace. And then, yeah. But it creates so, so much interest so you can see behind it or you could take that. You can even paper paint piece with it, which yeah. is... I, actually, I enjoy doing that. That's your petal background, isn't it? That is gorgeous. By the way, none of these are available individually. Why would you want them individually when you can save £26 by buying them as a collection? £24.94, but we're not stopping there because we have got... A just loo little edition for you. These are fabulous. And these are your A6 die cut blocks, which are very easy just to pop out. I think yeah. I think the terminology is kiss cut. Mm -hmm. uh, and then you can pop them out and then you can use them like ephemera. Isn't that lovely? You can keep them like that or you can, you know, grunge them up or you can age them or you can make them quite pastel as well. But they're, they're really quick and easy to use. Really nice to use. Now, let me just double check that. Uh, 20 die cut sheets, 180 paper elements in total. Wow, that's a lot. That's fantastic. And you've got some of them, um, which are, are you've got two of each page actually. Yeah, oh, look, and who's that there? Who's that there, Lou? Oh, that's, um, oh, Amelia, Amelia Earhart. Earhart. Yeah. yeah, there she is. How yeah. fantastic. I think that's lovely. Uh, right, if you want to get hold of this deal, we're getting busy already. 647472 is your item number. Now, we've got a collection for you from Janine, and this is Janine's Mindful Art Collection. Um, this is lovely. Yeah. Uh, right. The dies down the bottom, and then you've got your papers at the top. So where shall we start? Where shall we start? You're getting five die sets included and 66 dies in total. So let's run through those dies for you. You've got your butterflies and your flowers. They're lovely, aren't they? They're different size butterflies. And if you see, you've got your outer butterflies. You can just cut that if you want. But then you've also got the inner parts to the butterflies as well. That mandala tag is magnificent, isn't it? Love that. You've also got your hanging ivy, which is beautiful, isn't it? And actually, these would go very well if you bought John Lockwood's One Day Special, because you can make the foam flowers and then add some ivy. You've got your grungy uppercase alphabet, and your, what do you call those bits and bobs at the end of the alphabet? Your hashtag and your question oh, yeah. mark. Are they called ordinals? Yeah, that's the word, ordinals. Yeah, it is, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Ordinals, ordinals, I think they are. I'm not sure. But yeah, there. they are ordinals. Yeah. yeah. And then you've got your keys and your tags and your clock face. But that's not all. That's not all. You've got two paper pads and your die cut block. So your paper pads, uh, let me pick these up. Now, I never know how to hold these so you can get to see them. Um, look at these. Love this wood effect on here. Um, this is your amethyst and magnolia set. So you can see there the beautiful colours. I think you get two of each page. Lots of detail on there as well. So great for your background. Uh, they're white on one side and then you've got the lovely uh, build-up of designs on the other. So you've got some great colours to work with there and some great vintage grungy backgrounds. Then the other one we've got, you've got your teal and sage. And this really is uh, beautiful. Uh, and again, you can cut these up so you can use different parts of the papers if you want to. <laughs> not very good at this, am I? Um, and then you've got those lovely elements in there that you can use as fantastic backgrounds. Beautiful butterflies in there, in your blue butterflies, that doorway as well. So you've got that gorgeous theme running all the way through. If I shut that, you can see all of the papers on the front cover there. And then you have got your die cut block. Now you've got more than 200 in here which is fabulous. Now, are they individually? Let me just get one of those. Yeah, look at that. You can pull those out individually. That's brilliant. Love that. 
uh, all with the game theme, all the vintage game and books. Oh, isn't that fantastic? Love that. Admit one. I remember tickets like that going to the cinema or on the buses. Yeah, that was fantastic. You got your uh, checkerboard there, your chessboard. Brilliant, isn't it? Forty-four pounds and ninety-one pence, saving twenty-five pounds on that deal. Nine one eight nine five one. Uh, and that's also available on two flexi payments. I promise we're getting to demonstrations soon, but we do have a lot to tell you and I want to get through it so you can get what you want. Because the items are available on flexi buy, anything else that you add to your basket now will also be divisible into two payments or three payments if you're going for the one day special. Um, now, this is your paper pick and mix, and you get to choose any seven sheets oh we have got a delightful mixture for you um they are double-sided oh quite excited they're double-sided uh, which is fabulous we've got them with roses on we've also got them uh with your oh look at that nice steel look to that which looks fantastic um double-sided as well so if we flip that over you can see you've got two sides to that that looks like my chopping block actually at home Fantastic. Uh, you've also got your dotty spotties in there. So you've got a whole host of fabulous 12 by 12 papers and you can choose any seven. Should we do that? Should we have a go? 9 99 for seven? Oh my word. Right, let's see. Can I have, please, can I choose the alphabet? Can I have alphabet ribbon, please? Yeah, I like that. That's two. Can I have, oh, I've got to go for the Dalmatian. Uh, just down, down, Molly, over, up, over. Oh, it's like the golden shot. Dalmatian over. To, yeah, there you go. Can I have, oh, can I have rock and roll? Straight over. There you go. Can I have the steel wall? How many more can I have? Can I have Aztec and stereo? Ah, thank you. Nine ninety nine for seven. My word. That's incredible. That's incredible. That is great value for money. If you want 14, you're more than welcome to do so. The price will just go up. And if you're a Freedom member, this is a good example, actually. Freedom members, 9.99. If you're not a Freedom member, your PMP's on top. So that just goes to show becoming a Freedom member at £5.97 is worthwhile. Right. Let's head over to our lovely Lou, who is on the other side of my see-through windsurfing sale. It's great, this, isn't it? Great. It's like um, plastic. <coughs> right, okay. <laughs> nice and safe. Oh, it is, yeah. Must have. It's always safe, here. It's, been it's great. always safe. We've always. just added that as just a little addition. I think that's a really good idea because then even if you do sort of, because we have got the divider, but even if we you know do, it doesn't matter, does it? Yeah. Right, well, these are some of the, some of the nicest sort of bits and bobs with journals that I've seen. And I just thought, right, all I ever do is get it die cut it and i think that's a really good point because it gives you ideas and what you can do is take elements from one and add to the other so i was just looking at one and i just thought why do we have to have it the way it says on the on, on the instructions on the back because it gives you some really good ideas and these are really good i thought why can't we have it the other way so what do i mean well normally we'd get that bend it in half and have an a6 one why can't we have it like that so that's what I'm going to do. And then wonderful Rachel managed to get a couple of um, samples done because it is that new. And she had the same idea. So it's great when you get these, you will use your own ideas. And I wanted to use Mirror Card. Now we do have some Mirror Card available for you. It's a part of a seven day saver and it is a superb mm. deal. We've got gold and we've got silver. And it's 250 GSM and you get 60 pieces in total. So if you like what Lou's doing and you want to add your um, seven day saver to your basket, you'd be able to divide £9.97 into three payments. So those are the A4 and you've also got your smaller um, panels and you get 20 of those. So that is superb value for money. Just saying, just in case you want to add that, because what Lou's about to do uh, include some yeah, of the American. Absolutely, I want because I've got plenty of this different sort of ideas, plenty of ideas, and I want to do it in plenty of different medias and colours. So I thought I'm just going to do loads and loads of die cuts. Now the waste on this is phenomenal. Look at that shape for a waste. 
And I thought, right, so I've just die cut loads. I just want to show you what I've done. I've die cut loads. Um, I've die cut the main element, which is the outside edge. Now, if you just want to use that as a card, which I will do later, you could just use it as a card. So, and you can, you, don't forget, it's not just a die for a journal. It can be a card. So what I've done is I've put these on mirror. I've put it on some brown, some craft card and everything and just chopped them out. So I've chopped that out. I've chopped these out, which are the edges. Now these work brilliantly for if you want to make um, like really sturdy ones because you can stitch into these. So you can have them portrait, which is if you want to put them portrait that way, you can have them portrait or landscape. That's a good idea. It's entirely up to you. But You've got that. You've got that width there. That is the most important thing. You've got the width, so you can put. Although it looks like you can only put two signatures in, I've managed to get you know in, in this size at least eight doubling it up. So, and then what I cut out was these are absolutely stunning. Look at these. Now I did them out of the mirror card, but look, keep those because these, all these, look at these for for adornment. These all absolutely stunning sort of additions when you do it because I want it to make it look like an, a very old vintage journal and it's quite bright but I just wanted to show you before I unpicked all these how nice all the all the waste lovely I hate calling it waste so I've done it in lots of colors all the colors that I had but predominantly it was to do with the mirror right okay now okay. I'll show you what I've got I'll show you I've done it all in like a mirror finish a map finish uh, a craft card just to show you and then this was waste card of um of packaging and i just wanted to show you all right so i've made a right mess which is great don't throw any of the bits away so the first thing i'm going to do is going to do some techniques on it so i prefer um to do the card first and then cut it out but for reasons you know i'm not going to do that i'm going to show you how how you can do both ways because sometimes when you cut it out after you've worked on it it's a bit damp I love it when our guests use mirror cogs. It's like it's yeah, yeah, at the fun house. <laughs> right. <laughs> it can cause havoc. Right, so I've got some of my stencils and, and, and different things, and you can put them on. I'm just going to just show you what you can do with them. So you can put them on. Now, there's a couple of things you can do. Um, I've got some paint, some um, stays on. I've got some alcohol sprays anything you want so i'll just show you some of the little techniques you can do oh and an emery board because what you can do is just scratch through as well but i'll, I'll show you prop properly later so first thing i'm going to do is just going to get some of these and i'm going to build up some color i don't care really about contamination i just want to get some color on now because it's mirror yeah. i will get a color on it but it's a transparency that i want so I'll just show you on this larger one, and then you can see, I'll do the smaller one to show us. So I'll just put one colour on, and stays on is a permanent ink, so um, it's strong, It's um, it won't move when you add water and stuff, so yeah. you can do a lot of things on this. So if you add different colours, um, get some greens on there. And you just get a build up a lovely sort of pattern. You know, it has moved a bit, but it doesn't really matter. So don't just think of your stays or uh, your mirror card as just be a mirror card. You can actually do some really lovely, lovely patterns now. I know you can't see that, but I'll move it. You can just see it there. Yeah, that looks great. You can see the blue and you can see the red on there. Yeah, and, and it stays and, and there's a lot of things with it being mirror it will sort of slide off so i'll just show you that's the sort of effect on mirror but i'm going to do it on the smaller one so you can see it a bit easier so this is the board that i'm going to use i'm going to use a smaller stencil and i'm going to use this um it's like a peacock and i want to show you why because i'm going to do um to make it look like a peacock feather and i'm going to use my stays on but i'm going to build up color so i'm going to use some greens and i'm just going to you can use pens or paints as well which i'll use in a minute and i'm just going to add some color at the bottom of each now, it doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to build it all up now that deal on the mirror card really is a fantastic deal for a seven day saver and i know lou that uh, on previous shows 
you could actually um, put gesso onto that mirror card as well. That's so even though it's mirror card, if you put some gesso on it, yep. you can knock the shine back a little Absolutely. bit and still use it. That's what we're going to do, actually. We're going to add some paints to it to add. So I've added a little bit of colour with this, just to give it a little bit of... Because you want something in the background, but you don't want, you don't want it to be um, really sort of dull. You want to use the mirror, but you don't want to cover all of it up. So there we go. We're adding a little bit of the teal to it, and then we'll add some paints and stuff. So there we go. Right, just show you now how you can see the, the wonderful... Yeah, I like that. Colours. So that's the background. So what we're going to do now is we're going to move on to using some inks and sprays. Now you can use your pens on this. The only thing when you're using pens on this is when what happens is it can, if they're not strong enough, they can wipe off. So when you're doing this, just make sure that have on a test piece first and just see. But most of them do add a little bit of colour. But you just and then you can rub it in, but you can just see. So you can use these. I wouldn't advise it too much because these are water-based, but you have to leave them to dry. So that's that. Anyway, go back. That was, I went off, off the road then, off piste. So I've got that, I've got that. I've got an iridescent white and I've got a white gesso and I'm going to show you what we can do with it. Well, I did have a gesso. It's here somewhere. Oh, it's hiding. I'm using this indigo blue one because it's a brilliant one, this. So... This is all little techniques that I use when I've got, when I'm thinking, oh, what could I do with that? What could I do with that? And then suddenly you think, oh, wow, right, I'm going to try this, try this. So whatever you've got at home, get, get, you know, get it out and try it. Try mixing it with your gesso, try mixing it with inks and ink pads. See what happens when you add things together. I get so many people asking me, well, what happens if you add, and I'm, oh, this is different. I've added the wrong one. What have you added? Oh, yes. Oh, I'm liking this. I've added, like, the alcohol one to it. Oh, this is it. unusual. So Ooh. the journal that you're making so, now, yeah. Yeah. are you going for, like, a vintage look to yeah. it? Yeah, I'm just trying all these different techniques to give it, like, an old an old look. So I don't want it to look new. I want to use the mirror card, but yeah. I don't want it to be overly sort of bright. And just to show you that there's so many different ways of knocking it back with the paint, with the pens, with the inks. And you get like a lovely, there we go, you'll see now. You get a lovely pattern. Now, would you decorate your piece of card before you die cut it? Or I you die cut your um, I do the whole card journals? first. Yep. I do the whole card first and then cut it out. And then I've always got little bits if I need it. Now, I really like that but it still needs some more but I really can you see now oh, it's, yeah it's taking it's still got the shine but it's taking it back so you need to dry it again but now what I want to do is I want to add some um, alcohol sprays to it now when you do this this can be good well it can go either way this but it can activate some of this and move it, it... what colour is that you're putting this on? one I'm using now is Verdant green, that's a new one for me. Yeah, and you can green. see it just starts to sis a little bit. So I'm leaving that to dry. Oh, I like that. And if you want to, don't forget, you've got that. You can add it. Oh, it's dry already, look, don't matter. Hey. Right, I'm going to leave that to dry. So if I show you the colours now. So when I cut the colours, we had this, and that was how it started. Very bright. Yeah, it looks totally different, doesn't it? It does. And I'm going to really mess it up in a minute really mess it up but this i want it to look sort of vintage and more like leather and that's going to give you your spine to yeah. your journal so what i did was i cut out the main the main part which was this I cut that out and then i cut this out and it all fits on i want to show you this Sorry. All fits on an A4 sheet, the whole lot. So you're not wasting card. Yeah. I can't stand that. So when I was doing it, I got an A4 sheet, I got the spine, I've got all the little adornments all out of one. And then you've got little bits. These are great as stencils if you wanted to just, if you just wanted to spare it on. So I'll leave that there like that. So the next thing is, we get this, 
I'm just going to show that die on the website right there. Yeah, Is that please, the one yeah. you, you were using? 39.92, yeah, if you want to go for that. And it's 425 Seven six is your item number. Now you do have two options. This is in your one day special, by the way, um, but you can buy it separately. So there are two options if you want to buy it separately. You've got your ornate photo album, which is that particular one, or you've got your elegant and scrapbook. Now these are very, very busy die sets on their own. You can, of course, buy them on their own. They will have a saving. Uh, everything in your one day special has got a saving already. But if you want to go for the whole complete collection, we're going to put an extra £10 on top of those individual savings. And if you're a Freedom member, oh my word, let me take you back. First of all, your complete savings for the whole entire one day special is £49.50. pence. You've already got that saving. We're going to put another £10 on top. It's a one day special. Why not? One day specials are always launched here at 6 o'clock every night here on Hochanda. So that's a £59.50 pence saving as it is. However, become a Freedom member today for £5.97 pence, and you'll get another £14.03 pence on top of the savings that are already there. So it means it's a why not deal. It's worth becoming a Freedom member today to make that saving of £73.53. That is a lot. And if the Freedom members are getting it, why can't you? Well, become a Freedom member today. And, of course, your Freedom membership will last a month and you'll be able to buy, 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 whatever you like and not pay any P&P. And there'll be some extra special discounts for you. So that's your one-day special. Three payments of £42.08. And we're going to go through each of the sets individually for you because they are available indiv individually. So are we going to start here? Let's start right here. Um, now, these are the ones we've just showed you. So you do have a saving on here of £14. If you want these and these only, £39.92. Do you know, I really like that one, especially with the, um, with the torn notepad. I think they look fabulous. Um, and here is what it could possibly look like if you were to use just the top of it. So that's good, isn't it? It really does look like a ripped um, scrapbook. So that one is your elegant and scrapbook option. Then over this side, you've got your other option, which is your ornate and photo album. So if you want to go for that, you can start to build and create some fabulous albums. Let me just bring this in to show you. So you've got that lovely torn side to that. So you could build and create some real distressed look style scrapbooks and journals. So if you want that, you're saving £14, it's £39.92. Or two payments of £19.96. That's a, a great way of buying. Let's head to the middle two. You're saving £10 on these two. Now these are your card shaped die sets. They are ornate steps and ornate frame. 19 dies in total. £29.98, a great price. You're saving £10 on that particular deal. Here's a card um, that has been made. Let me make sure I've got that the right way round. Are you ready? Da da! Are you ready? Da da! Are you ready? Da da! I like that. That is fantastic, isn't it? You can, of course, just leave it like that on your mantelpiece. There you go. Excellent. Uh, right, up next, you've got your alphabet die. Oh, these are useful, aren't they? Um, I think they're just fabulous. All you have to do is put these through the dime cutting machines once, and you've got the whole alphabet, but you'll notice, look at that, two A's in the uppercase, lowercase, two E's in the uppercase, lowercase. So the letters that you're going to use often, you've got two of. Makes sense, doesn't it? It really does. So you've got uh, your alpha plate, uh, alpha plates. Alpha. There's a new word. It's going in my dictionary. It's actually an alpha plate, isn't it? Um, uppercase and lowercase. There you go. Thirteen pounds and ninety-eight pence, saving four pounds. Then you've got the block alphabets. These have got your uh, little um, frames. So it is a block. As it just said there, didn't need to add that description, did I? Uh, 29 dies in total, and you've also got your celebrate dies as well, um, and the ordinals. And you're saving 17 pounds, no, saving four pounds on that particular deal. Next up, remember you can buy these in their pairs individually or make that big, 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 huge saving on the one day special. So next up are these two. 
and that is your tags and your banners now I need to work out where you are, are you here you here uh, I just, I'm just going to lower that one, just so you can see. There you go. Um, so those two together, £12.48. pence. That's an excellent deal, isn't it? Two, three, four, zero, six, zero, seven, three pounds fifty, twelve pounds forty-eight for both of those. So all of those savings that you've just seen when we've been running through the different individuals, they were all added up, and that saving is forty-nine pounds and fifty pence. But it's a one-day special, so we're slapping another £10 saving on top of that, making it £59.50. pence. Freedom members, you always save more because we have freedom discount. So, an extra, an extra £14.03 pence you are saving. So, in total, with the original savings, it's £73.53. pence. And you know what? What's even better? It's available on three payments. This makes it easy for you to buy. When you see something, it's like having your cake and eating it. Although we couldn't have our cake tonight and eat it. But it is like having your cake and eating it. Uh, because it allows you to get everything it's on extended delivery, dispatching on the 2nd of December. But everything will be posted out at the same time. But you're only paying £42.08 as a Freedom member today. It makes sense to do it like that. Rather than buying a small element of your one-day special, then waiting for next month, because the price might go up next month. It's worth getting that complete collection, but dividing the cost, not the dies. Now, we are over 10% of the stock gone. This is your one-day special, live hour now, live hour at 8 o'clock with our Catherine. Another live hour tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock in the morning, 12 o'clock and 4 p.m. tomorrow. Whether there'll be any left, we don't know. Uh, we've also got the Just Lou collection for you, which is absolutely gorgeous, designed by our fantastic Lou Withers who's with us, and every time I say that, little Millie, my Jack Russell, she'll be running round, like, where are we going, where are we going? All I have to say to her is, Lou with us, where are we going, where are we going, what are we doing, what are we doing? Um, I don't know why it is, but it, it's brilliant. I put a video on my Facebook of it, it's fantastic. Lou with us, and she gets ever so excited. Uh, right, now with this, you're getting your rice papers, 21 dies, and you're getting a die cut block as well which is fabulous and in the die cut block they're all kiss cut ready to pop out 180 elements which is fantastic um yeah they're called kiss cut because um i don't know whether you have to kiss them but they're, they're, just, they're, touching, they're just touching they're just, just touching. kissing just, just kissing <laughs> that's it just and like then you that. pop them out <laughs> <laughs> 49 pounds and 87 pence saving 26 pounds on that uh, which is a great deal isn't it it really is and remember this is available on two payments to your one day special if you want to add them to your one day special then you can divide the cost of these into three just saying just saying mindful art here we go another collection for you uh, we've got a collection of dies considerable amount of dies for you as well and your two um, Two sheets, and they are six by eight, six by eight papers. Um, I was just reading that. 36 sheets in here, 270 GSM. You can see all of the different uh, designs in there. Absolutely beautiful. And when you open them up, you'll be able to stamp on these, add your inks to them, cut into them if you want to, use them for your scrapbooks, use them for your... Oh, Use them for your journaling papers. There you go. That gives you a better image of what you're getting. Uh, that's one of them. Let's show you the other one. Uh, this is your amethyst and magnolia, uh, which is beautiful, isn't that? Amethyst and magnolia, there you go. So some gorgeous images in there for you to use. Remember, you can cut into these, you can um, ink onto them, stamp onto them, make cards, scrapbook pages. We're not stopping there. And you're also getting your fabulous, fabulous kiss cut elements. And they're good, aren't they? It's very nice, very nice. And then you just simply push them out. But remember to make that noise as you're pushing them out. Remember, you've got to go... Apparently that sounded really horrible. Why did that sound horrible? And you get five die sets as well. Let's go through the die sets. You're not getting any kisses now, though. Apparently Molly's all right with that. That's what Jane says as well. £22.46, two payments with this particular collection. 
Thank you, Ben. Uh, 66 dies, two paper pads, and your A6 die cut block that you're getting. Uh, we've got a paper pick and mix for you. Uh, Nine pounds and ninety-nine pence. Here they are. That's your blackboard. Or your chalkboard. Uh, that's your alphabet. That's your floral grid. That's your musical background. Your flower hooks. All things grow with love apart from my kisses. Hessian. Compass. Floral sprays. These are double sided as well. That's your alphabet ribbon. That's your Dalmatian. There's your snow leopard that doesn't look like a snow leopard, but it's called snow leopard. That's red dots and stripes. Black dots and stripes. The dots are on the other side. That's rock and roll just there. That's it. Rock and roll. Should we do a bit of rock and roll later, Arlie? Hey. Ah, uh, yeah. I'm going to. I'm going to finish this. Way. <laughs> we can document it in the journal. Oh, yes. Right, what we're having a look at now, Lily? Well, I'm just going to finish this off because I just wanted to show you, uh, like, a little, like, finishing this. It's dried now. So when you get the two backings, you get, like, an inner and an outer, so you can mount that up. So I just wanted to show you. All I've done is I've got a little bit of... I'm determined to get this done now. A little bit of gesso and a little bit of the, the green ink that I had on here, and I'm just messing the edges up. Now, it looks awful like that, but when you put that on, you see, because if I did it like that, it's a bit too brown, looks a bit too much for me, but if I then turn it over, because I've took that edge off, perfect. So what you do then is I'm just going to glue that down there. You, you can do whatever you want. Now, come on, glue, play, come on. Oh, don't start. Sack it. Right. Come on. I've unbunged them all. Don't start. Yeah, I knew. There we go. I um, but I spent ages unbunging. So I'm just going to mount that on there. So you okay. see you get two layers. Yep. Right, you get the the, uh, the edge of the spine. I just want to do the same to this, but I want to show you what I want to do to this. I want to make it look old, like old fabric. So I've got a tiny bit of... Um, you're not getting rid of that, are you, Lou? No, I'm just going to screw it up really, really, really. Now, you're supposed to iron this as well, but you screw it up and then you would iron it flat, but you wouldn't get the creases out. So I'm happy with that. And if you want to damp it as well, that's another, that's what you can do. Just damp it and it will sort of soften it up, ready for it. Right, so what I'm going to do now, that's it. I'm going to make it look older, like fabric. So I'm just going to get a tiny bit of dark green. And you would actually, by putting a tiny bit of water on this, it actually softens it and it makes it easier. Is it just normal card? Yeah, it's just the brown yep. card stock. And the more you do that, the sort of more um, fabric-like it gets. I know it looks terrible, I know, but it, honestly, when people have, this is a really old technique, it's been around donkey's years, and um, I've seen some of the techniques that we're using now, they're all like really exciting and that, but I think sometimes just get the old ones back, so I'm just going to scrum, scumble in some. Like pouring tea on paper and baking it in the oven. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely, because these, these are the things that I started off on. And, and, yeah, I know people go, oh, they look awful when you start, but anything does. When you start building up layers on, on your artwork, it, it yeah. does look terrible, but it's, you keep going. So I've got that dark green. I, I really like the dark green, so I'm going to go with a little bit more. And don't forget, these are all to go um, together. So I've got the green on the card and the green um, sort of limey colour, and I'm just going to go over that again. Now, Lou, if I wanted to make and sell journals yep, um, using the dies, can I do that? Yeah, absolutely. Super. No problem at all. Right, so I've got that more or less. It looks terrible, I know. It looks absolutely terrible. I think it does. I think it's starting to look grungy and exactly. old and vintage. So you leave it to dry in, in an ideal world, but I haven't got an ideal world at the moment. So I've got an olive green stays on. Yep. And I'm just going to... Oh, now like you're talking. The top yes. of that, where it's really battered. 
um, and I'll show you how different it starts to look now. So you've got that, you've got your card, that's now glued on there and you can see it needs this edge because if I show you that, there's no differentiation there. Yeah. So what we need to do is sort of bring that edge in a little bit now you can use gold you can use like a gold or a silver or anything like that i'm using the same color that's already on predominantly in in the work and that is the green so i'm just using the dark green on the edge just, just while that. you're putting that on the other side can i just show you some of the oh, designs yeah, for the journals these are fabulous so you could have an everyday journal you could have a pocket journal uh, you could have your journal and of course you've got the alphabets on there uh to do that so you can write someone's name your name or the theme of the journal that you're using so that's fabulous um you could have one that's got a little bit of a distressed edge to it um so this could be your secret journal which is fantastic i do like that um so you could pop your little secret thoughts in there if you wanted nice little ripped look and there's that belt buckle as well uh, and then how about something that's quite nice uh maybe in here this could be a diary uh, maybe this could be for your poetry or you could put some recipes in here. It'd be a nice one to have in the kitchen, would it not? Um, so that's really nice inside. That's a really beautiful cover. Um, and then how about a larger one? Look at this. This is great. Now this, for me, you could pop uh, maybe some pictures in there, maybe add a little pocket on the inside as well. Now the dies themselves, uh, they're thin dies. So what kind of... Um, materials could we cut through card and paper would you card, say paper thin fabrics um, some thinner leathers um, anything that I think up to I the, the card I've got here is about 320 is it and it was cutting through that wow because um, this is soft this is like leather leatherette isn't it yeah. faux leather yeah and uh, what I would say is some of the Sorry. like the faux leather and stuff you do need I would put a shim in an extra piece of card that yeah. is just to give it that little bit more of a um, I mean, imagine making something like that in the faux leather exactly. and then selling it. That'd be yeah. amazing. Absolutely amazing. So lots of different uh, designs for you in your one day special and lots of peripheral dies for you to use to embellish your journals, your cards and um, your scrapbooks as well. So plenty of dies for you to choose from there. Your journal essentials, your alphabet and your card shapes. It's a complete collection for you and you've got savings on your um, dies that you can buy as pairs as well. But Freedom members, my word, everything is £73.53 pence saving for you. And if you want to become a Freedom member today to make that saving alongside all the other Freedom members, oh, you can. Just become a Freedom member. That's all you've got to do. Right, sorry about that, Lou. No, no problem. What, I just, um, what I'll have done now is I've just adhered it to the back so we've got, like, the proper... Ed you can see there where it would be oh, yeah. attached. And I've gone, I've just took the edge. It needs a little bit more. I've put one on the back. You can see how nice it sits. And I've just run the dark paint along the edge and just to give it a bit more of a, um, a frame around it. So... I like that now. What I did then was I've got the, um, this is the die that comes with it. And what I've done is I've got the stays on and, and just run it over this uh, mirror board, mirror card, because what will happen is you punch out all the others. It will keep, maintain the sort of mirror, but get rid of, the. it won't be white, it is, yeah. it's now green. So you just add a little bit of that and then it's interesting how you can add lots of different colours to this um, and, and you can do rainbows and you can do all sorts like prism colours and every, you know, not just one, the, the mirror board maintains that beautiful shine but you can change it with nail varnishes, anything, you can, it's just really clever and we've all got it at some point and Sort of, what do we do with it? Well, well I love, I love this collection because it doesn't mean you can make bespoke um, journals yeah. for people. Uh, you know, one for your sister, your mum, your dad, your brother, your best friends, or just different times of year. Absolutely. You know, you might have a journal that you doodle in, you might have a journal that you draw in, you might have a 
journal that you might just want to write in. So you have different covers, different feels, different designs for all of that. And of course, because you're getting all of those dies included in this particular set, you can use them for card making if you want to, uh, decorating boxes if you want to. You've got the capability of putting these into a scrapbook alongside photos if you want as well. So it's a fabulous collection from Studio Light. The total is 143 dies, uh, 145, sorry, dies in total. The one that we're just skimming over there, um, I've got a sample of a card here, which I just, I love that. And then you go, I mean, you don't make that, you don't all have to make that sound as you do that, but isn't that lovely? It just gives it a different dimension. Now, on the bottom of the screen, if you want to go for those dies to make that particular card, $29.98, you get both sets, and that'll make you step a card and that round uh, card that goes, <laughs> um, try it when you get home, you'll hear it. Um, details are right there, 950369 is your item number. Right, I've right. we've got four minutes left, Lou. Well, I'm just thinking that there's loads of things that you can do with these. You can add these. I mean, that would be quite a nice card. I've got, like, this um, wonderful key plate, which oh, looks great. Nice. You know, when you really if you really sort of think about ageing your mirror board as well, mm -hmm. I mean, there's another little technique that you can use. You know, you get your... Um, i just do a little bit. In fact, this is probably what it needed. I'm just scuffing it up now. You can use a memory board or a nail file. And I'm just doing the edge. And I, you're taking the first layer of the silver off. And, and is that what, normally what you use for your feet? No, this is a proper... Ah. You can't use them. And then what you do is, as soon as you put oh, this on... Yeah, you can use that. As soon as you put this on, it... Because the top...